over to the runner here, uh, because I think we're ready to roll. I mean, <laughs> come on, mates, let's go. You can count down. Yeah, five, <laughs> four, <laughs> three, two, one, go. All right, welcome to FF9, everyone. I think we had the interview just now, but in case anyone wasn't there, I'm Toju. I'm Kar Karn. I'm Lutz Wilhelm. I am Mutski. So it's been quite some time since this game has been in a marathon, and a lot has changed since then. So if any of you saw the ESA run a couple of years ago now, you're in for a treat. And if any of you saw Spike and Puexel's run several years ago, you're not going to know what's going on. <laughs> So just a reminder, right after this FMV, we're going to be naming Zidane, so if you want to snipe that, now is the only time to do so. Yes, get those donations in. By the way, they're... <coughs> if, if only we could skip FMVs, but that's not going to happen. You're going to enjoy these lovely 90s. It, was this made in the 90s? Uh, I think it was 2000. made in, like... I think it came out in 2000, so I guess it was made in, like, the late 90s. Okay, late 90s, early 2000s FMVs. They're great. Yeah, so this game aged pretty well because it came out pretty much right at the very end of the PS1's mm -hmm. life cycle. And uh, it aged pretty well. With FMVs, they are unskippable, but if you do get the PC version, it is skippable. However, we've elected to run Don't the original. Don't get the PC version. Okay, I, you know. <laughs> I thought I was the Canadian. I gotta be nice, man. <laughs> Fair enough. I'm the American. I'm blunt. Fair. <laughs> All right, so he's pretty much going to need... Yeah, I'm going to need Zidane. Pretty much going to need the name sure. now. Although I think we all know what it's going to yeah, be. I think kind of have that on lockdown. Ugh. We didn't do our Mage Masher, Mage Masher predictions. Oh, oh. seven. I'm going to be optimistic and say third try. By the way, we did... Third oh, third. need the name Yeah, now. go ahead and keep guessing. 21. Oh. 13. <laughs> cool. So we do need uh, the name right now for Zidane, right? We do. Okay. So just before we get to the name, he's going to do a quick little config menu to change a few options. We're making our cursor into memory cursor because it helps a lot with uh, saving our inputs. And he's doing the most important thing, which is making the blue. text boxes blue. Blue oh. text boxes. All right, what we got? So bad. Okay, it is Kyoshi. <laughs> C-A-Y-O-C-H-E. Shout outs to the awesome French FF9 community for pooling together and raising a lot of money. Kyoshi is a uh, French FF9 speedrunner who's actually doing the commentary for the French restream, so thank you very much to you guys. He can make a really self-serving comment to himself right now. Sure, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we do have about 10 minutes for the next name, which... About five to 10 minutes, yeah. I'd say, yeah, probably, yeah. It's probably a little bit less than 10. Who is that just so that... For VV. VV. Yeah. It'll okay. be around, like, probably the 9 to 10 minute mark. So this game is known in the community for being pretty heavy-handed on its RNG elements, and the very first fight of the game is no exception here. So what we need to do is the, the mage or the uh, the mass man has an item called the mage masher, which is very important for the run for a number of reasons. You're, you're counting it, aren't you? <laughs> uh, the mage masher is quite a bit stronger than the starting weapon for Zidane, so it helps us a lot with the early bosses. And furthermore, much like his starting weapon, it actually has flea on it. So even after it does get outdated power-wise, we are still going to be using it to keep learning flea and even. Until we learn it, we have to actually have it equipped so we can flee from encounters. So the, the Mage Master Steel, as you can see, is not the common steel. It is, in fact, 1 in 16. So we've got about a 6% chance to get it. Fortunately, our four party members all have steel. Three party members. <laughs> Three party members all have steel. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so unfortunately, this is pretty typical. At this point, a lot of runners might reset. Uh, a lot of runners have their own sort of threshold that they'll go until before they actually <laughs> actually reset the, uh, the run and try again. <laughs> but we are in it for the long haul, fortunately or unfortunately, depending on how you want to look at it. I just really want you all to understand. You, you get the real vibe. Look, I queued the other one because I already knew. <laughs> <laughs> In case any of you want to speedrun FF9, we have lots of guides on speedrun.com. <laughs> I 
Man, I should have gone higher. I thought they were thieves. <laughs> Jeez. I mean, they're they're actors, so they're probably just pretending to be thieves. This is what happens when you're a lawful good thief. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we're ahead of scale. We can, like, reset this, right? Like. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the longest marathon record that I'm aware of came with uh, the Final Fantasy Relay last time by a runner named Hollow648, which this took him about nine minutes. So we're really hoping to beat that time. <laughs> Just for just for for reference, a good Mage Master time is probably three and a three half, and a half minutes. Yeah. <laughs> three twenty is pretty much the best you can get. There's nothing like being plus three minutes on your PB before you even start We're the 36 game. Thirty six so far. Thirty six. I should have guessed forty six. <laughs> should have guessed fifty four. No. <laughs> so uh, yeah, there there was a. Uh, there's a Japanese runner that got a 46 steel Mage Masher, and he actually continued the run with that, and and ended up being the Japanese world record at the time. <laughs> and it's actually stood for like over a year. I have a feeling this ain't gonna be no world record. <laughs> <laughs> so of pretty much inconsequential note, the Masked Man does actually have a few other items, which he, we have long since got by this point. <laughs> Uh, wow. I'm gonna die. Dead. <laughs> At this point, I, I would hesitate to even call the other things we got consolation prizes. Hey! hey! 45. <laughs> so, in this fight, we actually don't have to win, as you'll see why in just a moment. So, we're gonna kill off our characters here because it ends the fight quicker. And we certainly don't want to spend over seven minutes in the first fight of the game, so we're just gonna end it now. The ever elusive 645 Mage Master. <laughs> Not bad. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a preface of things to come. So as it turns out, you actually know the, the masked man, and he's uh, Baku, who we're going to be seeing quite a few times throughout the run. <laughs> Thanks, Spike. So here's where our, our uh, crew who can't steal very well. Uh, <laughs> They're playing on stealing a person now. Yeah, <laughs> they can't even steal a sword and now they're going to steal a princess. Color me confident. Should have had donation incentive to have Ruby come in the room. <laughs> to throw After, the doll. Uh, if, you, if you select Queen Brawn there 64 times, <laughs> Ruby will come into the room and say, uh, what, what does she say? Like, Zidane, you're being stubborn as a mule or something. <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> I didn't know that either. <laughs> he knows that, but doesn't know how to fight sea lion. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know how to fight sea lion. Fair. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm going to make up at least three seconds here. Okay, so he's he's got a, a very important, huge time save skip coming up. Why don't you talk about that a little bit, Kev? All right, so there's this... I don't even want to talk about it. Just watch it. It's like... You know, <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, we did open up an incentive to fight Hades. Ooh. Yes. It's a $10,000 incentive, so we have a long ways to go for that. But I think we can hit $10,000 for that incentive before we get there. So, awesome. If you guys want to see me struggle against a the <laughs> hardest boss in DIS4, got to pay up. <laughs> <laughs> I see you. All right, hey, the most important thing about this skip is that all of you need to know, no matter what happens, just start clapping. Okay. okay. Yeah. Just clap. Now, a lot of runners may consider this skip optional or not worth it. <laughs> I don't know why. It's like, <laughs> this is, we, we ain't about that. So when are we cutting his name off? Uh, I'll let you know okay. really shortly. But like probably like two, another two minutes or so. Two minutes. You have two minutes if you want to snipe Vivi's name. So keep a close eye here. Uh, too late. So if you run past right around where that NPC is there, once Puck runs into you, it starts this little dialogue sequence there. If you actually talk to that NPC that he went over before and you, you talk to it right at the right time when Puck runs into you, you're actually going to skip that little dialogue box. Which of course saves all kinds of time and is definitely non-optional. It's also pretty swag because Vivi will like, he'll be just 
<laughs> he looks holding pretty, his hat and yeah, yeah. like sliding along. He looks the really disheveled. <laughs> yeah, for the for the record, we already had a near seven minute mage master. We're this is all swag now. This has nothing to do with speed anymore. <laughs> so we're gonna talk to this guy. VB has a fake ticket to the show that we're trying to get into, and the guy feels bad and gives him some cards. So this is a this is gonna be a common occurrence is VB tripping. So get used to that. Uh, he made this guy really mad, but we're going to meet up with our friend Puck again, and he's going to scheme a way to get into this show that we want to see. <laughs> Fortunately for us, this guy, he doesn't like cleaning up after himself, so he just leaves this ladder ripe for the taking. Which is convenient. Which is very convenient. So on this next screen here, it's actually has a visual cue to judge how good or bad your oh, movement no. is. So we're going to see. If we see any text boxes from Puck, that means that he's he's... He's messing it up. See how he does. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Ran into the wall. So I just like to point out we didn't see any text boxes. So I honestly, <laughs> I don't know how it There's went. one way to guarantee you won't get them. Yeah. So yeah, if you're not uh, if you're not right behind Puck the whole way, he's actually going to start pretty much just telling you to hurry up. But fortunately, despite our two entrances, we did not see we did not see any text boxes. So we're pretty much on the last leg for uh, VV here. Yeah, there's probably about 45, 65 seconds on here. Final donations right now. We do have a pretty commanding lead for one of the names, but hurry up and get those in. So right there is our boy Stiltskin. We're going to be seeing him throughout the run, and he's uh, going on his own little adventure as well. And uh, fortunately, he's actually very useful for the speed run because he's going to be selling packages throughout the game, and uh, we're going to make use of at least a few of them. Hope well, hopefully, hopefully not a few, but we'll see. So unfortunately for Vivi, getting into this play is uh, going to require running across some totally not sketchy bridges across these uh, rooftops. And Vivi is afraid of heights. Makes two of us. Yeah. <laughs> So he's going to need that VV name now. Okay. Well, it looks like the name is going to be Zwanzig. Yeah. <laughs> we did it, Internet. We did it. So another shout out to the entire FF9 community for pooling together to get this name, or one half of this meme complete. So shout outs to the FF9 community and shout outs to memes. What's the other half of the meme? The other half of the meme is to name Quina, Quina Hollow. And then we're going to have the best power and couple in a wedding of all time. Yes. <laughs> uh, well, Hollow is winning, as a yes. matter of fact. So <laughs> you're on a good track here. Yes. Good. By the way, Vivi alone brought in over $1,600. <laughs> so <laughs> Shout thank out you. Me. Great job, guys. We have a lot of donations, by the way. You yeah, can read you some You can read now. a few now. Okay. We have $2 from Linux, who said couldn't steal anything. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Makes two of us. <laughs> Kaios Little Monster gave $25 Dang. and said, Zwanzig must be Vivi proud. Tova gave $15 and said, shout out to my meads and gels. Wouldn't be here if it weren't for your love and support. Great job for an amazing cause. $25 from Anonymous who said, Vivi, Vivi, Vivi. <coughs> Nova 149 gave $25 and said, K-Rob. Yo, K-Rob, how is Zelda doing? She is great. <laughs> Zelda is the name of my adorable hedgehog. <laughs> oh. Oh, maybe he just knew about all the Zelda randomizers we've been playing this yeah, week. <laughs> <laughs> Anonymous gave $101 and said, $1 for every noble impressed and an extra one for Puck Skip. Good luck, Puck <laughs> and crew. Can, can we refund donations? <laughs> <laughs> or a fraction. Well. Don't worry, I'll cover it. I got I No, the, it's a 101 because including Queen Brown. Oh, yeah. Justin Young gave $15 and said, put this towards Garnet getting named Stephen Yu to honor a great show that isn't afraid to acknowledge and portray mental illness. $5 from Kawhi NL hey. who said, this is my in advance wedding present for Hollow and Mr. Gets Bought by one second in every game Zwanzig. <laughs> <laughs> Kawhi, Kawhi has bopped Zwanzig in two of his uh, main speed games by exactly one second. <laughs> So, go oh, go ahead. Oh, no, go ahead. The last one. Agora gave $10 and said, Is it possible to sing Queen's Bicycle Race during the wedding? <laughs> I hear it's Hollow's favorite Queen song, Kappa. And just for the record, I, I told him you said hi. 
Uh, so this next fight that you're going to see is the first introduction of a technique called ATB waiting. Uh, you're going to be seeing it a lot throughout the run, especially with the advent of this new route, which we'll talk with talk about in a bit. Um, basically, how this works is that he's going to be abusing the ATB system to get extra turns. So we're going to talk about when he gets in there. But in essence, <coughs> all you need to know is that when an en when a anyone, an enemy or a, uh, one of our characters is completing an action, their ATB bar can't reset back to zero until it's totally done. And the other thing you need to know is that anytime you're in one of the sub menus, so like items, black magic, anything like that. Uh, ATB is frozen for everyone. So we're going to be using these two things in tandem to pretty much make it so some of our party members are going to get extra turns because their speed stat is higher, which basically just dictates how fast their ATB bar is going to fill. So he's going to start out by killing the two minions. You don't actually need to kill these minions to complete the fight, but um, they can do that, which, as you might see, loses a lot of time. So he's going to kill them off just to prevent animations, and then he's going to start going for King Leo. So right here, as you can see, he's got the menu closed. He knows that Zidane and Blank are both faster than King Leo. So he's going to wait until he sees that King Leo's animation is done. He's going to kind of buffer the menu in and out. So as you can see, Zidane is attacking, and we know that no one's ATB is moving, which basically allows them time to complete their animation. And now, because their speed says high, they're actually both going to get another turn, despite having gone. Two down. <laughs> Shoutouts to our boy, Sina. You can see right there, there goes Zidane. And here goes Blank. Which was just a, oh, it was not enough to kill. Still needed to roll like yeah, anything three else. Three stage magics. Yep. Why wouldn't it be? So pretty unfortunate. So this is pretty much like the worst <laughs> RNG <laughs> possible <Holy> so far. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> so we got through it. So the next thing coming up is the infamous Nobles game. If you had this game as a kid, you probably struggled at this. All right, can I just have it just quiet? Just yeah, so we're going to give him quiet, and we'll talk about it a little bit more. But basically what you're going to see is a series of inputs. And depending on basically how many consecutive inputs you nail and how fast you do those inputs, you're going to impress a certain amount of Nobles. And how many Nobles you impress is going to determine how much money they give you. So we're going to give him some quiet and uh, wish him luck for this. Moment of truth here. I think it's going to be 99, actually. It might be. We'll see. Hey! hey! <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice, man. All right, so a few things to note about what just happened there. Um, how much money you get scales sort of linearly up until 100. So if you get 99, you get something like 880 gil. But if you get all 100, you actually impress everyone, and they shower you with 10,000 gil. At least in this version. Yeah. So in the Japanese version, for whatever reason, <laughs> they're um, chintzy. They don't want to give you. Yeah, any money. it just scales linearly the whole way, even up to 100. So they get like two extra gil between 99 and 100. <laughs> but I mean, us North Americans, we need more incentive to actually try it. Things. So <laughs> this is this is our this is our reward for getting all 100. Speaking of 10,000 gil, that sounds awfully uh, similar to. Uh, an incentive that uh, you guys have to... Uh, That's mm -hmm. the $10,000 for the Hades fight. By the way, I have like a billion donations over yeah, here. I feel this is like a really good time to... Okay. Oh, I will say oh. we will need Steiner's name pretty Yeah, we're going to need though. Steiner's name shortly. Just a few minutes. Probably like... Probably like a minute and a half yeah. minutes. Okay, hurry and get those donations in for that. Collis gave $5 and said, just wanted to say good luck on the RNG Fiesta to all of you. 
And big shout outs to the FF community who helped me get through hard times and managed to inspire me. Stay awesome. Thank you, Callus. Thanks also for this awesome event. Love you all. Good luck. I'll be watching all night. P.S. Told you, you're a baka. I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I said I don't know why they let me here, so... <laughs> it's okay. We'll forgive you. Right. Starcrawl gave a dollar and said, good luck on the run. Shame I can't be there to cheer you on. Told you. Hope you don't spend an hour on Necron. Or, <sighs> and guys, don't forget the right candle in Desert Palace. <laughs> <laughs> Put this towards making Zwanzig proud by naming Vivi after him. So we'll talk about that in a little bit, but you can keep going. Okay, $50 from Augustine Park, who said, Mental illness affects many of my friends and family. Happy to donate towards such a great cause. Keep it up. 100K hype. We have $25 from Meloths, who said, It is always a pleasure to see the number one Ariana Grande fan, <laughs> Mutsky, at another speedrunning event. Since you're only doing one disc, I expect to see cartwheels and stuff. <laughs> so we'll need Steiner's name now. Yeah, we'll need Steiner's name. Thanks, Mel. Appreciate it, man. All right, let me go ahead and do the last refresh here. And Steiner is going to be named. Where is it? What? Yes, Arby's. Yeah, Arby's. Arby's, as a matter of fact. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> Don't let your memes be dreams, okay? Donate, and you can make them a reality. So thank you. I mean, this this game is pretty meme -y, so it's only fitting that we get names like this. So what the previous donation referred to, we had a Final Fantasy series relay a few months ago now. It was myself and Karakarn here, and another runner, Hollow 648. We don't know how to light candles in Desert Palace. All three of us consecutively lit the same wrong candle, like clockwork. <laughs> you think oh, that, really? and you think that we would learn from each other's mistakes, but no. You, did you do it twice, or did you do it right one of the times? I only did it once. I don't remember only which one. Only once. So interesting note about the Noble game that we uh, we just saw. Um, I don't remember who, but someone released the code for uh, for the Nobles, and it's it's pretty interesting. It starts off with only a series of inputs, and um, it sort of gets progressively harder once you've reached a certain threshold of uh, consecutive inputs. So, for example, uh, you won't start seeing square and circle until... Uh, I don't know, whatever, whatever the amount is, something like 10 or 15. And you were saying, uh, uh, K-Rob, that the, the D-pad first input is the same every time yeah. as well. Do you want to talk about that? The, so I'm like noted for being like pretty consistent with the Nobles fight, which is kind of one of the reasons why I wanted to do disc one. Uh, and uh, after I had done it for like years, because I've been around this game since 2014, and I started to notice like patterns in the, the fight and realized like two years into it, that the first right or left input is always right. And then because that the screen that is moving, like it's the background that moves, not the characters. Um, and so uh, you can't move right twice. So it's always alternating right and left back and forth. And so I just kind of have an advantage because I'll hover over the opposite input, kind of preparing for it, be able to get that quicker to press, I guess. Yeah, there's a lot of repeating patterns in that. So for example, if you, if you rewatch what he just did there, Anytime you see a triangle, there's a very, very high chance you're going to see an X following it and vice versa. So things like that repeat, and you can use those to your advantage to sort of um, speed up your reaction time if you're anticipating certain inputs. Another thing to note is one of the reasons a lot of people might have trouble with uh, Nobles is that uh, it's one of the few places where input lag in this game can really, really uh, hurt you, even casually. So if you're playing this game on an LCD TV, for example, you're you're going to have a lot harder time than if you're playing on a CRT just because the, the delay is a lot higher. And I do all Although, my runs on a on an LCD, and so playing it on this uh, CRT it's a was like walk. free. Yeah. yeah. It was super nice. There was, it was never in doubt. By the way, I want to let everybody know we hit 90K. <laughs> Still plenty of run to go to get to 100K, so let's keep this coming. If you uh, have any more donations... Oh, you, do I? Go ahead. <laughs> We've got $5 from Laxaria, who said, "Good or shout-outs to RPGLB, all the staff organizers, the tech crew, the crowd, and all the runners and commentators. The, the entire week has been terrific fun. Terrific fun. Okay, good <laughs> Good luck, runners, to, for the FF9 run. Donation goes to the runner's choice. 
Uh, I think we're dumping that all towards Hollow until we get Quinn named. Okay, all towards Hollow until we get Quinn named. And then we'll Sounds change it. Good. Then we'll dump it on Hades after that, yeah. Yeah. Cool. $15 from Vidorian, who said, So happy to see RPG Limit Break hosting this amazing speedrun event once more. Specifically with this amazing donation incentive, thank you so much for raising awareness. Mental illness is something I wish people could would accept, have more respect for more often, and hoping my family and friends will become more accepting and aware of it too, considering my own state of it. Good luck to the FF9 runners, and let's rip this category. Alec47 gave $225. Shout out to Alec. He said, with this donation, I'm all tapped out. Thanks, everyone, for making this event so successful already. And keep pushing to 100K and beyond. Being a part of this community and helping organize this event has been one of the best things to happen to me. And helping a cause that has affected me personally only makes it more meaningful. This donation is to name Vivi Zwanzig. Sorry, Vivi, 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 Vivi. Your name is clever, but part of the Final <laughs> Fantasy speedrunning community, I have to stand by our memes. So if you ever were interested in speedrunning a Final Fantasy game, as you can see, we are a very tight-knit group, and we are willing to donate fat stacks even for memes. And <laughs> if you're interested in picking up any games at all, my man Maelstrom uh, is in charge of organizing the Final Fantasy relay, where we will relay a ton of the games. Uh, and we're definitely looking for people to sign up for uh, pretty much all of them. So if you have any interest at all, definitely get in touch with him. Get in touch with any of us. We'll hook you up with the right people for the next one, which is in September. So funny note story-wise, what we're seeing here, uh, yeah, and Mutsky's gonna do a quick menu there to equip the Mage Master that we... The freaking... The, <laughs> that we had the arduous effort of stealing in the first fight of the game. So story-wise, uh, we're finding out that Garnet actually wants to be kidnapped, and uh, we are happy to oblige, because that's what we're here for anyway. Uh, but unfortunately, Steiner does not want that to happen, so this is the first of three fights that we're gonna have with him. This is another fight where we can actually utilize ATB waiting, but uh, really just depends on starting ATB. He's going to need at least two characters, probably about above half. We'll see what he gets. Eh, it's not going to happen. So he's probably not going to get it. This fight takes, <laughs> as Lizbell learned a few days ago, this fight takes two Zidane attacks if yeah. you get good damage rolls, <laughs> uh, or a Zidane attack and two blank attacks. He also has the option to steal, which uh, I think you just stole the Silk yeah, Shirt. Yeah, I got it. So the Silk Shirt is pretty much the best item you can steal from there. Uh, it's going to help out a little bit on a fight later on, which we'll talk about when we get there. Never but, um... give up. <laughs> Akira Menayo. <laughs> this is Steiner's coolest animation that you're never going to see again. No. Also, shout out to Lag. <laughs> but yeah, just when it looks like Steiner is going to defeat us, we brought out our biggest trump card, which is Oglops, which he doesn't like. As you can see. Nobody likes <laughs> Nobody likes So uh, we're going to head on up to the, the stage now using these lifts, and uh, the play is going to commence. There's our boy that took way too long to give us the Mage Masher. So funnily enough, Dagger is still cloaked, so they're going to be going up on stage, and she's going to have to uh, participate in this play. Fortunately, everyone in this city knows this play, so she already knows her lines. But it leads to a very comedic moment, which we'll... <coughs> Be happy to watch. Maybe when we read some more donations. Cool. Twenty-five dollars from RNL Mel Wasul, who said, "Remember the times when the finale was called the final finale? Here's to my favorite final finale, Final Fantasy IX." We have sixteen dollars and one cents from Justin Young. We also have twenty-five dollars from Prozwill, who said, mm. "Hey, FF9 crew, here's some money to help Nami. I hope Zwanzig will be proud." Shout out to Tofu, my boy. Good to see you there. Have fun with Hades. P.S. Happy wedding, Solomon. Prozy. Thanks, Pros. Merci. Sness gave ten dollars and said, "This is a dime for every noble Kev Robbie Rob impresses with his fantastic Zorn and Thorn dance." <laughs> <laughs> Sarod gave five dollars and said, "My favorite RPG of all time must donate." Also, I'm hungry, so another five bucks to name Steiner Arby's. <laughs> oh, and I'm thinking Arby's. Good. Anonymous <laughs> gave twenty-five dollars and said, "Sculpting FF characters while watching a live FF speedrun. Can things get better? Good luck with the run." <laughs> We do have $100 from Greffrey, who said, Come on, Mutt, those are newbie numbers. From the slightly less nice Canadian Greff. <laughs> Thanks, Greffrey. Appreciate it, man. $10 from Anonymous, who says, For impressing the queen. 
We have $25 from Anonymous who said thank you to all the runners, viewers, and donors for supporting your great cause. But seriously, it's meme time now. Wowie and chat, please. We have $100 from Laser, 1234-54321, who says, <laughs> wow, that was hard. That was a mouthful. <laughs> I'm actually pretty impressed you just did that. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I, Laser, 1234-54321, uh, fail. He You're doesn't. pretty good. You're pretty good. He said, congratulations on another good year of the event, and may the RNG be ever in your favor. So we'll leave we'll leave the nobles to to Mutsky and we'll leave the reading to him. <laughs> so we're wow. gonna <laughs> wow. It's only gonna get worse, folks. Don't let Toju, don't believe his lies about being a nice Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> Although w w I had my first ever legitimate Canadian standoff with mm. Toju yesterday. I held the door open for him and he like insisted that I go in first. <laughs> I had to make him go. <laughs> uh, so we're gonna be entering our second of three Steiner fights here. Uh, Dagger's robe has been accidentally burned off by Vivi, so it's known that she's actually the one acting there. Um, so we're going to have to... Well, so we think we're going to have to defeat Steiner and his clones, but it actually, the fastest way is yet again to kill off our characters, except Garnet. Um, he's going to be using Garnet here to kill off Marcus just because his ATB is really low. Um, ideally, we'd want people to kill themselves off just because it's faster animation. That was um, a perfect That though. was actually a perfect fight. Each animation's... Uh, costs a few seconds and Steiner's a little bit more. So basically all we're looking for in this fight is to make sure that uh, uh, we get our ATB, or our attacks off as fast as possible. Um, another strat that you can do, which I'm not sure how many people actually do, but you can actually kill Steiner with a, a Zidane attack and a VV fire. So if you have really, a really weird ATB setup, that is an option. Um, you can just ignore the guards. But uh, fortunately we did get the optimal setup. Yeah, I think it's like 11 seconds if all three of them attack. Yeah. So it's pretty significant. It works out to, I think, like three, about three seconds per guard, and I think like six seconds for Steiner. If yeah, probably not that idea. Just, yeah. I do have some more. Probably have time for a couple, here. yeah. Medigo gave $37.54 and said, Hades incentive feels Ozma, man. <laughs> oh. Anonymous gave $10 and said, Good luck, K-Rob. Toiju, or Toju, lose in Kara. I'm sorry, Toiju. 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 Amazing to see you guys run together like this. FF9 seems to do its best to give us all the time we need to give you that Hades fight. <laughs> Praise the RNG Jesus. Love you all. We have $100 from Anonymous who says had to donate after that hype noble game. I think you guys will be ready for Hades. $5 from Knockfrost who said good luck to my boys on the couch. I hope you Bob Zwenzig by one second. <laughs> that would that would come towards him uh, having to run this awful game again, right? Kappa also told you pancakes are better than waffles, Baka. No, no they're not. Money goes they're not. towards Mutsky's choice. Thanks, Noctis. Just Thanks, Noctis. Dump it on Hollow. So we're entering our final of three Steiner fights here. This one is pretty similar to the last one. We're just going to try to kill off our own party members. In this fight, we don't actually need to use Garnet, even though our ATB is better, because fortunately we've got this grow animation by the bomb. So because it's faster to suicide uh, our characters themselves. Okay. So <laughs> what he's just uh, gasping at there, if you didn't notice, he had his cursor ready to kill off someone. And during the animation, someone else killed themselves. So. Uh, when you do that, the cursor actually moves down one input, so I think probably all of us have at one point killed Garnet, which is really bad, because you can't actually fail this fight. Steiner's not going to attack her, but uh, he will attack everyone else, so if she's not there, you're pretty much out of luck. It happened to me in practice, that's why I was like, paused a moment. <laughs> so, we're pretty much done with the intro sequence of the game here. The bomb's going to explode, and uh, it's going to take down the ship with it. Kara bomb. Kara bomb. Naz gave $25 and said, just wanted to thank you, or say thank you to the organizers and runners for helping out this great cause. Now let's kick Katie's butt. <laughs> Deal. Oh yeah, Grey Guest gave $15 and said, an amazing event for an amazing cause. Thanks to the four runners for speeding through one of my favorite games of all time. We've got eight dollars from Draconian, who says, "Gotta love the magic of the theater." <laughs> oh Thanks, boy, Draconian. I felt it. Also, tons of anonymous donations coming in as well. One for fifty, one for a hundred, one for twenty. Uh, it, it's impressive to see this coming in. We're aiming for a hundred thousand dollars for Nami before this run is over. Ten thousand dollars to do the Hades fight. So let's go ahead and 
see that keep coming in. There's a really annoying text box right here. That just like basically, I'm assuming that it had something to do with they didn't, they couldn't have like that long of an FMV, so they split it in half really quickly. It's really annoying for breaks from a speedrunning point of view. Not for some of us. Well, <laughs> we, we don't talk about that here. So yeah, there, what, what he's referring, there is actually a, a turbo controller category for this run, uh, which you, if you hadn't seen why yet, you probably will see throughout the run. I'm gonna have run. carpal tunnel when I'm 28. <laughs> Uh, so the reason why mashing in this game is so intense is um, th the text boxes load pretty much instantly. So uh, in a lot of cases, you can pretty much just mash as, f as fast as you can. And if you're not doing that, you are losing time. Going slow. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much most of the games before this, you had to wait for the text to finish drawing out. But this time, one press completely opens the text box, and then another press closes it. So... By the way, when's the next name coming up? The next name will not be for a little while. Yeah, the next name you probably have. It'll it'll be a maybe while. Is that for Garnet? It'll be like an yeah, yeah probably another probably 30, like a half 30 hour. Minutes, yeah. Okay, half an hour. You've got half an hour for Garnet. So go ahead and get those in. We have ten dollars from Anonymous who said had to donate for that impressive Nobles fight. Been Thank waiting you. the entire marathon for this run, and I'm super excited for it. Since Solomon's fantastic wedding has been met already. I'll put this towards the Hades fight. Good luck to the runners, although after that Mage Master steal, <laughs> it doesn't look like there will be much of that. <laughs> so right here we're going to see our first of uh, quite a few ATEs in the game. Fortunately, a lot of them are optional. They're just kind of like little story triggers, uh, but a lot of them are mandatory as well. So this is the first one we actually have to do. What we're going to see is that uh, Vivi and Garnet got separated from the rest of them in the crash, and they're actually being chased by what is about to be our first boss of the game. For that, however, we're going to be entering our first screen with encounters. Uh, he's going to do a little quick save just for safety. This really isn't that threatening, but because we're like 40 minutes in, and yeah. this game is this game. You truly never know what can happen. This one. It's just going to be on the top, right? Yeah, who knows? You might accidentally do title playing. <laughs> <laughs> or I'll just talk to him a couple times. So this screen here is the very first screen in the game where we can actually start getting random encounters. You probably heard Spike ask us how many encounters we think we're going to get throughout the run. And the reason why people are so fixated at that is that um, encounters in this game take a very long time. Although I won't be able to maybe talk about it next time because uh, he actually skipped the encounter. There is a number of advantages and disadvantages of skipping that encounter. Um, it's faster, but it's... There's, it, th this fight will be longer without it. Yeah, so obviously, pretty much any time we want to skip encounters, that particular encounter is probably one of the more useful in some senses. We actually want to get Zidane's level, ideally to level 4, before we get to uh, a boss, probably about a little less than 30 minutes from now. Um, and that first encounter, we uh, have Zidane solo, which basically means that he gets the full amount of the experience. Anytime you have more than one person in the party, we're actually going to be splitting it between them evenly. But here, as you can see, we're seeing our first instance of the trance mechanic. Trance is... So it's like the limit break variant of FF9, essentially, and it's honestly not very cool. Yeah, they they, they chose to do it the, the limit break mechanic in this game quite odd. Um, basically, that bar below, the green bar is their HP, and the reddish bar below is actually their trance gauge. Trance gauges fill up randomly when you get hit and stuff like that. Um, so in speedrunning, perspective it's it can be useful it's just that it again is a random element we don't really know when we're going to get it there's certain fights we ideally would like but um we don't actually have control over it that boss is actually really fast so you see you got another turn there yeah you, had to, you have to select the second attack pretty quickly so that uh, animation you're seeing there zidane losing trans had he gotten that first encounter on that last screen we actually wouldn't have seen it the reason for that is as you level up your trance gauge gets longer so Basically, the two attacks that he took would make it so he had just a little bit of trance gauge left, and the fight would have just ended without him uh, without him detrancing there. Detrance animation is probably like seven, eight seconds, so something like that. So getting that first encounter is is good and bad. Whoa, surfs up, baby. <laughs> Look out for that tidal wave. Wow. So another interesting thing to note: uh, some runners do that free energy on that last fight uh, second. Um, he elected to do it first because it is possible for Steiner to miss, so it, it gives him some 
wiggle room in terms of killing him off there. All right, we need to get our second steal of the game here, which I think we all know how this is going to go. <laughs> so yeah, the, he, he wants to steal a broadsword here. It's not actually a good item, but um, it allows us uh, to take off another sword from uh, another party member later, because you can't actually unequip a weapon from someone unless you give them something else. Fortunately for us, the broadsword is actually the common steal, so we should, in theory, say, <laughs> 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 See, and this is why I have switched to doing the steal on the last turn, <laughs> because, um, yeah, if if someone misses, then I'll just I don't even bother stealing, and you can just you can buy the iron sword. Uh, yeah, you can buy dolly. it. Yeah, it's a, it's actually an optional steal here. It saves you about about 800 gil, and it makes it a little bit a little bit harder to uh, deal with something later on potentially, but realistically, it, if you have the money, you can do it. Um, probably in a PV attempt, he might have elected to not steal there with the 100 nobles, but just given the setting, we're just going to try to go for it. That's pretty much the end of the fight. Vivi's actually contributing on his turns with uh, fires as well. So you just need to, to kill the boss before uh, Vivi's HP bar depletes, which fortunately we can do with ease. We have $25 from Null Z, $50 from Anonymous, uh, $50 from Trip, who said, I always listen to old marathons on road trips, so I figured I'd donate and tell my wife and kids I love them so they can hear it on my many long car rides to home. Hey, that's a good plan. I like that. <laughs> Kyle's Little Monster gave $5 and said, in honor of Lou Dolphin, kids falling down. <laughs> Shoutouts to FF13, too. $100 from Gaimont. They said, it's cool to help out, so here's what I can spare. Wow, thank you very much. We have $50 from Poydrick, who said, good luck to the runners. Hades needs to wake up. Go knock on his door. We're almost to $91,000 again. Donations are coming in pretty quickly, so thank you, everybody who's watching and donating. Old Bag gave $10 and said, trust <laughs> <laughs> Trustworthy Terry has faith in you, Mutsky. Oh, gosh. Uh, old bag is what I call all my friends. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> and uh, that was from one of my best friends, Matt, who uh, predicted that my favorite college basketball team was going to win the championship this year, which is the North Carolina Tar Heels. And so he didn't let me down. And we made up this fictional character named Trustworthy Terry that is never wrong about anything. <laughs> What a good guy. Or <laughs> <laughs> that is the best thing I've ever heard. <laughs> Mark doesn't tweet uh, 28, gave $20 and said, so happy to give to such a great cause. Thanks to all the organizers, staff, and runners for putting this on. So uh, he's going to be picking up some ethers here. Those are just for uh, selling. Now, of course, since he got the 10K gill, uh, it's not quite as necessary to pick up all of them. I think you're probably going to skip the, yeah, the one in skip the, third one. the other room. Yeah, there's three ethers sort of strewn about the uh, the theater ship here. One of them was in Vivi's room there that you saw. There's going to be another one in the hallway afterwards as well. There is actually a third ether that most of the time you would pick up. Uh, it's going to be in that room that Steiner's in, but it requires you to re-enter. So um, if you have the 100 nobles, you can pretty easily skip it. Now, 100 nobles isn't actually required. It's... It, it's pretty questionable. It's required. <laughs> okay. It's, it's about as required as puck skip is, we'll say. So, uh, Yeah, it, it's questionable how much time it actually saves, but it, it's... It just makes... It's very... It's a comfort thing, for yeah, sure. Yeah, it, it's... For a marathon setting, it, it's going to give us a lot of money to play with. Um, the, the main money-making method is going to be through synth, which we'll talk about when we get there. And having the extra gill early on makes us... Uh, gives us a lot more to play with in terms of what we can make, actually. Also, this fight coming up... Uh this is actually another possible issue with only having level one Zidane. Yeah, very risky. You can actually die in this fight at level one, so especially if he misses. So hopefully that won't happen. Thankfully, we already had a miss, and as we know, since we had a miss, we're definitely not getting another one because that's how it works. At least he got the first turn. Yeah, so getting the first turn is really nice. The reason why this fight is scary at level one is because our HP bar is a lot lower. Um, we do need to get three hits off here. Uh, if he does get good damage rolls and we miss, it's actually possible to die. We should be fine here. Oh my. <laughs> he's, he's definitely going at it. He's hungry. Okay. 
He can hit, I think he hit upwards of 40, is it? Yeah, we're good. 40, yeah. He can actually fall over and not hit you, but, uh, yeah. FF9 is bringing out all his guns today, as we can see. <laughs> yeah, I did have, I had a fight once where Zaiden missed twice. Mm. And <laughs> I would have died, but except then, that Baku missed yeah, it was on his clutch. last dash. <laughs> he, like, went in for the elbow, and it was just the miss. And do we have potions at this point? Uh, could yeah. we could we yeah. potion we could potion of shame yeah, if we really could, needed to. Could, yeah. <laughs> it is it is monumentally rare. I would say, I would say I've that never the vast majority of us would never die. I actually had there. it happen. You're I probably think. the I'm closest close. I know. Yeah. yeah, but it definitely can happen. I died twice. <laughs> 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 I think like all FF9 runners have probably died to every single boss mm. at some point or another. Yes. So that chest that you saw Steiner walk past is the third ether, but we're gonna just choose to skip it. Ethers sell for a thousand gil, which is definitely nothing to scoff at, but um, because we're already starting at an over 9k uh, gil advantage from the 100 nobles, uh, we don't really need it. So we're seeing here, Vivi and Steiner are conspiring for a special technique, which we're actually gonna be making use of, hopefully not until the boss, but potentially before the boss, but we'll, we'll point it out when we get there. So we're actually on route back to Evil Forest, and uh, it's actually pretty important. We're going to want to keep track of our experience, because like I alluded to before, ideally we want Zidane to be uh, level 4 before the, the boss at the end of the Ice Cave. Um, it is doable at level 3, but uh, you, you run the risk of a slower fight most of the time. So he's going to be keeping track of his encounters here and uh, making sure he can basically... Well, after, well, we'll talk about when we get after the first boss. Well, I'm um, getting two here, so... First encounter check there. So, yeah... We need 101 experience to get to level 4, and I think like 40, 47 for level 3. 45. 45. So or there is... 46, sorry. <laughs> it's somewhere between 45 and 50. Um, but now you can probably see why getting that first encounter before the boss was at Ain't Soul isn't necessarily that bad. So he just got 7 experience on all 3 characters there. Had he gotten the counter with Zidane's Soul, he would have got 23 for Zidane, which is a nice boost to start. As you can probably saw from that first encounter and second encounter, yes. <laughs> uh, the reason why we're so fixated on counters in this game is that they're very, very slow. So loading them alone takes quite a bit of time, and especially at this low level, uh, when we're getting encounters, it's 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 eating away fast. So it, it's one of the main factors in how good your time is in the end, really. You gotta make sure when you get the goblin and fane together, you gotta make sure that Zidane attacks the fane and Steiner attacks the goblin because Steiner can't one shot the. Hey, are you the still fane? gonna equip the, uh, the shirt? Yeah, I'm gonna do it before I get there in case okay. I have to eye drop anyone or cool, something. Cool. So, yeah, Steiner, um, Steiner hits pretty well at this point, but he can't actually one shot fangs without Beast Killer, um, which is an optional menu that some people do, but it's pretty rare. So in an encounter like that, we need to make sure that Zidane is the one attacking the beast and Stein and the goblin. There's a couple points in the run. If you just saw me kind of pop in and out of that screen, but because the threat resets whenever you have a screen transition, if there's like a transition that's on the way to the end of a screen we're traversing through, we'll kind of just duck in and out real quick uh, to reset that threat because it's way quicker than getting an encounter. Yeah, you'll see that a lot. Yeah, so encounters in this game work very differently from FF7 and FF8 event, if you've ever seen a speedrun of that. Um, basically how encounters work in this game is every step you take on a screen that you can get encounters raises your threat level. And threat doesn't really, it's not really the more steps you take to your eventual encounter. Basically the more steps you take, the more likely you are to get an encounter. So it's far less consistent since it is still, it's still random chance at the end. Um, Unlike games like FF7 and FF8, where the, do they do have defined step routes where you can know exactly what you're going to get throughout the game if you take the same amount of steps. Unfortunately, this game doesn't have that. Yeah. There's uh, the uh, Toll Assisted Speedrun. Since, uh, since it knows exactly when the encounters are going to be, it has a few different methods for uh, skipping the encounters. Like you can stop for mm -hmm. a couple frames, or you can bump into the wall and it changes the... The RNG values. Yeah, the, the way the way the RNG works in this game is is very odd because, like Kara said, uh, sometimes even just walking into the wall can change it so that you aren't going to get the encounters. Unfortunately for us, it's 
it's extremely inconsistent and there's really no way for us to know. So people, at least at this time, can't uh, route out a way to make the encounters consistent. On some of the really lawn screens where you almost always will get an encounter if you just run straight through, I'll try to kind of predict, just randomly predict when to stop. <laughs> like on that lawn screen on Ephatria, you know, I'll mm -hmm. try to like stop every few steps. Let's get him, Zwanzig. <laughs> <laughs> now, Garnet is coming pretty close, pretty soon. Uh, you still got a bit. Yeah. Still probably got uh, 15, 15 minutes. 15 about. minutes. Yeah. Baby Grill is currently winning <laughs> for Garnet. Yeah, we'll have to We're going to adjust that because yes. there's too many characters. Yeah. Okay, we, we, we'll, we'll make it work. Yeah, we already talked about it, though. Cool. Yeah. Wendy's is at $100. <laughs> Garnet and Steven, you, you are following right behind there. So, yeah, keep your donations is coming in. So this boss here is probably the first marginally scary boss of the game. Um, nice. What he just had happen there is actually pretty safe, I would say. Um, Plant Brain typically will use one of two moves. He'll either use Pollen, which is what you saw there, which puts Blind on uh, our characters. And uh, otherwise, he'll do Thunder, which can be very dangerous because it, it is possible to kill. That's why you saw him do that quick little menu to give Vivi the Silk Shirt, just for some marathon safety. Uh, he's going to take three attacks here, a fire from Vivi. Fire Sword is actually the ability that Vivi and Steiner were conspiring about back in the uh, and theater it, ship. It cannot miss. And it also can't like miss, Like, because yeah. it's considered a magic attack. You need three. I need, need to do three yeah. with just exactly. the two of them. Or just as a Dane Stoller? Just as a Dane Stoller. Yeah. Yeah. So what they're talking about there, we're going to do a quick menu after this boss, and then we're going into um, a forced encounter with plant spiders. Plant spiders are another bit of RNG, but they're also our main source of getting experience towards the Dane's level four. We're going to be getting between two and four plant spiders, which are those guys jumping out of the hole there. Um, each plant spider nets 22 experience, so um, if we do kill them with the Dane solo, it can be a huge chunk of experience. Right now, he's sitting at 66 on the way left to level 4, so if he does get 3, he can elect to kill everyone off except Zidane, and he will uh, get him to level 4 before we even enter the Ice Cavern. So you're seeing right there the, the use of the Broadsword. It's not actually a good weapon, but it allows us to equip it to Blank to take his Iron Sword for Steiner. Um, if you don't steal it on the previous boss, you can actually buy it in Dolly, but it does require an extra menu to give it to him before one of the bosses. Uh, we did get a first try, so we are doing pretty well. Now we're going to see how many plant spiders he gets and uh, see what he wants to do. This is actually the first major point that requires good decision making, so oh, uh, that's unfortunate. So he needed a minimum of three. Two is actually probably the rarest one, honestly. Um, but we're going to have to take with what we, what we get. Another option you can do other than killing people off is to fire all with Vivi. He can actually kill all of them with one hit. Um, but we're just going to go with Zidane alone just to get him a boost. If we want to get him to level 4, we are going to have to kill an Ice Cavern encounter, but we'll see what we get. So right now we're sitting just a little bit of experience off, but if we do get an encounter in the Ice Cave, we can easily, easily change yeah, that. Yeah, we don't need to do anything. We just change it. So they're going to make... How much is he short? 22. So everyone can be alive. Okay. Yes. Unless it's two cave imps. Yeah, exactly. And then just... Okay. Unless, yeah, yeah. We have calculator strats on the couch. Yeah, shout outs like to it. Chuck. Shout outs to Chuck. He, uh, he, he saw a little teaser of the calculator in the Kingdom Hearts run, and now he's, he's, he's expecting it, but we're, we're, we're happy to deliver it. Oh, yeah. We have $30, by the way, from Ray Dances, <laughs> who says, thanks to all the organizers for putting together such a wonderful event, benefiting such a good cause. Since this game broke my heart by not making Beatrix a permanent, nameable party <laughs> member, I guess this can go towards the Hades vibe. We have $5 from Gavin, who said Final Fantasy IX is an amazing game, my favorite Final Fantasy. It's cool to see a run here. $50 from Anonymous, who said FF9 is the best. My grandma was also the best. <laughs> Therefore, if you love your grandma, you must donate towards making Quinn his name mm, grandma. Ooh. I'm sorry, we can't support that. <laughs> but I will say, I will say, if you guys want to make this an interesting race, you better donate towards grandma, because we've got, we got the whole FF9 community on our back here. Oh, yeah. And frankly, you know, if a meme is losing, they'll put out money. So, so yeah, go ahead. If you, guys want, if you guys want a meme battle, this is it. And I'm sure Zwanzig would love to marry his grandma if it came back. <laughs> <laughs> we have a $25 from Ward, 110, who said, Amazing runs, amazing week. Let's finish up strong. And, yeah, we just inched past $91,000 right now. So let's keep going towards that 100 k 
$14 from Anonymous. They say Nyla for Garnet 2017. What happens in Cygnus X1 stays in Cygnus X1? Cygnus. I don't know. <laughs> it's a reference. I mean, you say what you want to say, man. You're the donation reader. You make the rules. Got you. Yeah, that's right. It's my pronunciation. I say Cygnus. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> so, our, our party members made their big escape from Evil Force there. Unfortunately, we lost Blank in the process, which is uh, something that's going to come up a bit later in Disc 2. Um, this, the forest basically petrified itself, and he got caught in the crossfire. Um, at this point, in, in just a minute here, we're actually going to be seeing our first of several mandatory tutorial Moogles. Uh, you may have read through it when you played the game <coughs> casually. It kind of just gives you little bits of teasers of uh, how the game works and how the mechanics work and stuff. Uh, unfortunately, we're speedrunners, so we're going to try to master it as fast as we can. I but, prefer. Uh, he's my favorite Moogle because he's really arrogant. Yeah, I mean, we can we can chat him up. He's kind of want. awesome. It's not like we had a seven-minute mage master or something. <laughs> oh, everybody in chat is really sad about Blink, by the oh, way. Oh, Rip Blink. Don't worry, don't worry. Don't spoiler worry. alert. Stick but, around. Spoiler alert, but we 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 got our we got our boy. So ah, gotcha. Cool. We do have a little bit of a lull in donations. Uh, so just as a quick recap, we do have the Hades fight that still needs to be met. Uh, that one we're aiming for $10,000, and it looks like we're getting close to 1000 on that already, which is pretty impressive. So keep that coming in, and we still have plenty of names. Garnet coming up right next. So this, nice. is, this, this is actually harder <laughs> than it looks. Uh, okay. So it's very, to take it from me, it's very, very easy to just mash directly into that first help. And, and it has... It has a weird mechanic where when you do one, then it, the cursor will go down to the yeah. next one automatically. And so if you mess it up, you'll be like, you'll try to like get out of it, but you'll be like stuck in this <laughs> yeah. loop where you think you're going to where you need to go. The best way to do it is to press, press circle. Cancel. Yeah, yeah, you can press cancel to get to the bottom, but it has a funny way of once you've done it once, you honestly might as well just talk to him the whole time because you're not getting out of there anytime soon. So this is our first instance of the world map. Uh, something that's going to come up later, if you see that the Miss Continent um, is up on the screen there. Anytime that you see a title card like that on the world map, you're actually not able to get encounters. So he's able to just run right through. We do have a method of, of avoiding encounters, which we can talk about in about 10 minutes from now, but um, fortunately for us, we can just run right through this time. We have $100 from Jeffrey. He says, Ooh, thank you see. all for okay. putting on a great event, and thank you for supporting our great cause in NAMI. Hope to catch one of these events in person one of these days. Donations toward Brosentia's <laughs> choice. Keep those puns coming. And my choice is to go name Quinna Grandma. Oh. Yeah, you know it. Okay? <laughs> all right, chat, listen. This is a plea. If you like memes, you will donate to name Quinna Hollow. It's very important. <laughs> And if you love crushing memes, you'll donate to name Quinn a grandma. Mm. So, you just sound so disappointed. I mean... If okay. you knew Hollow, okay. you'd understand. <laughs> <laughs> Hollow is probably the biggest memer in the he FF9 is community. A meme. And Zwanzig is probably one of the more reserved people in the community. That is a stretch. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he is, he's very OG. If you knew these two, you would understand why this is important. <laughs> All right, so I, I'm saving now. I, I waited until after the cutscene so that if I do die, I don't have to watch it again. Yeah, and, and it, had he wanted to save before uh, entering the ice cave, he actually would have had to wait until that title card disappears. Um, so it's pretty much easier to just get the cutscene out of the way and back out. By the way, Grandma is only losing by $12. Uh -oh. so. game, <laughs> game on. Listen, Kayosh, I know you're listening. You gotta get your French buddies on this, okay? <laughs> S'il vous plaît. <laughs> All right, so on the first screen here, he's gonna be picking up a tent. Uh, tents are good because they sell for a decent amount of money, and there's also a boss upcoming who K-Rob alluded to being his, uh, uh, the scariest boss in disc one. We're actually gonna be using a strat that involves tents, but we can talk about that more when we get there. You gotta wait for that mist, because if you run into the mist, you get an encounter. And not a encounter that we want to fight. Yeah, the, the encounters in here are pretty consistent, but you do get some bizarre ones if you do run into the mist. Uh, there's a couple points where we have to run past or wait for them to subside. Level 3 sea lion hype? Yeah, we'll do it. Yeah, just do it. You got it. So level 4 is... Uh, I wouldn't say it's necessarily safer, 
This next fight that's coming is really all just about knowing damage rolls. So he needs to know how much damage he can take at any one time and uh, heal accordingly. So at level 3, you only have 160 health, and at level 4, you have 199. So that makes a big difference. And in addition to that, level 3 has uh, a damage roll range from 84... 84 80, to 96. 84 to 96. And then level 4 is 88 to 100. So basically, you have one damage range, or one damage roll below or one damage roll above, respectively. Um, Fortunately, level 3 Zidane on this fight is a lot safer on the NA version. Yes. Because uh, one of the big differences between the NA and the Japanese version is some of the bosses in the Japanese version have an elemental boost of one and a half times damage. So um, the tsunami that Sea Lion does actually does way more damage on Japanese version. So doing level three in that version is incredibly risky, and this version it's not quite as risky. Yeah, this fight this fight really isn't actually that risky on, on level three in this version. Um, really, the main thing he's going to want to look out for is phase one, because as you're going to see, um, this is basically our first of several Black Waltz fights. Uh, and we're going to have two bosses at the beginning. So he's going. what he's going to be doing is trying to kill off Black Waltz immediately because we don't want two people attacking us, especially with our low health pool. Um, additionally, if we attack Sea Lion directly before Black Waltz is, uh, is down, we're going to, he's just going to heal him up. So our first, uh, first objective is to get him down. Now, fortunately, there's no damage rolls that we need to worry about for Black Waltz because he's just going to take three hits regardless of our level. Um, but he does have to be very aware of damage ranges. It is very possible he might have to heal before Black Waltz is down. This is one of the disadvantages to being level three. Good start. So if he does get the attack off before Sea Lion... Yeah, standard. Yeah, so 36 is nice. the worst damage roll. Uh, he did get the attack off before Black Waltz. Unfortunately... <laughs> silk burns easy. Yeah, as you saw, he did put on the Silk shirt. There's a couple of advantages and one disadvantage is that he takes more damage from fire. But there is the advantage, and he only takes 16 damage from wing there. I believe that's the lowest damage roll. Mm. This helps a lot for level 3 because we don't have enough health. Fire is a faster animation than Blizzard, though. Yeah. This is the last hit, right? Yep. I think he's doing wing, yeah. Okay. So the numbers we want to keep in mind in our head are for right now are 36. 36 is the max damage roll that he can do. Uh, so he has 40, and this might look scary, but uh, he, it's actually 100% safe. So as Kara can probably explain to us now, the, first, the gem on his chest right now is blue. It's blue. It's blue. That basically means he's in his first state. Uh, after two attacks, he's going to counter with Blizzara. Blizzara is his first of two big attacks. Um, oh, that's good. That's good luck. Nice. So... The number that he needs to keep in mind here is 99. The max damage he can take right now is uh, would be I'm 60. I'm going to have to get lucky. Yeah, he needs to have 100 health right here or he can't take. Yeah, so he's got to heal here. Um, the max damage roll for Blizzard is 63, and the max damage of Blizzard is 36. So the worst case scenario for this counter plus attack is 99 damage. It's important to note that because it's a counter, it actually doesn't consume a turn. So he will get two turns. So that's why we have to be extra aware here. So he's going to attack here, and the gem's going to change. That's how we know he's about to counter here. <laughs> it's or not even close to the same. He counters, you know. <laughs> you just count damage. <laughs> I'm too busy looking at the calculator. To <laughs> Fair enough. Orb. So he got pretty good luck there. He's able to do attacks. The next attack is going to be his big move. He's going to be doing Tsunami. The number in mind he wants to keep is 117. That's the max damage he can take, because it's uh, 81 damage for Tsunami and 36 for Blizzard. We always want to keep in mind the worst case scenario because we don't want to die needlessly. This fight seems very scary when you're first starting to learn the game, but it's actually totally consistent, barring any miss shenanigans. Hopefully I didn't jinx. Hey, there's another person that didn't know that the gem changed. <laughs> Reinhawk. Listen, Kara, they, they, don't, they didn't speed run the game for five years, okay? <laughs> you were sending VHS tapes of FF9 to SDA. This is not, this is not whoa, the same, whoa. same thing. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> that wasn't me. <laughs> So he's probably going to have to heal once more, but uh, yeah. Sea Lion's going to be two hits away. So uh, luckily for us, we are pretty much in the home stretch now. Now, we talked about Trance a while ago. This is probably the first fight that you can genuinely get Trance on. Um, as you can see, our bar's not really that yeah, close to full. it's actually pretty low for where this point of the run is. Uh, but that pretty much speaks to the randomness of the Trance bar. Uh, it's very... It, I wouldn't say it's uncommon at all, the Trance here. 
Um, fortunately for us, we are good. The only time that Trance would actually be useful is if we get it before Tsunami. If we do get it before Tsunami, we can use one of Zidane's uh, special attacks and kill him with skipping the animation of Tsunami, which is quite nice. Yeah. I actually just got a gold split on Sea Lion uh, my last run, I think. The Trance? With, with uh, pre-Tsunami Trance, yeah. That is also one of the ways, one of only two ways, really, to beat Sea Lion at level 3 in the Japanese version. Um, because I believe Tsunami alone does 117 in the Japanese it's 117, version. or no, I think you can do it. 121. I think, I believe the max damage for Tsunami in the Japanese version is around 150, so the only way that you can actually beat it at level 3 with 160 health is to either trance and skip all the Tsunami stuff, or he needs to, you need to heal and have him miss immediately thereafter. Luckily for well, us, we don't have to deal with, with that. With Silk so. and Wing, mm -hmm. you can survive you one can attack. Survive, yeah. Okay, so it's a little bit, it's a little bit of a, uh, a better window than originally thought. So we're going to be making our exit from the Ice Cavern here. This is one of the bigger places where encounters can waste time, but it's also a good chance for us to get some levels if we do get the encounters and some extra money. We are, however, we were showered with Guild by the Nobles, so we don't even need the money. So he's going to take the uh, Silk Shirt off there because uh, the next fight actually utilizes fire, potentially. So um, Zidane taking less damage from that is actually very favorable for us. So he got through the first couple screens, and he's on the last one here. And, oh, mm. one encounter is fine. <laughs> this is actually, because uh, Steiner's level one still, I think. I think he's he's two. Two. Is he two? Yeah. I was looking whenever I changed the... Do you need oh, Steiner right, level yeah, three two. or level yeah. two? Two is fine. Okay. So because of our... Uh, well, actually, he probably would have done this anyway, but because of our level situation, this being a marathon, we're going to choose to kill. Um, you do have two options on this fight, is either to flee or fire all with Vivi. Vivi actually had uh, the best ATB anyway, so this is probably the best scenario for us, regardless. Yeah, because then everyone got, like, and I have level 4 and level 3. Anyway. Yeah, so everybody leveled up. Uh, it's actually not really a bad thing, because... Um, next fight can be kind of trolly. Yeah, the next fight can be kind of trolly, and the fight after that is very, very reliant on damage rolls, so we're going to take any extra help we can get. All right, we're going to need Garnet's name really all sh right here. All right, that should be cut off now. And Garnet's name, as a matter of fact, is going to be Baby Grill. Baby Grill. <laughs> all right, all right. So this <laughs> is going to have to be. We're going to do B B Y G R I L. Yeah. I think that's good. Capital G. Yep, that's fine. Yeah, good. I have a lot of donations. Yep, not yeah, go ahead. Cool. We have twenty dollars from Anonymous. They say, "I know I love my grandma." Hashtag <laughs> Quina is grandma. Oh, and by no. the way, grandma is in the lead right oh, now. Oh, okay. Listen, uh, listen. <laughs> Grandma's in the lead now. You guys got to start making this a war and getting Hollow back up there. <laughs> this, it's, it's for Nami, okay? So get your donations in. We need Hollow to be Quinna. This is very important. <laughs> we have $3 from Callus who says, Hollow is best meme. Hollow face. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Callus. Soldier Hawk gave $5 and said, Alolan donations? I don't think so. Go kick Katie's butt. 100K HO. Not sure what the HO means, but okay. Oh, ho. 100k ho. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's, it's, a, it's, it's a variant fun. on hype, okay? Yeah, I mean, yeah. maybe he ran out of space. It's possible. Yeah. You've got like 10 characters. I mean, he can, al he, he can always throw in another one and clarify and put it towards the naming Quinn Hall. <laughs> I mean, that's an well, option. It is an option. One I think word it's the per best donation option. message. <laughs> $5.55 from Spif Spifatron, who says, Grandma vibes, best vibes. <laughs> Are you going to do the uh, the YOLO run here? I'm not going to do the Karakarn <laughs> YOLO run. All right, Although so I have done it in the past. So we'll have more time for donations We're in a moment. Quite a here, high success rate, surprisingly. So if you remember us talking about the threat level, so again, just to clarify, as you move, uh, your threat level increases and makes you more likely to get an encounter. Um, a strange phenomenon with the code of this game is anytime you're on the world map, if you do this weird movement here, this is what we call stutter stepping, it's basically rhythmically tapping the D-pad and taking tiny steps. The reason why he does this is the tiny steps don't increase your threat level, so it basically makes it nearly impossible to get an encounter if you're doing it properly. It is still technically possible, but it's extremely rare, so if you are doing it properly, you are very unlikely to see an encounter. Fortunately and unfortunately, this does not work outside of the world map. Uh, this run would be very different if you saw us stutter stepping <laughs> the yeah, entire game. It's been tested, but it just it just doesn't work. No, the only guy that would be good at that run is sitting on the couch right there, because no one else would have the stamina to do that. <laughs> you probably have time for a few more donations. Cool, cool. 
We've got a $5 donation from Dargon who said, Hollow Grandma? Why don't we call Quinn a what face in honor of everyone's <laughs> reaction? <laughs> Kelladorn gave $25 and said, Thanks for letting me hang out with you guys. Mental illness had has had a big effect on my life, from my sibling with crippling mental illnesses to my own struggles. This $25 goes to Hades. It is in honor of my high school friend Greg, who lost his battle with depression two weeks ago. He was a big fan of RPGs. Rest in peace, my friend. We have $3 from Anonymous who said, This is a belated revenge against those awful, awful guys who keep pushing the demon chocobo. Down with memes. Up with grandma. <laughs> that is the biggest sneeze of my life. I mean, you could have given us a verbal warning instead of just the towel. Of it. it was like coming. I mean, we could have muted you. Yeah, yeah but rip headphone users. <laughs> I don't even feel bad. Chad is freaking out. I hope you're happy. Their ears are less important than my allergies. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Poor Chad. Poor Chad. Just kidding, guys. We need to mobilize chat for all, okay? You can't <laughs> alienate our biggest ally right now, okay? <coughs> okay, we've got Control Alt who gave $10 and said, Hey, Brosentia, what do you call a flood of donations to support mental health awareness, support and advocacy? A tsunami. Ooh. Oh, and with Nami at the end. Okay, oh, I like nice. that. I like that. $5 from an anonymous, they say, Hashtag Quina is grandma. This is uh, legit coming quickly. <laughs> Ebling gave $25 and said, Final Fantasy IX was always my favorite Final Fantasy. Lighthearted and lovable cast won me over instantly. The deep emotional storytelling and delicately handled character arcs caught me off guard, left a huge impression on my young brain. Oh, and the cutscenes in this game are the hypest thing to ever be put on a PS1 game. Thanks for running this amazing game for such a good cause. So you're going to see him running around the town here. The game wants you to explore the town and sort of see what's what. This is the first sort of uh, first sort of town you visited in the game. Uh, we don't really need to do that. Uh, I don't know if anyone knows about the specifics of the triggers here, but you can basically advance the story just by entering that um, that garden patch and entering the building twice. So that's why he's doing this strange movement. Yeah, you're, it you're supposed to like see Garnet at some point, and then she appears in the shop, and we kind of just make it so that she's in the shop when we finish here. Yeah, you're supposed to visit three places, but uh, going into the that the building tavern, twice. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently, on PC version, the going the garden three times is faster, but I don't know. Yeah, the PC version, PC version has a lot, a lot better load. So uh, he's going to be going into the shop here. We're going to see uh, our baby grill. <laughs> our baby, <laughs> I'll let it sit there for a second. Baby there you go. <laughs> grill. Baby grill. Um, I'm going to do seven. Do seven. Yeah, we'll do seven. So what he's asking, we're going to do our first shop in the game here. Um, he's going to be buying a few things, the most important of which is he's going to be buying uh, a bunch of wrists. Wrists are going to be used to get our main money source in the early game, and we're going to be synthing cotton robes. Um, if you play this game casually, you actually might know about this trick, but um, cotton robes are a peculiar item that actually costs less to make than they do to sell. So because we got 100 nobles, we're actually able to buy an extra uh, synth items. So normally we would synth four, but because he got 100 nobles, we're going to actually synth seven cotton robes. This gives us a lot of money to play with early on and uh, pretty much sets us up for a while. We've got a dollar from Kaishura, who uh, is actually helping with the Twitter this year. She said, it's not much, but I need to donate during the run of the game that essentially got me watching Twitch and was one of the many reasons I started speedrunning myself. Now, everyone, please turn and look at the meanest American at RPGLB and give him a look. I, and whatever you look like, unless he's not there, then oh well. I don't know. I've, Someone get him to come in here, and we'll just all just... Who's the meanest American? Just find the first guy out in the practice room. We'll the first guy you. in the practice yeah. room. <laughs> what if he's not American? Hopefully it's Bowie. Yeah. I mean, it's Bowie. <laughs> or Sarah. If you're, if you're in America, you're American. Somebody okay? needs to go get Sarah. Oh, and <laughs> that donation also went towards Grandma, just of FYI. I'm sorry, Sarah. <laughs> so, <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> Uh, Steiner's showing how noble he is here. He's helping this girl with her shop. Uh, we're going to be controlling him in a moment. He, since he's separated from the other the other members of our group. Uh, <laughs> or, sir, what do we name Steiner? Arby's, sorry. Arby's is, uh, is uh, going 
going to be quite a comical character throughout the run. So I, uh, I hope, I hope that the establishment is happy. Oh yeah, yeah. I think so. NPC gave five dollars and said, "I choose see Grandma as Quinn's name." <laughs> oh no! Can, can we get an update on that? Uh, sure. <laughs> You have a feeling that something uh, uh, is in the lead right I now. I have I have a sinking feeling. <laughs> Grandma is winning by thirteen dollars. Okay, okay, okay. Good on you. Good on you. Like still doable, still doable. Uh, I've got twenty dollars from Justin Young. He uh, uh, said, "This is who we are. This is who I am." I. This is a Steven Universe song. I can. You can guess where that went. Can for you the sing donation. it? Uh, do you know the Do you know the show? I mean, I do know it, but it's like. It would take like a couple minutes to sing all of this. It's a pretty I long mean, comment. I th mean, this game's all cutscenes. We got time. <laughs> Don't worry. You, nah, I'm, okay. I, so I think our I'm friend Swanzig's actually been kidnapped, and we're, <laughs> we're trying to find him. <laughs> and naturally, uh, like you would expect, he's in this cellar. It's kind oh. of like <laughs> like you would expect. He's in a cellar. Yeah. I mean, he's Dutch, so. <laughs> We've got Soldier Hawk who gave five dollars and said, "Ho interjection one, used to call used as a call to attract attention. Sometimes specifically used after a word denoting a destination. Westward ho, land ho, also Thundercats ho, Nami and naming Quinn a hollow ho." Thank you, my man. Oh boy. Rally ho. So this is the first uh, the first time we see sort of the strange underpinnings of what's going on with the uh, the enemies of the game. Phoebe's been kidnapped because he resembles the black mages, not unlike the one that we fought back with Sea Lion in the Ice Cavern. Um, we're about to see that mages are actually being mass produced down here, which is uh, <laughs> needless to say has startled our poor friend Zwanzig <laughs> for seeing his likeness uh, being mass produced in some basement in Dolly. He's going to do a quick safety save here. The next fight is deceptively complicated, so uh, he's just going to do a little save here to make sure that nothing goes wrong. Hi. <laughs> Unlike Zwanzig, the Moogle actually enjoys being in small spaces, so <laughs> he, he's fine, don't worry. So we're looking around for Zwanzig down here, and uh, obviously we hear someone crying, and so we know it's we him. We know it's Zwanzig, for sure. Zwanzig? <laughs> it is you. So, <laughs> Kyosh is going to be teaching Zwanzig about how to be more forceful. This is not like a conversation that Mutsky and I have. I'm Canadian. <laughs> he had to teach me how to be more rude like the American way, so yeah. <laughs> this, this is pretty much the same conversation we had on day one, honestly. So he's introduced him to the word scumbag. Yeah. I can say you learned pretty well. Yeah, I mean, oh. <laughs> it's what we do. Okay, so uh, we, get, we got a very important skip coming up. <laughs> you know this one, right? This is about as important as puck skip. I got so it perfectly this is mandatory. earlier. Just give a quick shout out to another runner named Kawhi who for some reason really likes this skip. What he's going to do is, well, I'll tell you after. Oh, that, that was no, so that was the no, worst. No, no. That was the no, worst. You that was slower. Mate. Oh, you man. sit. You need to. Oh. Can I do it again? No, <laughs> you can't. So, oh. Oh. what you put? <laughs> I, I honestly have no words for what I just saw. <laughs> <laughs> so, what we used to do is. Oh, Kawhi's really, really unhappy with He's, you right now. He is livid. That that's. So anyway, wh what normally happens, you'd run down and Zidane slides because he's sort of doing a double take on what he's seeing there. If you press the walk button right as you reach the trigger where he's about to slide, it'll actually just stop immediately and turn. It saves half a second at most, but um, honestly, he probably lost time because he, no, he started walking yeah, like, I went way too early. like three hours you before and the got the You can just hold the, the button and walk. Yeah, but and it works. if you're not going for the frame perfect skip, what are you doing? Yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> I know. You know. <laughs> so we're controlling Steiner here. We're going to pick up a few things, uh, just some money stuff. You actually have to w make sure that you wait until Morid is like on, what is this, the seventh like a, step? The sixth or seventh, yeah. Before you go in, or else uh, he'll actually not come in. Uh, you have to exit and re-enter. 
Yeah, you actually, getting those two pickups is is totally free because like her alluded to, you actually can't enter straight away anyway. So even if we made a beeline straight for the house, uh, it wouldn't be it wouldn't be possible anyway. So we have to wait, so we might as well get some items. This is also the first en or the first NPC where you can accidentally challenge to cards. Uh, I don't know if we mentioned, but mashing in this game fortunately allows you to mash with two buttons. Um, you can mash with your confirm button, which defaults to X, as well as square. Square is actually the button you use to challenge NPC to cards. So uh, if you're not paying attention, that's actually the first time that this really can happen. See? Oh, wow. You probably have time for two or three donations for okay. this boss. Sounds good. Anonymous gave $150 and said, can't pass up an opportunity to crush a meme. Oh, no. Oh, boy. That went to grandma. Oh. That was 150 bucks. Listen, I know there's memers out there with fat stacks. You got to help us out. <laughs> Waluigi gave $10 and said, wee, bahalo. <laughs> That's good. Carrie Wooten uh, gave $25 and said, this one's for you, grandma. <laughs> Anonymous gave $14 and said, I want to see what will happen when Hollow gets its chance. We have t $20 from Anonymous. Donation goes to Runner's Choice Hollow Face. Oh, you, you know. You already they know. Already know. <laughs> 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 All right. So this upcoming boss is deceptively complicated. It's probably the most complicated boss in Disc 1. It's also my admittedly worst boss in yeah. Disc 1. This I wouldn't say this is necessarily a regular game over occurrence, but it's yeah I shouldn't game over, but I'm just bad at it. It's very easy to do. Um, so th this is the sec this is the same enemy that we fought back in the ice cap. This is the second occurrence of him. So the first thing we're going to be keeping an eye out for is Zidane's ATV as well as the rest of the party. We're going to be trying to get an ATV weighted attack off straight away because we are able to do so. Like that. Nice. Like that. So you actually have a lot more leeway than it seems like <laughs> since this animation is really long. Uh, he always goes first, by the way. Yes, so. he does always go first. So doing this is going to allow us to get another attack off. You're probably fine. So he's going to get the second attack off. At the point that he's at now, he's very close to being below the threshold where he's going to counter with his big move. His big move is Fyra. It's going to do a lot of damage. It's the main reason why we... Uh, I'd probably heal. heal We're going to do it after. Okay. So... It is possible to skip this. He's going to counter here with Fyra. Um, they never die. He might die. We'll see. Ooh. Okay, so we're good. So it's possible to skip. The way that that move works is when he gets below a certain threshold, he's actually going to counter with that move. If you kill off one of the party members, uh, the, well, let me back up. The party member that he attacks after he gets to that threshold, uh, if you kill them off and then attack, he actually won't do it at all. But just the way that the ATB works in this game. Um, the way that it was set up here, it was actually more favorable for him to just tank it, um, which is why he wanted to remove the Silk Shirt off Zidane, because the Silk Shirt would make him take 1.5 damage. All in all, that was actually a pretty good fight. You can actually get two Ether Drops from there, which is uh, nice for money, but uh, unfortunately we only got one, but we should be fine anyway. We got 100 nobles. We got 100 nobles. By the way, when is the next name coming? Uh, up? It'll be in the next big city, which is... Probably 15 minutes? Yeah, 15, 15 or 20 minutes. It'll be Freya. Freya, gotcha. Okay, we do have $25 from Phoenix, 158 SDA, who said memes must win. <laughs> yes. Yes. I agree. So one of you two OG runners want to talk about that uh, text box right there with the soft lock. Oh, yes. Um, <laughs> so there's... There's some weird soft lock there where if you select the second option there too quickly... It well, yeah, like I could have said it, it will soft lock. <laughs> um, before I knew exactly what triggered it, I, I actually did two runs in a row. I, I got the soft lock on two runs in a row. I got once. it quite frequently. <laughs> do you, do you guys know what it is that makes it soft lock? Like I think it's just because the game. Okay, it's it's doing the animation of Zidane's nodding and Steiner's nodding, and then you're opted like you're given the two options to choose from, and if you choose your option to leave before the animation is finished, it then finishes the animation, and I think it's waiting for you to choose your option at that point. Yeah. That's kind of what how I figured it. I think you have to wait, was it 30 frames? Or like, like yeah, 20 you something a little frames? Bit you were talking about there's a movement animation. Does that have anything to do with it? Right before the text box appears? What do you mean? Oh uh, yeah, like Steiner and Zidane kind of nod their heads, and I just kind of wait for it to finish entirely before I pick now. 
By the way, since we have the Freya name incentive coming up, Mr. MV is winning with $255, but Ken is not too far behind at 188. So, Mr. MV again, a great member of the French community, but let's see what Ken is able to do. So this next screen, I don't know if you guys know more about this. This is something that I actually just found out recently. Here this next screen does have a bit of strange RNG. So if you note the position of that black mage, Vivi has to walk to and from him to talk to us. Oh, we got the good look. That's good luck. <laughs> so he can actually be in, I think, three positions. That is the first time I've ever seen the good movement. That probably makes <laughs> up for the mage, mage masher. Yeah, <laughs> all three seconds of it. So. <laughs> Most of the, like, 90% of the, 95% of the time, the Black Mage just stays there. And then sometimes he'll move back towards the back, and then sometimes he'll move closer. Mm. So, yeah, the that movement where he came closer, Vivi had less time to walk to the the party. So that saves, I don't know how much time. Saves a few seconds. It, it saves, it saves seconds. quite a bit of time, actually, for what it is. It's amazing. It's the first time I've seen that. Also, I'm really proud of you for not talking to Garnet a bunch of times, Gav. <laughs> <laughs> Making hollow proud. <laughs> I hope he's watching right now. Hope he realizes how much money he's raising, how much his memes are raising for charity. Probably the one good thing he's ever done in his life. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's fine. If you knew Hollow, it's fine. Oh, it's fine. It's okay. We love you, Hollow. We love you, Hollow. You're the best. But we do have $5 from Ravine92 mm -hmm. who says, I really love my grandma. She has raised me since I was three years old, and she supported me all these years through music ga and game art, money for grandma. We are both supporting each other from the sudden loss of my father. Thank you, GDQ, for naming the Red Mage Todd. It means a whole lot. My father got me into these classic Final Fantasy games. But we do also have Reggae Shock, who gave $50 and said, don't let your memes be dreams. And that was for Hollow. Of course it was. I'm waiting yes. for someone whose grandmother's name is Hollow, and they're really conflicted. <laughs> <laughs> I'm How many grandmas are named Hollow? <laughs> I mean, there's got to be one. one, yeah. Okay, so if you're watching and your grandma's named Hollow, please donate and let us know. Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll be fair. You can donate to whoever's in last. If Just let me know what's Hollow. going through your mind right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for real talk, Hollow is actually a really good friend of ours. Uh, he was supposed to be here, but he did. Uh, he well, got a new job. And yeah, fortunately and unfortunately, he got a new job. So he's fortunately, he's unfortunately, unfortunately for us, he's actually doing him. something productive right now. Yeah. <laughs> what is he thinking? We're playing FF9, like. So yeah, uh, he's a really good friend of ours, but he is a memer, so yeah, donate for Quinn Hollow. We do have $10 from Anonymous who says, hey Mutsky, was it Hans that taught you how to fly? <laughs> of course it was. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's from, raise your hand if you get the reference. No, literally <laughs> nobody. <laughs> Did you guys, none of you, how many of you grew up in America? Most of you just like I, you? Yeah. It is from Mighty Ducks 2. The Wait. captain of the Mighty Ducks is like, it was Hans who taught <laughs> us to fly. Wow. <laughs> that is beautiful. Uh. Dineri gave $50 and said, shout out to my boy Toju. First time watching FF9. Don't disappoint. Thanks, Neil. I want to hear a little bit of this music. It's good. Web said. And lots of... Bible thumps in the chat here. <laughs> oh, yeah, tons of Bible thumps. And some web sads also. Of course. Yeah, the web sad. As you know, we Webster, uh, uh, another friend of the community, also has a, he has an emote of the, uh, that face that Vivi makes when all this is happening, which is very, very sad. I like how Zidane's like trying to console Garnet. He's like, hey, baby Grim. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I got this. He's named Kyosh, and we all know French are good with the ladies, so. I like, I like to imagine Kyosh is probably a ladies' man in real life. Don't cry, baby Grill. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we have $5 from Retro92 who says, hey. don't let our memes be dreams, hollow face forever. Thank Thanks, you, Lisa. Lisa. All right, so this is the third uh, third and final time we're going to be fighting Black Waltz in Disc 1 here. Um, this fight is pretty scripted. The only bit of RNG here is how much damage our party members are going to do, which will save a bit of time if we get good luck. He's going to be attacking really quickly here with Zidane because it's going to force him to go up in the air, uh, which we which we want. So it like bypasses his turn. Yeah. And so uh, then Zidane gets to go again. So we're going to be 
queuing, basically queuing attacks with Fire Sword and Fire here because they can't miss. Zidane actually can't hit him when he's in the air like this. Uh, so we're going to be relying on Steiner and Vivi to get good damage rolls. 250 is, yeah. 250 is what average. We want to see 189s and okay. 270s okay. ideally, respectively, for Vivi and Steiner. Uh, the bit of RNG that we're worrying about is similar to what you saw on Prison Cage, where Zidane, uh, Zidane's transbar depleted and we had to watch the animation. If we get good damage rolls, we're actually only going to see one fire from Vivi at the end here. I think we're going to be this seeing is, both. Yeah, if you see both, you have to watch the D-trans animation. So you end up wasting about 20 seconds. You also did a steal there for good measure. There's a few things that you can get. Two of them are stuff that we would just sell. Two for it. We're watching man. the D-trans. Uh, yeah, so the steeple hat is something that we're going to be using for synths, so it actually does save us a little bit of money. Uh, so we'll have to buy less steepled hats when we get into the next shop menu. Another thing to note, if you do forget to give Vivi a silk shirt for this fight, he actually is in bad shape for that thunder uh, if he's under-leveled. So. Wow, not even sub-130 Black Waltz 3. Rip. Thanks, man. By the way, Hollow is now winning by about 45 bucks. Yeah! yeah. But I'm sure all the grandmas out there are just raging. It's because Grandma Hollow hasn't come in yet. <laughs> Grandma Hollow is going to be donating in just a sec. I can feel it. So how many do I need to buy? Eight? You need to buy six normally? Yeah, well, if you got seven risks, you so, went by nine. So, but I, and I got the steel. So, so eight. eight? Oh. Yeah. I'd like yeah, to know I how you don't do the uh, extra steeple hat menu. In the I'd like to know how many grandmas are in chat right now. You if you're a grandma in chat, go ahead uh, and... Donate for Hollow. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, all the grandmas in chat. I'm looking at chat. I want to see all the grandmas in chat. Please say hi to me. You may say... Mm -hmm. What's that emote? Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Yeah. Hey, guys. There we go. Oh, I'm seeing some grandmas. Yeah. Good. I actually would really like Hollow's grandma to donate towards <laughs> naming Hollow. Or with... Whoa. I mean, what would she do? That's so if meta. She, if, she's, if she's vain, would she <laughs> donate for herself? Well, I think actually this entire chat is grandmas, okay? I mean, this seems unlikely. I'm ca I'm calling their bluff. I don't think they're all grandmas. I I don't know. They'll have to donate to show us. I mean, you guys, you're, we're gonna need proof. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna take a break here. We do have a hundred dollars from Anonymous that went towards the Hades fight, which again we still have a lot to go for that. Five dollars from Ugo, who said for Hollow and the good old Final Fantasy IX community, love y'all. And Snesterday gave fifty dollars. Yeah, <laughs> boy. Said Ugh. you all realize that you're calling Quinn a grandma, right? Don't make your grandma a meme. I know I wouldn't want Swanzig marrying my grandma. <laughs> That's right. Ducks fly together. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know who that Adonis donation was that was painfully aware that I would get the Mighty Ducks quote. <laughs> <laughs> We do have a $100 donation from Anonymous who says, I love my grandma. Oh, boy. This is being a really fun bid war, by can, the way. Can we get totals for both? I'm curious how much this has raised so, so far. So, grandma is at $624.55. <laughs> Hollow is at $571.18. Oh, my God. Grandma is winning right now. If there's anything we've learned, memes raise the most money for charity. <laughs> you know it. <laughs> Kyle's little monster gave one dollar and said, "Hey, bro, sent you hollow face." Wow, one dollar. Okay, just, just to not let me get my grandma. Mm. That's okay. That's okay. Keep those one dollar donations coming in, and any of the donations. By the way, we do have some prizes during this game. Final Fantasy IX was donated by Alec K47. Uh, if you donate at least $5, you can go ahead and be eligible for that. Just to clarify, that is the PlayStation version. Also, The Sky, The Art of Final Fantasy Book Three, was donated by Dan God of Thunder. If you donate at least $5, you're eligible to possibly win that. And then there's the Nintendo Switch and Zelda. If you donate at least $25, you are in the running to win that. So unfortunately what we're entering here is one of uh, just a few sort of long stretches of dialogue. So this is uh, one of the big downtimes in the run. Um, it's fortunately the only one in disc one, but we will have a couple more. In the game, it's actually called Limblum. But in the community, it's called Plot City. 
<laughs> this is probably. Did you say this is the longest of all the plot um, segments? It's definitely yeah, up there. It's up there. Yeah. There's like one pretty brutal one in each disc for the most part. There's a few tech and uh, a little bit of tech and uh, menu that we can talk about, but uh, pretty much just cruising for the next little bit. We also will have Freya's name coming up in about probably like five to ten. Five to ten minutes or so. Cool. So five to ten minutes, Freya. By the way, uh, it's still Mr. MV. It looks like <laughs> that is winning of that name right now. But Ken is not too far behind. About seventy, uh, sixty-seven dollars. It looks like specifically. So yeah, during Plot City, we're running a little bit low on donation comments. So please keep those coming in. So if you want to, if you want to fill up some time, I hear Broshenta like likes puns. So maybe maybe when you're donating towards naming uh, Quinn Hollow, you can send him in your best pun. Or uh, I don't know. Here's the deal: I want original puns, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. Like none of this. Uh, the, you know, I finally donated. It's like, that's not, that's barely a pun, okay? Like, give me the most original thing that you can come up with related to the game, okay? If you can make it involve hollow, bonus If you points. can involve hollow, yeah, I'll, I'll give you a gold star. I'll give you an imaginary moderation job in chat. <laughs> you don't get a sword, and you have no it's power. Like, it's like a plastic sheriff badge you get for the police. <laughs> <laughs> you can wear it wherever you want. <laughs> grandma puns. Ooh, grandma oh. puns would also be okay. And extra style points if you have grandma hollow puns. Oh. I mean, you got to really step your game up for that, though. <laughs> Creative Ellie gave $5 and said, Amazing event, awesome people, and great cause. Good luck with the finale, guys. Oh, and Creative Ellie ran Final Fantasy VII earlier. Thank you so much. Thanks, Ellie. Odin's Fall gave $5 and said, Officially broke, worth it. You know it. This is for Quinna being called hollow. Best yes. of luck, guys, and light the candle. <laughs> Thanks, Odin. Yeah. Shoutouts to Ellie and Odin. Yeah. Yeah. Both, both good dudes, good FF runners. Coro Escor gave $5 and said, Chat Spam Quina. <laughs> and I don't see any puns yet, but I have a bad feeling. I'd just like to say I saw the tracker go by. I can appreciate that someone donated, I think in third, $10 to name Quina. <laughs> Quinoa. Quinoa. <laughs> Which I prefer to pronounce Th Quino. <laughs> that, that's, that's pretty creative. I gotta give props. I do like que Quinoa, yeah. Quinoa? Quinoa. Quinoa. <laughs> have any of you never seen that commercial for the NFL where the guy has the burger and he's like, it's a Quino. <laughs> oh, what? <yeah. laughs> you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> but, um, I also heard someone say quinoa? Quinoa? I, I've heard a lot of weird. I work at a grocery store. I've heard a lot of weird pronunciations. Yeah, you're living in Canada like where they use use where they don't belong to. I mean. Color with a U, I think that, I think I think that our English came from the uh, the proper stuff. That's the I, proper English. I, I, know that, I know that there's Brits here that would back me up, so. Not in the room. Not in the room, so. <laughs> I'm not a good American. I actually prefer the British spelling. Oh, there's oh. one is sitting in the corner, but he doesn't have a microphone, uh, so he doesn't count. Yeah, he's, he's here in spirit. <laughs> you know, and like defense with a C. You know, Americans should appreciate that because, you know, NFL fans have the defense thing. Oh, yeah. yeah I get what you're saying. Yeah. That you makes know. sense. Yeah. <laughs> but yet they spell it with an S. Americans don't That's know what they want, man. <laughs> $25 from Kuja20, who said, Shout out to all the runners here. Mutsky, you should be happy to know that I was able to make it home in time for your segment. Let's get Zwanzig to marry Hollow. <laughs> hollow face. Thank you, Kuja. All right, we're going to need Freya's name now. Okay, let me do one last refresh right now. And Freya's name, as a matter of fact, is Mr. MV, all lowercase. All right, we're going to have to drop the I in Mr. To make room. Yeah. So drop drop the E at the end, I think. <laughs> Two the names. E. Oh, yeah, we yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. didn't. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We'll, look at we'll drop minimum. the E. E, okay. e is such a basic letter anyway. Yeah. We can get creative, yeah. yeah. After all, we have baby girl. Or baby Bi grill. BB. BB. BB grill. BB. BB grill. I like to imagine how it's spelled as how, like, a 14-year-old texts his girlfriend. Anyway, so. <laughs> that's that's yeah, how I text exactly. my girlfriend. Yeah, I mean, okay, I'm like, it's fair. Grill. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, Bibi Grill. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go to a PG-13 movie. In there. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so is it lowercase r as well? So lower? Uh, everything lowercase. Okay. Yeah, lowercase. So M, also. M is, well, lower, M is the, lowercase, too. The first letter is lowercase. Oh. oh, man, losing time on the name. And then all, all our case? MP, yes. yeah. Yeah, you got it good. Yep. That looks beautiful. 
Mr. MV actually donated a during my last marathon run, so shout outs to him. <laughs> Spike is recommending that I keep yelling a whole bunch until people either donate or leave, but Yeah, I mean I, I <laughs> Or leave to donate. That's fine too. Oh yeah, if you step out of the room to donate, yeah. I'm gonna assume great. that anyone if you leave the room you have to donate. That's that's how this works. It's true. Nobody leaves. No. We we're gonna hide all the food. Yeah. I mean, we're already running low on drinks, so. <laughs> oh, there's more water in there. I, I, I should have asked you guys if you wanted anything. Oh, no, it's cool, dude. You can be selfish. It's fine. An <laughs> Anonymous gave $5 and said he fairness, wants a regional. Anyway. Let's go back to FF4 real quick. Tontellas are great entertainers, you dig? <laughs> sure, I dig that. Oh, geez. We have a lot of donations coming in now. Good. And <laughs> <laughs> Adventure Academy gave a dollar and said, I ain't no hollow back grill. <laughs> <laughs> that is amazing. That's really good. <laughs> I, I hope grill was spelled G-I-R-L. You, get, yes. the, you get the sheriff badge. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You good. get the sheriff good badge job. for the day good for job. sure. Sheriff badge, you win. Yeah, Splagoon gives $5 and said, my grandma's pretty cool. Memes aside, mental health awareness is important to me. And you're all nice people. Well, thank you. Mafunian gave $5 hey. and said, $5 to your grandma to ruin Toju's day. Whoa! Wow. Oh, my God. Whoa. Drama. Whoa. Dude, all right. 20 people just unsubbed from Mafunian. Yeah, 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 dude. Jog on over <laughs> to Tim's and grab a cup of coffee to Ooh. wash that one down. Shout out to Tim's Hort Tim Tim's Hortons. Tim's? Tim Hortons. Time Horton. Time Horton. It could be Tim's Horton. <laughs> yeah. Hollow definitely called Tim Horton's Time Horton. Yeah, it's the Time Horton. It's it's he's the the hero it's the of the coffee world of the future. It's the, no, it's the time traveling coffee salesman, <laughs> who's also used to be a hockey player. What a great guy. <laughs> Waterbox gave five dollars and said, "You guys finally got me to donate." Oh my gosh. Yeah, I told you. <laughs> I told you literally do uh, not use that pun. It's, it's, okay. the, it's, it's the counter. Hey, I like the ignorance the best. That's awesome. I like it. But I feel my pun effort is a bit hollow. I'll stop mm. now because I don't want this to get old, just like grandma. <laughs> oh, that's so sad. Bistro gave $5 and says, Mahalo means thank you in Hawaiian. So here's a grand mahalo to, to, don't sell the to all, right, all yeah, you right. for making this event a success. Yep. Oh, Oh my gosh. There you go. Glenn gave a hundred dollars since it had memes, Pog Champ. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see how this bid war is going, whatever. Uh, so that was the first shop in the game. He's just buying a few things. We're sort of rounding out our uh, the items we need for the cotton ropes, which he's gonna send here. Like I said, normally we would make four, but uh, he's going to hopefully be making seven. So Hollow's winning by hundred fifty dollars hey. now. But it could change, okay? All you Grandma fans out there, okay? <laughs> if you ever want to go cheerlead for your grandma, now is the <laughs> chance to do so, okay? So uh, a little bit of menu tech there. He uh, he made the weapon, and then he chose to make only one cotton robe and then the yellow scarves. Um, the yellow scarves use a similar item to the cotton robe to synth, so we want to make the, the scarves first just to have them, but we also want the cotton robes at the top of the menu. So he chose to make one because it's going to put it right at the top of the slot. Uh, which when we sell at the end of this uh, plot city here, and then went back to make the other ones. So here we got Zwanzig. He's never up. He's never been shopping before, so <laughs> he's just having a good time. And this girl's like, "Here, have this coupon nut," and he's like, "Oh, gee." Yeah, not. I, li I like to imagine that that shopkeep is kind of like the uh, the manager at Wendy's. That that. <laughs> Except the coupon nut is a frosty. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, the Koopa Nuts a frosty? I mean, it's it's a it's like metaphoric right? substitute. Oh, yeah, it's gotcha. like yeah, a nice a nice lady gave a uh, a young boy a treat for free. <laughs> 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 what a nice person! Sinray gave five dollars and said, "Hey, bro, Sench, I'd prefer if my grandma didn't wear Zwanzig or didn't marry Zwanzig. That'd be hollowable." Oh my! Oh, that, that one, that one's borderline. <laughs> it was vaguely a pun. Hey, okay. the, the more of a stretch it is, the more I'll definitely appreciate it. Justin Young gave a dollar and eleven cents and said, "Quinoa." Quinoa. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Kantala gave twenty-five dollars and said, "Where is Ichigo when you need him to take down this hollow pun machine?" The guy gave $2 and said, hello there, folks on the couch. Good luck on the run, and I hope it goes smooth. So, hey, bro, sent you. From what Muskie said earlier about Gizmaluk, 
I just want to let you know that the fight oh, yeah. is quite intense. Oh, oh there it there is. <laughs> ah, yeah, that's there a good it one. Is. Yeah, no spoilers for anybody who hasn't seen that. A dollar from Sapphira who says, sorry, I can't donate very much. Final Fantasy IX is so underrated in the franchise. Good luck, Hollow for the win. And b Nots gave $25 and said, a fellow Mighty Ducks fan. <laughs> 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 sorry, I, I'm just laughing. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were reading the, the message really well. <laughs> <laughs> no. A fellow Mighty Ducks fan, you made me laugh out loud when you dropped that bar. Put this towards Hollow for that guy Dang. and ask him what his favorite three players are from the Mighty Ducks series. Thanks, okay. guys. Good luck with the rest uh, of the run. Well, one, obviously... Uh, Char Charlie Conway is definitely in the top three. Uh, probably Russ, who is played by Keenan Thompson. <laughs> what? <laughs> the only player in hockey's history that dressed up as the goalie mid-game, skates to center ice and pretends to be the goalie, <laughs> wins the game. Uh, and then obviously Julie the Cat Gaffney, whose goaltending reflexes are unparalleled. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm so what? glad you were able to like name them off right away. Oh, you do know? you want me to name players from the opponents? You got Gunnar Stahl, <laughs> captain of Team Iceland. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing better than his hockey flow is his wrist shot. <laughs> okay. Uh, anyways, Hollow is still winning by $144. It's a gross amount, like literally a gross worth of dollars. That it's winning by. Not like nasty. No, not. Nah. Well, it's nasty that grandma's not winning, okay? <laughs> okay. I, I will allow some donations for grandma to get it close, but after that, it's all hollow. <laughs> I'm just sure that'll go well. I mean, it's for a good cause. All right, so now right now, Zidane, or I guess Kyosh, he's a little worried about Baby Grill. <laughs> Doesn't know where she's at. Where's my Baby Grill? <laughs> But this guy's like, baby girl's upstairs, but you can't see her. So. For, fortunately, his baby girl has the loudest singing voice. Yeah, you can hear her all the way down here. <laughs> In all of Alexandria. My baby girl has the freshest pipes. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, she's actually uh, hanging on the roof singing, and we can hear her all the way two, two floors down. So who, who la 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 is better, Garnett or Yuna? <laughs> Definitely Yuna. <laughs> <laughs> she has a whole concert dedicated to her. It's you true. It's true. If you have a, a, a world tour because you sing La La's, you're You're champion. doing something right. Yeah. So he had to talk to that guard there because the, uh, the guy blocking the lift isn't going to let us through, so we have to get a disguise. It's actually important to mash that text box there when he enter the screen straight away because otherwise that guard will block your path and you have to wait. <laughs> There's so many donations here. <laughs> Good. Good. So this, is the, this is the worst part of this one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, glad that we, I'm glad that we have wholesome things to talk about like memes in the Mighty Ducks. <laughs> <laughs> the most wholesome of anything we could talk about. $25 from Lucky Jarms. What? <laughs> okay, names are pretty good, too. My favorite game, a fun as honk run, and a charity very close to my anxious heart. Would have memed, but Quinna being named after a hipster grain is just too good. Wait, was that to quinoa? <laughs> hipster grain. It totally was. Oh, it man. totally was. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's pretty good. <laughs> Hollow's kind of a hipster. Game. I mean, Hollow probably eats quinoa. Probably, probably eats quinoa. <laughs> Massive butter gave five dollars. Massive, Massive butter. butter. Yeah, yeah. Shout outs. It's like. How much butter is massive butter? It's like, <laughs> I don't know, a whole barrel, or is it like, whoa? All right, coming up here, we have one of the most important segments of the entire run. There's, there's two distinct ways you can oh, do yeah. this. One of them is wrong. <laughs> <laughs> are, are, we all, are we all in agreement on how to do this, or any of us the black sheep? No, no, no. I, I'm no. terrible at doing this on English version. All right, so, <laughs> so Zidane's just like... Trying to win over Baby Grill's heart, so he's just like, come here, Baby Grill, let me show you something. <laughs> yeah, Baby Grill. <laughs> so, yeah, he has to use the telescope to examine all uh, five locations here. Um, it's actually some pretty nice wow, tech. Nice. Yeah. Uh, it's very easy to overmash the text boxes that appear and examine the location again, so... Well, um, you are technically allowed to do that clockwise, but it's just no, awful. No, you're not allowed yeah. to do it. That's, <laughs> like saying, that's like saying you can't go for puck skip. <laughs> well, the Japanese world record does it the other way. What, so. what, is he, what does he know about this game, honestly? <laughs> um, 
But no, I actually do it too early on the English version because the text is just a little bit longer. So I'm always just a little bit too early on it. Yeah, it's actually some nice little tech in the um, the Japanese and the turbo English categories uh, because you can turbo the uh, the button to do that. It, but although it also well, I makes don't it do, I don't use turbo on that part. That's when, that's my point is. Yeah, when I do that, I just hit it like four times. Well, in what a row. you, you got to go for it. You, you can't you can't not use turbo. You, if you saw got how it. clutch mine was. I mean, you could think of how much faster it could have been if you were mashing at an even fifteen hertz. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, massive butter did have. Oh, a Oh, sorry. Oh, oh. continue. <laughs> <laughs> massive butter. We just want no, to have no. as much screen time yeah, as no. possible. Yeah, yeah you're, you're. We're just stretching this out. <laughs> hey, RPG limit break. Big thanks to the FF9 runners for the continued persistence to play this wonderful game. Watch them whenever I can on Twitch. It's been a big help since my brother died last Christmas. Best of encounter luck and looking forward to Ibsen's Castle for Massive Butter. <laughs> Thanks, man. Uh, SQNZTB, how do you even say that? Gave $5 and said, hey, bro, sent you, what do you call a showing of a marina using only coops? Dock tours without four doors. Hmm, wrong charity pun, <laughs> my bad. Donation goes to Couch's Choice as long as it's not Grandma. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, there's <laughs> only one option, then. <laughs> yeah, they already put it towards that. <laughs> <laughs> Dargon gave $5 and said, original Final Fantasy puns? Wouldn't get my hopes up. The Final Fantasy VII run should have told you that everyone is terrible, oh my gosh, at being original. Like, we had about 50 donation comments that had the word terrible in it. Anyways. That, that's rude. But could you blame them? They're not un Einsteiner. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Transley gave $5 and said, Hey, Brosentia, did you hear about the time the Tantalus ran out of prop swords and had to use pairs of actors in their place? Fortunately, they played their parts to the hilt. Okay, money to hollow. Clutch. Dang. That was like a sophisticated one. You're an English teacher. You can appreciate that, right? Of course I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. Wait, you're an English teacher too? Yes, no, I he am. is. Oh. I, am. I, am. I, d I mean, I can speak English. Yeah, it's I've, like the same I've taught thing. some English classes. Dude, we're getting like English. What's your favorite word? <laughs> My favorite word? I got asked yesterday like four times. He's got one ready to go, too. I don't think I have one ready oh, to go. Nah. No. I've been asked so many times. What's I've your favorite word then? Abyssidarian. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. Why don't you define why don't you define that and use it in a sentence for the chat? Just think about what hollow is and You're gonna have to be more <laughs> specific than that. It is it, it is somebody that's starting to learn how, how to read the alphabet. <laughs> 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 Wait, really? <laughs> yeah. That's beautiful. <laughs> By the way, $1 from NPC. This was way too easy and bad. What, but what do you call a French spellcaster? Master VV. Okay. Master MV, Mr. V. Okay, mm. I get it. Uh, Vanessa gave $25 and said, Hey, everyone, got to donate for sure during the final run of the week, especially since it's the best Final Fantasy. Any other opinion is objectively wrong. You all know it's the truth. Let's go out with the Bang by reaching 100k and fighting Hades. I assume Ozma is just completely out of the question. Thanks to all the runners and staff for a fantastic marathon featuring some of my all-time favorites. Yeah, unfortunately, Ozma would take way too much it extra takes, time. It's about an, a one to two hours, and it's super variable. The quickest I've ever done it in addition to the normal run is like 110. Yeah, Hades is definitely uh, definitely hard enough for the levels we're going to be at. You have to get like a ton of luck with the Chocobo Hot and Cold game. Then you have to go get all the friendly monsters. And then you have to have him open with a specific attack. So we're going to be starting the Hunt Festival here. Uh, all three of our main damage dealers, Vivi, Freya, and Zidane, are all going to be in here. Um, this is just the first tech, first uh, enemy. It gets a lot harder, but uh, we should be good. What are you doing? No. What? You can't. <laughs> oh, we lost. <laughs> when was your last save? Never. Oh. Okay, so. <laughs> so fortunately for us, you don't actually have to beat the Festival of the Hunt. And not only that, um, if Zidane kills himself right at the beginning there, we actually um, we actually get uh, the Let's item that Freya it. asked for, which is the Coral Ring. So not only is it the fastest way to deal with the, the Hunt Festival, we actually get the best item anyway. So It's like a super, super nice item to have in the speedrun. It yeah. teaches a crucial ability in, in Maneater. <laughs> which uh, adds a multiplier to man-type enemies. <laughs> and I like, put it bluntly. <laughs> and it, uh, it also absorbs electric damage, which is super, super nice for a number of fights. Yeah, so shout-outs to Square for helping speedrunners out. They knew. They just knew. I mean, uh, I, I joke, but in, in some way, this game actually was meant for speedrunning because um, 
Uh, many people probably know about the Excalibur 2. <laughs> so many people probably know about the uh, Excalibur 2, which uh, requires you to beat Lich in under 12 hours, um, which for a casual player is no small feat for sure. Um, the speedrun actually gets there with plenty of time to spare, but uh, yes, it, in, in some ways it actually was an early iteration of speedrunning. That was kind of how I was actually introduced. The idea of speedrunning was through this game and the Excalibur 2 challenge in order to get there. And it was just like an interesting segue into speedrunning the game more competitively. So we're having a bit of a feast here. So it turns out the food was drugged, uh, unfortunately for the three on the Baby right Grill, there. Baby Grill, what have you done? <laughs> this is never going to get old, is it? <laughs> <laughs> I like the name way more than I thought I was going to. <laughs> I feel like the, the fact that we had to shorten it makes it better. Yeah. I'm excited for Baby Grill can't concentrate. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, Baby Grill actually uh, put sleeping stuff in the food and uh, sleeping, stuff. sleeping powder. Sleeping powder. So they're going to be taking off with Steiner and leaving us behind. So now they're just kind of uh, talking about how they've taken off and how they're going to go search for her in conjunction with going to see what's going on with Freya's folks. And fortunately for us, we are almost out of Plot City. We just need to take the lift down to the bottom to head to the gate, and we're just going to have a quick menu before we exit again. Make sure you don't sell all the cotton robes. <laughs> I'd just like to point out... Uh, all four of us technically run different routes. Yeah, so none of us run the same route, so we had to do kind of some finagling to, to figure out how to make this work. So he's just going to sell uh, six cotton robes here, and as you can see, it makes quite a bit of money. We're just going to be buying a bit of restorative items here. And he's oh, going to buy an extra tent nice. for safety. Pop not hey, soda, by the way, he gave $25 <clears throat> and said quack. 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 Oh. Quack. Quack, 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 go grandma. All right, so this is like objectively one of the two worst parts of the entire run. So yeah, he he needs to stutter step all the way over to Chocobo Forest. You don't actually have to do the Chocobo Forest, but um, the Chocobo is pretty invaluable for a number of reasons. It saves a lot of time because uh, Chocobo moves a lot faster than Zidane, especially given that we have to do the stutter step technique, and also you can't get encounters on the Chocobo. So despite the fact that it is a side quest, it actually is worth it for us to go out of our way to get it. Especially it is sort of on the way to uh, Giza Maluk's Grotto. Another interesting fact is that bridge right there, you actually can't get encounters. So if he elects to, he can actually just run across and give himself a quick little break from uh, stutter stepping. It actually is a lot more strenuous than you might think to stutter step a long distance like this. So. Uh, Go grab your remote and practice for like two minutes. Yeah. <laughs> nice. And uh, it's made significantly harder depending on how stiff your D-pad is as well. So controller also makes a big difference. So we're just going to duck in here to get the chocobo. And, uh, we'll how many greens do you want? Just four? I think four, yeah. Four. Yeah. I don't know if anyone needs one extra one. No. Yeah, there are, Well, I the guess, fourth one is extra. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. There is, I guess, some people... Do the one before. Yeah, Estragaza. Yeah, yeah. yeah there's yeah, like the one, maybe two extra chocobo tracks that most people will skip. The Gishel Greens actually cures Berserk. Yeah, that's so why it's that's nice why to have extra one. Extra. Yeah. How long until we name Quinna, by the way? <sighs> it's a, it's while. a while. So you a couple <laughs> keep hours. at it. Okay. Yeah. Because Grandma's losing by $49 right now. So mm -hmm. Hollow is in the lead. Okay. So you have, they probably have about. They've got time. A little over two hours still. Oh, geez. Yeah, okay. So uh, keep the memes coming. That's okay. The memes are here. <laughs> so yeah, since he got since we got hundred nobles, he ended, he actually bought uh, the softs here and like an extra tent just uh, for. Although it didn't save an extra menu this time. <laughs> yeah. Because I went back in. Yeah, the well, softs are really useful. But it'll be a nice place in the menu at least. Mm. Well, uh, I actually usually. Um, what I do is I sell the potions and then buy the softs in uh, Black Mage Village. So then the softs go in the very top slot. So that way the infantry battles are fast. I might just manually move it to the top, but we'll see. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, there's some enemies in places we have to visit, and mostly Dis 2, but also Dis 3 as well, that uh, you can actually kill with a soft. So we want to get a few of them just in case that we get those encounters. 
Fortunately, these new routes don't actually need as much experience as uh, the old ones used to, where we would actually have to kill a lot of enemies in those areas, so the sauce are even more valuable then. Um, but with Tantarian, we, are, we have a big leg up on the older routes. So we're entering Gizmaluk's Grotto. This is probably, probably the scariest place in Disc 1. Uh, it's not nearly as complicated as uh, the Black Waltz 2 fight, for example, but um, there's a lot of things in here that can kill you, so that's why he's making a safety save outside. Basically how this area works is there's going to be doors that have to be unlocked with bells, so he's going to go over and talk to this downed soldier here and get the bell so he can go through the door. <laughs> of course. Case in point. Of course. Here we go. I actually kind of, it would be nice to see, I guess. <laughs> Got this uh, one. So those bees, or whatever you want to call them, are actually quite dangerous because they can do an attack called Buzz, which, um, excuse me, they can do an attack called Buzz, which uh, berserks your character. So if they use Buzz on Zidane, uh, he can't flee. So we're going to see it here. We're going to cross our fingers it's not on Zidane, oh, no. which it is on Zidane. This could be a death right here. Yeah. So he could he could die here for sure. Yeah, <laughs> I think that's the road we're going. Come on, down. get the quick escape, please. So he's using some spells here to try, try to, to buffer, buffer, it, yeah. buffer the escapes. He's not really trying to kill them. We're just hoping, especially since yeah. So good job. Nice, <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> we have to have something like that in this run. Yeah. So again, if you want to speed run FF9, <laughs> just get speedrun.com. <laughs> <laughs> so he's going to do a quick menu here. We're going to be going through the door and fight uh, a few black mages. And uh, he's just got to set up his party. He's got Undead Killer for some of the undead monsters in the, uh, in the area. And he's got Man Eater to help with the black mages. Kiru. 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 <laughs> the black mages have a really, really good dialogue. I mean, they have very robust personalities, as <laughs> you can see. So Zorn and Thorn are causing some shenanigans in the grotto, so they're going to send these black mages after us. Um, this is another fight, yet again, that we can actually use ATB waiting to our advantage. So um, yeah. it worked. You most, of, I would say, most of the time you get a fight you can use it on. But sometimes, yeah, it really depends on ATB. Yeah. Um, the reason why it's important is because Zidane is the only one of our party members that can actually one-shot them. So we're we're going to elect not to attack with Freya and and Vivi, ideally. Yeah, I might be getting the trance here soon too. Yeah, I should put the Freya in the front row. Uh, well, no, probably should dead, revive her after this too. Yeah, yeah, I'll do that. That's not a problem. But um, Freya can. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, I was about to say Freya can actually one shot them if she crits. But um, yeah. But instead, we'll get useless the main crits. Yeah, see, I oh, I got another turn. I did the wrong one. Hopefully, oh. Oh shit. That's not good. <laughs> so Freya's gonna be a little under level now. Okay, you kill one encountering clear. Let's see. So yeah, he got a bit unlucky there. The uh, the first black good. mage on the right there that um, killed Freya in the end uh, used a physical attack, and their physical attacks uh, are way faster than their spells. So he's gonna revive Freya here and heal up his party a bit because we have to do another black mage fight. I'm actually gonna. Yeah, yeah. So you, you can actually get an encounter there in yeah. between the two black mage fights, and that's really annoying. Yes, uh -huh. when that happens. It's very unfortunate to get an encounter between the two black mages. Just flee. Yeah, we we don't have the uh, we made the ogre back in Limblum, so we're actually using that because it's much stronger. So we haven't actually learned flee yet. So that little stretch between the two black mages, you won't be able to flee if you get an encounter. You do have methods to deal with it if it happens, but you really don't want it to happen. Something else to note is that Zidane's trance bar is actually getting quite close to full. The best, pretty much the best trance you can get in disc one is actually on Gizemaluk. So having it this close going into the fight is actually pretty ideal. But the hypest one you can get. <laughs> yes, the hypest <laughs> one you can get is at the end. So we got a big donation. Go ahead. J Hobbs donated a thousand and three dollars. Uh oh. Holy guacamole. You've got a face on there. I, I feel like I might know where this is going. Here's my donation from Kingdom Hearts last night. $600 for Biz's deaths and $403 for all the enemies killed in Birth by Sleep. Put this towards naming Kina or Quinna, Quinna. 
Del Taco because <laughs> mid wards are fun. So oh. Del Taco officially jumps into the lead oh, there. Man. Okay, chat, listen here. <laughs> grandma and Hollow Communities. I, you guys got to pool together. The only right choice is everyone supporting Grandma has got to support Hollow now. There's no <laughs> other way. If you guys want to reach this. I don't know. If I any of know. you have ever eaten at Del Taco, I think you <laughs> know no. why it's not a good name. It's all pretty close, though, because Grandma is only $140 behind and Hollow is only okay. $80, $78 behind. Listen, listen yeah. people. We've already got Arby's in our party. They're not going to want competition <laughs> in the group. So this is a one fast food party. You guys got to have to get on that. <laughs> Thanks for the massive donation. Thanks, donate, though, uh, Jay Hobbs, for real, though. That's awesome. Yeah, Jay Hobbs. And I'm sorry you're sick and couldn't be here. Oh, yeah. Jay Hobbs was going to do some uh, hosting during this, but unfortunately, he's a bit sick. Mm -hmm. Which one do you even see with the, red, the pink one? Yeah, okay. So that coupon nut that uh, Young Swan Sig received back in Limblum actually comes in handy here because um, uh, yes, I <coughs> because uh, that guy really likes coupon I'll nuts. I'll do the menu at the end. I'm so he's going to save here because Gizem Luke is probably the most threatening boss in uh, Disc 1. Uh, most runs that die in Disc 1 to bosses definitely die here, so we really want to make sure that we're safe for this. We have tons of donations whenever you want. We have time for like two more maybe? Zanner Ken Sky gave five dollars and said five dollars to name Quinna Hollow to spite Mafu for spiting Toju. <laughs> Anonymous <Thank you. laughs> Anonymous gave thirty dollars and said, Does the Geneva yeah, Convention well. apply to bid wars? Donate the money and let grandma sort it out. Alright, so he's entering Giza Maluk here. And like we said, this fight is quite scary. Um, you notice that he bought an extra tent back in Limblom, and those actually aren't for using at save points. They're going to be throwing the tent at this boss. It might sound paradoxical, but there's actually a 50-50 chance that the tent will have a snake in it. What? Which? Because that happens. I, I can't explain. This game. This game was made 15 years ago. Okay. It happens. Yeah. So sometimes you got a snake in your tent. We've got five shots at it. So we're gonna be throwing the tent and hope that there's a snake. If there is, it's going to silence and blind him. Blind is good for when it works. Uh, he won't be able to hit us with physicals. The real, uh, the real draw to the tent is the silence because he has water attacks, which are very devastating, and uh, we really want to make sure that he can't do that. There is a backup if this doesn't work, but uh, oh, we got a first try. Nice. nice. Clap for RNG. <laughs> Why is there a snake? I, I don't know. <laughs> okay. I don't have a better answer for that, unfortunately. <laughs> because why wouldn't there be? So anytime we see the can't cast bar up at the top, that's the, the best thing to happen. Does that mean he's he's attempting to use water, but uh, he's not able to because he's silenced? Um, he also has counter attacks, so it's a bit hard to tell which of his attacks are counters and which aren't. Um, but he's going to be using Crash as both an attack and a counter. We're just going to be hoping that it misses with the blind. So far, he's doing quite well, but it is very possible for him to hit through blind, which he quite often likes to do. Like that. <laughs> Now, VV's not super important in this fight. We don't really care. We don't really care if he uh, if he dies. But um, we definitely need to we keep We need Freya. everyone else to survive, though. Yeah. So VV basically is just here to uh, keep the party alive with potions. And uh, he's electing to heal uh, VV here just in case some shenanigans happen and he needs to heal up or revive uh, Freya and Zidane because Giza can very easily two-shot one of our characters if he hits twice. Right, that was Unfortunately, that was actually a really good fight, so nice. we are in the clear. You're probably free to do some donations now. Cool, because I've got tons. Okay, good. Tantina gives $25 and said Oglop should go Bork Bork. <laughs> <laughs> Sonic... Sonic Nux give $25 and says, Final Fantasy IX is my favorite Final Fantasy after 12. Watching both get demolished over this marathon has been great. Shout outs to everyone who makes these events possible. Anonymous gave $140 and said, Don't give up. Hollow may not love his grandma, but we do. <laughs> Hashtag wow. grandma for Quinna. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> That's kind of cruel, man. <laughs> Hope X, XX hey, gives Hope. $5. Says, hope here set this towards a hollow future for Zweng Zig and to ruin <laughs> Mafunian's day. When it comes to puns, you're hopeless without me. Boom. Oh, Thanks, yeah. Hope. Quack Quack gave $5. 
and said, hey, bro, Sanchez, can we crack down on these Final Fantasy puns? Things are begin to, beginning to spira out of control. Oh, no. <laughs> Here's $5 to tide us over. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I like it. Hey, you know what? Shout outs because they didn't say Titus because he's right. <laughs> <laughs> Revenues gave $5 and said, it's all about the hollow face. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks, Rev. Rev. Klaus Live gave $25 and said, been watching the runs all week so I could watch all the super long runs and the Shining Force run. This was one of my favorite games along with Wild Arms. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Also, not sure what is left, so let the runner choose where the $25 goes. And now put the money in anything besides that. Uh, I'd like it to go towards Grandma, please. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Someone put it towards hollow already. Oh, oh darn. Well, I mean, we could change that. We no, it's change. fine. Don't worry about it. I'll send it over. I'll send it over. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> I, so. I actually am sending it over. <laughs> Where are you going? Uh oh. <laughs> One of those days. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to talk to him outside. <laughs> Where are you going? So in case it wasn't obvious, Steiner's got this uh, sack on his back with baby grill inside. Ba with baby grill inside, <laughs> and also pickles for because. Shout outs to Maelstrom for being the only person at RPLB that likes that pickles. Likes them, yeah. yeah, no, pickles are not cool. I'd carry across the world, baby grill. <laughs> <laughs> Another funny th difference in the Japanese version, which I have no idea why this is, like before Steiner runs. Uh, towards there like he does this weird little spin oh is that in it's, japanese only yeah i don't know why that it only i thought that was a in, turbo thing but yeah there's mm. th it's the steiner does it there and then uh the beginning of this two and dagger mm -hmm. uh is running outside she does it that one you too. can do on english can you there's a french runner named serge who is huge on dagger <laughs> moonwalks for some reason <laughs> so shout outs to him Baby like grill all of these, them. all of these are within a hundred twenty dollars. By the way, good That's job, amazing. good job, guys. So, uh, yeah, Del Taco, Grandma, or Hollow could easily <laughs> win this bid war. I mean, I think we need to hear from Zwanzig. Who does he want to marry? That's the question. <laughs> I mean, the, the the choices are are really good, of course. I know he's in chat. I want to see. I don't who know. He I'd wants. like to, I'd like to hear what he says. So I I'll, go, I'll keep watching Chad and see who he wants. I don't know if they have Del Tacos in the Netherlands. Do you I have a feeling a they taco? say they don't. <laughs> Do you think they have grandmas in the Netherlands? <laughs> I think they have grandmas oh, in the okay, Netherlands. Okay, we should be Let's good then. Say. They definitely don't have Hollow, so he see, I, maybe he's biased. We don't need to hear what he wants to say. I'm like watching intently, making sure. Watching for Zwanzig. Oh, someone said they don't have grandmas in the <laughs> Netherlands. <laughs> Mr. Zwanzig says he definitely has never had Del Taco. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, well what better way to get intimate with Del Taco than marrying it? <laughs> <laughs> well, Zwanzig, one day you'll learn, and maybe you'll regret the marriage, but. <laughs> <laughs> Zwanzig so regrets sad. nothing. So here I, I is another stutter step, and we'll see if he's going to do the menu. I'm not. I guess he's not going to do the menu. I you do it. Do I do it inside. Oh, you do it. Oh, yeah. I thought you just doing the menu with strats. So uh, there's a couple ways you can do this. You can either um, put the mage masher and coral ring on Zidane, and then put man eater on, and then put the ogre back on before this black mage fight coming up, or you can save like potentially a few seconds by not doing a menu at all. It's going with the ogre the whole way. But the problem with that is uh, he's got the ogre in yellow scarf. Then you had to rely on damage rolls to be able to one shot the black mages. I really should so. do it outside, but like I just get in the rhythm and just go. Yeah, yeah. we sh we should note that um, Zidane still doesn't know flee. He's not gonna know flee until this too. So. Anytime that we have the ogre on for boss fights or encounters that we have to fight, we can't flee. So we have to keep swapping it around. So th this is a point where some runners might elect to not put it on. But he's going to put it on just in case because we want to be able to flee from an encounter. He's, he's not, he hasn't made up his mind yet, though. <laughs> <laughs> so he's going to go through. There's a fairly high chance to get an encounter on this screen. So yeah, it's pretty we're, we're nice. good. So he's going to put the ogre back on because we're going to be fighting another forced black mage encounter right here. 
Pretty much the same rules apply. We're going to be trying to HV wait when possible, and we're going to make sure that uh, Zidane and Frey are alive. I'm going to have to remember for disc 2 that Freya has lost AP because uh, yeah. she's actually going to be Couple one shots. AP short of learning antibody if I don't no. kill an extra battle. Tells two donuts a hundred, gives one dollar and eleven cents, and said, "Bad puns begin." Have I ever told you this one? <laughs> <laughs> it's not the it's not the first time I've heard that. <laughs> you oh. don't say. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> Sakura Rico gives five dollars and said, first time watcher, first time donor." He's a lifelong mental health patient. I know the importance of its care. I thank everyone who has participated and donated to this awesome cause. I put my money for the best video game wedding in history, Quina and Vivi. Aww. I want Keto to donate with his spam. <laughs> Dex Undead gave $5 and said, Proud to see my boy Lo Luz. Luz. Yeah, you. <laughs> you, boy. <laughs> Sitting there. Good luck to all the runners. Quina Hollow, okay? Okay. All right, I'm, like, notorious okay. for screwing this you up. You have to hold circle, and you have <laughs> to use D-pad. You walked really early for the, the, the slide skip, so I'm sure you can do it this time. Hey. 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 You also had to remember that you can't walk <laughs> with the analog stick. I've yes. done that before. I've held walk <laughs> and then used analog. So for those <laughs> who don't know what's going on, that chest contains the German screw, and it's really, really, really bad to accidentally walk across that, or uh, run across that bridge before picking it up. I do anything else. I know, don't, don't do Freya's ogre. menu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's you don't really need the ogre, but there's... There's a chance you could trance here. Yeah, well, there's also, at the beginning of this, too, if you get the encounter before, the magician shoes, hmm. uh, and you get dragonflies. So this this area is, um, is pretty well known for being one of the highest encounter places in this disc. So the fact that he's on his first encounter here is actually quite good. Realm of internal Yeah, encounters. and he got really lucky there. So that's six. That's six total, I think. Well, it's really good, actually. It is pretty good. Well, Especially because we got it. we're going to have the hype Beatrix fight, too. So. We might have to force some encounters or else Lozbell's going to win. He's going to be the closest. <laughs> he kind of got the over and... That's oh, my fault. Okay, well... <laughs> that was my fault. I'm going to choose to believe you did that on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just forgot how not far I got. <laughs> that's, that's actually kind of... You really have to make sure you remember where yeah, yeah. you were on the screen before you got the encounter, so you know which direction to move. Oh, no. <laughs> it's fine. We're just setting up the Beatrix trance. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, we'll talk about when we get there. But is the the final boss of this disc is one that we usually don't beat. But if you get trance, you actually you actually can beat it. Um, but it's only worth it if you get the trance in the first, like the yeah. first two turns. Uh, you know how to do it, do you? Me? Yeah. Yeah, OK. I actually have done it like three times cool. in my whole life. In your whole life? I mean, how long have you been speedrunning this game? 2014. 2014? So once a year, we're due. So we're just kind of going throughout the oh city. No. We need to pick up some, uh, some stuff to be able to progress. Um, it's pretty much the same as how the grotto works, where we need the bell to uh, get through the final door up at the top. The um, the encounters in this area are very front loaded, so the first half of the uh, the area is where you get most of the encounters. Oh, no. and a lot of the time, you won't actually get any more beyond that. I wanted to tell you we had a lead change. Okay. Hundred thirty dollars from anonymous says, "I love my grandma, and I don't care who knows it." Hmm. That puts grandma in the lead currently by about two dollars. Del Taco is in second, and Hollow is in third. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, this is getting pretty intense. By the way, we also have $200 from Jamie, who says, Today's my birthday. What better way to, uh, to spend it than by supporting your great cause that is dear to my heart? No idea. I shared a birthday with Solomon. Fantastic. <laughs> Fantastic job to all the runners, tech team coordinators, Nami, and the beloved Twitch chat for this amazing week. Thank you all so much for everything you have done. <laughs> we jinxed it. Yeah, we, did. we shouldn't have said anything. Four already, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah it should, only be th should be three, though. The second one was definitely my fault. Well, you could have gotten another one. Yeah, anyway. you got yeah, it like yeah. two you steps one after. Really so. early. 
I've got plenty more donations. You're probably you good. We like. still have a, a little bit before the actual boss. Cool. Soldier Hawk gave a dollar and said, quack, 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 flying V formation. <laughs> what do you think of the flying V formation? It's the best play in hockey. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Literally, probably the saddest thing of my life is that my entire childhood of playing, my team never did it. That's probably why we weren't any good. <laughs> I swear you're, you are a Canadian at heart. You like Tim's. You like hockey. I held the door open for you. you made you go in first. Yeah, but you were very forceful about it, so. I don't know. Maybe I take back. Take it back. <laughs> we have $20 from Anonymous who said, Did someone say memes? Hollow is the only meme I know, though it pains me to vote for him. I feel it is my duty. <laughs> I'm glad everyone knows. That it's like, it leaves a bad taste in your mouth, but you do it anyway. <laughs> Roostalol49 gave 40, or $5 and said, Certainly everyone knows that Grandma winning would be a hollow victory. Mm, Put oh this towards no. my favorite bookworm in the Final uh, Fantasy IX community. I mean, I, I, can, I can shrug at you in real life, so. <laughs> <laughs> the Sabin gave $25 and said, Hey, Mutsky, here's a quick donation for my boy, Kev. I hope you had fun at RPGLB this week. Good luck on your run and the whole FF9 crew. Thanks, Sabin. Sabin's like my main man for Link to the Past races as of late. It's four encounters in Vibrancia, nine in this one. Oh, so boy. Far. $25 from Anonymous. They said, thanks to everyone for all their work this week and to Nami for the work they do. We also have $5 from Lin Feng who said, Grandma, Grandma, you can't go down like this. Take my money and get back in the fight. <laughs> Grandma will. Don't worry. She's there. Emma gave $5 and said, oh, Hi, Mutt. I don't know much about this game, but I think your favorite character is Aiko, right? So you'd probably want uh, to name her after you, right? I'm not even going to do it. Anyway, good luck. Have fun. <laughs> and I'll see you on Discord for more Zelda races. Because then you're going to have to fix the menu after. Yeah, so. I don't know what you're doing. Yeah. <laughs> Well, you can. You have to put the coral ring on him and give him man eater if he trances on Beatrix to get the fight skip. <laughs> Laser one two one four six one two. I'm just messing with you. Gave. <laughs> oh my gosh, twenty five dollars and said Del Taco may have moved out of North Texas, but at least it moved into first place. <laughs> so well, Del Taco is back in the lead, and thank you for that username. Unfortunately, the speed run for this game has no heart, and we don't even console Frey, even though she's clearly upset. <laughs> I like to think that the rain is hiding her tears and Zanane doesn't notice. <laughs> but no, unfortunately, we can't, we can't console her. We just have to leave her alone because that's what the game wants you to do anyway. I've always wondered how Vivi actually makes it to the rest of them. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> he finds some, some other way to get in. Zwanzig, Zwanzig's got heart. He, <laughs> he'll find a way. It's like Hollow is starting to fall a little bit behind. It's almost like the real Hollow. <laughs> oh, oh, hollow. <laughs> we have a $1 from Adventure Academy who said, Quinoa is in the Amaranth family, and the last person to join is Amaranth. Quina and Amaranth are secret siblings. <laughs> Think about it. Post it on your blog. Okay, that's what I'm going to say. Put it on your blog. Put it on the internet. Anonymous gave $5 and said, wanted to donate for one of my favorite RPGs and for such a good cause, especially because I missed donating last year. Make sure to go for style and throw the Excalibur 2 at Kuja for me, okay? Five bucks to punching Hades with Limit Club. The wear Wayfaring Fox gave $20 and said, $20 to name Quina Hollow, because who on earth would name a gourmet chef after a fast food restaurant? Ooh, that's a good that's a point. Good. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. Del Taco's kind of upper class. <laughs> the upper class of Well, like class. 2 a.m. Yeah. Quatropus gave $10 <laughs> and said, Arby's doesn't need competition. <laughs> well, joke's on you because this is America. And competition <laughs> is the American way. Del Taco for me, please. Plus, I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Beatrix won here. We'll see whether we get trance. I'm not uh, going to do the, it, though. The normal way of doing it, uh, I mean, this is a fixed fight. So after either once Beatrix 
gets 10 turns or you uh, deplete her HP, the fight, she'll do her like final attack. Yeah, it's a, even casually, it's actually really difficult to deplete her HP. And there it is. <laughs> Did you need to do the menu to do it? Yeah, but that's I didn't do it because I didn't want him to have a screw menu. Fair. You have to take uh, the, I didn't even know you had to do the menu. You have to take the Coral Ring off Freya and give it back to Zidane so that he does more. He gets like a 1.5 with Manny. Uh, that's why I didn't do it because it's kind of convoluted. Yeah, so we're pretty much just waiting it out. Um, we're just waiting out 10 turns, and then the fight's going to end right there. And that pretty much brings us to the end of disc one. I'm going to get the D-Trans throwing a Phoenix down. <laughs> So Freya is actually really useful in this fight because um, she has not only does she have cover, she has the coral ring. So basically, when we get to a point where all our party members in crit, she's going to be able to cover someone for a thunder slash, which, as you see right now, she's actually going to uh, absorb. Come on, no shock, please. Are we on seven? I have a seven. That's eight. Oh no, that's seven. I think that's or seven. That's, uh, you guys oh, are yeah. confusing me. Oh no. <laughs> this is Dave. Yeah, just yeah. I'm trying to avoid. Getting the D transformation to you. Yeah, so one way to save a little bit of time in this fight, if you get to your eighth at her eighth attack uh, with all three party members alive, you can actually elect to kill off Vivi and uh, uh, Zidane and jump with Freya. And Freya will be in the air for her final turns, and it'll actually be uh, okay. It'll actually uh, skip the rest. <laughs> but we weren't able to get that, so we're just going to finish off right here. I'm the new hollow miscounting Beatrice. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I thought for sure I was, I was wrong. Right? Wait, who was wrong? You were wrong? He was one behind. Uh -huh. So you would have died. Yeah, you. You were one behind. Hmm. So as you can see, it's it, miscounting on this fight is actually really bad because um, most of the time, once we get to the eighth hit, we don't revive our... Um, our party members because it just wastes items and it wastes time so I need to get my uh, controller ready so yeah if you miscount that you're going to just basically let someone die and you're going to game over cool we've got $25 from Fred L it says a great event for a great cause may there be many more years of wonderful and talented people gathering together to support NAMI and mental health awareness we also have $1 from Bosol, who said, had to donate real quick to let you know that Minnesota has several restaurants called Grandma's, and they also sponsor a marathon every year. Well, that's so nice. $25 from Anonymous. They say, shout-outs to Kara. You always seem to be streaming FF9 when I have a ton of work to do. Thanks for providing a welcome distraction. Donation goes to Kara's choice. Waddle Pop gave $5 and said, so pumped to be able to enjoy a run of my favorite Final Fantasy game on my birthday. Ooh, just like Solomon. Discovered this event last year, and it never disappoints. Putting this towards the Hades fight because I believe we can make it to 10K. Oh, yeah, and this that donation incentive is coming along pretty darn well. Let me go just ahead and refresh it. Just in case shenanigans. We do have a dollar from LLK, who says, hey, nerds. This is my last donation for the marathon, but thanks to everyone for organizing this event. All the runners, Please, donors, so. hosts, commentators, superheroes, of the cables. salsa dancers, TV repairmen, ice cream chefs, sock weavers, cat jugglers, first chair <laughs> kazoo players, and upside down faces. And I had to be that guy. But I do realize we still need to meet that incentive for the Hades fight, right? My dollar goes <laughs> to that because I have nothing else left. Let's see this battle, folks. And we have $100 from Anonymous who says... Grandma. Grandma is in the lead now. Just FYI. Callus also gave $10 and said, I'm sorry, but Grandma has grown on me. I'm sure she can get Sub-9 faster than Hollow. Aww. Sub-9 is, um, is an end goal for a lot of uh, Final Fantasy runners. Uh, the world record's sitting at 849, but d despite that, it is... It takes a lot of effort and good luck to get sub nine, even uh, even though the world record is is faster than that. So, Hollow notably has been going for a while, but unfortunately hasn't happened yet. So.
So right now, for the Hades fight, we have $1,655 out of 10000 Again, a ways to go for that, but we've got plenty of time for this. Uh, we also have the Quina bid war going on right now that has raised over $3,000 on its own. Because Quinn is the most important character in the game. Let's just say that. I do... I, oh, go ahead. I was going to say, j just to interject, too. I don't know if people know, but Quinn actually gets a lot of screen time in this route, particularly in Disc 4. So you're going you're gonna to get your money's worth by putting, putting some donations down for Quinn. Oh, yeah. I want to remind people, we are RPG Limit Break 2017. We're here supporting NAMI, the National Alliance on Mental Illness. You can head to NAMI.org in order to understand how they are striving to raise awareness of the difficulties that those who suffer from mental illness face. By the way, can would we do a quick recap of who is on the couch and who is running? Uh, so I'm Toju. I'm Lasberheim. And that's Kara Karn, who's intentionally Karn. matched it. <laughs> uh, so uh, I switched the control scheme to circle, because uh, um, that's what I'm used to, since I usually run Japanese version. That is fine. We're actually a little bit low on donation comments at this point, but I do want you to know, Grandma is still winning. And so, you know, Del Taco lovers... All those hollow fans, you know, do you think you can beat Grandma? <laughs> that doesn't sound very nice. <laughs> but, you know, you can go ahead and keep those donations coming in, okay? <laughs> I mean, everyone has a grandma, so we're going to need everyone to pitch in to topple the behemoth that is Grandma. So get your, do get your donations in and uh, support a good cause here. And support memes. So <laughs> you don't look too happy about that. <laughs> I mean, of course I'm not. I love Grandma. I mean, puns are like the old school memes, so you should you should be right up your alley. I mean, I guess it's kind of like a it's like OG meme. Yeah, you it's, know? Like, it's like pre-internet, pre-happiness. It's kind of like meme. the the memes that your grandma might like. Oh, jeez. <laughs> well, you know what? Let, let's. I, I'm still all for Grandma. That's my <laughs> opinion. All right, so we are fighting Black Waltz for the fourth time. Um, this fight's pretty straightforward, but there's a few neat little things. The main thing that we're going to be looking for here is we do not want him to use Freeze on Steiner early. Um, his AI is scripted that he's not going to be attacking Dagger, so it, this fight is free, but um, if Steiner dies, it makes it take significantly longer. He is our main damage dealer. <clears throat> Thankfully, he did get two turns off. You actually can ATB wait with Dagger. It's a very, very tight window. Uh, but he's going to try. That's actually not too bad. Having all three characters alive after the first turn is really nice. If he does use Freeze on Steiner, we're actually going to choose to just um, uh, kill off Marcus, and then he'll Black Waltz will kill Steiner the next turn. The reason for this is when Dagger is the only one alive, he can't attack, so uh, his AI doesn't know what to do. So you actually get him this crack animation that makes him damage himself. Oh. I must have miscounted Marks' first hit. Oh, there you go. So he didn't need to do that because he uh, got quite lucky with who was alive, and uh, it was actually a really nice fight. Yeah, I, I wasn't looking at the screen when Marcus is hit, so I think I mis miscounted it. Apparently we have Hollow in chat right now. Hey! Oh, now he's in chat. Now they have the chat closed. <laughs> Maybe it's the same Hollow. Is it Hollow 648? It is indeed. Yeah, he's here. He's like, donate to Quino? What? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he should have known this was going to happen. He doesn't want it. Well, he, he's he's <laughs> openly saying he doesn't listen, want it. Hollow, listen, listen. There's some things that you don't want, but everyone knows you need. <laughs> <laughs> Hollow, this, this is bigger than you now, okay? <laughs> like, th this is, this is, this is, this is, like, for the memes, okay? Now, listen, I, I know, I know a lot has been said, but we're going to need you to, we're going to need you to support this cause. You're going to need to rally yourself for Quinna. Become a martyr for the FF9 community, okay? And wouldn't it be great to see a donation come in from you saying that you support Hollow? I would love to see a donation from Hollow. Yeah. Now, normally, and, uh, I would get this. Uh, I would get the guild that's down there, but since we got the hundred nobles, I'm gonna skip it since it's quite a bit out of the way. And also, I am going to revive Steiner and heal him just in case because this. Yeah. 
Yes. Yeah, this this stutter step here um, is actually pretty bad if you get an encounter. Like we said, it, it's a pretty low chance, but the encounters that you can get here are, um, I would say, moderately dangerous. So um, for marathon safety, that's why he's going to be reviving Steiner to make sure that nothing bad happens. And I'm notoriously bad at stutter stepping, <laughs> so... Um... What do you mean? I'm just using my phone as the calculator right now, so. So I guess something we can talk about, um, we've sort of alluded to it a little bit, but um, like we said before, if it's been a while since you've seen an FF9 run, or maybe you haven't seen it since uh, the ESA run or the AGDQ run years ago, a lot has changed about this route, particularly in both the last year, year and a half. Um, this new route actually fights an optional boss, Tantarian. I'm going to do the uh, little time save here. <laughs> okay, so that guard steals money from you. You can actually choose not to. If you don't press X there, he'll steal 1,000, but if you do press X, he'll steal 500. But we're rolling in stacks, so we don't <laughs> care. We'll just, you can, you can have it. Oh, oh, yeah, okay. Another important, <laughs> thing, another important <laughs> thing to note, talking to I this is very, this is, this is, German is actually worse than forgetting the German spoons. Getting the power belt here is pretty much a run killer, so uh, not forgetting this is very important. Yeah, it's one of the most important items in the game. Yeah. And I have uh, actually forgotten to get it before, so... So the route that we're going to be doing today, we're going to be killing Tantarian and Dis 2. And um, the reason why this is so impactful on the route is Tantarian gives a buttload of experience and money and AP. So it's offered a lot more flexibility in terms of routing, and a lot of people pretty much have their own versions of the route. The main sort of variations you're going to see is based on what people do in Dis 3 a bit, but mostly Dis 4, whether or not they use Quinna or Amaranth. We're going to be using Quinna today, which is why I said that uh, she's going to see a fair amount of screen time. Um, but we can talk about more about that later. We did not get the chain plate, right? We did no, not. I didn't do any steals because of the trance. Oh, yeah. So a little brief shopping menu here. He's got to pick up a few items, mostly for equips this time. <coughs> got to remember to equip Bug Killer. You buy a lot of things here. It's actually exactly the same as the first route I ever ran. Hmm. Do you give Steiner alert there or not? Nah? Yeah. Okay. I probably should for <laughs> for this, but yeah, it'll be fine. No, famous last word. <laughs> <sighs> so there's an NPC there that's like notorious for getting in the way. I'm he, bad. He did manage to get around him though, but yeah, he can. No, I didn't get around him. Oh, I, I, got stu I got stuck. We do have $10 from Magi, who says, shout out from Cars Crystal Cabana. Good luck with Disc 2, and support our living meme, Hollow. Thanks, Magi. 13 Lightning gave $5 and said, here's to one of my favorite FFs and reaching that 100K, putting it to fighting Hades. Also, Anonymous gave $5 and said, want to contribute just a small bit to this great cause. Been a huge fan of the runs and the community in general since participating in the FF4 Paladin race. Good luck in hitting 100k. Hydromancer and gave $25 and said, How dare you call Grandma a behemoth? Besides, even Grandma can shuffle through the game faster than Hollow. Oh, jeez. So this is one of the few places where the text is actually, like, slow scrolling because uh, it's outside of the text boxes. So this is actually one place where the Japanese text is actually significantly faster than English because you have to wait for all the text to dry out before you can skip it. Let's see, $25 from Anonymous. They say, great cause, great game, it's great runners. You know what else is great? Memes. This goes to Hollow. Wow, the chat has significant, or the, the couch has significantly changed. You're a little... Yeah, I know, though. I think it's because I impressed all the nobles, and they were like, they felt awkward sitting next to someone so awesome. Do you have any secrets about them? Any th stories that we should know that they uh, don't know you can tell? Let's see. 
I don't know. Lesbo's okay. <laughs> Toju, not so much. Oh, Toju, my gosh. Toju's kind of toxic. <laughs> well, that's <laughs> cool. That's cool. <laughs> we have Reverend, who gave $33.33, donating for the original Hollow Batgirl. Hashtag Hollow Train. <laughs> and $25 from Anonymous, who said, check out the name tag. Taz says, Hollow. You're in my world now, Grandma. <laughs> That's amazing. Do you guys get that movie reference? No clue. Happy Gilmore. Come on. Oh, jeez. <laughs> you guys need to watch movies. It's been a while. Uh. Told you, just, just so you know, we had high praises about you, okay, while you were gone. Oh, are you being sarcastic? <laughs> <laughs> Like, right, people keep giving me water bottles. <laughs> How many are you going to have by the end of the run? I don't, like, know. I don't even know where the other one came from. <laughs> he brought me oh. one. <laughs> I wanted a cold one. Uh oh. So here we're going to pick up the Super Soft from Dr. Tot, which as Toji mentioned earlier when we saw Blank get petrified, this is going to be like his ultimate depetrification medicine. Too bad we didn't have this in FF7. <laughs> I gotta make sure I don't use square yeah. to mash here. At you can the... play cards with Tot as well. <laughs> Been there. He's pretty good. <laughs> so throughout the story, you'll kind of get this like backstory through Tot's perspective of Garnet's like origin, essentially, and you like slowly piece together like where it is she's come from. And why she has like her summoning abilities essentially. <clears throat> and if you play the game really hard, you'll find out that her real name is actually Sarah. If you play it real hard, play it real you hard. Mean if you just play it normally, so hard. <laughs> <laughs> Quick update on the Quinn a bid war. Grandma is currently winning at one thousand one hundred seventy-six dollars. Del Taco is second at 1103 wow. and Hollow at 1036 $1,000 for all of them? You guys are amazing. This is, I, I, I got to be honest, this is not what I expected. <laughs> this is actually <laughs> cutting away from the Hades donations. <laughs> no. We're going to meet it, okay? We're going to meet Hades because, like, I still see some steady Hades donations coming in. I, yeah. We're we'll pour everything it. towards Hades after that. We, we're, we're not about Amaranth. I mean, he, he's cool. He's cool, but... Quinn is where it's at right now. After that, we can all go go towards Hades. Go to Hades. Yeah, yeah. Wait. <laughs> that didn't sound nice. Yep. <laughs> no, nah, that wasn't good. I was going to say for Amaranth, Cornell is currently winning at $365, $1 for every day. AJ Styles is second at $102. So, yeah, Quinn uh, is definitely <laughs> where it's at when it comes to this bid war. Of course... For Hades, we're at one thousand six hundred sixty out of ten thousand dollars. So, yeah, it, we've still got some work to get there. How far into the run will we it's be doing that? Like very end. It's like last twenty minutes of the run. Hades will definitely be around the nine-ish hour mark. So we're a little we're bit before, probably like six, oh, a little bit more than six and a half hours yeah. away. So I'd say it's fine to focus on Quinna for a little bit, and then. Full steam ahead for Hades. How about this? How about everyone who's donating towards Quinn just agrees to put half the money towards Hades? We're all just gonna have to like commit though. You can't like no one can cheat though. So um, I didn't get any encounters in Garganru, so Steiner's level three. So this is actually kind of a dif uh, kind of a scary fight. I'm not to make absolutely sure I don't uh, get any bad situation here. Yeah. So this fight upcoming. Uh, when you don't get an encounter in Garganru is a little bit scarier because of the levels and uh, both Marcus and Garnet typically will get one shot by his attacks um, and having people dead early on is quite bad um, just because you can he can come up on you unexpectedly if you're not careful so he's going to have to play it a little bit safe here. I also had to make sure since Dagger is actually level 2 I had to make sure she doesn't uh, survive with poison mm -hmm. if uh, Steiner also gets poisoned and we'll Hopefully not find out why that's bad. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think most people even knew. So there's a mechanic in this where I think if two people get poisoned, he's going to do a, a certain spell. It's very rare to see. But uh, 
believe he does night, actually, doesn't he? Yep. Yeah, so you would get a preview of what Quinn is going to be all about. Okay, so that's fine right there. That thing is hideous. It's got like a built-in gas mask on the front. Oh, there's going to be a version 2 later on, too. Because they, they made the encounters in uh, Gargan Ru uh, grant a ton of XP because they know that with Steiner and Garnet's absence in the, the latter part of Disc 1, that they are going to be underleveled comparatively. So they try to like give them a little boost. Uh, and so getting one of those encounters significantly increases your levels really quickly. And so not having any, obviously, stagnating. Yeah, they did a really good job with having catch-up points in the run. You're going to see that in Disc 3 as well, also for Steiner. So Steiner's never around. Steiner's, yeah. And here is what I was talking about. Uh, if uh, Steiner better not miss here. Okay, well, okay, okay. Okay. Dagger's yeah, yeah. That should be dead fine. anyway. So, so. <laughs> with when two people right. are poisoned, it was pretty much disastrous <laughs> if he had missed there or Dagger didn't die. So uh, we, got, we dodged a bullet there for sure. I know that I, I do recall someone having this happen to them somewhat recently, actually. And you absolutely are going to die. <laughs> yeah, because the rest <laughs> the, of the, the poison will keep ticking. And yeah, and you're the probably bigger, The bigger problem there is, like, if uh, if I had queued an attack with... Uh, if I had queued an attack with Dagger and Steiner both, and then he had killed Marcus, and then he kills Dagger in the next turn... Then I'll have two people dead, and then I will probably not be able to recover. Mm. Yeah, that fight, is, it's really important to keep all party members alive as long as possible in that fight, because like Kara said, if you allow your party members to die early on, it's almost impossible to recover once you get into a situation. Steiner can tank a few attacks, but not enough to to really get back on get back out of a bad situation. Oh, we are just right next to $95,000. We're so close. Uh, so, yeah, keep those donations coming in. By the way, chat was a little bit confused. They're like, who is this dagger you're speaking of? They're, oh. You know. They well, well know. let me tell you what actually happened. <laughs> Bad boy Ralph Urava was slipping a little poison to baby grill in that fight. <laughs> and it, we needed her to, to take in a little nap so that he did not cast the night spell. I know you're feeling under the weather, weather baby grill, <laughs> but go I'm ahead. Sorry, and I'm sorry, I'm not good at remembering to use yeah. <laughs> the marathon names. Oh, it's okay. We're here to <laughs> no, help. It's all right. Hey, just, just watch this next dialogue after this black screen. It's going to be solid. Oh, baby girl. <laughs> Where could you be? <laughs> Another instance of a uh, short stutter step. We're going to be heading into Clara. Um, this is the point where we're hopefully going to make up the AP that we lost in the um, the grotto on the mage fights. And um, this is another point where encounters can be a big issue. Um, this place is pretty variable. Typically, you're going to be looking at between zero and four, ideally on the lower end of that. But uh, hopefully, he's going to get an encounter that we can make up and be right back on track. Hopefully, you don't get any encounters. Car, I can, this, I car, can this, this is not a PB attempt, okay? We had a seven-minute Mage Master. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I can put the bronze gloves on for Tantorian. It's not a big deal. I mean, this isn't really a place I would really need to save, but, I mean, I haven't saved yeah, yeah, since the beginning of this, too, so... I mean, it's amazing how many places you can die just for no reason. Oh boy, that's a beautiful tree. I sure hope nothing happens to that. <laughs> so, Kara needs to make his way up the trunk of Clara up to the town. Um, he's going to be picking up a few things along the way and hopefully avoiding as many encounters as possible. This is an annoying screen, the first one yeah, here. It's got to kind of meander away. So the screen's going to be moment. picking up an important item called the Magician's Shoes. It's for Vivi. And he's going to be equipping it straight away, actually. So now Vivi is going to be kind of the hero for the next portion of the run. 
Yeah, the setup that we had with Vivi with the Ice Rod and the Magician Shoes makes him do a lot of damage with Lazara. Um, he's able to one-shot these encounters, even when he's using, um, his, using AOE. his AoE damage, yeah. So yeah, killing these two Dragonflies is pretty much going to put us back on track. There's another Berserk. And when I say Vivi, I obviously mean Mr. Zwanzig. <laughs> He's a magician. <laughs> He's a sorcery. Oh, yeah. We do have a handful of anonymous donations coming in. All of these are going towards Hades. Uh, so, yeah, it looks like we're, we're getting some steam for that. The bid war for Quinna, though, has kind of quieted down. I think that they're waiting for they're a waiting last They're waiting for last minute. minute snipe, for sure. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. They're like... We're this watching. screen? Yeah. Come on. You should never get encounters in the screen. The screen has, like, what, one encounter check, I think? Getting an encounter on the screen is very rare. That's quite unfortunate. That's a marathon. Yep. <laughs> We've got buzzed twice so yeah. far. <laughs> People are saying to grab the ether. <laughs> <laughs> Make Hollow proud. <laughs> I mean, you're not going to let Chad down, right, Kara? It, it, you don't have to grab the either, Kara. Oh, nope, he didn't. He didn't grab it. <laughs> Having two encounters with this... Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... Should have grabbed the ether. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all of these encounters have the option to kill if he wants, but ideally we're just going to flee for them. The older routes actually needed some experience on the way up Clayver's Trunk, but um, with Tantarium, we don't we don't really need anything other than the um, the stuff we were making up from before. Yeah, Chad's pretty much agreeing that that was karma for not grabbing that either, so. Karma? Oh, oh, no. No. oh no. <laughs> You're getting in on the action now. Yeah, I see that smile coming out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I hope I don't fail this. So this is one of the most troll oh. screens in the game. I'm so bad. Hey! And I got the good spin, too. So wow, it's completely uh, random hey. which direction you spin on that last one. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> It's FF9, everything's I thought random. I thought it had to do with what angle that you went in at, but no, it's just totally random. Just like everything else in this game. Of course. <laughs> so, um, I gotta pay attention here, because there's a definite uh, <laughs> bad thing I can do here if I'm not paying attention. So that priest is gonna offer you a tour of Clara. It's oh. a really, really nice time, but yeah. it takes about a, a little over a minute. And so we just kind of hurt their feelings. And then yeah. the, the person's like, I cannot be of any more service. And just <laughs> yeah. puts her head down, and we just walk away. And we ditched Swanzig, too. Yeah. Like, I don't know. Kyosh is Kyosh. just kind of bailing on everybody. Yeah. You can actually play cards with this guy, too. <laughs> which I have also done. Definitely not from personal experience. No. He's going to do a quick menu here. Some routes actually elect to do a menu um, in the shop behind this NPC after uh, Antlion, but um, really just depends on what route you're doing. I don't really have to sell all that stuff, but I'm just doing as I'm used to it. Uh, since we got 100... I mean, you do if you don't get 100 nobles, mm. but... It keeps the menu cleaner, too. Yeah. You sell, sell a bunch of items that you don't really need to use. There will be a number of points in the time, where, or in the run, rather, where we'll sell like the gems that have Eidolon summons attached to them. And even though they only sell for one gill, it's more so just to get the equipment menu for accessories much shorter and cleaner. Yeah. And I figure, I mean, we're going to be selling every yeah. every unnecessary item anyway. So, I mean, if I didn't sell that stuff, then uh, Plus would have to sell it later anyway. So we had to scale the uh, the town here and talk to that priest in the uh, in the church. That pretty much just sets up the... Um, the trigger to allow the, the story See to progress. if I can get in front of Dan here. Nope. Not even close. Dan actually trains with Usain Bolt. <laughs> From Link to the Past? Yeah. <laughs> You're so. really fast. Actually, I don't even know if I can do it with this controller. But, um, yeah, if you're really fast, you can actually sneak in front of him. 
Usually what happens is I end up just getting stuck on him. <laughs> By the so. way, we did hit 95,000 now. Nice. Just 5,000 away from our goal this year. All right, so we're going to be entering, entering Antline here, and he's a, he's a pretty unique boss in some respects. We're pretty much going to be doing most of our damage dealing with VB because we can't actually attack physically because nice. he's going to counter. This is also the most important split in the run, by the way. So he's going to be counting damage here to see how much damage... Oh, wow, that's really lucky. Sandstorm, get your doo-doo-doo-doo-doos doo really doo 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 out. All right, so... <laughs> This uh, Sandstorm is a very interesting move because, for whatever reason, it actually slows down Antlion's ATB. Um, so, so you can ATB weight on it, but it's the only time. 1387. Wow. Yeah. VV is hitting pretty hard. VV can actually get this another This is actually too. probably going to be... Just the three shot? Is that possible? Yeah, it's possible. I always cue the Lancer anyway. Yeah. That was really wow, good. Wow, Lancer yeah. was... <laughs> So yeah, before he uses Sandstorm, his ATB is actually too fast to do that ATB weight. But uh, so it's actually very, very fortunate that he got a, a turn off before the Sandstorm, and he did it immediately because uh, otherwise we'd be looking at several more turns. To that get was it. like an ideal fight. So I got the yeah. Ether there. I didn't need to pick up the Ether. <laughs> it knows. So I got three encounters, Clara. So now we have twelve total. Yeah. We had a $150 donation from Anonymous who said, Final Fantasy IX was a significant portion of my childhood, and I am extremely excited that it has raised this much money for NAMI. Money goes to fighting Hades, because I, I was never able to beat him up. Hmm. Oh, man, why was this naughty donation incentive to do the river dance? <laughs> I mean, you can do it right now. Just yeah, Camera's right on, there. I've had bad experiences. Someone donate real quick <laughs> to do the river dance. <laughs> True story, I broke my bed on stream <laughs> doing the river dance. Wait, what? <laughs> I had a really crappy Ikea bed. Someone <laughs> donated for me to do it, so I did it on top of the bed, and it just smashed in half. Well. So never again. <laughs> if you want to see a very well-coordinated and well-executed version of this dance, check out the ESA run of this game from 2015, I believe it. Yeah. And you'll actually see our boy Zwanzig dancing. Yeah, Zwanzig dance is like, a gazelle. <laughs> <laughs> we do have five dollars from Grimmer Weiss, who says, "Great game to end a great marathon." Debonair four hundred forty gave five dollars and said, "Can we get the one hundred thousand hype?" Matt and Jesse gave twenty-five dollars and said, "Glad to be able to donate to such a great cause, especially during a run of the second best Final Fantasy." Sorry, guys. Uh -oh. We all know FF6 is objectively the greatest, but nine is still awesome. I mean, we can all talk about what our favorite Final Fantasies are. We've got a, we've got a long break here. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure that'll go over well. Yeah, chat. No, no, no. I don't want to say what our favorite are. We need to say what the best. Yeah, is. chat. What's what's the best Final Fantasy? I think. Yeah, I'll I'll donate in and tell us what your what the best one is. As long as you attach it to Hollow's name. Yeah, and as long <laughs> as it's FF9, of course. Yeah, there there are a lot of opinions on that. I bet yeah. there is. I, I, I wonder what you guys think though. Hmm. This is definitely my my favorite. My first one was Mystic Quest, but I was like five and dumb and didn't know it was a Final Fantasy until I was like 20. <laughs> I've definitely put the most time into FF10, but this game's okay too. I actually never. <laughs> I actually never really played this game casually that much. Surprisingly, I played seven, eight, and ten a lot casually, but. Toju just did his first playthrough of nine not too long ago, honestly. It was like probably almost like three years ago. A couple now. years ago. Yeah, yeah. Uh okay, Hollow six forty eight <laughs> gave ten dollars <laughs> and okay. said, as Quinna would say, I so happy. <laughs> 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 Hope the run goes well and may your dreams be memes. Glad to support Nami Hollow Face. And that donation from Hollow went towards naming Quinna. Hollow. Hey. Uh, hey. <laughs> Real talk, Hollow. We love you, man, and I'm. I'm. Uh, I hope you're happy that you've raised over a thousand dollars for a good charity. By, be I wonder, by being a meme. I <laughs> wonder if that donation was before or after my antlion split comments. <laughs> <laughs> For those of you who don't know, uh, Hollow 
Uh, oh, right. Yeah. Hollow does gotcha. not like having a split at Antlion for whatever reason. He's, Even though it's a kind of major boss. He's the only uh, person that does that. I don't, I don't get it. How long until the next name, by the way? The next uh, one is Quinna, actually. Okay. Like an hour and some change, I want to say. Just yeah. a little bit over an hour. Yeah. No, no, it's not gonna well, be that long. It'll uh, be well, let's just say. Oh wait, an no, hour. I'm thinking. Yeah, we'll say an hour. We're, remember, yeah. we're kind yeah, of yeah, behind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. We'll say it roughly an hour. Yeah. Yeah. Roughly an probably hour. Probably it'll it'll probably be a little less. less yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, about an hour. Yeah. Okay, so uh, again, everything is like $120 spread for these three names: Del Taco, Grandma is winning, and then it's Del Taco, and then Hollow. So any of them could take the lead. Get those donations in. We we need. Uh, shout out from Hollow Six Four Eight. Someone tell Kara this split is pointless. <laughs> <laughs> Seems good. Always the memer. Why is it pointless though? It seems he he's, he says it's pointless because you can get encounters on the way back through the place uh, on the Beatrix split. And, yeah. Honestly, the answer is because it's hollow. <laughs> it's, <laughs> yeah. He also he has can. some other. He has some other weird also omissions. Has a, a branch split and an end of this yeah. two split for a while, <laughs> which is purely seven minutes of cutscenes. He just wants to know how much time he's losing to bad mashing. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> we have five dollars from anonymous. Uh, who's not so anonymous. It says, so Cosmic the Dolphin here on Tech votes Spirits Within as the best Final Fantasy. Oh, man. Here's the deal. I was talking about that the other day. You know, we're all with nerds here. Anyways, don't hurt me. I'm behind the tech computers, and therefore you can't touch me. <laughs> That's a good point. Just wait. Okay? What, is, what is Spirits Within? <laughs> wait, what? I just said to watch movies. <laughs> Wait, yeah, I said good mo movies. Movies. <laughs> <laughs> like movies. <laughs> Shout outs to Maelstrom, who loves Spirits Within, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> we had a big debate about this the other day, actually. <laughs> he likes pickles and Spirits Within. Like, I pretty much think his opinions are just all wrong. <laughs> I'm, honestly con I'm honestly considering dropping the U because we're on the same team at this point. So. <laughs> you didn't equip the abilities in Frey. No, right? I did not. I left okay. them off for you. Right. Pick, pick the fun experience. Oh, you want me to do that? Uh, yeah. We have $5 from Debonair440 who said, I'm now more than broke, but Final Fantasy VI is the best in my opinion. Bad guy actually wins, kind of. Money goes to Hades because it must happen. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Chris, former Ghost120, gave 20... $25 and said, praise be to RN Jesus, hallow be thy grandma, with speed this run shall be done, for Hades be our prey. That was kind of beautiful, okay? <laughs> so we're going to start this series of encounters here, uh, going back through the trunk with all the Alexandrian guards. Um, this first couple, we're going to have to deal with some damage rolls. It ain't actually... Uh, can attack them without one shining them. That's a bit of an issue because if you don't kill them in one hit, they're actually going so to run can away. Freya, actually. Freya can too, yeah. So we kind of have to hope for the best. You can actually soften them up a bit with VV if it works out that way. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't need to do that this time. <laughs> nice. We don't want to miss out on too much experience because we want our levels to be high enough that we can uh, reliably take down Tantarian, which is not too far off from now. So we're going to have a series of fights here. Uh, and then we're going to be going back to the town. Fortunately, it, the game will just warp you back up there. You don't have to walk up the whole mountain again. Tree mountain, I guess. I don't know. If that were the case, then Hollow probably might have an argument. <laughs> you could get more <laughs> encounters, potentially. Uh, don't give anything to him. I'm sorry. <laughs> the only thing I want to see people give to him is money towards naming Quinn a Hollow. We have a very prejudiced couch. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what do you have against grandmas? I mean, they're not hollow. Yeah. Hollow might be your grandma. Mm, I wouldn't want hollow to be my grandma. 
<laughs> Hollo probably makes the worst pie. <laughs> <laughs> he makes Hollow. terrible pie. Hollow's, Hollow's the kind of grandma that gives you a card, and when you open it and shake it to see the cash that you're hoping for, there's nothing falling out. Except Hollow's the kind of grandma that would give you change instead of, like, dollar bills. <laughs> or a savings bond. Yeah. <laughs> Here's a savings bond. Knock kid. yourself out in 30 years. <laughs> Buy yourself a, a soda. Also, like, here's this fish pie. Enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> what a grandma, Hollow. So we didn't get any low damage rolls. That's nice. Yeah. After you kill a few of these encounters, it becomes less of an issue because um, you can probably tell by these uh, status screens that we're actually leveling up during these. We actually do gain quite a few levels because we're going to be fighting a number of encounters. I'm not sure exactly how many, but we have still quite a few more to go. This is one of those segments that you can deceptively fall behind and not really notice. Um, you're fighting a lot, of, a lot of encounters with a lot of different enemies, many of whom have uh, spells. So the more spells you see, uh, you're pretty much just bleeding time. Oh, holy cow. FaZe, Sarah, Tom gave $500. Very nice. Let's hit that $100,000 of donations and that Hades fight. Yeah, you're getting us on the right track there. So the black mages are spawning in here and they're sort of wreaking havoc on this town. So it's our job to try to save them as best as, as, best as we can. Uh, fortunately, we are coming here a bit late because we were led out of the, the town by Beatrix. Um, so we're a bit late to the party, unfortunately. So we still have a handful more fights to go with these guards, and Black Mages are now going to be in the formations as well. Fortunately, at this point, Zidane's attack should not be an issue ever for one-shotting any of them. Yeah, we now have uh, we now have the ability to one-shot them with any of the characters. We'd like to use Vivi as little as possible because we prefer to preserve his MP, and we don't want to use his animations, but uh, sometimes we don't have a choice. We did get the ether drop, though, so if he does have to ether, it's not a Yeah, it's pretty common issue. to have to ether him after this, but... Um, we also have the ether in, uh, from the priest. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, that's usually the one I use if I don't get any drops. Callus gave three dollars and said the best FF is Final Fantasy X because it's full of memes and is the best speed game ever, right? I'm also officially more than broke. Donation goes to Toju's Choice. What's what's what are we sitting at for the for those names for Quinn of Resentia? Let me give a quick refresh. Let me get an update. I want to be a Blitzball. <laughs> because yeah. Grandma is at eleven seventy six, Del Taco at eleven o three. And Hollow at 10.54. All right, people, we need to close this gap, so we're throwing it towards Hollow. I think that is a wise decision. I at think this we point. can still, any name can still win if we get those numbers in, so I believe in you, chat. We do have $50 from Taser124, who says the Hades fight must happen. But yeah, Hollow, Hollow could definitely be a thing still. Like, we still have time for the name, but not too much time. Probably, so, again, probably like 45 40 minutes. minutes from now, yeah. So, again, he just keep fighting these encounters. He's going to try to use VV as little as possible. Wow. Oh, really good luck there. Oh. oh! I knew it. I, I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have felt said it. it. And then the Osmos on VV. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I felt that one coming. I can't believe he actually got that turn, and yeah. then he misses. I could miss, for the record, misses are pretty low chance. The fact that we've seen, like, two or three by now is pretty rare. What did I miss on? Uh, good question. Pretty only missed one. Oh, I missed on a Black Mage, too. Hmm. Hmm, I wonder if VV can get level 12 if I don't kill him on the... We'll see, because Vivi got the extra XP on the Black Mage fights where Freya died. I usually kill him on the mob fight. And then I killed the Dragonfly, so maybe he can get level 12, so I might actually not want to. So here we're... Uh, Kara's giving, being given a number of options of routes to take with the characters to lead them to safety or not, if he chooses to. <laughs> uh, one of them, uh, not this one, but yeah. the next one is... A point of contention <laughs> in the FF9 community. 
That's, that's a very diplomatic way of putting it. We'll see how Kara feels about grandmas and other mothers. Like <laughs> not a grandma. <laughs> well, if she's not a grandma, she, she, never, she never got the chance. <laughs> <laughs> David Grill, you can be someone's grandma. This is <laughs> not a good fight. Yeah, Two so spells already. This is precisely what we don't want to see. Um, the guards have a chance to do physical attacks, but uh, they can also do spells. So we really would like to skip their attacks at all, but otherwise we want to avoid these magical attacks. So yeah, this next this next dialogue option he's going to have here is a. Uh, hey, where is Kara's going to make or break a lot of people's lives right now. I, don't see I know what he's going to do. So he's got an option here. He's going to run up to here, and if he mashes through, the mom is toast. But if he chooses to save her. Which she's going to. Oh, so it's faster. Come on. I yeah, mean, no, I it's it's good. this part is faster it by is. like six or seven it's, it's, seconds. It's it's up for the day. And you get an elixir. I, I mean, mean, come on. I don't know. The elixir is worth it for sure. So the major difference is here. If you elect to save the mom, you're going to get an encounter here with uh, two guards, um, and afterwards you will get an elixir from her for saving her. And this is precisely why you don't save the mom in PV attempts. Because uh, if you don't save the mom, you actually only get one enemy, which is a, uh, a black mage. Which, truth be told, you can he can do spells, but you have much more of a chance to get him. We did actually originally think for the longest time, even though it's super easy to verify, and I don't know why, that you did get different... You didn't uh, get level 12. I should have killed him. Uh, you do get different AP values and stuff, but you actually don't, despite the fact that there's two enemies versus one. So, yeah, I thought Vivi might get level 12, but I was wrong. So I, I actually really kind of wanted to... Uh, kill him there because then he'll be in critical HP so Freya can cover. Also, strangely enough, the um, the experience kind of tends to work out that uh, suiciding Vivi on that fight there uh, makes a difference for Freya's levels around the Desert Palace area. She's kind of at, at the line with needing like 9 experience to level up from 17 to 18. So, uh, in this case, we might actually be okay considering we killed something extra, but uh, uh, really goes to show how buying the uh, experience route actually is. So that wasn't real. I mean, that probably broke even because, you know, if the Black Mage had gotten his spell off, then, you know. Sorry. I will always save the mom. I don't care what anyone says. How you're apologizing about saving, <laughs> so saving a mom. You're giving her a chance to be a grandma. Yeah. <laughs> Kara, best grandson ever. <laughs> what a good guy. What a good guy. We do have a dollar from James or from Kyle James who said, I don't have much to donate, but every dollar counts. Let's hit that hundred thousand guys. FF9 hype put my one dollar towards couch choice. Good you luck. already know. Oh yeah, we definitely do. Taro Nagare gave five dollars and said, Awesome event, Archie RG BLT. BLT? Did I just say that? Uh, it's the RPG sandwich with bacon, lettuce, <laughs> tomato. <laughs> it's delicious. <laughs> RPGLB rules. <laughs> Greetings from Germany. Rummel. Okay, everybody go order like an RPG BLT or whatever. <laughs> RG BLT. I mean, there, there's there's potential in that, dude. Have you wanted? Have you always wanted to be a business owner? You know what? We should just start one up right now. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I mean. Someone's got to trademark that because I, I think like 7,000 people might have just heard you say that. So. We can have Grandma Pie. Oh, yeah. wait. I don't, not, not made <laughs> of Grandma. Oh, just, okay. That's like peculiar. Grandma okay. is the pie. It's a pie. Okay. Yeah, I can't get you. I mean, I just had to clarify. <laughs> but <laughs> Sir Cock gave $10 and said, awesome job. Can't wait for next event. <laughs> Anonymous gave $25 and said, Best Final Fantasy is nine. Also, we came here to fight Hades and eat Gishel pickles, and we left all our pickles at South Gate. <laughs> all right. Oh, go no, ahead. No, you can go ahead. Effigy JP gave $20 and said, Why are we giving Hollow all the credit? We all know FF9 is the real meme lord. <laughs> double Guard Skipper Riot. Well... That might be tough. We're not going to do a double guard skip because Steiner's level three. Yeah. So. You can't do it, kid. <laughs> <laughs> no one else can do it. I'm the best. So, <laughs> so we got a bunch of items on the left there. If you don't save no the mom, potions left. Oh, that's neat. Um, 
If you don't save the mom there, uh, she won't be there. And you actually get an elixir from her, which is very handy um, for later on. But we're going to be going into the first of several Beatrix fights, or uh, second of several Beatrix fights, excuse me. And um, this one we are going to try to take her out because it is much faster than waiting it out. Um, Karth, we're going to be trying to do something called the Cura Skip. By the time her HP threshold gets low enough, she's going to use Cura. But if we do attacks in a certain order, we can actually uh, make it so that she's right above the threshold for Cura and then finish her off before she has a chance to use it. And hopefully Vivi... Yeah, we need Vivi yeah, to not die like, at the start. Vivi's yeah. kind of the hero of this part of the run. So Does that's very good. Get thunder so, Slash. So so what he's going to be doing here is, is queuing Vivi's Blizzard first, just for HP reasons, and then he's going to be attacking with the other two. Ideally, if nobody dies on the second turn, he's going to be queuing another Blizzard with Vivi and only one attack. reason for this is it puts her right below the threshold we need, and then we're hopefully going to finish her off right after. But we do... Okay, well... That is... Still possible, but... Wasn't ideal, but as long as Zwanzig's still kicking. Yeah, Zwanzig is really the one you don't want to die here. A Thunder Slash on Freya or would be ideal situation at this point. Yeah. Yeah, you can kind of. Well, there, there you go. go. There you go. There you go. You can kind of nice. telegraph which her moves she's gonna do, judging by how long she waits to do them. We're probably not gonna get it. Yes, yeah. it is. Oh yeah, Vivi. I was I was waiting okay. uh, just to see nice. what damage. If Vivi had done, uh, she she had sixteen ninety left, mm -hmm. so it was yeah, pretty unlikely. Ball. Yeah. So yeah, that was uh, not optimal, but we did skip the Kira, so that's uh, really nice. We have twenty five dollars for Mister Zwanzig. Ah. <laughs> He says, and now a message to my FF9 friends doing a great job of this run so far. Mutsky did his part in making me proud by getting the 100 nobles. We'll see if the others can follow suit. <laughs> Kara, I expect some pro cage swinging strats out of you. <laughs> Lose, perfect card tournament, or riot. <laughs> Told you, you know, in your case, I will set the bar low and be satisfied <laughs> if you just don't die, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Honestly, and that's not really <laughs> setting the bar low if we meet this Hades incentive. <laughs> I really hope I get the cage swing. Dude, uh, I'm so bad at it. <laughs> well, actually, I just was taught how to do it the right way by yeah. Luz, oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, like yesterday. <laughs> I was kind of, I mean, I had a, I had a way that I sometimes got it, but this way is, should be free. Oh, and as for my impending bride... I will elect to remain neutral and accept an arranged marriage. <laughs> this can go towards Hades instead. Okay. Oh, boy. We do have a dollar from Circuit Main who says, Hollow, hollow, give dollar. <laughs> 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 Only the best donations here. We also have some other money going towards Hades. Five dollars from Noisebird who says, My boyfriend recently started taking steps towards getting help treating his anxiety and depression, which he struggled with all his life. Final Fantasy IX is his favorite, so I'm donating this in his honor. Put my money towards Ico being named Jeff, because all hail our Lord and Savior, Jeff. Hollow, hollow for a dollar. <laughs> Who is that? Because that person rocks. <laughs> I, I don't know, I already got rid of that comment. <laughs> it was a good comment, though. I will hollow. <laughs> <laughs> Let me refresh that, by the way, because I do think it's been changed up a little bit. Yeah, Grandma's still winning. 1176. Hollow is at 1071, so just $105 away. $105 and some change, basically. Del Taco is at, is at 1103, so it's like Jay Hobbs and one other person <laughs> donated for that one. But again, strong contender there. I mean, if Del Taco's watching, I mean, they're they're pretty big. Yeah, can you imagine, like, Del Taco CEO, he's like, we could get in on this action. <laughs> Think of this free advertising. Oh, jeez. Well, free, like. Free, but we well, have to donate. I mean, <laughs> I mean it's, it's, they're, they're a big no, corporation. No, it's, 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 like, it's like free I understand. from a perspective, okay? <laughs> so Del Taco, like, CEO, I'm speaking to you right here. Now's your chance, <laughs> okay? 
you don't even have to like pay a lot of advertisers, like a hundred bucks. Are you really you gonna let it. Arby's reign supreme? <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. Think about it. That's a slogan for someone. Hey. Probably. Maybe give me the money then. Sure, I'll give you money. <laughs> Anonymous gave twenty-five dollars, and that one went towards the Hades fight. We also had twenty-five dollars from Katesha, who said, "Save the animals." Am I doing this right? I'll let this music play a little bit. This music's good. Yeah, we just have a, a brief intermission of cutscenes and stuff, and we're gonna be right back into the action with uh, Cage Swing and Tantarian. Which is like the first major variation of this route mm -hmm. versus all of the other runs that have been done at marathons. There's also a pretty important story point. We're, we're kind of overhearing a conversation between Beatrix and Queen Brain, and um, we're sort of seeing seeing that Beatrix maybe isn't all bad that it seems like she is. She's kind of conflicted between her duty to the queen and her duty to uh, to the princess. BB Grill. It was BB <laughs> Grill. Is it brain or brawn? I say brawn. I say brawn. I say brain. That's just, yeah, it's uh, tomato, tomato. One yeah. of them's just wrong, you know? Yeah, I know. We all know which one it is. <laughs> Who says tomato anyway, really? This is America, all right? I ate like five tomatoes the other day. Mm. Hey, Why? In, in fairness, in Japanese katakana, it's definitely tomato. <laughs> Better than Katakana. <laughs> no, I'm, I, I wasn't aware that the Japanese were the uh, the arbiters of the pronunciation of tomato. As far as I'm concerned, Hoishin has got that on lockdown. That's true. That's true. I'll say whatever Hoishin wants me to say. <laughs> it's because he's so adorable. He is. Shout out to Hoishin. <laughs> so Kara's probably going to do a quick save here. Um, there's definitely some risks in the... Uh, in the next little bit here, so hopefully we won't have to use this, but uh, think? just for safe. Just for marathons. <laughs> just, just just for the record, Kara has probably died to the guards right after Cage Wing more than anyone else I've ever seen. Really? So, yes. Especially recently. Fortunately, Steiner's not level one, so should be okay. That's the only time it's happened recently. I remember having a few times. My last run, I sat here and talked to Freya for like 40 seconds. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, good luck. Don't screw it up. There's basically a safe way to do this strat, and then there's a fast way to do it, but it's actually much, much harder. So we're going to see if he can do it here. Nope, I'm not going to get it. I messed it up. Yeah, so the old way that people used to do it, if you just do, I think it is, five five presses left and right once, five presses twice of each Should have crashed right, right there if I had done it right. Yeah. Sad how long days. does the, how many cycles does this save if you get the, uh, the fast? You mean how many seconds? It's yeah. like eight seconds, I think. Is it like At one least. full swing back and forth? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So now we're coming to guard skip here. Um, normally you would want to skip both guards, but ideally he's going to be killing one of them because Steiner's low level, which is very nice right there. So, yeah, I want to fight one of them. Preferably the second one. Yeah. So you can do... Well, for, for Tantarian, the safest thing to do is you want Steiner at level 8. This makes the fight fairly... Well, pretty much nice. mostly consistent unless something crazy happens. Um... If you were going for PB attempts, he probably would elect to keep Steiner the way he is right now um, due to a mechanic that we'll talk about when we get there. But uh, him having 201 HP is actually really nice for Tantarian. But, but having 464 is better. Yes. Level 8 is the safe strat, which is what we want. So uh, A lot of the time you might not actually need that if you get an encounter in Gargamu, but uh, he didn't get one, so this is the place to make up the experience. Ronan Raven gave $5 and said, if everyone in Twitch chat gives $1, our goal will be reached. <laughs> so I'm covering four people. And yeah, <laughs> this is like the time to push because we're going to break 100K really quickly. And I think we can do it like we could even do it this hour. 
Snesterday gave $10 and said, really primo bacon, lettuce, tomato. Next year's <laughs> RPGLB sandwich has thus been decided. <laughs> I told you you can't do it, kid. <laughs> oh, jicked. You're a memer, Sness. <laughs> he certainly is. <laughs> Circuit Maine gave $25 and said, I've always enjoyed watching these charity events and finding out that it's even in my backyard here in Salt Lake makes it all the more amazing. I wish I could be there in person, but instead I'll donate what little I can and help break through the 100K barrier. RPG games for life. You cried. <laughs> Oh, you only have half an hour. Are you gonna be okay? I mean, it's good. we're gonna be cutting it close. We got we gotta fight Tantarians. It's a lot tighter than it used to be. Really? Thankfully for the well. as per Square Enix games, they give you a countdown timer that's like twenty five minutes longer <laughs> than it used to be. Well, thing of note, all these guards that he's walking by, you can get into encounters with them, and uh, you can't uh, you can't flee from them. So we hopefully don't want any shenanigans. We're going to be setting up our party here for Tantarian, who's a pretty complex boss. So a few things to note here. He's giving Zidane the Mithril Dagger, and this is for damage roll purposes for the main mechanic of this fight. He's also giving Freya Javelin, which is going to be teaching her Dragon Killer, which we're going to use at the end of the game. So we'll just well, let, him, not what it's for. We'll let him do oh, the fight, do and then we'll kind of it's, explain that. This is just in, uh, so I have two characters that oh, can lower gotcha. his HP. Cause... Right, so we're going to wait and see what he does. Paper storm. This is the normal opening. So what he's going to do is take a look at how much damage Steiner takes here and reacts accordingly. Took a lot of damage. So this is not ideal because no. I'm gonna have to do a high potion. So basically, how this works is we need to do a certain amount of damage to Tantarian to open him to the proper. Pa oh, Ooh, this is bad. This is actually really bad. This is not yeah. good. We need him to not do Paper Storm here. Okay, you can you can do it with Freya. Yeah, you can. Okay. You're good. Okay. This is still not good because this yeah. is going to be really slow. Yeah. So we need to do a certain amount of damage. We need to get him uh, is it 149 to 199. I always forget it's uh, the yeah, one yeah. on either side. But uh, if we do uh, if we do that much damage, he's going to open up. The reason why we're, we made those equips on um, Zidane, who is usually the one who does it, is because his damage rolls with the Mithril Dagger is going to always be within that range. Then we're using an ability called Minus Strike for Steiner. It's got this ability works is it always does the amount of damage uh, minus, does as much damage as HP that he is missing. So we did uh, 150 damage with uh, Zidane, and uh, well, we would ideally would have, but and then when we use Minus Strike, it's going to do the proper amount to open him up. Now that we have him open, he's only going to be able to use uh, Poison, and most of our party has Antibody. While we're doing this, we're going to be doing Steal attempts with Zidane to hopefully get some nice items. The one that we'd really want is the Silver Fork, but he also has an Aether and an Elixir, and something else that we don't actually want. While this is going on, he's going to be doing focuses with Vivi because it's going to power him up, uh, and he's going to be doing the bulk of the damage. He's going to be doing five or six? Do you five. do five? Five in your route. So he's going to do five focuses, and then he's going to start using Fyra with him, or Blizzard. Three. Or... Fyra. Fyra. So he's going to be using Fyra after that. Now, I wouldn't be Phoenix Downing Zidane here uh, normally, but I, I want to get the, as many steals as possible. Yeah, Vivi dying in the first round is a little bit unfortunate because we lose a round of focusing with him. We actually lost two rounds. Yeah, the way it worked out, yeah. <laughs> or two or three, I mean, yeah. it was really bad. But um, at this point, we should be okay. So we got Aether and Elixir. So this is five. Hopefully he doesn't close before I get a fire off. Oh, he <laughs> did. Okay, now, okay, so this bug is not in any version, hopefully. <laughs> Let's make sure. Let's, is he gonna do the? Okay. Okay, the, yeah, the bug is Japanese version only. That's good. So, uh, yeah, there's a bug in the Japanese version where if you don't damage Tentarian at all while the book is open the first time, the page count actually will not reset. Um, so then the minus strike damage will be off. Yeah, that's a problem because, um, 
like we said, we want to do between 149 and 199 damage. If the damage doesn't reset, it actually rolls over at 200. So if we do that, if it doesn't reset and we're using another minus strike of that amount, it's actually not going to be in the threshold that we want it to be. And he's not going to open to the right page. And you have to like scramble to help you get lucky, basically. Yeah, if you if you end up on a on a point where you're not in the damage range you want, you're, it's almost impossible to recover. We have very fixed damage ranges at this level, and uh, with the equips that we have, so we really can't afford to mess it up. Thankfully, at this point, it's pretty much just the home stretch of Fyros, and we're just waiting to uh, kill him. On a non-marathon run, I'd probably try to lower Steiner's HP here so he gets some critical HP, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna risk that because I get crit, like has happened before. <laughs> All right, one more chance to get the silver fork. Okay. Rip. All right. Despite a rough start, we got through it just fine. In the that end. was a really bad fight. It was a really bad. Twenty-four. Fight. Like 15 on the timer. <laughs> so, so as you can see, we just got a lot of things. We got a lot of experience, a lot of levels, and uh, a lot of AP. And very important, yeah, the running the main shoes. Different accessories. Yeah. Running shoes. running shoes is really important because it gives us auto haste. Now, if you played this game casually and use auto haste, you might not have even really noticed what it was doing because you actually kind of have to do some tech to really get value out of it. Um, All right, no troll guard. We've talked a lot about ATB waiting throughout the throughout the run, and basically what Auto Haste lets us do is ATB wait on a lot more things that we otherwise wouldn't be able to, because it gives us so much additional speed that uh, we outspeed way more things than we could. In addition to that, putting it on Zidane means we get to flee from encounters before they get to do anything a lot more frequently, which is something that seems very small, but it actually adds up really quickly. So I actually wait here instead of jumping on it immediately because uh, I have I do two less jumps and each jump costs half a second because the thing uh, freezes. So, a little bit of a time save. We yeah. do have $10 from Anonymous who says, if Freya donated anonymously, would she be an anonymous mouse? Oh my. Ooh. <laughs> Super Pellets gave $50 and said, Tactics, best game, no discussion. Oh boy, and that was for naming Ico Jet, I believe. <laughs> $25 from Anonymous. As the guy earlier said, $1 per viewer gets us there. I'm covering 24 others. Get in here. And then Cheaty Face gave $10 and said, I'm so done with Quinna, Hollow Face. Move over Arby's and Del Taco. Here's my donation for Ico to be named Wendy. The smug, <laughs> the smug fast food waifu we all deserve. Shout outs to all the people you know who you are and to Toju. Don't forget to check Freya's sp spirit stat before oh. Necron. Kappa. Uh. <laughs> we can talk about that when we get there. Hopefully it's not an <laughs> okay. issue. So we're entering the Zorn and Thorn fight. This fight's pretty straightforward. The only thing we have to worry about basically is misses. Um, they basically power up one another and can use a, an AoE attack called Meteor. Um, but ideally, we're not going to see that. You can actually negate Meteor by just attacking the the one that gets powered up. So Kara's probably going to Q an attack with BB, I was guessing? I didn't yeah. see it. Yeah, Zwanzig. Zwanzig, yeah. Doing the neutralization. But we probably won't need it. Yeah, nobody missed, so we're fine. Zwanzig's infamous for breaking up any kind of deleterious action. <laughs> So the extra levels we got from Tantarian actually made that fight slightly faster because uh, we get better damage rolls. Without the Tantarian fight, um, usually have to do a Blizzard with VV or do the uh, Meteor skip. Yeah. So already making up a little bit of that time we lost fighting Tantarian. Yeah, it's really hard. It's almost really hard to conceptualize just how you could possibly make back all that time that we spent fighting Tantarian, but it really does add up. A lot of the strats changed in uh, in Disc 3 in particular, and we do save a lot of time in Disc 2 as well from giving the, the boots to Zidane and fleeing early. So it really adds up incrementally over the run, and we end up actually saving time uh, over the old route, despite the fact that the boss takes four to five minutes. Well, we might not save time over that fight. But well, <laughs> yeah, defense. <laughs> 
All right, so now we're carrying Baby Grail back upstairs. <laughs> She's unconscious. Needs to be revived. Baby Grail. So they were uh, trying to extract her Eidolons earlier. Um, as per later you discover Kuja's explanation to uh, Garnet's not so mother brawn. Uh, and they tried to extract the Eidolon slightly prematurely. Yeah, you're pretty much finding out that uh, Garnet is basically a summoner. And um, it's not something we actually make use of in the speedrun anymore, but uh, we did have some strats that involved summons at some point. Never with her, though. Never with you her. You remember, no, you remember Ifrit uh, strats? I don't remember Ifrit strats. That must, <laughs> that be, <laughs> that must be old. Yeah. Uh, that, was, that was like... When we first started doing the Amaranth and Disc uh, and Desert Palace, mm. and we used the summons to uh, buffer. buffer the runaway. Mm. So like if you already used Carbuncle and use Ifrit instead. Oh, <laughs> we have five dollars from Danica who says Final Fantasy IX is the best FF. Fight me, chat. <laughs> oh boy, that's asking for trouble. Johnny, uh, the Ginge gives $25 and says, please tell Kev that I love him. Okay, Kev. Thank you. you. What's up, Johnny? Johnny the Ginge has really red hair. Oh, really? Really? Yeah. Shockingly. <laughs> well, the name makes sense. Alucaron gave $25 and said, supporting mental health first and foremost, because it's absolutely personal to me and because Freya is my spirit animal. Her theme is my ringtone. What's your spear and animal told you? I'm dying to know. Hmm. Probably one of those Zorn and Thorn guys. I don't know which one has a bigger personality, so I'll go with whatever one that is. Do you like them? Yeah. That's weird. I mean, Toji's Canadian. He likes everyone, no matter what. <laughs> oh, yeah, true. it's true. Okay. They have a cool theme. They do have a cool theme. Their yeah. theme's okay, but they have no, like, they just exist to be there for each other. But I, that's that's adorable. Oh, okay. <laughs> Bad ATB. It's just like Zwanzig and Hollow. <laughs> hey. What was that card card? Bad ATB. Yeah, so, so this fight, we're going to try to do something similar with uh, with the last one. But in this fight, uh, Steiner, if you just saw him hit 1825, he's going to be like the damage dealer here. And we're going to kind of neglect other people that are dying um, so long as Steiner remains alive. Nice. Yeah, Steiner is uh, Steiner does way more damage than everyone else. And this is why uh, Kara was saying in PV attempts. It's not going to be enough. Oh, or it is it enough? enough? Must have barely been. Oh, enough. okay. It was 567 left. Right. So why Kara was saying he would consider uh, attacking Steiner in the Tantarian fight in PB temps is because if he's in crit HP, Freya has cover and it actually potentially can save you uh, a Steiner death, yeah. which is very handy. Yeah, if you target Steiner with shock, then uh, that would have been very bad. Yeah. When's Quinta coming up? Uh, uh, okay, like another 20 minutes. Like 20 minutes. 20 yeah. minutes. Maybe a little less. Okay. Yeah, probably a little less. So, yeah, if you want to get one of these names, you better start aiming for them. Again, less than $120 spread for all of them. But Grandma's still winning. We did have a $200 anonymous donation. Good luck to the runners and to reaching your goal. Which one? I don't know. <laughs> the, the goal Pro for Probably 100000 <laughs> I, I think 100000 <laughs> Quinn goal is good. Hades goal is good. Hundred thousand, we're we're getting there. We're almost there. <laughs> By the way, uh, just to remind everybody and for everybody who's new here, this is RPG Limit Break 2017. We're in Salt Lake City, Utah, raising money on behalf of NAMI, the National Alliance on Mental Illness. This is made especially important as May is Mental Health Month. Join the conversation on Twitter using hashtag Mental Health Month or hashtag Stigma Free. So naturally, Queen, Queen Brain, Brawn, what did we decide? <laughs> brawn. Brawn. You're outnumbered. Queen, <laughs> Queen Brain? <laughs> I mean, Like, has, there's Mother Brain. It has an H in it. What are you supposed to do with that? Bra. Uh, bra. I don't know. Bra? Yeah, sub bra. <laughs> bra. bra. <laughs> sub bra. Queen Brun? Yeah, yeah, dude. Queen sub bra. Bra. She doesn't, she doesn't, Queen Brain does, Queen, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> the Queen does not strike me as someone who says bra. <laughs> 
Maybe she requires like all of her servants to say it to her. She oh, might. I should hey, use Queen Queen What am I doing? We can use exclusively what Kuja refers to her, which oh, is okay. elephant woman. I still got it. <laughs> So yeah, uh, Kara has a few options here on these Bandersnatch fights. Um, he can kill them with one attack from each of Beatrix and Freya, or he can elect to use Klim Hazard, which is one of uh, Beatrix's attacks, which you'll probably see him use in some later fights, which will one-shot them. Actually, with the extra levels, Beatrix can barely one-shot it. Her max damage mm. roll is the exact amount of <laughs> HP that they have. So we want to feel like rolling the dice. We're going to do single attacks with Beatrix. He's giving Zidane the leather wrist here. This is really important for Beast Killer, as uh, you can probably tell, Bandersnatches are considered beasts in this game. But pretty much allows Zidane to, most of the time, one-shot them by himself. You're not going to... The power belt, I guess, isn't important. Yeah. And MP attack, <laughs> of course. MP attack's not that important. Yeah, so you have to, have to make absolutely sure we switch the power belt from Steiner to Zidane here, because we are not going to have Steiner in the party much longer. Yeah. These mages attack, he's pretty much just going to try to kill one each with uh, Zwanzig, Kyosh, and Arby's. Uh, and hope that Dagger doesn't, or Baby Grill, <laughs> doesn't get taken out in the process. We do want uh, we do want her to get some experience in the next few fights because uh, her experience influences Quinna's level. And we actually want Quinna to be level 13 when we pick her up. <laughs> Typically what we need is we need her to either survive these two fight this fight here and the next one or we need to survive the uh, the final fight with her in the party because there's we won't have Steiner there we have $25 from Cy 990 who says as someone who suffers from depression it's nice to see this incredible community that I'm proud to be a part of coming together for such a great cause let's hit that 100,000 mark donation goes to runner's choice that means hollow's getting a little bit more traction here <laughs> Akame Iku gave $50, and, or $5. That's good, too. Best Final Fantasy is Final Fantasy IV. The Demon Chocobo told me so. P.S. Named Aiko Wendy. Ooh, I like it. And Michael gave $15. $5 to each of Del Taco, Grandma, and Hollow. Yeah. Chaos Rain. Yeah. Something everyone can enjoy. So he's going to be killing these Bandersnatches with... Oh, okay. That works, too. <laughs> That's not what I was going to say, but hey, Zwanzig's coming up big. So we should be good now on dagger levels. She probably won't die the next fight, but um, to be extra safe, uh, we should definitely have the level 13 on Quinn at this point. And uh, see, there's there's more like slight time saves th uh, from fighting Centaurian, because normally before Zidane would not one shot. I mean, he could without Centaurian XP, but. Uh, He's much more likely to one-shot them now, and also VV definitely is a lot more likely. Yeah, the most common uh, old route strat would be to uh, split up the Bandersnatches and kill one with uh, Zidane and VV attacks, respectively. The VV attack, physical, and um, a Steiner and Dagger physical attack on the other one. But because we have these extra levels, we have much more damage rolls at our disposal, and so we're able to just kind of skip some of that stuff. Wow, that was a fast Thundar. <laughs> Ooh, I might have to heal after this. Yeah. We have five dollars from Meads who says all hell Queen Brawny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is it Meads? At least he got the ah sound correct. That's all that matters. Oh yeah. I'm just gonna call her Queen Bra from now on. <laughs> Queen Bra. Yeah. Brah. That's easier to remember. Giovanni gave five dollars and said, please to donate watching my favorite game. The FF community is so great. So great. Thank you. Plus, well, so have you been seeing what cards I've been getting? I don't know if you've been paying attention. I got a Yeti card. A Mithril Sword? I got a Mithril, at least one Mithril Sword. Yeah. I think and that's all that's I've seen all. so far. You got the Zoo card. Yeah, I got the Zoo in there. You're going to see him using uh, Beatrix's special here, Clint Hazard, which actually is an AoE spell that can one-shot both of them once, so pretty handy for us. In the old route, there was actually potential where she would not have enough MP to do it in both uh, battles back to back. But with the Tantarian fight, uh, because of the levels that are gained in it, she's always going to have a wealth of MP to use. Yeah, Beatrix is pretty similar to Quinna in that her levels, what level she's at when she joins the party is influenced by the level of your party members. So the fact that we fought Tantarian makes her MP pool 
always enough to do two. Yeah, Beatrix's level is exactly what Freya's level is, yeah. since it's Freya's since the first battle she appears in is with Freya. By the way, very important. Uh, Grandma is winning at 12.06, Del Taco 11.08, and Hollow is at 10.91. Oh, man, come on, it's guys. It's starting to close within the 100. gap. 100. Yeah. Well, all, almost within 100. So one way you, you can act, end up losing... He's got the calculator for a reason, okay? <laughs> you can end up losing a bunch of time here if Beatrix gets slept. Fortunately, it did not happen. Uh, there's a strat where you actually put the javelin on Freya... Um, and you can actually wake her up by smacking her, but um, <laughs> if she if Frey has the partisan on, then she's gonna end up killing Beatrix. Yeah, it can be a problem because not unlike other Final Fantasy games, um, sleeping party members only wake up from physical attacks. So if they keep using Thundara, for example, uh, she's gonna stay slept. Another old uh, strat people used to do if Beatrix gets slept was to jump with Freya, which basically makes her an untargetable. Uh, party member and hope that the Bandersnatch is actually wake Beatrix up. Instead, they'll probably do double Thundara. Instead, they'll probably do double Thundara and just... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Everything in FF9 is a calculated risk, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, so... Fighting Hades is also doing pretty well. We're just about at $3,000 out of the 10000 uh, so we still need plenty more there, but I feel like we've been at a fairly steady pace, just going to need to pick it up mm -hmm. if we're going to see that Hades fight. But again, priority number one, Quinna. Mm -hmm. Who is going to you know, win this bid war? Because mm -hmm. that is coming really soon. Mm -hmm. Get the donations in. Otherwise, it might be tough luck. Mm -hmm. He might be marrying Grandma. Yeah. Yeah. Which is fine. I mean, grandmas are nice. It's okay. It's just, it's not hollow. So I don't want Vivi to feel trapped. So Mr. wait, Svonsig. if uh, Quinna ends up being grandma, then, uh, like, so Quail is Vivi's grandfather, <laughs> right? Oh no, this, this is, is get, this is getting yeah. too meta. So Quinna is Quail's. Uh, wait. Wife? <laughs> what? <laughs> what is, what is It could this? be on the other side of his family tree. <laughs> uh, I'm confused now. <laughs> we have Krob's Ma who donated $40 and said, Hi, Kev, it's Mom. I almost forgot, but tuned in just in time to see you play. Thanks, Ma. <laughs> so this is another fight where Auto Haste uh, saves quite a bit of time. Um, we need to kill him with uh, two BB Blazaras and one attack. Um, because auto haste, we actually can do, uh, we can ATB wait it. I don't think it really came in handy there because he got the attack off first, but a lot of the times it will allow you to, uh, to get him in, well, I guess one and a half rounds, sort of. And pretty much just a foregone conclusion. Infinitely less threatening than the last Ravu fight. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we're a lot more beefed up now after Tantarian, and, um, he's much, much less of a threat with this party than the one we had back in, uh, Garganru. We have $25 from Guardian Sayori, who said, here's my contribution to reaching 100,000. It's been a rough year for me, having lost my stepfather to a sudden heart attack last December. This event has helped me remember the good times with the man that first introduced me to video games with Breath of Fire, Secret of Gaia, and Final Fantasy Mystic Quest at the tender age of five. So thank you all for raising my spirits and supporting such a wonderful cause. So now we're going to be crashing on our way back to Trino and not being able to make it the whole way. And we're going to have to kind of take a detour through Plot City. Yeah, this is another little bit of a downtime uh, before we get back into it. So Queen Bra is getting a little, a little desperate at this point. Yeah. Uh, everyone she has sent to reclaim the princess has failed miserably because everyone knows baby grill is as elusive as ever yeah <laughs> and so now she's hired two of, i guess a, a sass hollow's 15 dollars away guys 
fifteen dollars. All right, okay. Come on, so, let's go. Grandma fans, you could still hold it, okay? Just keep those do donations coming in. But Hollow and Del Taco, you can both snatch it away. I just want to see uh, which one. Like, this is intense. I have no idea who's going to win. I, I, I believe in you. I, I got, I got no, no reservations about Hollow winning. It's going to happen for sure. I have full faith. I have faith in none of you. <laughs> okay, well, I at least have more faith than Queen Bra has in these assassins. Fair enough. Oh, geez. Yeah, Grandma jumped up, but so did Hollow. Grandma's oh, yeah. still winning by so about $45 now. Here's the first time that we'll actually be introduced to Emirant. Uh, obviously, he will not be in our party for another you know, hour and a half, but he, uh, we, we just get to see his character figure, I guess. He's the red-headed man for now. Salad head. Salad, salamander. As, yeah. As the uh, Japanese yeah. players sometimes call him. He goes by a number of names, actually, before you actually get to name him, which is pretty interesting. The next time we meet him, I believe he's called Scarlet Hair. Scarlet Hair. That's, yeah. yeah, that's when you fight him, when it's fight Scarlet him. Yeah. Hair. So here, we're going to take our uh, detour through Pinnacle Rocks here. Uh, Baby Grills kind of had like this identity crisis sort of thing going on, and this kind of like uh, introduces her and brings her back down to her like summoning abilities, where she'll get her first re really usable summon of the game. Uh, but uh, we will not actually do the mini game and just kind of skip through it all. Because I, Ramu is definitely the best person to talk to when you have an identity crisis. I actually really like this background of, with the waterfall. <laughs> It's pretty, pretty nice looking. <laughs> that wasn't supposed to be funny. It was, <laughs> I mean, it was it's just, just an observation. <laughs> you know? It was just the way you said it. <laughs> wow, this is really nice. <laughs> I love all these donations coming in, like, literally right now. Okay. This is great. Yeah. Brewer Mac gave $50 and said, As a vet of Afghanistan, donating to, do donating to mental health is an obvious yes. Also, as a Canadian, I must support my grandma. Hmm. I, I was I was on board for like the first half of that <laughs> Mr. Moai gave a hundred dollars and said fixing Quina, let's do it. And that was for Hollow. Yeah. yeah. We'll yeah. give that person a hand. Yeah. <laughs> Rival Wayne gave twenty five dollars and said, I wish I had the chance to donate and say hello to all my favorite runners and streamers. Both the RPG and speedrunning communities are the best. Even for the professional lurker, ya boy, Rival Rain. Shout in to K Rob, and I kind of need to suggest a segment commented solely by Luz and his attractive foreign accent. Oh. <laughs> Thanks to everyone that made this event happen, too. Thanks, Rival Rain. So, just a quick note here what you're supposed to do is uh, travel around this forest and find four. Um, I, I think there's actually five or six. I think there's five of them. Yeah. There's, like, there's like an extraneous one that you get. You're supposed to find all these things, but... Essentially, Ramu gives you this story in, a, in segments, and you have all the segments at the end, and in order to receive him as a summon, you put them in the correct order. And if you've ever read any story in your life and have an idea of how chronology works, it's a pretty easy minigame. Uh, and then you can pick of two different endings at the end, and neither of them really has an impact, as long as you chose one of them as the ending. But it's kind of a relevant mini game because you can get the item that allows you to learn his ability anyway through uh, random encounter drops later on. Yeah. So appropriately, we just we just walk to, up to him. Don't get anything. Just give up. Yeah. Because that's that's it's a like life, a good metaphor a for lesson. if you start speedrunning this game. It Rami's just, like, do you want to give up? Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's just unfortunate. It has it's taken us almost four hours to give up. <laughs> we should have learned our lesson after that seven minute mage measure. <laughs> and you saw I did do the uh, the screen reset thing there. Yeah, it, yeah. it looks like it's a little bit out of the way, but I've had very good results Same. with doing that screen split, so I always do it. Yeah. I kind of made a little bad turn there, but fortunately I didn't get an encounter because of it. We have $20 from Anonymous who says, Pies love hollow. So here's some help for that. Great run so far. $3.44 from Anonymous. You guys are awesome. My grandma was also awesome. <laughs> Quinna is grandma. Glenn gave $25 and said, the future is now, grandma. <laughs> Anonymous gave $50 and said, hollow face, hollow face, hollow face, ho. Trans Quinna gave $25 and said, so happy to see you awesome runners demolishing my favorite game of all time. Maybe I'll learn to speed run the game myself. 
someday. Since everyone seems to be bidding on my name, I vote for Zwanzig to marry Hollow. Yeah. Thanks, TQ. Thanks, Trent. Thanks. Man. Oren gave $25 and said, got to support that Hades fight and support Nami. And we have $30 from Shamba who says, thanks for a wonderful week of entertainment. It's been excellent to decompress to great speedruns after work. And here's my appreciation for a wonderful cause. Also, Grandma is clearly married. Oh, geez. Hmm. Yeah, that is drama. Drama hmm. right there. That donation went to name Quinna Hollow. There, buddy. Twin... $10 from Whitaker, who said, Good morning from Australia. Instead of favorite Final Fantasy, I'd love to hear which Sid is everyone's favorite. Ooh, that's a good mm. question. Oh, jeez. Mm. Spirits within Sid. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of like Sid in FF10. I for, do, for, too. For the wrong reasons. I like his, but, uh, his I voice like, actor. I like FF13 Sid a lot, actually. Holy cow, Hollow is in the lead. Yeah. By yeah. So I actually just avoided a little cutscene there by hugging the left side of the screen. You get too close to this NPCs. Um, they like check out the mage that's like laying on the ground and kind of chat about it really quickly. Yeah. I forgot to use D-pad on that screen. So that's why I was running kind of slow. This analog is slow with this controller. Yeah, strangely enough, maybe Liz could mention this a little bit. Uh, the official Sony DualShock analog is actually not good. It like it's not good. It's awful. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, th so you got this plastic surrounding the uh, the analog stick, and it makes it it blocks the stick from moving to its maximum range. So you actually don't get maximum speed. Uh, if it's, you use this controller, it's really bizarre because you you can you can time individual screens. I think it's especially when you're moving diagonally, right? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. When you're moving diagonally, it's like noticeably slower than just using like a D-pad or using a, a different third-party controller. Yeah. Long live the Kiwami. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> So we have $154 from Vulshock Sorcerer, who said, I've tried to watch as much of this marathon as I could, but I've missed a lot because of work. That said, we start strong with Final Fantasy XIII 2, and we're ending strong with FF9. Put $100 to name Quinna Hollow. Yeah. The other 54, 54 to Lude's choice for his excellent run. Lude's just sitting there on his phone. He's like, what are you talking about? <laughs> just do it. You know <laughs> He's not going. even... Yeah, okay, we'll put that towards <laughs> Grandma. No, 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 <laughs> no, no, no. no. Uh, we'll talk to Lude if he can pay attention. <laughs> <laughs> Your choice for $54. It's hollow. <laughs> yeah. Okay, it's hollow. It's hollow. <laughs> Javkin gave $10 and said one last donation to get in for that art book and or switch. Thanks so much to the runners, organizers, crew, and especially Brocentra for putting on another really entertaining event. All I do is talk, okay? That's all I do. Anonymous gave $5 and said, let's go. We all know memes are greater than grandmas. What? Thank you, Anonymous. <gasps> Dang. I'm so hyped to see all you guys on the couch staying up till 8 a.m. cheering for you guys. Much love to the whole FF community. Holy cow. There has been so much coming in. Smith.com gave $20 and said... Final Fantasy IX is my favorite of all the PS1 Final Fantasy, so I had to donate again. Game gave me the nostalgic feel of the SNES games. Final Fantasy isn't right without crystals. Let the runners rock, paper, shoot to see where this donation goes. Okay. Are we doing a three-way? Yeah. Ready? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> but do you not have normal... Like, do you have rock, paper, scissors in Spain? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, yeah, yeah. You okay, okay. Okay. You have to do it at the same time. Oh, count, count. No, okay, okay, okay. okay, okay. One, okay. Rock, two, three. <laughs> you can't. Yeah. You go on Is it one, two, it's one, three, two, three, or one, two, three, shoot? Oh, thank yeah. Sikara gets it. Okay, one, two, three, shoot. All right. <laughs> All right. All right. One, two, three, shoot. This is, oh, uh, yeah, okay. Right. Let's go. I don't I actually just want to beat Toju. Okay, well. Aren't we all going to pick the same thing? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I know, I know, but it was just a pride thing. Okay, I'll be right back. <laughs> 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 
All right, so this plot city is actually not too long as far as the run is concerned. Uh, at this point, the Alexandria Guards have taken over Limblum. Uh, we're trying to sneak our way out, and uh, Regent Sid has essentially orchestrated a way and means for us to get out, kind of like out the back door, uh, while they he like disrupts things on the this, like the train system below, and now we're kind of taken off. Quinn is coming up like right now, right? Uh, very, very soon. Very soon. Very soon. Okay, so get like if you want that name, get those donations in like right now. Okay, like right this minute. Hit donate. Okay, just type as quickly as you can. Click donate. You know, I said click donate twice. You can donate. Depends twice. on whether I get encounters. How long it's gonna. Yeah. If I don't get any encounters, it's gonna be like right now. Okay. We'll let you know. All right, I now. Know, what is it? Okay, let me do the last refresh right now. And Quinna is hollow. Yeah! <laughs> okay, we're closing that donation bid. Hollow, yeah, completely smooth. Is it down capital the first there. letter and lowercase the rest? Yes. Okay. Good job, Internet. Okay, that was a fantastic bid war. Very good. Unwise gave $10 and said, hey, bro, sent you what do you call a really, really big mouth? A grandma. <laughs> wow. Kappa. I like it. But unfortunately, the grandmas have lost. But that's okay because we've got Hollow who is here. So we're going to have a beautiful, beautiful marriage with Hollow. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so the next naming donation incentive, which is for Aiko, will be probably like 20, 20 ish minutes. That's for Aiko, Aiko? Yeah. Aiko. Worst character, that's what you, <laughs> whatever you want to call her. Yeah, thank you. Well, it looks like Nami is winning right now for Aiko. All right, good. Nice. Cool. And that's Jeff good. is in second for that. Don't forget as well, uh, the fight for Hades could really be real tonight uh we're about a third of the way there to get that fight so keep donations coming in uh even you know you can give it to a name or you could go ahead and give it to the hades fight that would be fantastic too i'm proud of you chat for making the right decision when i was gone <laughs> <laughs> so i actually want to change my answer that i gave to spike earlier uh actually fossil Roo is what i'm the most worried about because uh, <laughs> well we'll see I mean, I'm not worried about getting a lot of encounters. I'm actually worried, worried about, about not, not getting <laughs> <laughs> encounters. All right. I'm actually going to be switching out with Bob the Ninja Goldfish. So thank you, everybody, again for having fun during this run. It's been a blast so Thanks. far. Thanks, Thanks, dude. Appreciate it. Quinn's dialogue is just infinitely better when it's when her name is Hollow. <laughs> ha, ha, frogs. <laughs> <laughs> Hold. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Hold. Good afternoon. <laughs> Real talk, though. Um, when we were trying to put this together to get this uh, Zwanzig Hollow thing, I really really did not expect it to blow up yeah. this way so so for real uh thank you everyone who donated this it's been a it's been a fun time and i was not expecting to to raise that much all right since we did the the, the oh big my god this movement <laughs> 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 hey, what? i went back into alleyway jack's village so <laughs> what happened with the <laughs> i can't judge up and right what's yeah. come on i swear i'm not used to this analog stick so if you guys on the couch had your choice, what would you name Ico? Mm. Uh, I was going to say Nami is in the lead, so that might be something we want to go for. Nami's, good ah, Nami's a good choice. Nami's a great good choice. Yeah. So what you just heard was actually Mr. Zwanzig's favorite song in the game, but unfortunately it only lasts for about seven seconds in the run. But if you get on YouTube and listen to it, the whole song is like pure fire. So he's going to try to be avoiding the... Trying to avoid these <laughs> axes um, with his face. So the first and third, uh, first and third screens are going to be doing it on the top, and the second screen is actually free. As long as we get to the uh, the bottom part, we can just hold 
Uh, hold the direction the entire way. See if he's going to do... Yeah, so if you do that little wait there, you can ideally... That was risky. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you can skip a little bit of an animation. It's kind of a minor time save, but um, it's one of those things you might as well do. I was kind of worried about the analog being too slow and <laughs> not making it. I'd, I'd be lying if I said I didn't get caught there because I tried to do the skip anyway. So this is the first meeting of the two assassins that uh, Queen Bra sent us. Um, this fight is pretty straightforward, but it can be deceptively scary depending on what she does. Um, she does have AoE magic spells that can be pretty pretty devastating depending on how it works, but typically this fight is it's not too bad. As long as you don't give up. Yeah. Zwanzig wouldn't give up. <laughs> so if we get the Silver Fork Steel from uh, Tantarian, we could equip it on Quinna here and possibly do <laughs> some good damage. Of yeah. course, Quinna's damage range is like ridiculous. Yeah, anyone that's do, ever... like 50 to like 8,000 or something. Another thing to note is that Lonnie's AI is pretty much scripted to attack Dagger, at least on her first, at least on her first turn. Ooh. Oh, poor baby Grill. That's so dumb. Yeah, that happens. So we're gonna be trying to do three Zidane attacks and two Blizzards or Blizzards, excuse me. Uh, he's gonna be reviving Dagger here in hopes that uh, Lonnie will continue to attack her. Um, we really don't want her doing the AOE spells. She so. can use scan, which is okay. not obviously non-lethal, but it's a really, really long animation. Yeah, scan is probably the longest animation thing she can do, and Garnet weak, weak to fire. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also weak against fire. I actually think that that was one of the things that uh, eventually helped me realize the, about the silk shirt thing. Mm -hmm. Silk burns easy. Yeah. Thanks, Chuck. If it doesn't work first time, apply more fire. Is that, is that the yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So as you can see, Lonnie's really, really focusing down uh, uh, Baby Rill. Um, she is sent by the Queen to take her out, so her AI follows suit. Fortunately, despite the miss, we didn't have too much trouble when we got through the fight with no issues. So speaking of issues... Our objective here in this next little section is that we're going to be trying to learn Knight for Quinna. Um, this is probably the biggest uh, diversion point between the different variations of the uh, Tantarian routes. So the route that we're going to be doing is going to be... What am I doing? Come on. There you go. The route we're going to be doing is relying heavily on Quinna's Knight ability, which puts bosses to sleep. So we can actually um, basically keep the bosses chain-locked in Knight and... Um, that's a, something we're going to be doing a lot in Dysphora. But before we can do that, we actually need to find the enemy that does it. This is the best place to get it, and while you can get it later on, obviously, it would be much, <laughs> it'd be much better for us marathon-wise to get it now. So what he's going to be on the lookout for is either Seeker Bats or Abominations. Um, pretty much, probably fair to say, you have about a 50-50 chance on getting the encounter you need. So there's, I think, four enemy types in here, so either one is fine. I can only PB when I don't get Knight yes. in, uh, hmm. in Falls River, though. Kara infamously never gets it here, so we're going to hope no, that that's... No, I, I, I never get it if yeah. any PB runs. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it's pretty safe to say you're not PBing in this run anyway, so... Counter on this screen, that's pretty rare. Co-op PB. Co-op. I think you're underestimating. World record strategy. Oh, okay, well. so this is a perfect encounter yeah. to get. So he's going to be doing an attack with Zidane, and, and hopefully it's over 650, and then he can just simply eat with Quinna. Hopefully that's not on. Okay. Yes, it is. Uh, it is. I thought it was on Dagger. I think Vivi is actually going to kill him. Yeah. Yeah, it's a little bit unfortunate. <laughs> so, yeah, th that's one of the benefits of, of Knight, is that you're going to do additional damage, which is why we're doing it, but... Uh, Ideally, we wouldn't have wanted to kill kill Quinta there. But no harm, no foul, and uh, Quinta's just going to be able to eat this, and we've got Knight for the rest of the run. So when you saw Zwanzig uh, take out Hollow there, they <laughs> things are going to get a little yeah, better. Yeah, they, they got a rocky marriage, and that hasn't even, hasn't even happened yet. They're going to realize their affection for one another pretty soon. 
I mean, true love always They've only prevails. Just met. So he's doing something here. It might seem a little bit weird, but if you remember us talking about the threat level, um, anytime when you uh, anytime when you challenge someone to cards, it actually resets your threat level back to zero. And that screen in particular is quite long, so you have a fairly high chance of getting an encounter. So, especially since he had Knight already, he's electing to challenge the Miner to cards just to make sure he gets through the screen. I usually don't do it on Same, yeah. on that way. I usually do. Actually, I've kind of, I kind of stopped doing it on the way back too. Hmm. I usually just go for I've it. Had now. mixed results, but I do it just because I feel like if I get one and I don't, I'm like <laughs> regret. So throughout this like maze cave here, ooh, that's nice. I think I got that one because I ran a little bit too far into the into the flowers instead of stopping right on top of them. There's a number of like uh, I guess switches that you can press in order to change the water flow throughout the cave, and the water is like uh, it, it repels the gargan's movement, which allows you to kind of traverse the cave all the way to the other continent. And so we're going to have to press a number of those switches uh, and a couple, one of them actually more than one time and then kind of just keep hopping on and hopping off. Kind How of many end. encounters is this now? That's two. 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 No, I mean total. total. What did you have? It was 14. 12, 12 and, Clara. and Clara, so 14. it should be 14. 14, because you didn't have any anywhere else, yeah. It's going to be relatively normal, honestly. Yeah, 14 is actually not too bad for us. All right, since, since I go's coming up, let's take a look at how the standings are there. Right now, in first place, you have Nami with $275. The Jeff World Order is making a strong <laughs> comeback in second place with, 200, uh, with 117, sorry. And uh, Fort is in, uh, is in third place with $37. The most disappointing license play ever. <laughs> So if you want to hear the Jeff World Order get its last hurrah, you need to start getting your donations in now. <coughs> I guess they could they could snipe um, armor on couldn't they? <laughs> okay, I still got it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if it wasn't obvious by now already, this place is pretty variable for encounters. A lot of the screens are kind of like borderline whether or not you're going to get them. So it's a pretty big swing uh, segment in terms of uh, disc two and as, as a whole. So I had to change there. Sometimes you can, like if you do s some longer animations, you can buffer a quick escape, but didn't work that time. Right there too. Yeah. I, I always blame my movement <laughs> if <laughs> I get an encounter right at the end. Yeah. It's like if I just had a little bit better, but of course that one was, I actually had fairly perfect movement. Yeah, I thought your so. movement was fine that time. <laughs> We're going to say hi to the miner again for the same reason. Getting through the, the screen the second time is actually a lot harder than the first time. Um, I'd say you can probably get through the first screen most of the time, or at least 50-50. Uh, that particular way through, though, is a, a lot more likely to get the encounter. So you may have noticed Stiltskin there uh, peddling his goods. <laughs> we haven't really spent much time with him yet, but the next encounter we have with him, he'll actually be kind of useful... So we'll run into him not too long from now. Now, like we saw in the beginning, he's kind of uh, gone off on his own adventure, and he's uh, he has these packages throughout the game that you can purchase for Gil that are usually a pretty good bargain. That one we don't really get because it's not quite as useful, and we'd have to go through another few encounter checks to get it. We're nearing the end here. He's going to have to climb up and around. It's really important to note that he doesn't get too close to that bottom one there because it'll actually spray water and push you down uh, well before you want to, which is pretty bad. But um, he's flipping the exit switch, and he's going to allow this water from this one to push him down so he can exit the screen quicker. And this next screen is one of my least favorite this screens. This <laughs> the bane of his existence. In the game. Because yeah. it's like, how do you move? It wasn't too bad. That actually was pretty good. 
I think the key is, I mean, you actually just try to follow the actual... Yeah, yeah, yeah. The contour of the... Yeah. It's just such a weird perspective. So final screen here. See if we can set it right at the end. Oh, yeah. always. Oh, always. You can pretty much always bank yeah, on that. that. Especially that's, if you already have night. Yeah. That's like one of the most common encounter spots in the uh, in the entire dungeon here. Well, if and we I didn't know, have night, yeah. then we could have gotten it here too. I mean, you could need it again to get double night. That'd be pretty sweet. Tastes bad. <laughs> Yeah, Hollow's kind of a picky eater. Yeah. Don't let the, don't let the chef appearance fool you. He doesn't. He's not gonna eat just anything. Four encounter <laughs> fossil room. Okay, so here we got the uh, t the whatever title title card trick, a little trick while. here. We weren't told about that. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that, fellas. Eh. So uh. <laughs> it is what it is. And about three or four seconds after it disappears. One, two. Three, okay. Yeah, you want to wait till it, when it finally disappears, you actually do have a few seconds after it's off the screen that where you still won't get encounter. So he's able to run well out of the, the little impasse there too before he starts stutter stepping. We're going to actually be making use of the chocobo for the first time here when he gets to these uh, these tracks down here. Uh, it might seem pretty out of the way, and in some some respects it is, but um, we're going to be going back and forth between uh, these uh, Black Mage Village and... Um, on PD. There you go. Thank you. I got it. I got it. It's fine. You had faith. <laughs> so it, it, it does come in handy here. I have one potion. What the heck? Where did I get that potion? You got it back in um, after Tentarian. For those of you that missed what the uh, the guys on the couch were reacting to, <laughs> um, there is a vicious rumor going around backstage here at RPG Limit Break that if we meet the, the <laughs> Fight Hades incentive, that we may be getting somebody to sing, and mm. that you don't want to miss. So it's more like somebody a double incentive. Sing? I don't want to brag about my amazing singing <laughs> voice, but <laughs> go on, cough champ. I don't know how much of oh. how high I'm ranked. I know how I'm ranked. <laughs> we have a an official unofficial leaderboard of singing at the end of I'm Final Fantasy. I'm pretty far games. down that list. <laughs> 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 but my excuse is that I usually am singing Japanese versions. That's not an excuse. <laughs> Rally ho! Rally ho! Yeah, no, I don't know if people rose, but it's been a long-standing tradition that is unfortunately dying out a little bit because people are too afraid to do it. Oh, uh, you just need to like you need to peer get pressure. over yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You need to peer pressure people. Everybody's to do it. bad. Yeah, but. Uh, Particularly with the uh, PlayStation and PlayStation 2 Final Fantasy, it's a tradition to when you PB to sing the end credits. So, <laughs> and if you world record, you have to sing. Have or to the world sing. record is invalid. Yes. If I PB in a game that isn't doesn't have a song, I sing something anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So our resident memer in the community, Cough Champ, has a singing leaderboard, which I think has like probably like at least 50 entries on it by now, where he's uh, totally unbiasedly rated people. Totally unbiased. Unbiased though. completely. It's not as biased as Goran's old one, though. <laughs> First off, Goran is a meme himself. <laughs> he runs 10 2. Come on. Yeah, true. Sorry, Kara. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say, there's some shots fired. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of which, the Hades fight is now up to $3,296. And 65 cents. Oh, we How do we get 65 cents? Sorry. Out of $10,000. <laughs> so I actually had perfect parking on the chocobo there. I didn't have to move at all. Don't to park too close this time. Oh, uh, that was a little bit too close, actually. Now you'd be fine. Oh! Hey, see, you were definitely fine. <laughs> so this little section here is. I shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> <laughs> this little section here is probably one of the single rarest. Uh, locations in the game to have no encounters and only very few select people have actually gotten through these screens with none um, as you can see it, it is the only segment i've never gotten through yeah. actually it's not true i've never gotten zero on the last outside ifa screen either i got that recently as well actually those are the two i've still yet to get yeah the last outside one or the second to last uh i am the one before you're like next to the moogle like actually outside exterior where you hold up. Hold yeah, we just hold up. Yeah. 
So what you saw right there is one of the uh, sort of additional benefits of having auto haste is he Zidane's ATB filled really, really quickly, and he was able to flee straight away without uh, any animations. So you'll notice he, he's like kind of in like this Lost Woodsy type maze right now. Essentially, you're given the hint to go oh, wow. where there are no owls, and if you check the signs at the like the fork in the road, it'll tell you which way you should go. Essentially, um, there's actually one point where he's going to go the improper way because it'll bring him back to the front, and it's actually a shorter route to go the correct way. It saves a couple steps. This is a. Uh... Yeah, there's two ways you can do this. You can either go back up here, or you can actually you run can go down. Go the whole way around, around. Yeah. Yeah. Three encounter forest, as I expected. That is 19. Yeah. Pretty loud. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he has more than disc one already. <laughs> well, hey, we need encounters if I want my prediction to be right. Uh, fair True. Enough. See, I got Shaft to go in first, because now we got the whole, like, price is right over and under <laughs> thing going on here. I have no chance unless it, like, lands on what I predicted. What was yours? Or did I predict the highest? I said 63. I said 65. He said the lowest. 57. So I've got... Oh, I, I said 61. Yeah, I've guess. got the over under. You guys, you guys have no chance. Wait, do I get to get him on this? <laughs> of you course. Get, yeah. So what did you say? I said 63. No, He's you're going to say 66. I know, what's, I know how this game works. No, 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 no. What did you say? I said 65. 65? Yeah. 63. Yeah. Well, you have you told you has control over yeah. it because he can just purposely I counter us. <laughs> what did you say, Kara? I said 61. I'll take 62. Okay. okay. Good. Ah, I see. Yeah. I don't okay, I should I'm playing your game. I should have trusted you. <laughs> <laughs> I see how it is. I'm untrusted. I mean... We've said a lot of things about Americans in it's this run, so it's like, what am I supposed to How think? How do those apply to me? Where are you from? I'm from England. Can you oh, so you're on the you're on the you're on the U. <laughs> you know what? It's been a long week, okay? <laughs> I obviously I can't. At least you didn't I say Australia. Which I I'll can't do math. At least you know, well, at least we spell the same, so it's fine. You're you're we're on the same team in the end. We're gonna no, go we ahead don't, and sell the U in color. Potions. I know. I'm yeah, Canadian. Yeah, that's right. yeah, yeah. yeah. Gifts get it out of your menu. Oh, we spell so, but you have also the Those guys don't know. Yeah, yeah. So there's an ATE you have to do here. It's actually slightly faster to open up the select menu and, and open the ATE, uh, but it'll also open up automatically if you continue to follow Mr. Zvonzig over here to the graveyard. If you if you let it trigger automatically, then there's a delay yeah, there's before like a it delay. goes in. It'll like have it up on the screen and kind of pause for a moment. But then you still have to go over here to trigger this yeah, yeah. anyway. Yeah, it's one of the few ATEs where it's actually better to just force it yourself rather than leave the screen. It's because you don't actually need to leave the screen to force the AT in this one. Yeah, so normally I would buy softs in that shop, but we already got the softs in disc one, so. What, what I usually do is I sell the potions there and then buy the softs, so the softs will go up in the very first slot. That way I can select them immediately. So I'm not actually sure what slot they're in right now. <laughs> Probably they like should second be or second or third page. I usually, whenever I do it, I almost always have them exactly eight. Yeah. But I also don't sell the potions, so. So our boy Zwanzig here is. He's it's having a, a bit of an existential yeah, experience right now. A little introspection right he's here. He's finding a place to belong because, you know, Mr. Zwanzig has struggled with that. Yeah, he's, he's a sensitive guy, that Mr. Zwanzig. I mean, he's got this, he's, he's traveled around with this hollow guy. He has a feeling they might be getting married soon. Playing too many fan games. Yeah, I mean. And, you know, Kaoshi. Kaoshi. <laughs> Kaoshi. 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 Yeah. yeah, he's having a crisis too. He's yeah. having a, a, a re moment of reflection for yeah. Garnet. I mean, they're both FF9 runner. runners, so. And that's not surprising they're having a crisis. That's him getting hit. <laughs> we had we find out that Baku is actually his like father's his figure, yeah. adoptive father. This 
So we have this nice parallel between their stories. All right, so just another check-in. Our totals for Ico's name haven't changed. Still Nami in first place, Jeff in second place, and Bort in third place. Amaranth right now, you have Cornell in first place with $365. AJ Styles in second place with $122. And Jeff in third place with $2, along with B-Breaks. So we could have a one-two Jeff combination here with uh, some bids coming in. And now I do not forget to go to that shop. It's actually faster to go back for it because if you do it uh, the first time you're there, then uh, you get a cutscene of Dagger. You should save or, outside, uh, can't baby girl, I mean. Just in case. Mate, we're going to be short on guild, I think. We had got 100 nobles. What are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, but I buy the mithril clothes, and we don't have the silver fork. And if we lose the card tournament... You won't lose the card tournament. Yeah. <laughs> that is... We have faith in that you, is We have losing. faith. Yeah. How much do you think you need? I don't know. You're a king. Can we get mm. the black belt, too, if you want that to sell before? Yeah, but then I have to buy stuff for Hades. Why did we want to save again? Just because I haven't done any while? Yeah, because the, yes. the, no, the wedding scene is, oh. is here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also because marathon. Yeah. And <laughs> Well... Look, after what happened in the finale last year, I'm just saying. Fair, fair. Or where can I save then? Uh, I was suggesting you save before entering. It's fine. It's kind of late now. Just d make sure you're not mashing after I this. I will scene. make sure. Don't yeah. worry. So we're actually going to have a double wedding here. Mm -hmm. First one between Kyosh and Baby Grill, <laughs> who are obviously an item. A power couple. Yeah. <laughs> not the power couple, though. Hey, when you're looking through telescopes together, that is like as real as it gets. Yeah, that's pretty <laughs> cute, honestly. I guess we'll just watch, you know, this part too. I'll, st I'll just start skipping sure, slowly. Sure. <laughs> this is actually an amazing cutscene. <laughs> now we're man and wife. Unfortunately, baby girl. Yeah. Time for the kiss, yeah. baby girl. And crash. <laughs> Kyosh may be French, but uh, playing hard. He can't lose yeah, someone he doesn't want. <laughs> All right. All right, so it's here somewhere. I mean, there's more. You have to follow tradition, lad. <laughs> Found him first newly what's to make the rounds, baby girl. <laughs> <laughs> what are we supposed to do? You guys trying to ruin our honeymoon? <laughs> <laughs> but you know, can leave, just <laughs> leave us here. Why don't you guys get <laughs> married too? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Yeah, that's it. In the meantime, baby girl and I can go on our marriage. Dot, dot, dot. Nuptial joy. Nuptial joy. I have actually never seen this. Oh, oh you're going to really like it. Oh, yeah, I love yeah. this, yeah. If you want to continue narrating dot, the dot, voices, dot. I appreciate it. Have the strength to ca <laughs> carry through the trial. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. <laughs> and the wisdom <laughs> to follow the path. <laughs> 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 May the blessings of heaven be upon this man and woman. Dot, dot, dot. I'm so happy. Dot, dot, dot. Me too. <laughs> See? Uh, well, I guess that's it. Then. <laughs> So thank you, everyone, who made that Swanzig Hollow wedding a possibility. <laughs> Whether those two like it or not, they're shipped now. <laughs> thank you to everybody that donated for that. <laughs> I guess I can start mashing again. <laughs> so I have a $10 do uh, donation from Anonymous. We're catching up a bit after the, uh, after the naming incentive here, saying... As a grandma, I'm honestly hurt by the hate these commentators are giving us. <laughs> Put this towards the underdogs, the grandmas. All right, we well need Ico's be... name right now. Yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm waiting for it to refresh, which is why I was reading. You so got a sec here. I was trying to multitask, okay? <laughs> Damn hotel internet. <laughs> I 
I think it's going to end up being Nami. Is that it all, just all caps? There. Or uh, yeah, it's it's all caps. Yep, Nami with two hundred and seventy-five dollars. Nami in all caps. Uh, second place was Jeff with one hundred and seventeen, and Bort remained in third place with thirty-seven dollars. Thank you to everybody that donated to name Ico, and just know that our next naming incentive is, is Amaranth. That's how far from now? 40 minutes? Yeah. Okay. So, I have a $200 donation from Charge Reducers who says, let's get that 100K and Hades fight. That's an awesome donation. Thank you very much, Charge Resistors. A $5 anonymous donation that says, Tetra Master is better than Triple Triad for life. Would you like to agree or disagree? Uh, I'm going to agree, to be honest. No, no, no. He said no? Tetra Master or Triple Triad is better? Triple Triad is better. Triple Triad is better, yeah. Oh, so yeah. he's saying, he, uh, this one also saying Tetra Master is better. No, he's wrong. No, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay, so you see how he's already running away there? If I had done, if I had just waited a little bit longer to use the flea, I would have gotten a quick escape there. But unfortunately, I was too fast. <laughs> Fortunately for us, Lisbeth is the world record holder in eight and nine. So at some point, he can talk about why Tetra Master is better, or not better than uh, Triple Triad. I haven't saved anyone else. Tetra so Master is so here. random. It's all RNG. Yeah. There's way more random elements in a, yeah. in a Tetra Master compared to Triple Triad. Yeah. Triple Triad is very consistent in terms of um, how AI behaves and, and attack power, <laughs> most notably. Yeah. So that was the first instance where we bought Stiltskin's package. Um, I don't actually remember what he gives us here. Magic tag, ether, Magic tag. and tent, maybe? Sounds about right, yeah. Yeah, usually his, his uh, packages are a good deal. The magic tag is also nice if you get um, if you get a zombie breath in the Aoife tree, which can be really bad, actually. So that was encounter number 20, I think. Sounds about right, yeah. I have a, a $20 donation from Solomon. Hey. Hmm. He says, hey, all Solomon here. I just wanted to say this was a great event, and I was happy to attend it and meet all my boys. Well, minus the memes and all. <laughs> thank you all for a great experience. Well, thank you, Solomon, for being being here. It was awesome to meet you. Uh, I have $10 from Smarvelous. It says, Spike and Poexel's Final Fantasy IX run way back at AGDQ 2013 was the catalyst that sparked my interest in speedrunning. It's great to see you guys take up this mantle and optimize this beast of a run. And thank you to everybody that helped organize this spectacular event. All right, so this fight here is um, it's a little bit precise. Um, what we're going to be trying to do is set up our attacks in such a way that we're going to skip his Kiraga um, because that's, that, saves, that wastes a lot of time. So what Kara's going to be doing is the first round, he's just going to be attacking with uh, Zidane and Blazara with BB. Then the second round, he's going to make sure that he uses Bazaar first before Zidane's attack, because basically what that does is it sort of um, sort of allows Hilgar's ATB to fill up, and uh, he'll choose his action effectively before he gets below the threshold where he would use Kiraga. So because this animation takes so long, he uh, he doesn't know that his HP is low enough for his AI to do that, and then ideally on the next round we're going to be uh, finishing him off. Can cure Vivi just cased his earthquake here. Unfortunately, we can't go for the fairy flute steal as much as we would like to. Or angel flute actually is. And it's a good thing I did feel him. Yeah, he's gonna attack with Zidane here just in case he crits. But uh, Vivi should finish this off right now. And uh, that's pretty much the fight. It's one of those fights where it doesn't look like anything's going on, but um, the Kiraga skip. There's actually a lot going on in the background. The, the iterations of um, how we skip Kiraga, or well, how we deal with Kiraga, rather, is uh, has changed over the years. Um, the Antline card, nice. The older strats for that used to buy Mithril Rod for Reflect, and Dagger used to Reflect uh, Hilgagars. So he would still use Kiraga, but instead he wouldn't actually get the benefit of it. But now, um, actually, we can credit our boy Zwanzig for a lot for that strat um, that you just saw there. Unfortunately, with the Tantarian fight, Lucky Seven's strat. I don't think you're. Hungry, start over. Hungry. No one was Lucky listening. Seven. <laughs> no, it's fine. No one was listening anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Aww. 
I said ever since uh, we started fighting the Tantarian fight, Zidane is no longer a level 13, which his HP total was 617 at that level, which made it a, an option to attempt to gamble with the Lucky 7's ability, um, which could potentially make the fight really quick or a complete and utter disaster. Just why I like it. <laughs> yeah, how Lucky 7 works, in theory, it's... One in four chance for four damage rolls if your HP ends in seven. So because he starts with his HP at seven at the old level for that, we could you had the option to attempt it. So basically, Lucky Seven's either going to do seven damage, 77, 777, or 7,777. And Hilgar's only sitting around at 8K and some change. Or I'm not actually sure how much. But 8106. 81. So as you can imagine, if you hit the uh, 7777, you're, he's pretty close to death already. We also used to skip uh, Hilgagar's death animation mm -hmm. by using Drain with Vivi. <laughs> For whatever reason, he doesn't topple over. It mm -hmm. just kind of disappears after that, mm -hmm. if that's the final attack. The real tragedy with Lucky 7 is you don't have a way to inconspicuously kill runs anymore. You could just <laughs> go, you just go on dead runs, just use Lucky 7. It's not going to work. One in 20, like, w I've one had in Lucky four. Lucky 7 salvage runs before. <laughs> yeah, but only bad ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. One Obviously. in four. It's not even one. Like, let's be honest. It's not one in four. In theory, it should be, but it's probably not. It nev you'd never get the good one. There's also some strats that, uh, even on good pace, if uh, because the, the way that the attacks go in that fight are precise in terms of um, letting VV uh, attack first to have Hilgar's ATB or fill up so he can't do Kura Kuraga, um, some people elected to, if Zidane got a turn first, but Z Vivi wasn't going to, to just kind of give it a try there, and if not, revert back to the old strat. I have a $10 donation from Anonymous that says, As a proud grandmother, I can see defeat to whatever a hollow is. <laughs> you guys are doing great things, and I'm happy to contribute in any way I can. Still, Queen is grandma on my save file. <laughs> <laughs> And another $10 do anonymous donation it says, Myself and two other IRL grandmothers have loved watching <laughs> this entire marathon and love what you guys are doing. Even though we didn't get Queen's name, we still love what you're doing. Keep it up, fellas. And I have $10 from Wexelsier, who says, Fun fact, Final Fantasy IX is the best Final Fantasy. And he put his $10 towards naming Amaranth AJ Styles. So here we have a little fun little moment where Aiko is going to uh, be assigning jobs to the Moogles, and we just kind of mash through. And she's she's basically sending them on uh, on hunts for food ingredients, yeah. deciding what to make Zidane because uh, she thinks that she can pull Zidane away from Baby Grill, but as we all know, I mean Not they're they're pretty much an item at this point. So parents I mean, married at this point. I mean, point. yeah, they got married, so. Hey, baby girl. <laughs> <laughs> I have $15 from smith.com. He says, donating again because we're so close to that $10,000, that $100,000. Oh, math is hard. <laughs> uh, I've been watching as much as I can because speedruns amaze me, and I've always told myself I will start running something. Oh, where's Brasentia? Because RPG Limit Break is about to be over, and that is terrible. Oh my! Mm. Uh, so I have a word with you, do, uh, chat. Like the the, the, the pun game during do, Bro Sensor's like shift was was weak. Ooh. Like you got to bring that man. Like I want to get your best puns coming in here. If if the whole room's not grown in, then you're not you doing your step job, your right? Up. Yeah. The worse the reaction you get from the people in this room, the better <laughs> your pun was. Yeah. Or worse, depending. On <laughs> Same thing with a pun. I mean, right? yeah. Like, they do say that a good pun is its own reward, so. Hopefully I don't get the soft lock here. <laughs> please, Remember that? Please don't. I did save not that long ago. Well, it wasn't actually a soft lock, but. Yeah, it was a temporary it soft lock. It like definitely looked like a soft lock. At the relay. I mean, how, how many more things could have gone wrong in that relay run? <laughs> For you? Not, a, not many. So Aiko made this nice dinner, and like a true Frenchman, Kayashi is going to be a gentleman and uh, help her clean up by taking this pot out to her. Oh, 
I this grab it from the left side, so he has to walk less distance. Although I kind of messed it up. This next little bit is actually kind of hard for me because it's you actually can leave um, part way through her dialogue, but uh, you have to be kind of careful because you want to mash as fast as possible. But you don't want to over mash. So you really have to know. Important skip coming up. Uh oh oh. oh. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The most important skip. So when you run through that room, uh, the Moogle there will come in, and you have to like watch him kind of like I don't know scramble on in here, and he'll like ask you to take a nap essentially. But if you're able to, you can talk to him kind of at the precipice of the door, uh, and then you'll be able to just skip that whole little animation. It saves two seconds. Yeah, totally worth though. <laughs> I'd like you to know, Kara, that uh, Hollow is impressed. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe I, I usually don't get it with. Uh, when I'm not using turbo. Yeah, this is a, a semi semi recently discovered skip. Yeah, it was fairly that. new. Like I, I don't remember doing it back when I was running it more. As well. Actually, honest. Actually, to be honest, the turbo isn't actually that. Uh, it, the positioning is more important. Like you need mm. to you need to stop on the right pixel is what the is really what you have to do. I have another ten dollar donation from. The group of IRL grandmas <laughs> who say we are ages 68, 66, and 70, and our grandkids taught us all about JRPGs. We were confused at first, but learned to love what you guys are doing. You guys kicked butt and taught us about NAMI. Great work, guys. You keep it up, and we hope we will all be back next year, and next year we will hopefully win the donation war. <laughs> Shout outs to all the grandmas. Yeah. And they put their money towards fueling another bid war and naming Amaranth AJ Styles. Just for the record, no hard feelings to all the grandmas out there. We're on your side as well, but, you know, we really wanted Zwanzig and Hollow to get married. <laughs> That's what this really boils down to. Mafuni and Sensor Dolan says, what do people do when they're cold? They shiver. Oh gosh. Mm, yeah. I mean, it's, Moth, yeah, 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 I was like, yeah, yeah. Moff, bringing the game back, yeah. though. I, yeah. We'll it's, it's, you getting, it's definitely getting every. there. Yeah. That kind of reminds me of a SNL celebrity Jeopardy with uh, Matthew Perry playing uh, Michael Keaton, was it? <laughs> was it Michael Keaton? Where is this going? <laughs> is, that, uh, is, that is there, the is there, the is there more to the story here? <laughs> no, it, it was just a very similar. Similar thing. Very similar path. I, I don't yeah. want to try to is, go through Is the he a thing. Final Fantasy fan? <laughs> He's Matthew Perry. He can be whatever he likes, really. Yeah, yeah, true, sure, true, sure, true. Sure. All right, we have $25 from Zyre who says, Hey all, congrats on another successful RPG limit break. I wish that I could have been there this year. Oh, well, maybe next year. Good luck with the rest of the final run, as all fantasies must come to an end. Until the next gathering of friends. And he put his $25 towards fighting Hades. Which again, I will remind you all, if we meet the uh, the fighting Hades uh, uh, incentive, there was that vicious rumor going around backstage here that there might be some singing uh, incentives opened up. So... Can we sing Baby Grill's lyrics first? <laughs> <laughs> So this section of the game is very, very infamous for encounters. It's uh, one of the most volatile areas in the entire game yeah. for encounters. It's very feasible. You can get. I've seen as low as two, and I've seen as high as twelve. I right, forget see the softs. where my softs are. Yeah, yeah. so you can it's... elect the softies instead. Like I said, I think if you, I have the potion, so it's always a nine. So it's always just a. Oh. It also depends on whether you have an echo screen. Yeah, I see. So yeah, the first step of this this uh, area is to get through the the vine encounters or the vine screens. Hopefully, with very few encounters, um, they're a lot longer than they seem like. So it's actually quite difficult to get through, um, which is why it's such a volatile section. Because although it's very possible to get through there. It's not, definitely not easy. It's very windy, but yeah. I typically prefer to use D-pad on most of them. Has Elizabeth confirmed this run is parentheses L yet? <laughs> we actually had a donation about that from Chelney. 
ten dollars. <laughs> yeah, I hope this thing. run is parentheses L. <laughs> and I, I was I was incredibly lost, but thankfully Cheney was like in, in brackets. That means legit. <laughs> yes, it is. Thank you, <laughs> thank, thank you for educating me. No Kwame here. Actually, it is here, but there, there is one. But. <laughs> There's multiple. And that ten dollars from Chelaney went to Fighting Hades. Five dollar anonymous fight saying, "How much do we have to donate to get the Ozma fight?" Well, let's let's get mm. Hades done first. Let's get Hades done first, and then we might worry about it. And fifteen dollars from Agora. It says, "I want to ride my bicycle. I want to ride my bike." <laughs> That's how the wedding march goes, right? <laughs> of course. It is for Hollow's wedding. <laughs> so, nice. this is yet another meme of the community is uh, Kara on his stream likes to play music during practice at randomizer races that he does, and uh, he's a big <laughs> Queen fan. Hollow for, I, I don't even know why. Hollow does not like Queen. Inexplicably hates just, Queen. Just no How can you hate Queen? Like, it's not a single song, apparently. Like, get out. Like. I, I hope that we're, like, piecing together the reasons why ah, Hollow is, the, okay. like, the way that he is. <laughs> so, Bicycle Race is, like, the worst one for him, I guess. And uh, during one of the relays, Kara decided to name Zidane Bicycle to <laughs> further the meme. <laughs> We had a other, I'm trying to think, Freya was like bow rap. Were they all Queen <laughs> songs? Pretty much. Well, one of them, Quino, was it Quino, there's Race, or... I think that one's Bicycle and... Yeah, and, yeah, and Quino yeah, Quin was Race. <laughs> and then, and uh, Amaranth was Killer, and Garnet was Queen. Queen <laughs> yeah. This is the fifth. Speaking of which, the Fight Hades incentive is now up to 3,500. Out of the 10,000 that we need. That is fourth. Fourth? Okay. Yeah, it's fourth. Yeah, so this is the boss that can uh, zombify your your party members, but the magic tag that we got from Stiltskin back in the Mountain Pass can help us uh, remedy that. Um, it's really bad to get that status because uh, you are you can't receive any experience or AP, so if it's on the wrong person, it's uh, pretty inconvenient. Shoutouts to everybody that's chat singing Queen songs <laughs> right now. Just make sure Hollow knows he's wrong. <laughs> so this last screen is one of the few that I think you said you've never gotten uh, yep. zero on. This screen is I have gotten I have zero also, on the yeah. screen like a few times amazingly. Yeah. That section he's in right now in particular is really weird because yeah. Zidane How do you move on that? I don't yeah, think it's Zidane's like moves like really slow no matter what you do. Um, which is usually a sign that you're not moving optimally, but it do there doesn't really seem to be a way to 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 not have that happen. Oh. That's really Who annoying. is? Watch them all be level fifteen. No. Okay. Iko probably is, or Nami. Not Nami. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So level five death, pretty much just it kills anyone who's a multiple of level five. So it is very possible to have uh, some party members at the level fifteen mark at this point. All right, I got a twenty-five dollar donation from Fricassee with no donation message which went towards naming Amaranth AJ Styles. So that is actually getting closer and closer. We are in fact I only just about... just the menu. We are in fact only about $200 apart at this point. So if you want to see the phenomenal one come back, then you need to uh, start getting your donations in because we're closing in on the time for that incentive. So. Ooh. So well, something to note, actually, that comes up in Disc 4, but also here, um, if you hold the uh, the shoulder buttons to try to get a quick escape, um, but what that actually also does is put a 1.5 damage taken multiplier on your party, so moves like that, as well as the cleave move by the giants in Disc 4. I died to Aerial Slash, because apparently it's Oh, a, and it's Aerial a, Slash as well. Yeah, I was doing it on an enemy that used an attack that was an AoE that I thought was Magical. definitely elemental. Mm -hmm. uh, and ripped. Yeah, it's really important to stop fleeing for certain moves like that, or else it can be really bad. Because, like you said, you can uh, you can easily just have your entire party wiped. Sorry, sir. Yeah. So six encounter infantry, I think. Yes. It's not bad. That's uh, uh, twenty-six. Or did you have? Yeah, you only had one mountain path, right? 
No, I didn't have any mount. No. I thought you had a troll. Oh, be, that was before. That was the 20th. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So yeah. it's 26, right? Yeah, so it's yeah, 26 so now. We have another pun donation. What kind of shoes do white mages wear? Heels. Oh, All right, no. calling you out on that one. He's saying that's a repeat pun. Uh, okay. <laughs> like that, that is a pun crime right there. We're getting caught out by Vulogin. That's like bad yeah. news. Especially on puns. Like that's the worst. <laughs> yeah. Like if there's anyone that isn't going to be calling someone out on a pun. <laughs> or uh, Ronan Raven sends a five dollars and says, "I can definitely understand why everyone likes looking at the last soda. I mean, that's why it's called Final Fantasy." Oh, no. Right? Oh. Yeah, you literally got booed by, by the audience. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. I'm not sure that was a good boo either. Yeah, no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Kara just is fighting some zombie encounters. There's a number of ways you can deal with it. Um, Zidane kills them in one hit typically, as well as Ico can use life to kill them. Uh, your other option is you can use Fyra and Cura. Uh, so Cura actually damages them. So you can use those as an AoE spell with BB and Ico respectively and uh, kill them that way. If you really want to take a long time, you can throw a Phoenix down and then follow up with a physical attack. Yeah, you could. If you want to spend extra time just because. No, I mean, the background's kind of nice. We might see that a little bit later. Yeah. With some yeah. other enemies. Got a donation in from Christina, who has donated a couple of times during the marathon. He says, I'm sad to see the end of RPG Limit Break for this year. I really enjoyed this round and watched loads of the runs. Thanks to all the runners, it's been absolutely fantastic to watch. Thank you for your donations, especially since you put this one to naming Amarant Cornell, uh, extending its lead by a bit. So there's another, also a number of ways to deal with this encounter. Ideally, you want to have Ico get good ATV and you can use life, although that can miss. Another option is what Kara just did, which is uh, spend an elixir to, to kill him in one shot. That cannot miss, which is nice. Or you can do the Phoenix Down and Attack Strat, because Phoenix Downs will bring undead monsters to one HP. I hope you don't mind me chucking elixirs. <laughs> uh, elixirs aren't as useful in this route. Yeah. It's still it's still nice to have them in a marathon. Yeah. Shout out to I'm the going mom. all out. But hopefully you might get life on Soul Cage anyway. We'll just consider the mom elixir. Hopefully Soul Cage will drop an elixir. Yeah. I meant to mention that I said I got an Antlion card from Hildegars. It's kind of weird how Hildegars drops an Antlion card. Antlion drops a Sahagan card <laughs> for some reason. I have $20 uh, as from an anonymous donor who says, let's go fight Hades so Zvanzig can finally show us what it means to feel the heat. <laughs> <laughs> So that chest at the bottom of the stairs there containing elixir is kind of a, a tell by Square, letting you know that um, you can kill the boss with an elixir since it is undead. It's a mechanic that's kind of carried through from a number of Final Fantasy games, but um, yeah, it's a nice little touch there. I actually never really thought about that. Yeah. <laughs> the fact that it's a tell. Yeah. Is Another $25 anonymous donation with something in it that I know at least one person on the couch would disagree with, which is Final Fantasy IX is the best FF. Ico is the best Final Fantasy IX character. Who's this from Anonymous? Yes. No wonder they want to. They don't want. They don't <laughs> want their name. <laughs> they know. And they put their twenty-five dollars towards uh, again fighting Hades. Thanks for the donation, Anonymous. How hard was it for you to say that? You can sh show that. The person will probably change their mind later. <laughs> <laughs> There's a chance. I have a ten dollar donation from another anonymous donor. There's a, this man has a lot of money. Uh, hey guys, I'm the guy who got my grandma and her two friends hooked on RPG Limit Break. It sounded like they might be bummed, but they totally aren't. They loved this event and the donation war, even though they had no idea who Queena was. <laughs> <laughs> that is absolutely amazing. I just wanted to say thank to you guys for entertaining a couple of old ladies for a weekend. They can't stop talking about their plan for next year's Donation Wars. Seriously, you guys are awesome. Aww. Thank you for getting my grandma and her friends interested in JRPGs. Thank you, Anonymous and Grandmas. We got level 5 death here. This is pretty much the same as the, um, the Draco zombie fight where he has a number of options. That's annoying. So he was going to get life I off, was going to save uh, an elixir, but yeah. nope. <laughs> no, rip, rip the elixir. Yeah, there's not much you can do about that.
Another fun fact. Soul Cage is a tree. Shouldn't we use fire on it? <laughs> yeah. It looks like it would be weak to fire attacks. I mean, he is weak to fire yeah, attacks. Yeah, and you, uh, <laughs> you, you, when you get Ico joined into your party, she has default with the ruby, which allows her to summon Phoenix, which does fire damage. And so, uh, I don't know. You typically, on your first playthrough, might make the mistake of using a fire attack, at which point Soul Cage like, catches on fire and then spews embers at your whole party, <laughs> and it is a train wreck. It's also a good way to mercy kill a dead <laughs> It's fun to watch. He is weak to fire, just unfortunately you are in like the dead center of the tree. So he is kind of uh, the issue that was creating the mist on the mist continent, and so now that he's been dealt with, you see the mist kind of fizzling out here. And now we'll kind of have it like lessened in order to draw Kuja back to the area. Oh yeah, the, by the way, the Phoenix Pinion is Yeah, Phoenix, Phoenix Pinion, Pinion, yeah, my bad. There's a lot of money coming in going towards the Hades fight. So it looks like right now Cornell's still in the lead for the name for Amaranth. You got like 15 minutes or so. About 15 minutes? Yeah. Come on, if you guys want to see something other than Cornell be the name for Amaranth, you've got to start getting those donations in and push us closer and closer towards that $100,000 mark. I do have, and most recently, I have a $50 anonymous donation. Loving the marathon every year. Sad to see it almost over. Thank you to everyone, and I will spare you puns. We want the puns, though. We want puns. Yeah. Yes, this is a Sabaton shirt, by the way. Shout-outs to Sabaton. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's, it's pretty probable that they're watching right now, don't you think? I think they're still on tour, actually. I mean, there's probably a huge crossover between speedrunners and heavy metal artists, I would say. If any of you like anything that you've seen Carl wear this week, follow his channel and you can jam with him <laughs> yeah, all yeah. the time. Yeah. I have uh, $25 from KD3. It simply just says, good luck, guys. Thank you, KD. And Blackhawk1313 gives 25 and says, this is a great event. Finish off that $100,000 goal, putting this towards the Hades fight. Now, just uh, so a little bit of information for the guys at home, what does the Hades fight involve? Why is it such a big... Um, uh, challenge. So, well, the interesting thing about the Hades fight and kind of why we wanted to incentivize it, the main thing is that Hades was originally planned to be the final boss of FF9. Um, and so there's like kind of like that interest in the fight, I guess, just to kind of like start it. It's also not super far out of the way. Um, in the any percent run, you are required to run through the room that he is located in. Um, but obviously, because he is optional, we wouldn't typically fight them um and so like i think those are probably two of the the main reasons why we wanted mm -hmm. to incentivize it told you if you want to talk about the fight like a little yeah bit it's kind of neat because he's he's a very interesting boss in that in some respects he's easy and in some respects he's pretty brutal um we're going to be going into him with most of our party under level 30 and he's actually level 90 something so it's a uh, we're hugely, hugely underleveled, so being able to beat him at such a low level is um, is pretty crazy, actually. It also plays a unique boss fight song mm -hmm. from the Festival of the Hunt while you fight him, mm -hmm. which is pretty rad. Yeah. And a lot of people may have had trouble with him casually because uh, uh, speed-wise, he's actually like ridiculously fast as well. Like I don't know if any other I don't know if any other boss in the game is faster than him. Maybe Ozma. So they probably him and Ozma yeah. probably comparable. Yeah. Do we have a good moment for a quick announcement? Sure. Well, I just want to thank everyone, uh, all the runners, all the commentators, all the attendees, all of my fellow staff members, and everyone who's attended and supported RPG Limit Break this year, and I want to congratulate us all on reaching $100,000. Hey. Hey.
Shout outs to Six Figs. <laughs> Good stuff, everyone. All right, I have a donation from Hugmore Donuts Big and Grandma, <laughs> who says, for the announcer, I decided pick it, pick it. to do something that is not a pun. I am actually only using incorrect or misspelt words to see if he would be able to read properly without mistake. Great, though. Ha, ha, ha. Now, I'll point out that is spelt I, as in E-Y-E, D-side-E, to do some... T yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> I got you, okay? <laughs> uh, $10 from Heiner Muller. We put that towards fighting Hades. A $5 anonymous donation that just simply says, great fan. Uh, $50 from Aero that just says to all the runners and staff, thank you for a great event. And twenty-five dollars from Poor Scythe that's also going towards the Hades fight, and all of that did just go to the announcement that you heard Vulajin just make, which is one hundred thousand dollars, which brings us the two thousand dollar donation from Vulajin himself oh. that merely says. But Millie says, congratulations to everyone on a fantastic event. Let's crack 200,000 next time. But I want to give a special shout out to Kirby Master, who sent a $55 donation from somewhere that <laughs> basically says, I can't wait for the incoming $2,000 donation. <laughs> <laughs> I might not have been... Uh Entirely, you know, secretive about my friends. <laughs> Stealthy was not the word I would use. <laughs> All right, so we're entering the Amaranth fight. Uh, this fight has changed a little bit since the uh, the Tantarian rounds. We used to equip Distract and Counter. So Distract basically means that uh, we're less likely to get hit by his physical attacks, and Counter obviously uh, gives us a chance to counter him. Now instead, we're actually going to use Auto Haste instead. Bad ATB and high damage. So yeah, he's really, this fight's a little bit more consistent. You don't have the, the potential for um, like really quick fights, much like you would in the old route, but uh, the consistency <coughs> is much, much higher. Generally speaking, you'll get the same fight every time. The only variable is really uh, whether you attack first or not. Not gonna risk uh, attacking him in the back yeah, row right. since he'll counter, and I already took a lot of damage. Yeah, if you attack him when he's jumping around like that, he will counter, and his, his damage is actually higher than his normal attacks as well, so we don't want to risk it. He's getting the biscuit. This is actually you're fine. kind of a threatening position. Nah, you're if fine. If I miss... You won't miss. Or if he crits... Nah, you're good. Fingers crossed. No, All right, so no, just, no, a quick up, just a quick update. Cornell is sitting at $370,000. $370,000. Hey! Um, what is this? Save, kill the animals? Um, <laughs> and AJ Styles has made a comeback to $202. So there is within distance, but you've got to get it in like right right now if you want to snipe that name. Yeah, you probably have less, no more than five minutes. Yeah, absolutely. To snipe it. So if don't you want. wait to snipe because it takes us a minute to refresh everything and close down the donation. Get that donation in <laughs> now. I'm not gonna lie, I was pretty worried. Nah, there. I wasn't. I wasn't scared at all. <laughs> I have died to Amaranth <laughs> plenty of times when I've. He was going easy on you. So I guess interesting thing to note story-wise, uh, despite having been hired by the Queen as an assassin, um, Amaranth's a pretty honorable guy He's as very well. honorable. Yeah. He's so like the Canadian of kidnappers. Yeah, so like, <laughs> yeah, like he'll, 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 you know, he'll attack you, but we'll probably say sorry afterwards. But he doesn't want you picking on the little kid. No. Little Nami. He yeah. wants to fight Kyosha and no one else. Yeah. Because he knows it's a fair fight. Yeah. Whereas Lonnie is kind of an underhand, mm -hmm. sneaky person thief. Yeah. I have a $100 anonymous donation. Final Fantasy IX is one of my favorite all time games. And I think this might sit better with the couch. <laughs> VV is the best Final Fantasy character? That's, um, that's uh, acceptable. Yeah, it's it's acceptable. Let's see that sure. Hades fight. $100,000 is within our sights. <laughs> I'd like to say it's in our rear view mirror. <laughs> yeah. but <laughs> Touche. <laughs> All right, I have a ten dollar donation from that crit luck. He says over one thousand dollars. Yes, it was. Uh, Pogchamp, 
Let's celebrate with more puns. Did you hear guys happen about hear what happened to all the Keyblade Masters? I heard it was terrible. That's like the 800th time this week <laughs> had that pun. Uh, let up your game. Where did Zidane learn to steal? From the school of lock and dagger. Hmm. Is that Final Fantasy VI pun? It's... Yeah? Yeah, I mean... All right, I'll whack myself out now. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell puns aren't much appreciated around these parts. <laughs> <laughs> That's on point. <laughs> I have $25 from Mr. Misty. It's not dropped uh, a, a comment, but again, that's going towards fighting Hades. Ghost Poo one with $5 says, I didn't realize this was the last run. I've watched a lot, but I can't get enough. Let's finish strong with Hades. Yeah, I think fighting Hades would be a great closeout to the marathon, especially with what everything that's been achieved here in such the name of such a, such a good cause. Um, we do have a comment here from the uh, German restream, some of which is in English. I'm not going to murder the German part of it, uh, but I will just read out the, G the English part that says, it's from Taros, and it says, thank you for the great event. Thank you to the runners and everybody involved who made it happen. I'll see you at SGDQ. I hope you enjoy it, Taros. Thank you for your donation. So here we're getting a story that Zidane is, or I guess... Kayosh is telling Baby Grill about these two friends named Colin and Ibsen, whose name will come up again later, as they essentially just decide to arbitrarily stick his name on this castle they find. And so Garnet, or Baby Grill, she's having a little bit of uh, this, like, flashback to where it was that she had come from, which she kind of has visions of the day that she fled Maiden Sari as the giant eyeball monster <laughs> approaches from the sky. Now we're back to the opening cutscene. Hey. hey, maybe we can get sub seven this time. <laughs> Rip. <laughs> All right. So just a quick update: the the fight Hades. The fight Hades is now at. $5,992 out of 10000 So I think Vulajin put his whole thing towards that. So Thanks, we're about halfway there. And then after that, maybe we might hear some singing. Hmm. I, love <clears throat> I love how this was even a secret incentive to us as well. Oh. We were not told this until it was said here. Blame Essentia. It's It's fine. <laughs> it wasn't me, I swear. <laughs> it wasn't me, Governor. I'll need a, a, a hot tea before to soothe my... <laughs> soothe soothe my your throat. pipes? Yeah. What are you, Pavarotti now? No, I'm just a really, oh, just really you, great Just you singer. wait. Donate towards Hades and you'll find out. <laughs> All right, so the Amaranth stuff isn't changing, so it looks like people still want him to be called Cornell. All right, that'll be up very shortly. All right, so let's go ahead and close that off, and I'll do the final refresh. Is that good? That's fine. So we'll close that off now. So these are the lyrics to the song at the end, if you're curious. Mm -hmm. If you want to hear what they're going to sing, that's what you're saying. No, he's saying La 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 is the lyrics for sure. Oh, 
All right, so Amaranth's going to be showing up here. We're going to find out he's actually not that bad of a dude after all. And Zidane, much to the dismay of the rest of his party, is going to invite them, invite him to come along with them. He tries to ditch the group all the time, though. Yeah. <laughs> he, uh, he has a lot of respect for Zidane for beating him, so he wants to find out how to become as strong as him, basically. I have $25 from Clax, who says, Who is Spira's number one pop star? Lady Gagazette. Oh, oh, very oh, clever. Oh, okay. <laughs> twist. <laughs> so far, that's number one palm. That's number one, one so one. far. Ooh. All right. Um, it's Cornell, is it? Yeah, Cornell. C. O R. C O R N E L L. I think that's in memory of Chris Cornell. Yeah, condolences to his yeah, family. Absolutely. Yeah. And again, thank you to everybody that donated towards that incentive. Now, thank you to everyone who donated towards all the names. We're yeah, absolutely. At the end now, but we raised a lot more money than I ever imagined for sure. Let's clear up some of the people that did donate to that. I have a donation from RoosterLol249. Oh, this is going to be great. Um, the runners must be Hey D's terrible puns. Put this towards the rebirth ring when Luz falls to Eren in the card tournament. <laughs> wow! Wow! Shots fired. Uh, Sailor Eren, she is she's pretty pretty good. Really, Rooster? So no, I just no got faith. a world map encounter. <laughs> Are you gonna take that, Luz? Like, this is good. What do you have to say for this? Yeah, this, this could actually yeah. be bad. Are they attacking Zidane? We'll see what the other one does. I actually got a world map encounter between Maiden Siri and Mount Ness. That's <laughs> I don't think That's I've some ever pretty bad that. stutter stepping. <laughs> I was really hoping I would actually make it through this run without uh, getting a world map encounter, but sadly, <laughs> not meant to be. I have a $100 donation from an anonymous donator who says, Final Fantasy IX is my favorite Final Fantasy game. Let's get some incentives to play Chocobo Hot and Cold next time, because <laughs> I want to see how badly you guys can break that mini game. Mass square to win. <laughs> Mass Tur square turbo to win. square. I forgot which screen I was on. Turn on turbo. <laughs> uh, $25 from an anonymous donor who says, This is my first trip to a speedrunning marathon, and I'm glad to say I met a lot of great people. Thanks, everyone, and I hope to see you all again next year. Maybe next time I won't get a cold. I'm not sure who you are because you were anonymous, but thank you for your donation, <laughs> and I'm sure it was a pleasure to meet you. And a $25 from Ogun Drachier, who says, $25 towards the Hazy Fight. Congrats on the 100K. Shout outs to Vula and the rest of the crew at RPGLB. I'm a little misty eyed seeing you get so much money for a great cause. Going into the burrows of my wallet to donate a few more dollars to all those with mental, so all those with mental illnesses are not forlorn. Thank you for your donation. All right, so now they've made their return to Aoife, and as they expected, uh, Kuja has returned to kind of check out what has happened to the mist that he had been harvesting, essentially. And he has also kind of, like, orchestrated this idea, kind of being aware that Queen Braun is also going to be coming to try to take over this continent as she has, like, been influenced by him to, like, be greedy and want global domination. Oh, almost. I, I wanted to 29. say something. I didn't 29. Want to so yeah, the vines so. are pretty much the exact same as they were the first time, but getting through a lot of those long screens without encounter is pretty nice. It actually helps to get uh, kill one of these for yeah. Amaranth. Yeah, yeah. for bird killer. I mean, you don't really need bird killer on Amaranth yeah. in this route, but it's also you know, nice to get the XP on them. Yeah. Do you have bird killer for Hades on him? Nice oh, devil killer. Just oh okay. Yeah. So twenty nine encounters through disc two is like about as average as it gets. Twenty nine thirty. Yeah. So yeah. It's not good, but it's not awful either. Yeah.
Ah, that's true. Man. You might be able to hear me now. Uh, saying the uh, the fight Hades incentive just broke six thousand one hundred dollars, so we're getting closer and closer, and we've got a while to go before that, right? Yeah, so a little more than halfway through the run. Though I will say there may be a monetary component to you guys singing. Mm -hmm. So if you want to hear them sing, it's in your interest to, to meet the Hades incentive as quickly as possible. Yeah. Because these guys don't don't sing for free. No, this this isn't a karaoke club. No, right? no, no. No, that was what Tuesday night, I think. <laughs> yeah. Tuesday night. You don't go to a Lady Gaga concert and get him for free. Lady so. Gaga's at yeah, oh, true, exactly. <laughs> All right, so we're approaching our last little bit of. Um, of uh, fights until the card tournament here. Uh, he's going to be fighting a series of Mystodons going down the branch here that Kuja's sending after them. And uh, pretty similar to the other Undead monsters, he has a few different tools at his disposal. Generally speaking, Zidane can one-shot them. It's possible for him not to. Um, we also have life with Ico, and we can also throw Phoenix Downs plus an attack with any number of people. So uh, we're just hoping to get some good ATB and preferably Zidane attacks because it's the fastest way of doing it. Before then, we're treated to some very nice FMVs of uh, the Queen's fleet coming in, as well as Kuja's, uh, Kuja's stuff as well. Oh boy, there's the 100% uh, definition discussion going on in the chat right now. <laughs> Sweet, I want to encourage you. <laughs> If there wasn't before, you guys just started one. So. <laughs> well, I'm reading the chat. That's, that's oh, okay. That's... Uh, well, I didn't say I approved. <laughs> <laughs> I just said that there's a discussion yeah. going on. Of course, uh, the one I targeted attacks. Oh no. This run has had a so like crazy like amount of misses. Miss, yeah. yeah. Swag Ico kill though. Nami. Oh, Nami. Getting some work in. And the under dam okay, I still yeah. got it. <laughs> that did not go. Yeah, that very thing well. I said about Zidane one shotting, that's definitely not. <laughs> not a given. Just get lost in the soundtrack sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Like, uh, we were having a discussion in the in the food room while the, while Bar Century was on, like how good the soundtrack in this game yeah. is. Probably one of the biggest reasons some people speed run in this game for sure. Yeah, yeah. I uh, got a, just got a fifteen dollar donation from Dan Gone of Thunder. He says, "Look, I'm not gonna lie. I just want my name in for the Nintendo Switch. But wouldn't it be something if I won my own book? <laughs> because Dan donated the art book that you can." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He said, congrats on 100,000, everybody. Thank, thank you, Dan. You. And I know you're here on site, so thank you for coming as well. $25 from Don Lathian and $25 from Eternal Crow, both of whom haven't left comments but are donating towards the Hades <laughs> fight. So. Oh. So, in case you guys were wondering what we were talking about, if you donate uh, a minimum of $25 between now and the end of the marathon, you do get entered into a prize drawing to win a Nintendo Switch with the unofficial bundle that is Legend of the Zelda Breath of the Wild. And also, there is the other prize that is available, which is the art book from Dan, which... The buy-in for that, I think, is five dollars. So the uh, the internet is taking a while to load the the, pri the prizes thing. So 
So this missed on encounter that he just got is actually random on whether or not it's one or two. So he did get the one. It's actually would rather be two, especially if I don't get another one. Normally I would use an elixir here, but I'm gonna save elixirs. Yeah, yeah. You already right. got ripped off one earlier. Yeah. So, on his way down the vine here, typically speaking, that's going to be the only encounter he gets, but it is a relatively small chance that he could get another Mystodon. A Ralph or two? Well, yeah, so on was... NA version, it's much more likely to only get one. Yeah. Japanese version, you almost always get two. I have no idea why it's different. Also, Ralph. And I did get two, oh. so. Shout outs to my boy Ralph. Well, it, it's okay, because Amaranth will yeah. get the extra level now. So, yeah. I... <laughs> did you feel something before? Just to confirm, did, the yeah. uh, the the donation for the the art book is five dollars, and there's also a copy of Final Fantasy IX that can be won for five dollars uh, for the big war of five dollars, which is donated by our own Alec K forty seven. So and I didn't get slept. So shout outs again to Hala, who has affectionately dubbed that second Mistodon Ralph. I don't know. I don't know why. <laughs> Dude, that's the name I want to catch on even more. <laughs> I don't really. I don't really. Chat's, question chat's it. going with it. I don't really question it, but Ralph the Mistodon, he's made his appearance at RPG Limit Break 2017. <laughs> that's pretty much going to be it. That wasn't even close. No. So now, now we just have a few more cutscenes, and we're going to be closing out disc two. All right, I have a two hundred dollar donation from Kuro Sabas Tenchi, and I apologize if I mullered your name, <laughs> but uh, I tried, and that's that's the best, right? It says I meant to donate earlier, but I was distracted by all the awesome runs, and suddenly we're more than halfway through the finale. So have some cash before I forget. Keep up the good work, anyone. And that was two hundred towards Hades which brings Hades now to about 6,500-ish, just below that. Thank so you very much for the 200. That's, that's a very generous you. donation. And $10 from Anonymous. Thank you, everybody, at this awesome event. I took time off work just for this and was not disappointed. I had a blast watching this together with my friends. I hope to see a bunch of you at SGDQ. $20 from Chess Jerk. Let's get that Hades fight in. Congrats to everybody at RPG Limit Break for a fantastic marathon. I wish I could have been there. I still think we've got time to reach 110, but that's just me. I think we can. So we started this run at like 89. So. Disc 2 is almost over, so oh. that will be okay. the end of my time. And Luzbelheim will be taking over shortly. So these next series of cutscenes are actually uh, pretty nice to watch. It's uh, there's an epic battle going on here with Kuja at the forefront, and uh, fortunately there's going to be some casualties along the way. Ifa Tree is pretty much pretty much toast here, and uh, Kuja is going to quote White Goodman pretty shortly here. <laughs> is that a movie reference? <laughs> no. Don't even worry about it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Kara, you made me proud. <laughs> Nobody makes me bleed my own blood. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody. Blood. <laughs> my only weakness. I don't know. Blood, my only weakness. <laughs> So now we see that same eye from uh, Baby Grill's past. It's like Lou's Bowl when he has his first Frosty. <laughs> <laughs> this is good. <laughs> <laughs> Sawlock sends in $100. Congratulations on reading Team 100K. I've been watching all week, and this marathon's been a lot of fun. Let's put this towards the Hades fight. Fixes some parallax with $25. 
congratulations to the runners and organizers for breaking 100k for Nami. We really want to hear the singing. So let's get Hades taken care of first. Enjoy <laughs> the rest of the run. John Drevs drops 25 and just says, Nami. <laughs> Nami. $5 from an anonymous donator. I am very glad you are anonymous because this is going to get a groan. Uh-oh. I had to get this in before it is over. It was a great ring of amazing runs. I'm glad we broke 100,000 towards a great cause. I guess you could say RPG Limit Break entered the code NAMI code to get everyone <laughs> together to donate. <laughs> that, yeah. I like the effort. That was pretty good. The I like the a effort for effort, too. sure. It was, they tried. They tried. They tried. Hey, hey, at least it was a new one. Yes, they didn't yeah, copy it. At least it was another terrible part. No, so that was somewhere between terrible and Lady Gaga's <laughs> <laughs> but are, are we going to be giving up participation medals? Like, really? We gave someone a Sheriff of the Day badge earlier. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure someone can top Lady Gaga's head. $25 from Anonymous. I may have given up learning to speedrun this, but I will always support this and the cause. Beat Hades. Speaking of which, is there a place where people can go to find out strats and good places to kind of... For Hades? No, for Final Fantasy IX in general, uh, it is. Yeah, we have, obviously, there's like a, a really well-kept leaderboard of times for all of the main category Final Fantasy games and the meme category Final <laughs> Fantasy games. Uh, but yeah, most of them have a number of resources. And FF9 has a very beginner-friendly, non-Tantarian route uh, guide by our boy, Mr. Zvonzig. Mm -hmm. uh, there's now a really nice beginner-friendly Tantarian route guide from our boy Ketoxia. With Knight. With the Knight route that is going to be essentially similar to what you'll see yeah, here. Similar. With some nuance. Um, so there are, is a ton of resources. And there also, to give him a shout out as well, there also is another guy that will use Tantarian but Amaranth instead of Quinna by our boy Hollow. Hollow. That is what I use. Yeah, you can find all three of those guides on speedrun.com slash FF9. And uh, also there is a... Final Fantasy Discord that has a very, very active FF9 channel that anyone there would be happy to answer any questions you might have. Because if you have seen everything you have seen in this and you still want to speed run the game, then you're probably as crazy as the rest <laughs> of us. How many uh, Mage Masher steals was it? 48? Uh, someone too in the, many. Someone in the, in the food room was just joking. He was like, ah, oh, 72. <laughs> and we were like, wait, hang on a minute. What? It, Nearly, oh. it's, it was bad. It was, it was bad. But it's a, it's a true teaser to the game. It's fine. It's going to be made up with cards. Yeah. So good job to Kara on disc two. Well done, sir. <laughs> I have a $5 no uh, comment from Skeptic. Just thank you for your $5. Twenty And uh, yeah, just a lot of people talking about uh, having come in part way through the route, so maybe you guys could repeat some of the basic stuff like stutter stepping and just the stuff that you repeated earlier. Yeah, no, sure. Whenever, whenever the uh, essentials come back up, because yeah. they will, we'll, we'll absolutely. Just them. Yeah, because no like we're, we're we're five and a half hours in at this point. <laughs> no someone's, problem. Someone's gone and seen Guardians of the Galaxy two, had dinner, <laughs> and come back by now. So, oh no, wait, was it Alien Covenants, the new one that came out this week? I don't know. We saw Guardians of the Galaxy two a few days ago. Yeah, I've never seen you Guardians. Didn't tell me. I could have never seen the blame first Spike. one. Yeah, blame Spike. Vegeta. That man has a lot to answer for. Yeah, he does. Hey, the best part was when he asked us to go. I was under the impression that this was like his initial viewing. That after we left, he was just like, "Still good the third time." <laughs> <laughs> Twenty-five dollars from Sreka. This says, well, "Grats, Kara. Well done, Kara. Love." Five dollars from Windows ninety one. Hey Windows, uh, Windows are boy. Hey guys, it's your favorite operating system here. <laughs> <laughs> Love all you guys that are on the couch, but Luzbill, you're the king, mate. King. Thank you, mate. True king, true you got this disc three. Triple win, easy, easy. every time. Easy, mate. <laughs> Staying up early, till the early morning to see the ending of this great run. Happy to see Final Fantasy nine in RPG LB. And the Final Fantasy community's presence during these runs is amazing. Thank you so much, Windows 91. I, words I never thought I would be saying. If you have any donations in the next, like, 20 minutes. Yeah, it's bad. This is, like, a really big lull in the, the run. We kind of made a joke and said that whenever Luz Bell took over, we were all we were just going to have everybody just get up and leave for a break. 
We could have someone bring us like martinis or something. Actually, I, I'm, I'm thinking of going to eat, but I don't want all of us to leave. So <laughs> let's leave it shifts. Lesbo's also making a really big mistake right yeah, now. Yeah, this is no, he's, no. He uses these. Oh. Oh. I was reliably informed by Bowie that this is the incorrect way this to is, play yeah. the game. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to have to take that up with Bowie. I agreed and I was told to leave, so. Don't worry, it's, it's, it's making a redux in Disc 4. Do you use circle confirm? Yeah. So our boy Lasbo here is sort of renowned for his crazy mashing ability. Why don't you like give the webcam a shot at this this technique you got going on here? <laughs> 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 we got the tutorial the other day. Yeah, yeah. I'd like to point out that, that Ghost on Tech, when you said show the webcam, went. <sighs> no, and, started you, 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 and started moving over to move the webcam, and no. then Luz just lifted his hands <laughs> and was like... It was majestic, right? It was. <laughs> I was rather happy about that, not going to lie. All right, so at this point... Uh, Garnet's going to be, or I guess Baby Grill rather, is going to be taking over the throne for Alexandria. Dr. Tot gives her a, a plethora of items here, which are all of the gemstones that she lost earlier uh, when her summons were extracted from her. And so now they're just preparing for her coronation. $20 from Anonymous. I've watched AGDQ and SGDQ every year for a while now, and I just found out about this event. How did I not know about this? It's awesome. Lost Odyssey for best Final Fantasy? <laughs> not quite sure about that one. You might have missed the point a little. But. So here, Nami, who we talked about, is going to try to be like creating this love triangle that's just not going to happen between herself, Baby Grill, and Kaiosh. Uh, is going to write him a love letter. And so she sees Tot and thinks that he looks nerdy because he has glasses and is like, hey, will you write this letter for me? And Tot, being intrigued by the proposition, obviously agrees to do it. And this is kind of part two of what I mentioned earlier, how Dr. Tot is kind of like the catalyst between developing uh, the princess's backstory. And so at this point, this dialogue explains how... Uh, the queen actually had a daughter named Garnet who passed away, and they found uh, the Garnet who you are familiar with um, on the shipwreck that we see at the opening FMV. It looks like her, but had a horn, and that they removed her horn and used her as essentially like a fill-in for the original Garnet. And that is how she came to be the Princess of Alexandria. I explained this to like five other runners a week ago that had no idea that that was what was going on. And so now he has really got to focus here. He has to control Ico. Let's see if I can do it. <laughs> oh, I nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> Easy every time. <laughs> All right, so we just had a $500 donation that says, I just missed the marathon last year and didn't get to donate, so I'm doubling this one. Half is for 2016. Had to work hard all week, so I need to catch most of the action on YouTube, but I'm excited to have so much to enjoy. And again, that went to Hades, and that puts the total at Hades at $7,333 out of $10,000. We're getting very very close to meeting the Hades fight and then we might open up an incentive <laughs> about singing thanks everyone that's donated for the we Hades we totally will <laughs> appreciate it uh oh birthday boy is officially in chat it's, w it's weird I don't know when my birthday was Wednesday but what it was weird <laughs> I share a birthday with Solomon <laughs> All right, $5 from an anonymous source. Not quite sure this 
this person was trying hard. Why is Final Fantasy VI afraid of Final Fantasy VII? Uh, I see where Final this is going. Yeah, because <laughs> Final Fantasy VII ate Final Fantasy IX. <laughs> Freddy's just like, yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay, I have $200 from Puexel. Oh, it says, I believe I speak for all of my staff and the entire Final Fantasy IX couch when I say, <clears throat> we'll sing for charity donations after Hades is met. That's what I like to hear. Smiles221 gives us $5 and says, Did somebody say singing? I really shouldn't be donating, but I have to make an exception for singing. Singing is in caps, by the way. Uh, <laughs> let's make Hades happen, and if it does, then I'll donate five more dollars towards singing. <laughs> I'm surprised the room is so empty for this part of the run. <laughs> you mean the 20 minute? Yeah. Yeah. Even the ca one of the guys on the couch left us. <laughs> Joker, $10. Last donation of the marathon for me, and I had to be during my final fan favorite Final Fantasy. Fantastic event, and I cannot wait until next year. Thank you to all the runners and staff, and congratulations on 100K. Thank you, Joker. Roland Knight sends $5 and says, I am so glad I found this event last year. I know many people in my life that are affected by mental illness, so this hit home. Love all the runs you guys have done so far, and Final Fantasy IX is one of my favorites. But we all know Final Fantasy VI is the true masterpiece. We're getting some grimaces on the couch. I like Final Fantasy VI. It's a great game. So keep up the good work, guys. Also, you guys should have a lunar speed run next year. Well, if someone offers it, it will get, we'll probably get considered. And then an anonymous $25 donation says, excited to be able to catch this particular part of this great marathon. Thanks for all the effort and support everyone has put forth. Here's money towards fighting Hades. So let's see where we're standing. All right, so there's actually a couple of item pickups that, that Luz is going to do here. Uh, he did a little bit of synthing, and then he picked up a, a Phoenix Pinion that was hidden on a wheelbarrow. And on both sides of this, like, I guess, docks on, e on either side of, of this moat of sorts, there are a couple of hidden items, including one that is essential for allowing us to hit enemies, and especially the bosses on Disc 4. So again, this is Amaranth kind of causing some kind of dispute amongst the group. He's kind of like the black sheep of them, I suppose. I'm gonna pick everything actually. Yeah, just make sure we have enough guilt. I mean, we had the 100 nobles, so we should be fine, but. Yeah, but. I don't know, I'm not sure. Man. <laughs> Will of the card tournament. That's not even an option. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> this <laughs> one too. <laughs> everything. And an ether. Everything, right? Oh man. So, so suboptimal. The total clear here. <laughs> <laughs> the one that he just picked up is the one that we That's really need. That's the one yeah. you really need. Yeah. <laughs> this is accuracy plus, which is essential for this one. So we're kind of wrapping up this segment of 
plot. There's probably a couple of minutes left. And then we'll get into the hypest part of this three immediately. Any uh, predictions on the card tournament? Win, win, win. Win, perfect win. <laughs> <laughs> getting, getting a little bit of time lost because Luz is over. He's too good in game two. Sailor Allen, he's going to win, but it's I'm gonna check on a battle, first. but it's not going to be his turn. We had a Yeti, a Sand Golem, a uh, the the Zoo and the Nymph. Antlion. I'm gonna and take Antlion. Arrows. Yeah, check the arrows. Be a good idea. Yeah, you actually have some potential to have a decent hand. All right, I've they save? got a fifty dollar donation from Key Fry. He just says, "I'm pr so proud of you guys." Hugs from Key Fry, less than three. Key Fry is one of the artists that has helped us out here at RPG Limit Break. Um, she donate, she uh, designed a bunch of stuff for us, such as our logo and the like. So check out her work over at CarryFry.com. That's K-A-R-I-F-R-Y.com. I've also got an anonymous $50 donation that just gives gives the metal fingers and just says, Hades! And then Han with $5 just says, yes, sing. <laughs> uh, from uh, Reese that we had here on site, otherwise known as that idiot you hate. Hey guys, I made it home safe and sound. I'm glad that we hit the big 100,000. Here's an additional $5 for the calls and the Hades. I hope the run has been great so far, and here's to the rest of the run going well. Again, thank you to everyone at RPGLB. My week was awesome, and it was all due to you guys, regardless if I was able to hang out with you or not. Watching everyone mingle and having a great time with each other was truly something I've been missing in my life. I love you all, and I hope you see you next year's RPGLB. Thank you. Uh, it feels bad to say thank you, idiot, but that's kind of that's like <laughs> how his name to sound. So thank you, Reese. There we go. Uh, and Freddie... Yeah, Freddy. Nine dollars saying, oh baby, a triple. Great job, Kara and Mutsky, and good luck, l losable mate, and told you on the end game. Just be sure you don't get too entranced by the end game, or you might find yourself jumping into a game over. All right, Freddy. I'll give you some credit, Freddy. This is you get a <laughs> I don't know, you man. Get a, you get a he pass. just capitalized jump. That's all he did. <laughs> because that's what you gotta it's the point of emphasis. Yes, don't but he just said jump, jump into a game over. Like, I get the point, but you gotta <laughs> watch your really game, fun, Freddy. Yeah, I guess. The tranced one, I'll give you that one, okay? All right. Uh, 50 50. Mamatatanap gives me 25, or gives Nami 25, and says, I'm 26 years old, and the last time that I went to therapy was in college. I recently started going to therapy again and found out that I show signs of depression and anxiety. So thank you for supporting such an incredible cause. Thank you so much for your donation. So at this point, we have another uh, fixed ATE where we see Zorn and Thorn are out and about in Alexandria, obviously plotting some bad things. Uh, while we head over to Trino, where Lisbon is going to dazzle us with his perfect card placement. And how Blank and Marcus cannot see them, I have no idea. I think Blank has trouble to see anything because he's got like <laughs> a, a Bowie bandana uh. on his eyes. <laughs> Marcus has no excuse. Well, actually, Marcus has kind of had like, he probably he has like a weird visual thing too with, with his eyes. If you do this quickly, you actually get like a disappearing amorite. Oh yeah, we need to we need to get have that. <laughs> he kind of like walks into the wall and then just kind of ghosts out yeah, of Doctor Todd's tower. They're not tower. expecting you to follow after him so quickly. 
question that I just saw asked is why did you guys pick who you did for each disc? Uh, mine was kind of mostly just that I I don't get the knight ability in my route, uh, the route I use rather, and so that the disc one had the less amount of variation, yeah. and so it just kind of seemed natural for me to do that. Um, I guess that makes sense for me. Luzbol's probably... He, he's definitely going to have the best disc three on average of any runner, and so we definitely wanted to see him kind of like show that off. I didn't... And was there a reason for Kara doing disc two, or was it just process of elimination at that point? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, okay. Good cards. Did you talk about goblin strats? All right, so here we've got this goblin card, which is a, one of the weakest cards in the game, and essentially the strategy is to have it placed in a way so that it can be overtaken by Luzbol uh, as late there. as possible. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Chuck, not press. Okay, okay. okay. I saved you. So as you probably can tell, this game has a lot of random elements. Now, like it takes your power into effect, but ultimately the role is still random, even if you have the advantage. But really what he's trying to set up is so the goblin that he's placed only has one arrow left when he can take it back because then you get a big combo. So he's got to place it right there into the bottom right because that prevents the... Uh, this should be okay. Oh! oh! So as you can see... FF9. <laughs> <laughs> that was the Final correct Fancy move. Nine. Yeah, you definitely so. played it right. So whoever was asking about Tetramaster versus Triple Triad... This is why. You just shrug at that point. You're like, nah. you just you just take it. Part of the try it is completely manipulated yeah. now, so it's free. Heart All right, part so of the cards. Just a quick update. We are at seven thousand six hundred ninety-seven dollars out of ten thousand for the Hades fight. Let's keep this momentum train rolling and get the donations in for that, and then we might hear some singing if we're lucky. Sure that. <laughs> hey! Yeah. Yeah. Right. So there's one. You have to win the first two <laughs> matches no matter what. And the game will make you keep doing them over until you win the first two. The really important one is the third one. Yeah, yeah exactly. If you lose let's the go, third one, go. you're not forced to redo let's it. Go, mate. Let's go, but it's not let's ideal because of now. the prize. It's also much better to go second because then you get the yeah. last turn. The game's definitely has a huge like has a huge advantage to not being the first player to take a turn. Yeah, so when he placed that last card there, he's deliberately ignoring the goblin because he was waiting for the NPC to take that bottom right arrow. Oh, ah, what the hell? <laughs> Unlucky. So yeah, as you can see, <laughs> you really don't, you have no idea what cards your uh, your opponent has, and you also can't really predict what they do. Um, place, using the goblin kind of makes it a little bit more consistent because their AI is sort of set up to try yeah. to attack the, the weakest card. Um, but as you can see, even there, the, they didn't attack the goblin straight away, so. Yeah, going first is a big disadvantage. So now he kind of has to gnaw the goblin until one of those slots are taken, yeah. and he's going to take the goblin now. Oh my god. Okay. That is ex that was extraordinarily unlucky. For the record, he he didn't do anything wrong in that game, and that's just how it goes sometimes. <laughs> there's no world in which the this goblin should ever beat This is definitely a marathon. Be yeah, there's no <laughs> world in which the goblin should ever beat that. Yeah. This that is either I. this is either a marathon or one of my PBs. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna change the goblin. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm notorious for having PBs with absolutely terrible car tournaments. Finally, won one. 
There you go. Uh, yeah. There you go, there you go. So now that he got those two wins, he's pretty much in the uh, in the clear in terms of um, wasting more time on cards. But he does have one final card tournament or a card game to play against the champion. Um, it's not required to win this, but we would really like to win it because it saves a lot of money and it also saves time. Saves time. Saves one minute. One minute. So if you win, you get the rebirth ring, which is an item that we need regardless whether or not we win. So uh, if we don't get it here, we have to make an extra trip to uh, Daguerre later on, and What's we Daguerre? have to pay. Do you mean Shame Island? Sh Island of Shame, the town as of it shame. is affectionately. Yeah. This is affectionately. I might have to get a funny bell. Uh, <laughs> but no. No, nah, he's going to win. He's going to win. Mm -hmm. So it may, be, may be a surprise to you, but. Uh, right first again. The champion uses only Oglops. Don't fail me. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Mm. Okay. <gasps> yeah. Oh. That was that was sketchy. Close. <laughs> that last battle. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that was <slow>. Easy <laughs> every time, right? That's what oh, we said. It's, it's free. Yeah, it's free. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, yeah, I don't, I don't nice. have to get the bell now. I, no. <laughs> when I had to go to the town of shame, I like to play the uh, the Game of Thrones shame bell <laughs> clip. <laughs> so yeah, cards. It wasn't obvious. It's a very volatile <laughs> part of the run. Um, a couple of those games, he pretty much made all the correct plays from a strat perspective. But unfortunately, if you don't win the rolls, you you can't win the game. That's just how it goes. Um, there's another. Did you guys talk about Tosh Uh um, No, you can talk about it if you want. So yeah, there's an, there's another there's another sort of way of approaching the card tournament. We had pretty good cards, so we elected to just uh, um, go with what he had. But a lot of runners elect to choose uh, tot strats and what that means effectively is uh, right when you spawn into Trino basically you can talk to tot and get uh, five really strong cards provided that you discard all the ones you currently have um, there's a couple of downsides and disadvantages. obviously you have to discard all your cards and talk to them um, but you do get five cards that have generally have much more power than the ones you're gonna get through at the run although it does give you less flexibility in terms of what arrows you have available which as you probably saw is pretty important in terms of uh, attacking the goblin but um, one of the ones, one of the more powerful ones that many casual people might remember is the Save the Queen card, which is he always gives you one, and it's going to be the strongest one that you get typically. Um, even that can lose to a goblin. We're talking like a six power, six power card can lose to a goblin. So, <clears throat> all right, at this part, uh, you have the option of assigning various jobs for defending the town um, with the Knights of Pluto. And essentially, if you just assemble the correct jobs, you're rewarded with angel earrings, which are good for selling for 10,000 gil uh, a little bit later on. And so it's like imperative that you don't assign the incorrect jobs to the incorrect people. And now this is part two of Steiner's leveling catch up <laughs> that we mentioned earlier. They've essentially allowed Steiner to fight alongside Beatrix and get a ton of XP in order to regain, to gain some levels in order to close the disparity between uh, Steiner and the others that he had accrued during his hiatus. So this run is largely glitchless, but in some respects you could probably call this a glitch. He's going to be doing two Mystodon skips. For this first one, he's kind of luring the Mystodon around to the right and uh, putting him in a position so he can just run past him. The second one is a little bit different. He needs to line his sword up with the little X on that fence on the right, and he's going to press left on the D-pad and skip right past it. If you just hold down, you're going to get into the encounter, but for whatever reason, that little movement trick is what, uh, is what allows you to skip it. You can also kind of do it by stutter stepping down. Uh, that was a really old strat, but I mean, you still use it in GP. Yeah, if, you, if you're using turbo, you can do it it's that free, way. Yeah. Sixty-five. Ah. 
So Hades is now at 7,797 out of 10,000. So, as I said, just keep those donations rolling it's on in so that we can keep on yeah. going. So yeah, just, a, just another quick reminder, if you get a chance to explain things like start stepping and stuff yeah, like yeah. that. Yeah. So, another interesting um, time save of the Tantarian route. Right before the card tournament in the old route, you used to need to visit the Trino shop and buy a few items. Um, just because you were under-leveled. Well, under-leveled compared to this route, but uh, because we fought Tantarian, our levels are much higher. We can actually do this little Mistodon segment without entering the shop. And we can buy the stuff that's essential later on. Um, when you first start, Steiner it has a chance to not one-shot these Mistodons, but it's it's relatively low and it's not a huge threat to us. So we're actually able to do it uh, despite having lower levels to start. Beatrix's life, because, again, similar to what we were doing with Ico and Dis2, also can one-shot them. So it kind of just depends on ETBs. Mm -hmm. The life animation is much longer than a Steiner attack, but obviously if Steiner's ETB is like, lacking behind, it's just quicker. Oh yeah, these Mistodons give a lot of experience, and Steiner levels a lot of times from doing this, so uh, it's really an interesting game design that they, they thought of. Steiner's getting terrible ATV. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Come on, Arby's, get it together. <laughs> This is like one of the earlier instances of the uh, Steiner X Beatrix ship, if you will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Steiner. Uh, well, says they had he's a gonna... moment right before this <laughs> where he misunderstood. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So they they have a, a budding thing that's going on, and Steiner is vowing to protect her, which is going to come up in this next fight as well. So, I'm not sure if we talked about the the plot reasons behind the the trance uh, trance mechanic, but basically, anytime there's like a surge of emotion, is is how it's worded. Uh, they kind of gain like extra power, and that's sort of what's happening to Steiner right here. So even if their trance bar isn't full full at all, um, I'm trying to think, every character except I guess nice. Freya doesn't have one, mm -hmm. and Amaranth doesn't have one, and. And Aiko doesn't really have one. She just has her summon. Mm -hmm. But several of them will have a fight where it's fixed that they begin the fight with a trance. Mm -hmm. No full life swag? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Never, mate. <laughs> <laughs> so that fight that he just did, the uh, the two Mestodons start with the same ATB every time. And so he knows uh, to cue uh, Beatrix's life on the left one because that, that one would go first if he chose to attack the other one. And he'll always be able to kill it first every time. And now it's time for probably the longest stretch of cutscenes mm. in the whole run. <laughs> it's unfortunate because it's it's sort of sandwiched by another long stretch of cutscenes. <laughs> Fortunately, after we get through this, there's only one big one after that. Yeah. And then the rest is pretty much uh, pretty straight through. A five dollar foot long of cutscenes. Yeah. These are some pretty nice FMVs yeah. coming up though. Yeah, a lot of people really like the Bahamut FMVs and this thing. And the Alexander. So now Baby Grills just found this secret <laughs> component of the Alexandria castle. And she's like, <laughs> well, I guess I'll go up these stairs that have just appeared. But whenever she gets there, her first line of dialogue is, what am I doing here? <laughs> <laughs> so, so wait a minute. She walks up the stairs and around. She's like, "Why am I here?" Yeah, I'm that's like, pretty much what happens. <laughs> <laughs> and here we have an instance of a the first missless airship of the the game. But as you can see by its movement, it's not exactly well conceived, uh, well constructed. It's kind of barely making it because of. 
Region Sid's lack of being able to concentrate, I think. <laughs> Baby Grill. <laughs> so yeah, as I stated before, since they're both actually from Maiden Seri, um, Aiko and Dagger have a sort of connection, and she's sort of being drawn to her right now. And, yeah, there's definitely nothing weird about six-year-olds jumping off a <laughs> missileless airship, so... I love the look on uh, Baby Girl's face <laughs> from that there. She's like, what, like, you, what? what? <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> like, where did you come from? <laughs> it's like right here. And also conveniently just right over where she is, too. By the power of plot. <laughs> 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 Confused baby grill. So we got a couple of twenty-five dollar donations. One from an, an anonymous source, and the other from Austin, who just <coughs> don't leave a message, but they are just sending their money over towards the Hades fight. I have twenty-five dollars from Mountain Troll Chief. It says, I'm donating during one of my favorite games of all time. I love RPG Limit Break and the great causes it supports every year. This is my first time that I can donate, so here's to Fighting Hades. Thank you for your donation, Mountain Troll Chief. Let's get this. Okay. I have, an, with no comment at all, Akusai just sends a $1,000 oh. donation. Thank you so much. A high roller up in here. Let's, uh, I think that went, yeah, it did go towards fighting Haiti. So let's see where that leaves us now. When the hotel internet catches up. <laughs> all right, we are at $8,847 out right, of 10,000. Right. We're $1,200 away from fighting the, the, the secret boss Hades when we get to Memoria. All right, so all right, all right. let's keep this train rolling and get that met. Because, as I've said a few times now, if we do meet it, there will be an incentive to get our players of Final Fantasy IX to grace us with a song. <laughs> you guys are going to want to see that. Who, who wouldn't want to be serenaded by a Spanish heartthrob like we got Luke behind here? <laughs> <laughs> Literally or figuratively? Fig I mean, they mean the same thing, don't they? <laughs> we talked about this. <laughs> I do believe it was it was Muzz bringing the saying I'm the one with the pipes. We'll donate and see. I don't know. I mean, hey, we might have to harmonize for Indy. Yeah, we'll have to show. There's a friend of the community that. Uh, he does not understand doesn't the understand concept what of, of harmonization in vocals. <laughs> <laughs> we tried to explain it to him to no avail. No, it's just a lost cause. <laughs> the I reference shout outs. <laughs> my boy. My boy. That eye freaked me out so much when I was a kid. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, this is this is before the Lord of the Rings movies. We weren't yeah. used to giant eyes watching right. over us. If I now, I'm not quite sure we were used to it even after the Lord of the Rings because it's a fairly spooky thing. It's pretty spooky, yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say that the Lord of the Rings movies copied FF9 or something, but. Well, considering Lord of the Rings is written in like uh, the early 1900s, it's no, 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 no. <laughs> no one could conceive. No one could conceive that before the movies were made. No one. No one reads books. <laughs> Come on. That's why we go into That's the library and we destroy it. <laughs> yeah. You should. You shouldn't. Have, you're an English teacher. You shouldn't have. Uh, shouldn't have agreed, agreed with that. <laughs> We do Fahrenheit 451. You know, I think that says it all. There, there, yeah. was, <laughs> there, there was a lost opportunity to make a Tantarian joke there that none yeah. of us noticed. <laughs> but I just don't think we're what funny mean, enough to no, find it. I don't it. think we are. No. But what? <laughs> About the books. I, that's why I said we destroyed the book. Oh. We're not smart enough this to guy. get this. 
Everyone else yeah, agreed with me, we okay? We burned the book, too. I mean, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Something about that fight being in the books. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so here, if... Uh, here is where you would fight Tantarian in disc three if you opted to fight him in disc three instead of uh, disc two. It's kind but of a complex and convoluted fight using was it spare change. Yeah, you had to use spare yeah, change yeah. with Amaranth to open the book instead of uh, minus strike with Steiner. So it's a lot more complicated. And not only is it a lot more complicated, you actually can't skip that Trino shop before cards because your money needs to be at like a certain threshold. So you have to kind of like sell until you get to whatever the range is required to make spare chains work on that fight. Not to mention you need to buy the, the poison, poison knuckles. knuckles. Yeah. At first I thought that the uh, since you don't have when you fight Tantarian Disc 2, you don't have ability up yet. Mm. So I was at first I was thinking before we actually started doing this route mm. I was thinking that the, the AP would kind of be wasted because he didn't have ability up yet, but it actually turns out that the AP is much more useful. Yeah. The AP and XP is much more useful when you get it in disc 2. It's pretty invaluable to have auto haste early in disc 2 because yeah. not only do you start gaining a AP towards auto haste on Zidane like straight away, you also, having it for Aoife is pretty huge, honestly. And getting the extra levels early, especially yeah. on Steiner. Yeah. And not getting the extra XP on Steiner is uh, yeah. not as... Not as good. So, so I guess it's Alexander's oh turned a little bit dark. <laughs> He's going through that phase. And we're going to have yeah. our first FMV that has, like, the clear love triangle. <laughs> Iko's <laughs> expression says it all. While baby Grill over here spazzing. I feel like I never actually get to watch these because I'm always <laughs> yeah, not yeah, doing yeah. something else yeah, storing yeah. them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Kairos and Baby Girl are reunited. And then poor little Nami. Poor Nami. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> she's got a she's got a crush, but uh is Look at that. <laughs> yeah, look at that. She's ass, though. That is like a bigger, that's more smug than Sarah in our group photo. <laughs> See, I was going to say, eat your hot out Luigi, but. <laughs> Sir Grump. <laughs> I have a $50 donation from Sand Slice. It says, awesome running and congratulations on hitting the 100K mark this year. Sadly, my pun foo is weak tonight, but I just wanted to do a bit to help out anyway. Let's see about punching out Hades. Thank you. It does honestly feel like a very long time since I've seen any yeah, of these I, I used to split for this FMV, actually. Why? In case you're Cause I didn't do load slower? No, I didn't do a, 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 uh, a split after the Steiner and Beatrix uh -huh. fights. I just waited until this. You also used to split when the theater ship crashes like fairness, in, in disc one. When I made my splits, no one else was running this game except Kara, so. <laughs> so just copy his splits. Why would I ever do that? I don't know. I don't want to be Kara. I just want to beat Kara. <laughs> <laughs> One day. 908, no. 90805 still coming. <laughs> I just have a very simple $25 anonymous donation with no comment, but that does also go towards fighting Hades. So what's the total at that now for? Yeah, I'm just getting that refreshed here. All right, the, the Hades fight is sitting at $9,047 out right, of 10000 right. That's the 1K. So we are on course to hit that. And again, like I said, the earlier you hit that, the more time you it have. It might be a little encore. To, to power up the cabaret. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I have $100 from Anonymous. It says, thank you so much for this fundraiser. There's a cause that means a lot to me, and I'm so eco-sighted to see all of your Beatrix 
for this Final Fantasy IX speedrun. I'm not afraid that it won't make the Hades goal, but here's my contribution anyway. That person okay. gets an A. Yeah, <laughs> a, a plus. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm okay with that. And again, yet another anonymous $25 donation. Thank you for all these donations. Lapis with 25 says, Great stream this year. I've been watching for a couple of years and trying to make the next time in person. I love that one of my favorite games is closing it out this year. Question for the runners. How hard is it to practice a run this long? And do you often do full segments when you practice? Or do you break it down into chunks? Hmm. I think typically, I think a lot of it first is just understanding the basic mechanics of the run. Hmm. And then from there, understanding how the boss fights work. And then whenever you understand, like, basically, like, you know, the story triggers uh, and then all of the fights, then from there, just memorizing and practicing your menuing to the point where you can just go from start to finish without any kind of crutch. But yeah, typically I think most people will practice it in chunks uh, and then kind of fine tune the things that have like smaller time saves. Because mm -hmm. honestly, like your first, you know, 15 or 20 runs, you're just gonna be saving time on just executing the story triggers more yeah. quickly, memorizing where to go. And then from there, like fine tuning all the small details probably what you'd practice next mm. i mean that's that's a lot of execution especially final fantasy games which have a lot of menuing and stuff in it mm. it's, it's just a lot of it is execution practice as mm. well the thing with nine compared to some of the newer games that especially ones with cutscene skips is there is like a lot more downtime where if you have if you're like relatively new and you have your notes out while you're doing a scene like this you could conceivably just be reviewing and preparing for yeah. the next part that you need to do and so it's kind of a nice little buffer if you're like when you're newer to the run. Mm. This run also has a lot of um, a lot of tech type things and or like yeah. mini games you can practice. So for example, just practice the nobles forever. Well, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's there's things like um, for example, guard skip is a good thing to practice. Yeah. Um, you can practice cards. Um, practice doesn't always help, unfortunately, but uh, you can try. I think I'm obligated to say that you should practice Necron. You should definitely crack. You should <laughs> definitely know how to do Necron. <laughs> I've lost my last two PBs at Necron because I'm bad at the game. <laughs> That's why you're not doing this. All right. <laughs> I, I do believe that, th that a trifling gnome is facing Jaraxxus because we have a Jaraxxus donation of $1,000. Mm. Oh, nice. that says, I really want to see that Hades fight. <laughs> so do we. And um, I think that's going to go ahead and meet that donation incentive. So uh, get ready though with those pipes, boys, because uh, mm -hmm. I think that in incentive will be opening up soon. Yep, we're at $10,067.65 out of $10,000 for fighting Hades. So thank you so much to everybody that has donated. We will be fighting the secret boss when we get to Memoria. T. Yao sends thirty dollars. Says this is my third year donating for the event, and it's a pleasure to see my personal favorite Final Fantasy game being run as the finale, and seeing four of the best at it. I've been watching Final Fantasy IX speedruns for a while, and I'm used to seeing them. I'm using them to actually learn SQL. So far, so good. <laughs> and once again, thank you to the RPG Limit Break staff and NAMI for another excellent week of RPGs for mental health. I'm not a representative of NAMI and not a, a member of staff, but I'd like to agree. Thank you so much. So this is our penultimate trip to Plot City, but this is also kind of a long-winded segment from the area as well. Mm. Essentially, first we have a couple of problems. The first one is we've dis discovered that amidst all of the destruction of Alexandria, the baby grill <laughs> has lost her voice. No. And when she tries to execute commands in battle, we'll, we'll have trouble concentrating <laughs> because she can't speak. Which obviously have a strong correlation with one another. 
All right, so we've just opened up the singing incentive. <laughs> so in order to get the couch and the runner at the time to sing and probably the crowd as well if they feel like they're into <laughs> it, I just look, roped you all into that. Is that okay? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> well, mainly just Freddie, really. Sure. Um, wow. To sing Melodies of Life uh, is $5,000 on that incentive. And Easy. I think we can meet that. Easy. Easy money. Easy every time. Easy every time. <laughs> <laughs> so, so this oh. so this dagger not being able to con concentrate thing is actually kind of an interesting um, routing issue in this game. Um, because the we have an upcoming area where you have to split your party up and you, you have to choose where dagger goes. But her not being able to execute actions in battle or have the chance of it actually actually could be a big problem depending on how you want yeah, it's to. It's kind of a hindrance, honestly. Yeah. Because you can't ever like do an input with Garnet and expect it to be carried out. Mm -hmm. Like there's always like a hefty percentage that it nothing is gonna even be attempted. Yeah, so for example, if you want to bring her to Oilvert, which will be our next area, if you're relying on her to be the one who's throwing potions for your party, that's a big issue. So um, it's something you have to take into consideration when splitting your party and when you're routing out how you want to approach disc three. I've got five dollars from Danky Kang, who's donated a bunch this marathon. Cheers on a really wonderful event this year. I am so happy that we passed the one hundred thousand mark. I'm already looking forward to twenty eighteen. I really wish twenty personally I really wish twenty eighteen was really so I didn't have to fly home tomorrow. Uh, but back to his message. And catching up on all the runs I missed from this year on YouTube. Yeah, I've got quite a few I need to catch up on myself. <laughs> Damn that sleep. Remix sends 25 and says the FMVs that blew my mind as a kid are as good a time to donate as any. Much love to all involved. It's weird for seeing these FMVs for the first time in a long time. They're really really good yeah, this game has aged fairly well for a playstation one game i think because they uh, they kind of went for this well two reasons they kind of went for this more cartoony style as well as um, which is kind of a shift from seven and eight yeah which seven had like i know it had like you know the polygon looking figures but yeah seven and eight have a much more like sci-fi yeah mm -hmm. kind of vibe to them especially yeah. eight whenever you you know look at the more complex character models yeah but then nine kind of had like a more like R2. fun loving homage to the originals but yeah. with a 3d setting see i think that's a, like again I, I don't think seven has aged that well graphic it definitely has but it's a testament to how beloved that game was mm. and how beloved is now that those characters are still as as as, as popular today as they are back then it was originally supposed to be an N64 game. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like, how many cartridges would that <laughs> game have taken? Uh, it comes in like a box. You have a, you have a briefcase <laughs> that you get your FF7 in. This this might be a bit too old school for some people. Do you remember installing Monkey Island when you were a kid when you got oh like the 12 man. discs? <laughs> Three and a half or five and a quarter? Uh, five and a quarter. Five and a quarter. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I remember like Space the Quest, the King's Quest actual with floppy five and a quarter. Yeah. Actual floppy disks. I still have those of uh, I think Space we just Quest. alienated <laughs> half of the Twitch <laughs> chat. That's fine. So Lozbo made an important purchase in the uh, the shop there. He bought the Coral Sword, which is uh, what's going to teach Steiner Charge, which is probably the and single, arguably most, the one single of most, the OP. most important yeah. ability in the run. Yeah. What charge does is, um, if you have anyone in critical HP, uh, if he executes charge, any of those people in critical HP are going to attack. So you can feasibly set up your party where everyone is in critical HP, and one action will result in four attacks. So it's in invaluable for us in this four. Additionally, right now, in terms of plot, he's going around trying to find uh, the three potions? Yep, three, three potions. potions. The three potions. We to, just picked uh, up the beautiful potion. Yeah. Now, these are the people that we saved in Burmesia. Shout-outs to me, because that's what I do. <laughs> $25 from the Ten of Clubs, who says, I almost missed my chance to donate this year. 
everyone I know has been touched by mental illness in some way, and I don't want to miss a chance to make a difference. Thank you to all the runners and staff from this week. And thank you to the Ten of Clubs for your donation. $25 from an anonymous donor. It's not over till the speedrunners sing. <laughs> thank you for a wonderful marathon, and congratulations on surpassing $100,000 for NAMI. You are all doing something amazing here. Uh, for those of you who are tuning in right here at the end of RPG Limit Break 2017, you hear us throwing NAMI around a lot. You see it on the screen. It's the National Alliance on Mental Illness. Uh, what they do is they they are they advocate about uh, for health, uh, mental health uh, institutions. They educate. They lead and. And this is something you're going to hear uh, probably a few people talk about in our finale. They listen. Um, if you need to reach out to someone, uh, there's a huge resource you can find over at nami.org or use the hashtag stigmafree on Twitter um, or just tweet directly to Nami themselves at Nami Communicate on Twitter and just, just find the help you need because they're there for that and that's why we're raising money for them. And 20, another 25 and it just says anything to help the cause. So thank you very much. All right, so there we just picked up the second potion. Cinna very fittingly has <laughs> the unusual potion. <laughs> and now we're going to talk to this guy, who you can also play cards with. You can he, play cards. You can play cards with pretty much everyone, in the, <laughs> especially the theater district. Yeah, yeah. They're all a bunch of gamblers. <laughs> Another interesting thing to note, that chest that's in there is a, a Lapis Lazuli, which is actually a really good item uh, because it has ability up and accuracy plus on it. Um, but we actually don't need it in this route because um, uh, usually more Amaranth-focused routes will tend to pick up two, but uh, because we're using Quinna, one is actually sufficient for us to uh, have everybody learn what we need. <coughs> I've got $50 from an another anonymous donor. This game had a heavy influence in saving my life when it was released. Mad feels. The part of disc three where you are not alone plays specifically. Mm. I connected with Zidane's turmoil. And to this day, the thought of the song brings me to tears. Good luck on the rest of the run. Thank so we're you. about to uh, actually hit a, uh, a memorable moment in this run's history at marathons. Uh, the first time this was in a GDQ, and the only time it was in a GDQ, at about this moment, Spike Vegeta realized that he had only received two of the three potions <laughs> <laughs> and had to <laughs> go all the way back to the car uh, and talk to the, the woman with the beautiful potion again. <laughs> so if any of you saw that run, I think it was, what, 2013? Yeah. 2013. I was saying, let's just ask Mike. <laughs> Who Axel's is over there like, it was not me, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> As we turn out, all our hard work is, uh, I mean, it, it, it did something. It's not quite what we had intended. Todd said it didn't quite work. At least he's not an Ogloff anymore. I don't know if this is better, but he makes a cute sound when he jumps now, so... He's a frog with a mustache. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And now we're gonna get, uh, <laughs> gonna get a bunch of the frog emotes and shit. <laughs> <laughs> you spend a lot of time stood around the table at the, on this desk, don't you? Like that table. <laughs> yeah, the table. whole game, <laughs> really. <laughs> Disc four is the only disc we're not hanging out here. Someone said frog champ. <laughs> <laughs> we're actually getting quite That's a lot a of people saying that that initial AGDQ run was what got them into speed running. Mm -hmm. So we can't knock Spike that hard. <laughs> but that we was, will. That was what I used as my uh, original resource. In conjunction with Kara's 908. I thought 908. you were going to say that's what I used as my submission video. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I submitted the GDQ run. was like, yeah. That you weren't even involved in. Just, yeah, I'm, yeah, sure. <laughs> so we're finally about to exit Plot City. All right. And uh, we have a few more errands to run before we really, truly get underway. But uh, thankfully, we can... 
call another day in the city in the books. Five dollars from Callas saying, I really <laughs> want to hear the singing. It's traditions and very important. <laughs> Keep up the good run. Let's go, champs. Thanks, Callas. Let's go. <laughs> Frog is talking. So Hollow is having a really big internal debate right now. Maybe I eat it. <laughs> In fairness, based on what Hollow tells me about his meals, it wouldn't be that awful. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> So if he just picks that party because it's the fastest one to get. Uh, Older Rats used to do a menu after landing on the Outer Continent here, but um, we don't really need to do much. So this is like our first time where we actually have kind of like some free reign to kind of explore the world map. Which is kind of interesting because it's pretty deep into the game. $25 from an anonymous donor says, Oh, right, I forgot to donate. It's been a little rough for the East Coast this year, what with all the interesting games starting at midnight. But <laughs> it's so much fun. Please don't sing. <laughs> wow. Dang. <laughs> I, I do believe Charles has been fired. Which, uh, which Muppet movie was it where the guy was trying to get Kermit's legs? So I remember. <laughs> no, I think that was. Now you know how I feel. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about movies at Bear this event. Bear in mind, I'm event. sitting here wearing a Muppets t-shirt. Uh, I think it was Muppets in Manhattan. Was Muppets take Manhattan. <laughs> I think. And chat help me out here. <laughs> Let's just exercise some Google food, chat. <laughs> so Lozbell's gonna do a quick arrange here of his items before he uh, uses the Gishel Greens because uh, we have a big shop menu upcoming in. Uh, in the next area, so he wants to make sure that everything's in uh, relatively the same spot as it uh, is on every attempt. It was just the free, it was the, just the Muppet movie. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> that is the original. <laughs> of course you'd know that, Jazaboo. <laughs> so we're just gonna chase Vivi around a little bit in the, uh, in the village here before we go, and then we're gonna make our way towards Desert Palace. So here we have Vivi having another existential conversation with number 288. <laughs> before we meet everyone's favorite chocobo. So I'm going to grab the black belt. You don't need it for the run, but you can sell it for 5,000 good, which <laughs> is nice. We're going to have so much extra <laughs> I can tell you the last time I picked <laughs> this up, yeah. I know. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Better be safe. <laughs> Are you going to buy three silver forks or something? <laughs> So, so, so since we're, we're about to meet everyone's favorite Chuckle Bow, is it Wark or is it Kwe? Uh, on this game, I don't think there's a debate. Okay. Krabby Corwin only says Kwe. It's pretty cute, though. What do you guys think? Kwe? Definitely Kwe. No? Kwe? We're, yeah, Kwe. Yeah. Yeah. All right. If you disagree with us, let us know via your donation or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you're the guys going, <laughs> don't start with me, Uyama. <laughs> yeah. Zach sends five dollars and says, thanks guys for an amazing run of one of my favorite guns of all time. I just moved and miss, watch speed, watch, miss watching speed runs with my nephew. So here's to you, Alfie. We'll watch again soon. Sing your hearts out, guys. Also, good morning from the UK. Ah, oh, it's good to hear from someone from the motherland. <laughs> What's wrong with us? <laughs> You're not from England. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. But so we've, for the second time I've been asked, $25 from Nocturnal Nights, how much do we have to donate for an Os Osma fight? I don't think it's going to happen, guys. Another 100,000. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you get us to the million, and we'll talk about it, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, unfortunately, Ozma requires a lot more preparation. There'd yeah. be no way that we could really realistically do it with this save. We'd have to have a pre-prepared save to do yeah. something yeah. like that. And even then, um, Ozma's really, really, no, really so volatile. So it'd be hard to even put a time estimate on something like that. Like I said, it takes about it would take about like a whole another hour and a half to two hours, honestly. It's kind of a journey. Yeah. And another person that was donated quite a few times in this marathon, Punk Ideas, drops for five and just says, Singing? Shut up and take my money. I wanna hear singing. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. 
Thank you, Paladin. Okay. Give you a challenge for the singing incentive. Do your best to combine a Final Fantasy character or term with a modern pop star. <laughs> Better than your puns are pretty weak so far. So. Well, I'm, I'm saying Lady Gaga's ass, but no, that's that's, that's what we go. That's, that's a good what one. gave me the inspiration. Yeah. All right, so just to kind of rehash uh, for the people that were not here at the beginning, what Luz is doing here is uh, maintaining the threat and the, the encounter threat really low by not taking full steps on the world map by doing that little stutter where he's just rhythmically pressing the D-pad in order to maintain that threat level as low as possible to avoid getting any world map encounters, which any good runner would totally be able to do in any run. <laughs> <laughs> This is a familiar name. Good luck, Lisbon, mate. OPOP from the Rixer. Hey, what's oh, up, Rixer? Rixer mate. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. $25 from Abraxas saying, thanks for an awesome week of awesome runs and thanks to everybody involved, even behind the scenes. Where's the dueling incentive to not have anyone saying? <laughs> wow. Wow. People are just... <laughs> they haven't they, heard they me They have yet. no faith in you guys. They're gonna be. I think they're gonna be pleasantly surprised. Eat their words. Yep. So, coming up here on the next screen is where I alluded to earlier that we need to decide how to distribute our party between two areas. So, half our party is gonna be heading to Oral Vert, and half our party is gonna be headed to Desert Palace. There's a number of considerations we have to take into account when we're choosing who's going where. Um, the two main things is, one, oil vert, you can't use magic. And for Desert Palace, we aren't going to have, we won't have Zidane by default for Desert Palace, so we aren't going to have Flea as well. So we need to figure out the best sort of compromise between who to send where so we don't get, you know, screwed over by encounters in Desert Palace, but we also have the appropriate amount of people in, um, in oil vert. So Liz is opting to take Steiner and Freya to oil vert. And uh, Iko's also there, kind of for, um, kind of for healing and potion support on the Nami. boss. Oh, Nami. Yes. So we're at we've we've gotten two hundred and thirty dollars towards the five and grand Mr. right now Nami. to get you guys to sing. You have a five dollar donation from Autumn Wyvern that just says "wark," <laughs> and then a bird emoji, which is pretty awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so. Fair enough. Okay, so this screen coming up is one of the more difficult screens to get through without uh, encounters. Although this guy has done it before. In my first run. <laughs> In his <laughs> very, <laughs> his very first run. Yeah, yeah so okay. this is the That's first of several trips through this screen that we're going to have. Yeah, we need to make our way to the airship for this first one. Uh, it's, it's really ready. nice to get to that cutscene before the first mm -hmm. one. It's always a good benchmark. It's actually really good. That's, yeah, it's yeah. pretty far before the first one. So in older routes, we would be pretty much farming single ogre encounters like you see here for experience. I believe the old route actually needed Not oh, nice. nice. The old route actually needed four <laughs> encounters, I believe, to make up some AP for Steiner and uh, Zidane, but fortunately, because we are doing Tantarian route, uh, we don't actually have to fight anything, which uh, is an underrated time save, really, despite okay. the fact that the, the ogres only take two hits. So I guess sort of to recap for people who weren't here early on, um, the main difference between this run and some of the runs at previous uh, marathons is that in disc two, we elected to fight Tantarian, which was a, a time investment of probably about five minutes or so. Um, but in exchange for our time, we actually got uh, a lot of experience, a lot of AP, and the running shoes item. So because in part due to that, we are much better set up for disc three and we don't have to fight nearly as much uh, encounter wise. We're going to probably elect to fight a couple encounters just purely for levels, but AP-wise, we're totally set up already. 
for what we're going to do via bosses. possibly avoid the runners killing each other before they start singing? <laughs> I haven't done my part yet. Tripping over the wall. Oh, yeah, we've got a whole other disc <laughs> yeah. to go. Five, 25 dollars from Camping Fat Kid that just says, I just want the Switch and Zelda. <laughs> Again, that is another reminder. If you do donate $25 during this game, you are entered into our grand prize drawing of the Nintendo Switch and The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. If you donate $5 or more, you can be entered into either winning a copy of this game, Final Fantasy IX, or the art of Final Fantasy Book Three: The Sky. So there's other reasons to donate other than just to hear our runners singing so sweetly. I have $25 from Nozzle says, I traded rehearsing for my exams against bin watching RPG Limit Break. No regrets. You may not be saying that when you get your results. <laughs> Just. So I noticed that Luz isn't actually controlling the airship at this time. <laughs> so unfortunately, the title title card we get here is wasted because we're still waiting for the airship to land. So unfortunately, we don't get any uh, free running. Yeah, we're going to be entering here, which is another very long star step. It rivals the Chocobo Forest for the longest in the game. I'm not sure which one has more mileage, but they're both pretty close for sure. He needs to get all the way around that mountain on the on the left yeah. there and all the way around the forest as well. So this is kind of out of the way because, I mean, this is not the way to oil vert, but uh, this is actually the, f the closest chocobo tracks um, that you can get to, and so the, cho the extra speed from the chocobo makes up for it. There is another chocobo or there, there are other chocobo tracks that are not as far out of the way, but you have to stutter step a lot further to get to them, so it ends up not really being faster. Mm -hmm. oh. I'm not seeing a whole lot of pop star Final Fantasy donations. There's they're still, they're still thinking about it. Still, well, there's <laughs> one coming? Okay, cool. We've got uh, $5 from uh, Thomas, who says, throwing down money for a good cause and to hear a Melodies of Life sing-along. Sign me up. <laughs> I want to hear the very best singing you can all do. Yeah. Thank you for the week of entertainment. Mayang568 since 25 and just says, awesome job, everyone. Anonymous $30. Sing it up, boys and girls. Keep up the great work, everyone. I've loved the marathon this year, and I look forward to the future years of this. Okay, I will need some silence now. Yeah, so Please. this is pretty much the... This will be the largest menu you've seen thus far. He's going to be selling a lot of different items and purchasing a lot, so we'll give him some silence here to do so. I'm going to say first. <laughs> <laughs> Good idea. So he's going to be selling most things that aren't essential. He's going to be buying a lot of different equipment that are going to set us up for the next uh, next handful of bosses. So. That was good. Awesome. Yeah. How many silver forks do you buy? Two? Yeah. Okay. 
Just, these double ogre encounters are can be kind of scary, actually. They can do a lot of damage uh, when they want to, particularly when you're trying to flee. But uh, fortunately, auto haste did some work for us, despite not getting the uh, the flee straight away. I have a donation from Bruce, though. Is it a pop star name? It's not necessarily a pop star name. Am I gonna judge him after? Oh, very much. Okay, let's hear. Let's okay, it says, as Sorceress Adele fell from space in Final Fantasy VIII, all I could hear her thinking was, "Hello from the other side." And I mean, yes, it says I expect you to sing this, even though I can't sing. So I did well, you my did a good bit. Job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did my bit. It. Now it's down to all you guys at home to donate to make them do their bit. <laughs> Especially Rooster. Yes. <laughs> so, Liz has to go around do executing a series of uh, switches and, and uh, stuff like that. <laughs> uh, Oil Heart's a pretty weird area. Like we said before, you can't use magic, and uh, it's sort of like a... Sort of like a locked off area, so we can't actually enter a lot of the places until we execute the triggers that need to be done. So we hit that first switch in that that first room, and then he's going to be heading south here to execute four more. Speaking of singing, we are sitting at three hundred and twenty-one dollars out of five thousand for the melodies of life sing along. So unfortunately, you got an encounter there right before he's about to go up those stairs to reset the screen. Twenty-five dollars for anonymous just says thank you for all your work entertaining us. And I will point out that uh, the the incentive does say the Final Fantasy IX Relay Team and RPG Limit Break staff mm. will sing Melodies of Life, but I'm lamping the audience into it as well because. I could do that, and I'm the host. <laughs> yes, thank you. I think there's going to be a fight in the audience. I mean, I think they're committed at this point. You've already told you. You can't let down 7,000 people. Like, I can't let this many people no, down. No, no, no. So he's picking up these few chests here, and he's lighting these uh, switches here. He's going to have one more to, uh, well, switches, whatever you want to call them. Uh, he's going to have one more hologram thing to set up across the bridge here, and then we'll be able to sort of make our way towards the end. I have an anonymous $1 donation, which I think might be Rooster, but it might not be. <laughs> it says, come on, Toju, you, you surely meant double ogre encounter could be quite troubling. Oh. Uh, <laughs> okay, let's say that again. <laughs> oh, okay. I think someone took your idea and like, donated it. Like, they totally stole you. Yeah. There's a pretty infamous clip from Kara there. Um, on his way out of Desert Palace, right as he chose to kill Iko for extra experience, the ogre ba the ogre in the encounter he was in hit her with Trouble Knife, which what Trouble does is it spreads out damage to everyone when they take physical damage. So basically, he attacked her with Iko right as she got the status and wiped the whole party. Or attacked her with Freya. With Freya, yeah. with Freya. <laughs> Yeah. I should have attacked. If you attacked with Ico, you might not have died. <laughs> yeah. It uh, it's definitely one of those I've never seen that happen before. Moments. Have we had one of those yet this run? Because uh, that might be famous last words. Well, it's still coming up. The screen that it happened on. Okay. <laughs> it hasn't happened yet. Five dollars from an anonymous donor says, Shout out to "If I should leave RPGLB behind, their voice will still remember our melody." Melodies of life come circle round and grow deeper in our hearts as long as Nami remembers. P.S. I hope Poexel joins in the singing. I think he counts as a member of staff. Oh, I'd say so. <laughs> Metasig was like, no. Nope. No, nope, he doesn't. So we've got one more screen here to enter before we can head towards the boss. Um... <laughs> I don't really know what to say about a room of faces like that. <laughs> We've got a $1 donation from Mifunian, who's been a bit of a pun master so uh, far. Yeah. I think this is going to be a letdown. Uh, <laughs> it's a good thing Karakhan didn't do Disc 3. It would be all ogre if he got into a spot of trouble. <laughs> <laughs> don't applaud that. <laughs> <laughs> we have standards for punning here. <laughs> 
and I have four dollars from Fred here, who says, "Hey guys, make sure you skip the Ariana Grande cross." Ah, okay. That's amazing. That one's, that's not bad. not bad. That's not bad. If you've, if you've ever watched my stream, you know how much I like <laughs> Ariana Grande. And we also know how much you like dying to neck run. Hey, I tweeted to one person before this run, and it was Ariana Grande to check out the stream. <laughs> so I'm absolutely sure she's watching. If you do not believe me, go check out the Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> about, about seven hours ago. If we can get one of our Twitter volunteers to find that and maybe, I don't know. Uh, Camping Fat Kid sends another 25 and says, Oh yeah, I forgot to mention earlier, as well as the Zen Zelda. Good job on the run. Great cause, and I like to support it as well. I suffered from depression for six years. Was very close to committing suicide many times. Keep up the good work. But I still want the Switch and Zelda. Alright. Uh, $10 from Professor Nez. I am always on, on all levels in support of sing-along percent. This must happen. R. Carker sends $25 and says, Good luck with the run. Also, did you hear about the collab that Lady Gargazette is doing with Alicia Keystone? I heard they were covering Stairway to Seventh Heaven and Dust in the High Wind. Yeah, this pop star <laughs> thing is pretty hard when you don't know any. Anyway... May your death guys be kind, guys. Great job. So far, you're winning, R. Carpenter. That was pretty fantastic. All right, so he's okay. going to be picking up the guy yeah. here, and he's going to need uh, a... He's going to need to flee this encounter. After he, <laughs> needs, after he flees this encounter, he's going to need some, uh, <laughs> some silence here. <laughs> then I'll just say thank you to uh, Zinnikin for $25 without a uh, comment. So another thing to note, this is actually one of the encounters that uh, the old route used to kill for AP with the softs, but uh, we don't need to do that, fortunately. So we're at 35 encounters right now. Mm. <laughs> All right. Okay, great. So he's got All a right. bit of a he's got a bit of a treat for our you boy, here. Our boy here is gonna do it all. He's gonna do this without looking. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> That's the fastest I've ever read in my life. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't even a donation incident. No. <laughs> if you want to see a cool menu, just quickly before this boss starts, search up this guy's YouTube channel, watch his blind pandemonium menu, and you're in for a treat. Back to what we're doing here. We're going to be fighting Ark, who is... Uh, Potentially a scary boss. He's got a lot of really high damaging AoE abilities. And he also has an AoE ability that casts um, Confuse on everyone. Fortunately, we have clear headed, so we should be good, but um, we still have to worry about attacks what? like this. So we're going to be using Ico to heal and uh, hopefully be attacking with Zidane and Steiner and Freya. Zidane is auto haste and he's actually fast enough to ATB weight the fight, so he should be getting two attacks per turn. Or per, per round, excuse me. Really the main thing we're hoping for here is uh, we definitely don't want any misses from Zidane, which we had enough of. And uh, oh, 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 oh. So yeah, AoE damage can really add up quickly here. And unfortunately, we would really love to be able to cure all with Ico, but that is not an option because uh, magic is disabled for oil hurt. So we're going to be trying our best to keep everyone healthy. He's going to be throwing high potions on both Zidane and uh, Steiner to keep them up. Typically, this only takes a few rounds, so he's probably getting pretty close. Is that? Yeah. So Photon is pretty uh, non-threatening at this point. It basically just brings uh, a character down to 1 HP. Um, which can be very bad with all the AoE moves that he's got, but um, the fight should be pretty much done at this point. Going to menu there in case, but we're definitely good.
So around this point is when the run really starts to ramp up. We're going to have pretty much quick transitions between menus, bosses, and areas. So he's going to do a menu here right before we enter Desert Palace, and then we're right into one of the worst areas of the game. So remembering that menu is actually pretty important because uh, it's really easy to just uh, waltz right up to that uh, that uh, thing there and move on to Desert Palace straight away. But uh, we really need to make sure that we take off items that we're going to need for our Desert Palace party because uh, this area is uh, is no joke. <laughs> Before we do that, however, we've got this little mini game with uh, Frog Tot here. <laughs> or, or Frog Sit, excuse me. Are you going to go for it? Yeah. For my taco. <laughs> 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 All right, so basically what he's going to need to do, he's going to be mashing to um, get the key and avoid the monster that's in the cage. You basically, you can't mash when he's looking at you, and uh, you want to get as far as possible. The strat that most normal sane runners <laughs> do is fail on purpose five times, uh, because that makes it significantly easier, because he won't do any quick turns. But uh, Liz here is going to try to do it first try, which is significantly more difficult. Here's the quick turn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 ah! <laughs> nice try. Nice try. Okay. Yeah, just. Uh... So yeah, there's a reason why we fit. People often ask why we're failing it on purpose five times, and that is that is absolutely why. Um, of course, his mashing is so good, he's still going to do it faster than I do it, <laughs> even not failing the first time. You have to fail five times in order for the monster to not, to not turn around fast. Mm -hmm. It's a standoff. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a Canadian standoff. <laughs> I don't know if I want to be in a standoff with him. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> that grimacing face, though. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> right, so now that we've got the uh, the key there, he's going to be placing these uh, stones on, or the weights on the platform here so he can make his way up to the hourglass, which is going to free our other party members. Hopefully we only do it once. Yes. $25 donation from Lizzie May who says, my husband actually used Melodies of Life as his dance with his mom for our wedding mm. and he's watching now so here's to having all you lovely people give it your all with singing it. I'm sorry? No, we're going to be, no, we're, it'll be we're gonna be using it'll it be to good. celebrate the wedding of Zwanzig and all of us. <laughs> <laughs> so it is, I completely understand. <coughs> it's going to be the first dance of Hollow and Zwanzig. Five dollars from an anonymous donor that says, "Pop star Final Fantasy matchups. How about Quayana? There's something about that walk, 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 walk. That is awful. <laughs> <laughs> but yet <yeah>, great. <laughs> Five dollars from Devonair 440. Thank you everyone for making a great RPG limit break from runners to tech support to volunteers to crew. You're all awesome. Thank you." Dr. Aisha sends 25 and says, A week filled with RPGs, great cores, tech staff, great runners and master commentators. What more could anyone ask for? Keep up the good work and maybe next time we'll hit the million. Well, that's what you need if you need to see an Ozuma fight. So, okay. All right, so we, we talked about it before, but this area is particularly bad for the speedrun because... Uh, there's oh. no way for us to have Zidane. <laughs> I thought you were going to say, because everyone sucks at lighting Because no one can light the candles. No, no. It's not these ones. <laughs> <laughs> these ones are free. These ones are free. So we got a donation from Kay Shura, one of our Twitter volunteers, who couldn't find the alleged Ariana Grande tweet. What? Yes. Hi, Twitter volunteer. I did not find this supposed tweet to Ariana Grande. 
I think we're being deceived. Oh, I'm mm. really not. <laughs> yeah, <let> me... <laughs> <laughs> If she didn't accidentally DM her. Boom. <laughs> confirmed. It's, it's confirmed. I, I, two retweets, four favorites. Spike At wants to take a look. 1236 PM. I even hashtagged RPG limit break. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <Okay. I'll>, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a liar. I'm more honest than the Canadian. What? <laughs> What? <laughs> Fixers and Parallax are back with five dollars that say, "We don't have Gravijo, but could you cast Demi Lovato?" The terrible puns count. Don't draw any conclusions yet. Those were Final Fantasy eight puns. If you have to point out that they're Final Fantasy eight puns, <laughs> are they still puns? I don't know. I don't know. So yeah, this this is a, an example of why this fight can be really bad, um, or this place. But fortunately, Luzbel does a Mithril Claw strats with Amaranth. So Amaranth is the only one in the party who's front rowed, and he has Devil Killer and MP attack. So um, several enemies are actually going to be dying to two hits with Amaranth, which is much better than the old route, which what we used to do was um, cast Carbuncle with Ico just to buffer fleas, because we really had no way of dealing with it. Oof. Two encounters here, mate. Yeah. <laughs> $50 from Camping Fat Kid. <laughs> Says, here's another 50 to make it 100 I probably could have just bought my own Switch in Zelda at this point. <laughs> but the prospect of winning a console from a raffle makes it all the more exciting. I'd like to live life on the edge. I'm not sure what that voice was at the end there. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. Five dollars. I think we've been too c quick to jump to modern pop stars. We can't lose sight of the all-time classics like Simon and Carbuncle. Oh, no, okay. Okay. very clever. Donny Osmond. Osmond. <laughs> this whole game is like Hello Darkness, my old friend. <laughs> <laughs> and in just a quick update: we're still sitting at around four hundred and fifty dollars of the five thousand that we need to hear these guys sing. So either the people at home don't want to hear everybody in the room embarrass themselves, or, well, actually, you do want to hear that. So get your money in. Maybe we want to talk a little bit about what he's doing with these candles and bloodstones. It's kind of a pretty important mechanic for this, this location. All right. Uh, the dungeon essentially has like a connection with the final boss um, and because of the game, you're forced to take Zidane to overt, and then, you're, I mean, you're kind of expected to take your more physical attackers, which Luz has done, uh, and have your more magic magic characters, essentially, in this party. Um, there are these stones throughout where if you light a candle, this orb will appear, and if you pick up the orb, you're given an item, which are some of what are quite useful, and it also has a defense that is taken away from the boss at the end of the dungeon and so we kind of have routed uh, the, the orbs that will give a benefit to us to make the fight much easier and winnable uh, later on yeah so for example there's like um, there's bloodstones that reduce magic defense and magic evasion and things like that so um, we're just going to be getting the bare minimum of things that we need and if you lose the card tournament you have to pick up an additional one in order to get the rebirth ring that we acquired already. Unfortunately, we have a, sh a small reprieve from encounters in this room for the time being. Um, I don't think he's going to duck in here. No. Oh. Yeah. So yeah, really the, you're really searching for the zero encounter desert palace because the killing encounters can help a bit. We do really want Quinna to be level 26 for endgame, which does require us to kill a couple encounters, but... Uh, this is ideally not the place we want to do it in. Got a quick $2 from Debonair440 again that merely says, don't insult Canadians. Thank insult, you. I didn't Thank insult you. Canadians. Right? I said, yeah. I said that you. Canadians were, in fact, 
very, very honest and trustworthy uh, people. Uh -huh. I'm just saying I'm more honest and trustworthy uh -huh. than this one. I mean, I'm willing to tell you your Necrons suck. What more do you want? <laughs> Whatever. Shout out to him lighting the right candle, by the way. Oh, and uh, Matsuki, we did end up finding the tweet, but it's because you used hashtag RPG Limit Break and not RPG... LB 2017. Oh, oh messenger from heaven, mate. <laughs> <laughs> so you can talk to that. That's session. basically Ron Candle, right? <laughs> okay. All right. Hello, I'm Lowe's. Here's some gold tier menuing. <laughs> All right, so this is one of the fights that has changed a lot with the new routes, and uh, it was it's one that has sig gotten significantly faster uh, since we started doing these new Tantarian routes. Uh, the old strat for this fight was to use reflect or use Carbuncle to cast Reflect on everyone and pick up the Enkai armlet for VV. The Enkai armlet is what gives VV water, which is a really high damaging spell. And uh, if you use the AOE ability on yourself with Reflect, it actually makes it do 4x damage in this version. So doing that twice. Would, uh, would take down this boss. Unfortunately, even though two attacks sounds good, uh, it requires a lot of animations to make it happen. Um, these new strats actually are way, way faster. So what he's gonna be doing is using throw items with uh, Amrant and the Knight ability with Quina. Knight is really useful here because it's gonna be giving us 1.5 damage and uh, in combination with some of the high damaging throw items we've got is gonna take him down very quickly with way less animations. Oh, I got to turn really fast there. Yeah. As you can see, this is why we wanted to steal the Silver Forks, because it does very high damage, especially once we get the uh, 1.5x bonus from Knight. So he's whittling him down a little bit. Now he's going to cast Knight for the bonus damage for this last Silver Fork. This is really the first instance of many you're going to see now of how useful this ability can be. Also, quite odd to see a stone asleep, but hey, whatever works. You can also do it uh, with... Uh, if you do two Knights and two Silver Forks, that also works. But Quinnah had bad ATBs. Yeah, this, this fight is probably a good 30 seconds faster than the old strat, so we're already gaining back a lot of the time that we invested in Disc 2 fighting Tantarian. I have a $5 donation. It says, it's not a pop star, but how about the greatest actor of all time, Questifer Warkin? <laughs> the double? <laughs> the double? You get, you get a thumbs up for that <laughs> one, my man. <laughs> for sure. Yeah, I think you need to find something to do, though. <laughs> <laughs> so we're reunited with our other party, and we're going to be making our way back to uh, Kuja's lair with uh, Zidane and company, and uh, we exited Desert Palace with the other ones. This is our second time going through this screen, and um, that was quite early. And this is where the infamous... Uh, <laughs> trouble. Trouble incident mm -hmm. happened. Yeah, so we're going to want to be, in this route, we're going to want to be getting some levels. And um, ideally, we want to actually take out Aiko here because her, her, uh, getting, her getting experience is not useful. So we want to get each of these encounters with uh, only three people alive. So, uh, yeah, he made sure yeah. to wait for the wait. ogre to attack first. <laughs> yes. <laughs> if Aiko has trouble status <laughs> trying to do that, you are in for a bad time. So, again, this is not for AP. We're really just trying to make sure our levels are more appropriate. For, uh, for the end game. I've got a $10 donation from Essentia's Kids <laughs> that just says, Hi, people on the couch, we're sitting behind you. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Smiles221 is back. It says, Never let it be said that I am not a person of my word. Here's four mo five more dollars towards singing. <laughs> Uh, 
and a simple $25 anonymous donation that just says, I really enjoyed watching you all this week. Thank you very much. Ooh. So we're at 40 encounters now, by the way. Thirteen less than my last run <laughs> at this point. <laughs> that is quite a high number for this for this point of the of the mm. run. Right, so we're making our way back to Kuja to find out that surprise, surprise, we've been duped. And he sent us on a mission without any benefit for us. But our two parties are going to reunite. Uh, well, minus one person, as we're about to see. So there's the other half of our party meeting up, and they're going to head into Kuja's lair as well to meet up with Kaiosh. Including our little frog buddy. <laughs> our little frog buddy. <laughs> Unfortunately, for some reason, they decide to let the six-year-old lag behind, and uh, she's going to be kidnapped by uh, Zorn and Thorn here. So we just got duped and he robbed us of the item that we brought <laughs> by making fake clones of our friends. So yeah, we kind of have one more order of business with this uh, this area. We're going to be going through the uh, Hildegard screens one final time. And uh, Liz is going to be on the lookout for one more signal ogre encounter just for uh, Quinta levels. Because so we ideally want her to be level 26 because it really helps out HP-wise for some of the later fights. <laughs> Uh, this is okay. first. So again, I think he's going to be trying to uh, have Freya kill herself just to spread the experience around more to where we need it. And uh, Quinn is going to be set to be the level we need her to be for the end game. And also Zadane. And Zadane as well, yeah. So now we're pretty much all set, and we can head to the next area, which is um, Hesto Gaza. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Depending if it lasts. <laughs> us. It's going to be three, I think. Yeah, again, these screens are notoriously difficult to get through without uh, getting too many encounters. It's one of those other screens that's relatively rare to get zero. Just gonna kill one more ogre. Well, oh, nope, never Maybe mind. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get another one. So. <laughs> one time. Yeah, almost. So yeah, this is pretty rough on the encounters in disc three so far. It's four, uh, 43 total, and that would be 14, 14 in disc, four, uh, disc three already. So this is looking like my. Was it the last run I did, or I can't remember? I had one. I had one run recently where I had, I think I had 27 encounters in disc three. I only had 26 at the end of disc two. <laughs> so that was pretty bad.
Right, so we're going to be boarding the Narsus again and head towards uh, Esso Gaza, which is another cutscene that most of us probably don't see very often. For comparison, the lowest number of encounters they've gotten in Disc 3 was 11. So we're already past <laughs> that. <laughs> Another quick reminder, we're at $534 out of 5000 for the singing the melodies of life after the run and after we beat Hades. And that is not just the relay team, but the staff themselves and hopefully a few people in the audience. But uh, yeah, get your donations in for that. We've already raised over $100,000 for NAMI, and that's an absolutely amazing feat. But I'd love to see us hit 110 if we can. So we've essentially just followed Kuja uh, to the, like one of the northernmost parts on the world map. And Luz is going to do his final stutter step of the run. Yeah, this also happens to be one of those optional stutter steps that I'm not sure anyone really does anymore, but there is a Chocobo tracks pretty nearby. Just this is a pretty short one, so most people just like to stutter step it. It's also important to note that he swapped in Vivi. Um, mostly because he's very important to the next fight, but also we are forced to use him. So um, swapping him in now actually makes sure that he's in the slot that we want him to be in because uh, otherwise he gets by default put into a, a slot, I think it'd be slot one even or slot two, which is uh, very odd for most of us. You also get extra dialogue too, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, at some point the menu will pop up and force you to, to have him <laughs> in your party. Standard. This is another uh, backup enemy that you okay. could potentially have for experience or AP if you're lacking, but uh, fortunately we don't need to do anything with them. I've got a $50 donation from Mallow that says, Thank you for such an amazing event. Final Fantasy IX was always my final favorite Final Fantasy game as a kid, and I think it still is now. I've seen so many of my favorite childhood RPGs played this week, and this is such a bright way to end the event. Thank you so much for everything you have all done here for NAMI. People who love RPGs and the gaming community in general, remember, you sing from the diaphragm. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the tip. I'll make sure to get some Doremis in first. <laughs> Five dollars from Lilith, 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 Lilith. He says, donating one last time in hopes of discovering how many XP we'd get for defeating mental illness. Thanks for a final fantastic week of entertainment and Godspeed to you all. So the guard here is kind of telling us what happened with uh, Kuja, the Black Mages, and Zorn and Thorn have taken Iko into Mount Gulag, and uh, we're going to be trailing behind them momentarily. Before we do that, though, we're going to take a right uh, for a detour into the shop and pick up a few things that are going to help us later on. Think about buying more potions. Yeah, I'm not. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Probably the most important of which for the immediate future is the Octagon Rod. Um, the Octagon Rod gives Vivi access to his uh, third tier level spells, which are, we're going to be using very shortly. It also makes him absorb. Is make him absorb wind? Is it or is that the other item? He does absorb wind, wind and water. Wind yeah. and water. Yeah. So it's very important that someone <laughs> in our party doesn't take damage from wind damage on this next fight, as you'll probably see. So this is kind of like the second of the two segments where Vivi is kind of like OP mm -hmm. and really, really useful. So we had him earlier in disc two and now a couple of fights in disc three he'll be pretty instrumental in. Yeah, this fight would be significantly different if we didn't have Vivi. It's really a, a nice safety net for uh, when things start to go wrong. 
I have an anonymous $250 donation that leaves no comment at all. So thank, thank you for your donation. Mm -hmm. Thank you, anonymous. I don't um, even know there's a Moogle here. <laughs> <laughs> that makes two of us. <laughs> That gray is staining your blue. Ugh, don't worry, it's going to be fixed. <laughs> <laughs> and an anonymous $25 donation that says, you guys were all amazing. Thank you so much for what you're doing. And with that 250 and the 25, the singing, the memory, melodies of life and sentence is up to $814. We're is... counting down the, the, the time now, so... <clears throat> If you want to hear uh, Mark follow up on his boasting, <laughs> I think you should. Uh, come on, man. You were putting yourself over pretty hard. We all want to hear you sing. I, that makes two of us, man. <laughs> <laughs> right, so this is a really scary fight yeah, if it wants to be. Yeah, can go really wrong. Mm. The main problem with this fight is these dragons can use Twister. Twister is a very, very <laughs> random damage wind ability. Um, which is why it's very invaluable that BB can absorb it. So what he's going to be starting off by doing is Soul Blading one of them with, um, with Zidane. Because of the weapon that he has equipped now, it's, the Soul Blade is going to be using, uh, going to give confused status on the the, uh, the dragon. So this basically just incapacitates one while it gives us time to deal with the other one. Okay. Yeah. That Twister roll wasn't too bad. We're in decent shape, but if, had we gotten another one, it would be a problem. So he's going to work on taking out the, the one that isn't Soul Bladed by using Blizzaras, or Blizzagas with BB and attacks with Steiner. There's also a Knight Strat that uh, I'm quite fond of, mm -hmm. but uh, Luz doesn't do it. <laughs> now, you also, have the option to, <laughs> you also have the option to use Knight and Blizzaga all, but uh, Luz is electing to do it a more traditional way. He's going to queue... Uh, Vivi's Blazaga first because we actually don't want him to get any experience because this is pretty much well, this, uh, this with exception of one other fight going to be the last time that we're going to be using it so we don't want him to get experience but we do however want the other three to get experience so okay. now that he's done we're going to finish him off with Steiner and that was really good so it's really important that he menus directly afterward because we're going to be starting a, a fairly well, a, a medium length cutscene there, but it's going to go right into the next boss fight, which also can be pretty scary. So we need to make sure that we properly set ourselves up for it. It's also important to note he doesn't actually need to heal or revive anyone because he'll receive a full uh, a full restore before the next fight. Here's kind of where Zorn and Thorn are uh, trying to do what they did to Dagger earlier, but to Iko, but. Uh, Fortunately, fortunately, I think Nami has a few tricks up their sleeve to, to get out of this mess. <laughs> Never, don't fret, chat. So Baby Grill has a little bit of reservation right now. So how would you read three exclamation marks? Hmm. Like, what would it sound like? Wait, say it again? Yeah, the three exclamation marks she puts in a speech bubble. <laughs> what would that sound like? like I think let's let Luz take care of this one. <laughs> Luz, but what would it sound like? Raw? <laughs> 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 I don't think there's a better answer. <laughs> I wasn't honestly. expecting that, to be honest. <laughs> It'll melt me. Fixie X on Parallax are back once again with $5 saying, okay, that last one was pretty bad. But it's not pop, but you could listen to Queen of the Stone Age. <laughs> Hopefully that goes with the flow. You're having to think about that one, aren't you? I'm no, not I sure. It. If it, I, mean, I get it, but... yeah. I mean, he just said he just said the the name of the song in the band, so I don't know. Yeah, I gave it a giggle. You gave it a giggle. If you gave it a giggle, it, it could it could be worse. <laughs> well, is that the bar? Yeah, it's like Hollow the Stone Age. No, it doesn't quite work, does it? No. Well, Twenty five dollars from Anonymous <laughs> says happy to donate to a great cause, even if it's at the end. Thanks to all the runners, commentators, and support staff. Best wishes to everyone, and thanks for all the hard work. Thank you for your donation. So now Mog's gonna 
be the only summon that we'll see in this entire run. Which is actually called Medine. This fight, you don't actually have to do anything, though. It's all automated for you, so you can't lose. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Your favorite line of dialogue. <laughs> yeah. Terra homing mates. <laughs> this is also an animation that I cannot tell you the last time I've actually watched. <laughs> this is like prime time, snack time. Nami thoroughly took care of those jokers, but unfortunately, we are uh, we're gonna lose Mog in the process. I wanted to be by your side, Nami. But don't worry, Chad. <laughs> I'll watch over you always, Koopa. Yeah. Where's Luke Dolphin when you need him? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, his plushie's there. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Why wouldn't it be? <laughs> It's now, this next fight coming up has probably the tightest ATB weight window yeah. mm -hmm. in the entire mm -hmm. game. Uh, it is certainly possible to get it, uh, but you just need to really, really pay attention to your buffering. Yeah, this, this particular window is tight enough that uh, if Zidane is one level lower, it actually is nearly impossible yeah, to do. You, know, you also had to put the running shoes, even though he already has auto haste mm -hmm. finished learning, yeah, you had right. to put the running shoes on yeah. uh, for the extra speed. Otherwise, you can't do it. So this is another fight that's changed a lot since the um, since we started doing the new route. The old route used to use Freya's Luna ability, which casts Berserk. And in some sense, the fight has used to be a lot more autopilot, but we actually have to do a little bit more work. Mm -hmm. So what we're really going to be doing is um, ATB waiting Zidane's attacks, if possible and uh, attacking with Steiner. Steiner's sort of the, the big heavy hitter this fight, but uh, Zidane is able to attack twice, so they're both gonna be uh, sort of doing the heavy lifting here. The main thing that we ideally would like to not see just to make the fight a little bit safer is viral smoke, but um, unfortunately it's something that it typically happens, but we'll see if we get it or not. Shut fortunately in this route, uh, if we do get viral smoked, the AP loss is not that yeah. big a deal. Yeah, viral smoke, um, makes it so you're not going to get in. Not, in addition to doing a lot of damage, it makes it so you're not going to be getting any AP from the fight. Him getting a turn off there is actually really nice because uh, Nelta Gemini is fairly fairly quick. And, and he opens the Iris mode. So Iko's going to die here. Um, this might be Trance here. Okay, oh yes. no, that's not Looks bad. Like that's not bad. So Iko always dies to Viral Smoke with how we have her set up. Uh, it's a little bit unfortunate because having Cura is a nice safety net, but um, we're going to be using high potions with Quinna to keep people up. Um, Kyo's trancing here is actually pretty good because um, it's going to end the fight a lot quicker. Luck. So he's going to be mashing as hard as he can because it really is that tight of a window. We need to make sure that we are on our there A game. You. Um, you really do need to make sure you cue Zidane's attacks before Steiner as well because otherwise you're setting yourself up to not be able to do it. So he's in good shape here now. Shh. Okay. You're good. I don't think I go. I think Steiner. I think oh, you're right. The Vitrans was really bad. It oh. messed up the. the messed timing. up, yeah, yeah. But it's okay, I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah, you're okay, okay. good. Nice fight. <laughs> yep. So you see they're all grayed out because they had virus on. Just as a slap in the face, the, the guy drops vaccines at yep. the end as well. <laughs> you can steal one from him if you really want to. <laughs> there are some fights that try to make use of getting AP there with using vaccines, but you're the, the fight becomes even more scary Super when you're tedious trying to. Yeah, you're trying to waste turns making sure someone you gets start AP. start gambling on what you're actually going to steal. And then yeah. It's definitely not worth it. So we're going to be entering the last lengthy... Um, plot part of the game and after that we're pretty much straight straight go to the end 
Fortunately, we found our, uh, our frog friend's wife. <laughs> Thankfully, he's not a frog. And uh, she holds the power to be able to change him back to a man. Doesn't recognize him at first, because she actually did not turn him into a frog. No, she didn't. <laughs> Just a quick heads up to everybody at home. We are partnering with the Yeti again this year. And those t-shirts will go away very, very soon after the end of the marathon. So be sure to get your purchases in now. Three dollars of each t-shirt do go to not be well, donated to Nami. And you head over to the yeti.com slash RPG Limit Break. That's the Y-E-T-E-E dot -E -E slash RPG Limit Break. And as again, three dollars for every t-shirt you buy will be donated to Nami. So this is our last journey to Plot City for the rest of the game. Quite a bit actually happens here. Hmm. Starting with one of the more important moments, which is this one where Frog Sid will become Normal Sid again. I guess for the first time, honestly, hmm. we've never seen him normal. And let's be honest, it's pretty questionable whether or not he regrets regrets what happened. <laughs> like, as soon as he becomes a man again, he, uh, he he's, he's pushing the buttons already. <laughs> But she's, she's, she's very forgiving, and she's going to change him back. He's like, I even named this flying boat after you. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't even use mist. <laughs> I named this whole science-y thing after you. <laughs> <laughs> See, look, he's, he wants to concentrate on the next ship. His wife just changed him back. <laughs> like, at least give her a hug, thank you. Like, I know, like... Oh, here we, oh, yeah, but he had to be he had to be right. prodded to do. He was like yeah. guilted into it. <laughs> she's like, really? She's yeah, really? like the really. puppy dog eyes, and he's like, okay. Yeah. Have the servants prepare the couch. That's where you're sleeping. <laughs> Just another update. We're at eight hundred and fifty-nine out of five thousand. It's looking like people aren't going to want to hear you boys sing. You got a little bit of time, but yeah, probably only got about two hours. Zelysium has sent a $5 anonymous donation. Not anonymous, with no comment. That's the word I'm looking for. <laughs> it's been a long week, guys. <laughs> Give me a break. Bowie's been here hassling me. and <laughs> He's been hassling everyone. <laughs> He's either been hassling me or playing Rando. It's like, hey, you know what? Both of those things I'm okay with. <laughs> Rando's. I have a dollar from Ghost King that merely just says, okay. <laughs> Let's see, where's he at? He's over here by the donation station. Okay to what is the question? Probably okay to everyone in chat donating one dollar. Okay. Which I think we still have some people who have a dollar to donate at this point, honestly. I mean, when people are sending in 25 bucks saying they're covering some people, you can't just assume it's you. Just assume it's everyone but you. <laughs> <sighs> the end credit scene is a little bit. Hey, that table looks scene. familiar. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> 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 All right, so we're back in this room. Uh, <laughs> quite a lot has happened here. Mm -hmm. This is actually the most consequential table in the entire game. <laughs> <laughs> Garnet is literally never in it either, except for the one time. <laughs> She slips us all the sleeping potions. So, at this moment, we're trying to find uh, Baby Grill. She's she's run off again. She's want to do that, uh, and so Steiner actually asks uh, King Leo slash Baku and the gang to go on a manhunt for her. Where's Bick at? I know he's good at finding. Where's Waldo? <laughs> 
Yeah, but I don't think the stream does because the camera crashed. So mm. uh, that's okay. I saw it live. It was okay. great. <laughs> well, I saw it live. Yeah. <laughs> I got five dollars from Kirby Master. He's currently processing donations. <laughs> that seems a bit nepotistic. <laughs> quite, anyway, he just says Panoko. <laughs> so, rip Twitch chat. Mm. Here it begins. Uh, $25. No, I won't donate $1. Says Anonymous. <laughs> $1 and one cent. Klaus Live. I had a penny extra. My man. Silver Fire. $1. Here's my dollar. Anonymous. $50. That says, I had to give a bit more for a chance to hear the singing. Let's hear that happen. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Shout out to Double Drop just in time for Plot City. <laughs> So in that moment, that was Sid uh, going to talk to some of his engineers to let them know, like, we can build a new boat. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to fly much better than the last boat. Just a quick update. It does look, due to a countdown on the website, that those Yeti t-shirts go away in about 2 hours 13 minutes-ish. So this is really is your final call for Yeti t-shirts. So head over to the yeti.com slash RPG Limit Break now and get one of those nine fantastic designs. So we're kind of in the final stretch of everyone sort of pooling together to try to search for Baby Girl. <laughs> um, everyone's kind of, they're kind of looking all over the town, but only Kyosh actually knows where to look. I think it's most interesting that it took us like an hour and a half and several days to get from Alexandria to Lindblom, but they do it in like half an hour. <laughs> <laughs> the power of the Hilgogard 3. You know. You know, that's missless, you hear? Oh, me. Oh. That sounds like oh. a Mega Man trick. <laughs> <laughs> so we're up to 971 out of 5,000. Thanks to a $30 donation from an anonymous donor that says, When picking a distant world show to attend a couple of years back, I had to choose between hearing melodies of life and answers from Final Fantasy XIV. I chose answers. So hopefully hearing this live rendition of melodies will make <laughs> up for that mistake. <laughs> you will not regret it at all. I promise. can personally vouch that our singing is just as good as distant worlds is. <laughs> it's definitely on that level. Anonymous, $10. I guess it would be a shame if the Tantalus didn't donate during the last sighting of the Tantalus during Final Fantasy <laughs> IX. Good luck on the run and hope to hear you sing. Sunbro68, $25. Great show, guys. Here's to a musical finish. MGNBRN. So I guess Mingenburn. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Why can't you people use vowels? <laughs> Where's my $25. Don't be an RPG jerk bird. Sing for some RPG good taste, All or right. you'll make me RPG sad. <laughs> Professor Nez, $20. Speaking of Canadians and crossovers, is anyone else into Moxie Frivolous back in the day? You know, Video Bigenville? Gallif Warsong? My baby loves a bunch of Allosaurus? <laughs> Dioling Down Darling? <laughs> the Spring of Cain? The High Winds Lowest Point? You will go to the moon and then do it again a few games later as if it's still original. <laughs> yeah, you lost me on that one, Professor Nez. I'm sorry, buddy. Uh, Massive Butter donates $2 and says, yeah. To the runners, which is your favorite Final Fantasy class and why? I've got my love for the Blue Mage, always fun RNG spells, and Queena is the best cook. Meteor on all the Twitch later, and thanks for another great RPG limit break. Hmm. I, I don't even know. Freya. 
But I guess not a class. <laughs> well, she's a dragoon. <laughs> <laughs> but she's a dragoon, right? That's yeah, yeah, kind yeah, of what she's yeah, yeah. First, yeah. makes the rules. So. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So Freya, Freya is now a class. Freya is the best class. <laughs> Freya is best class. <laughs> <laughs> Darren with $24 says, Here's my, do my dollar. Also, 24 more I found lying around. <laughs> Thank you. Meads, $5. My stream today knocked my cursed jar to $5. So what better to that way to use it than this? Chard Resistors sends $10 and says, fine, here's my dollar. <laughs> Thank you. Chibi Shala, another person that's donated a few times this, this week. $5. Sadly, this must be my last donation for this event. Let's hear everybody sing. I love melodies of life, but I am fully prepared to handle the consequences if this donation <laughs> incentive is met. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to all the runners and staff at RPG Limit Break for putting on such an awesome event, and I look forward to the next one. All right, hey, we got this. Oh, sorry, go ahead. Just this really quick. Just James Vandercleef, twenty-five dollars. Here you go. All right, here we have this famous FMV with how everyone should cut their hair forever, <laughs> because in one swipe you can go from beautiful. It's a gorgeous. Obviously. That's really nice. There's no way that that could ever go wrong. No. Guys, she's magic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she, she, like, loses her voice. She gets her voice back. She's like, hey, I'm going to cut my hair with this knife. <laughs> you know, before she was baby girl, now she's baby woman. <laughs> <laughs> it is certainly an <laughs> obvious metaphor for the coming of age. It is indeed. So we are just about at the end here. We're going to be making our way towards Ibsen Castle. And this is the last of our very lengthy cutscene cities. And the last time we'll see that table. <laughs> Baby woman. <laughs> it's becoming a thing, yeah, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> It's kind of an oxymoron, by the way. <laughs> no, no, it's fine. Don't think about it too much. <laughs> what did you call me? Sorry, it was an oxymoron joke. Ah, oh, I thought you were saying we were calling you baby woman. <laughs> baby woman? Um, <laughs> sure. <laughs> Let's go with that. <laughs> Certainly makes about much sense my actual username. <laughs> <coughs> All right, so now we actually have control of the airship. We won't really use it a whole lot, uh, only a handful of times. And this is where we're going to a very interesting dungeon mm -hmm. called Ibsen's Castle, which we can kind of explain the mechanics of when we get there. But the game kind of hints at what you're, what you're expected to do with the chests that are inside it. So if you look at it, just aesthetically, like you have this inverted upside down castle looking castle and it's kind of like flipped on either end. And that is also alluding to uh, like the major damage mechanic in the, the castle. So essentially throughout it, you can pick up a number of items which are a lot of the weakest weapons in the game. And it is in order to kind of get you to try to puzzle piece together that the weaker your weapon is in this dungeon, it will actually do more damage than a lot of the stronger weapons. And so you kind of have to like get over your <laughs> expectation of needing better weapons and try to use the weaker ones here. Yeah, if you notice, remember six hours ago to our first trip to, uh, to Lindblom, we actually elected not to sell the broadsword, and that's going to be coming into play here uh, later on. Also something to note is that uh, Amaranth decides to wander off on his own, so even if you, if you put him in your party entering here, it's going to force you to take him out. Um, it's actually a pretty big issue for uh, routing purposes because it would be it would make life a lot easier if he was able to be at this boss, but unfortunately, uh, we can't do that. So we have to make use of what we've got. So with us, we've got the newlywed couple and our boy Arby's. <laughs> okay. Got two dollars from Split Punch that says, "Why would she be baby woman? She's obviously BBY BBQ by now." <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> and I have... Is the, wait, does that go with the RPG BLT? <laughs> I guess. <laughs> RPG side of fries. And I have someone that is uh, under the username My Boyfriend, who, sa who sends $50 and writes, That's not actually the alias. I just haven't found a way to tell you guys. I appreciate your faint, but I parry and repost, sir, donator. Because you did not catch me out. <laughs> Drivenis with $50 saying, Shout out to the tech crew for uploading the VOD so quickly. I love that I can play things at 1.5 playback <laughs> when I'm catching up each night. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. World record in everything. I don't know if I can handle Lizbell's menu speed in 1.5. Ooh. Computer might crash. Yeah. He's in counters. It's 46 now. We're up to $1,230 out of 5,000 for the singing. It's creeping ever closer. It sounds like a metal song. Uh, but it is creeping ever closer to that title I mean, that we need. Kara might be able to sing metal. He's got the t shirt. I mean, anything, any Sabaton fan's a good friend of mine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So lost in here as a kid. <laughs> I don't think uh, I'm having flashbacks. Three v four. Our encounter predictions are looking really, really pretty bad. good right now. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm starting to feel pretty, pretty good confident, right honestly. Well, I mean, it's looking bad for the run, and boom. but the fact that we all kind of knew it was going to be bad—that's <laughs> why I guessed over sixty. <laughs> $10 from Goose Yourself that says, Great job, everyone. Thank you to all involved in putting on this great event. I love that Final Fantasy IX, one of my favorite RPGs of all time, is the run that sends us out on a bang. Please don't butcher melodies of life too badly. Butcher is not even in my wheelhouse. RPD234 sends five and says, Time for me to say goodbye as well. It's been fun memeing with you all, and even more so the journeys that we've shared. Here's to hoping you'll be hearing from me again at SGDQ. P.S. It may be an album and not a singer, but my favorite Final Fantasy music mashup is Nuge of the World. I honestly don't get it. Me neither. But it's Nuge from Final Fantasy X-2, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, don't, I, don't, I don't know the reference for the album. Uh. Someone execute <laughs> some Google Foo quick. <laughs> per Sagax sends five dollars. I accidentally front loaded my donations this week, so it's all I have left. So happy to have discovered RPG LB for the first time this year. Even if you have utterly destroyed my all productivity. Thanks so much to the runners, the staff, the donators, and most of all, happy birthday, Solomon. <laughs> <laughs> It'll never die. <laughs> We're going to get an encounter oh, on the screen. It's a reference oh. to News <laughs> of the World, which is the sixth studio album by the British rock band Queen. Oh, oh Kara, you should know that. He was probably sitting there like, yeah, I knew that all along. $30 from Ampilux that says, thanks to all runners and staff for this fantastic event for a great cause. Let's hear some singing. <coughs> all right, so... This fight has a lot of things going on at once, so he's going to be doing a number of different things to damage him. So we have the broadsword on Steiner, so provided that he doesn't curl, which basically makes him take nearly no damage to physical attacks, he's going to be trying to do some attacks with Steiner. In addition to that, he's going to be using Quinna's knight ability to, um, to make Steiner do extra damage. In addition to that, he's going to be casting Soul Blade. Yeah, that's unfortunate. At least he got one in first. Yeah. So you can't really control whether or not he uh, curls. Fortunately, we can still use um, magical attacks. So Soul Blade with the, the was it Angel Bless that he's, he has? Mm -hmm. With the Angel Bless, uh, it casts a uh, poison on an enemy, 
And so you'll slowly see his HP ticking away, which is a benefit because we can't, especially when he's curled, cannot attack him really traditionally at all. Yeah. In addition to that, he's going to be using Pyragas with Vivi, which does a boatload of damage. The, uh, the Steiner attacks aren't really necessary per se, but um, it basically cuts down on the amount of Pyragas we need to do, which is what we ideally would want. But uh, he's going to be throwing a second Soul Blade here since he isn't able to attack the Steiner. And uh, it actually does a surprising amount of damage, so he's just going to keep him in a, in a lock here and just sort of wail away at him with magic attacks. He's also trying to steal a Zidane. There's a really good item that we can get uh, for Zinc of the Aura Halkin, which is uh, the weapon that we're actually going to be using later on. Um, getting it early saves a lot of time on the next boss, but unfortunately we weren't able to get it this time. So despite the encounters, we were able to wail away on uh, Taharka quite easily, and uh, he didn't really get much of a chance to do anything to us, which is one of the benefits of Knight. And so we collected these four tablets beforehand, which essentially, like, we need to take to four locations in order to open the warp to the next world that we need to go to, which is Terra, which a thousand of you have made bad puns about. <laughs> $25 donation from Ken, a.k.a. Lanos Highwind, who says, Oh, man, finally getting around to donating on my second year watching. It had to be done during the best Final Fantasy of them all. Shoutouts to all the runners, and especially Poexel, for really being the runner to get me into speedrunning. Put this towards the singing. Let it be known that Freya is the best Final Fantasy character and class. <laughs> <laughs> Any chance at a Persona run next year? <laughs> You have to talk to Neviates for that. So he's going to be saving here because just momentarily as we exit, he's going to be doing a Zidane solo section, which um, can be kind of frightening. It's a little a bit scary. Reasons. Yeah. Typically, nothing's really going to happen, but um, you there, really never know with this game. There's like a small chance of a really bad troll that can happen, but, you know, a small chance is a chance. Yeah. So they kind of exit out and realize that they still don't have Amaranth. And Zidane being the gentleman that he is, or Kaiosh, excuse me, <laughs> being the uh, gentleman that he is, is going to go back in for him. So that's why we have to go through this with uh, him solo. I have $5 from Anonymous. He says, hey, Toju. Here's to hearing your craigasmic voice singing melodies of life. <laughs> Thank you. Also, I will donate again if you pick up the tower. <sighs> how much? How much? I need to know how much. This, you, you can put a price on this. <laughs> I've got no thing here. Like, I don't know. But there is a price on the tower. Just the bounty is out there. To be honest, if it was $5, I'd rather just donate $5 myself. <laughs> <laughs> But honestly, I'll pop Hades a little bit at least. So what? You can damage Hades a little bit more at least. <laughs> so Zidane's looking for Emmer and inexplicably hears a human groaning and says, who's there? <laughs> <laughs> Kyosh may be a gentleman, but he's not the brightest, not unfortunately. Bright, yeah. <laughs> he was raised by an adoptive thief dad. So. Also, is it just me or Zamos kind of just look like he's chilling and he's not actually hurt? <laughs> he's like he's like lounging back. Like, he could have a hammock and I wouldn't know siesta. the difference. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's got a corona. <laughs> <laughs> so we made it through the Zidane solo section. Now we'll be able to exit the castle with uh, Amaranth in our party as well. Which kind of takes away from the, uh, the scariness of the situation. Fortunately, we can't just drop down, so we're going to have to make our way all the way back to the ladder and then head out that way. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's another one of those tricky uh, movement screens. No, he knew that walking into... Remember, we said walking into walls changes the RNG. Yeah. That's how we got no encounter. <laughs> Obviously. 
All right, so we got it out of the castle unscathed. We're going to be starting on a little bit of a, almost the last major airship mission. We're going to be visiting all four shrines. Um, and this is also the point where we would be visiting Daguerre had we not won the card tournament. But uh, fortunately for us, we don't have to make that extra stop. So we're just going to be visiting the shrines in succession. If you've ever played FF1 and not FF9, all of these will look really familiar. Mm -hmm. Fortunately for us, time-wise, we're actually only required to fight one of them. Mm -hmm. And the other three, your, your character, player characters that you're not controlling, just handle the fights for you. Yeah. I still want to know how uh, Dagger okay. and Ico kill Kraken by themselves. <laughs> Touché, so. I have a five dollar anonymous donation that says, "Can we do popular movies as well as bands?" Uh, yeah, absolutely. Right. absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. Because I have a love-hate relationship with the pacing in Eris Bueller's Day Off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> fair, fair. <laughs> it Save seems Eris. to die halfway through. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> wow! Oh gosh! <laughs> What if we Wow. <laughs> I was going to say, I saw Aerith fighting Sephiroth, thank you very much. <laughs> Aerith's Revenge. <laughs> Aerith Bueller's Day Off 2. <laughs> Aerith Strikes Back. So here's where, if he had lost the last game of the card tournament, he would have to go to uh, Deg... Deguero? I don't even know how to pronounce it. Deguero. <laughs> so, told you. Okay. We've had someone in chat ask, okay. what's your price on the tower? Oh, God. How close are we to the incentive? That's a good question. Uh, the, uh, the singing incentive? Mm. Yeah. Let me load it up. Let the internet catch up with me for a minute. I think that one's a little bit more important. Yeah. Uh, we're at 1,300 out of 5,000 for mm. singing. we got to discuss this as a team. What, what is, what is it going to take? I think we need to get that much, much closer. Yeah, yeah. For the, the tower to even be an yeah. option. we we gotta, we got to be in snipe range by the time we get get to disc four. So you heard him, guys. Yeah. It's time to Tell start you, getting You can collaborate on yeah, this. Yeah, you're all going to have to pan up here. This is, a, this is a community effort. If mm -hmm. you want to see them pick up the tower, just for those that are uninitiated in Final Fantasy IX, how, uh, what, what, what extra would that entail? Well, there's what taking the a few, uh, few extra steps. Okay, <laughs> yeah. okay. There's, there's, there's more to stake <laughs> than that. Let's be honest here. So, and maybe some pride. There's definitely pride. <laughs> pride on the I think there's yeah. the pride. That's is, it. All the pride 100%. is definitely a majority of it. Yeah, yeah. So this full circle comes back to Hollow again, <laughs> who is a huge proponent of picking up the tower, which is Zidane's legendary weapon, which has very questionable returns, shall we say? Um, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna blame him for for starting this trend. Yeah, probably actually. Yeah. For whatever reason, you have to enter the Earth Shrine with the airship. I, uh, I don't know why, but I think it's to prevent you from entering it earlier. I guess. Can you get there with the boat? Is it even there? I mean, yeah, I think the it doesn't exist. There, but or you might not be able to get to it. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. And so you'll see all of the pairings going off. We have a really, really difficult mini game here. <laughs> you have to dodge these closing walls. <laughs> then we have Nami and Baby Grill who are like dodging. They're like fighting Cold Stare. <laughs> So which one of these three pairings do you think is the, the most odd couple? Oh, definitely uh, um, Amaranth and Freya. Fair. That's probably an awkward. I feel like Steiner and Vivi have like a, a bromance from the get-go. Yeah. Sure, sure. Steiner's like, hey, let's do this. I mean, Zwanzig's never had Arby's before, but it's probably growing on him at this point. So the Guardian at ours is aptly named the Earth Guardian. So that's the one that we're going to have to fight while... The, uh, the other members of our party have their own uh, battles, which we never get to see. And this fight is moderately scary, I would say. Um, older routes used to use, uh, used to synth the Reflect Ring, which is uh, a very, very costly to make 
accessory, but um, Earth Guardian has a handful of spells which are uh, obviously reflectable, but we aren't, we aren't going to have that, so we're going to be going in and hoping to survive his first attack and get Night off without any issues. Um, okay. The problem for us is he does have a physical attack which is very dangerous, called Double Slash, so we're hoping if we see that it's going to be a miss. I've been crit by it so many times. <laughs> and yes, he's called the Crit Guardian for a reason. So he's going to be starting off seeing if Zidane's going to have enough ATB to attack him. If he does, he's going to be able to do a faster strat. So he's going to be getting it. So after this, he's going to let Earth Guardian attack, and he's going to be getting two additional attacks off with Zidane, and then he's going to be using Knight. All right, Frog is fine. Yeah, so he should be okay here. Okay, he's going to make sure Zidane gets two, two more attacks before he queues this Knight up. And interestingly enough, this is the first fight that we're going to see um, Knight lock in. And this fight is kind of strange with ATV. He's really quite a slow boss, so uh, we're going to see how this works out here. Are oh, you just going to wait? Yeah. yeah, yeah, okay. So if you imagine, how do we got to put it in perspective, he's doing about 4,000 with uh, night attacks. How do we gotten the steal, the Ore Halcon? He can actually do upwards of 8k plus. So it's a really big steal to get. But um, at this point, this fight is uh, doing really well. So he's going to get this final attack in here. And uh, what better way to end a fight than have Hollow consume Hollow it? Hollow hungry. <laughs> <laughs> you can't actually kill it. We don't need, we don't need to eat, but um, it saves an attack. So we're just going to get him low enough and uh, choose to eat instead of finishing him off. You just have to take him below the 25% mm -hmm. HP threshold before you can eat him. Yeah, there are scenarios in which you would just finish him off with Zidane attacks, but uh, ideally, you uh, you just do what he did there. So fortunately, that was a very safe fight. There's Baby Grill and Nami fresh off finishing their... Uh, their girl talk. <laughs> Is that, is that what we call fighting a no, that's what guardian? She's, literally, when they well, they leave, Aiko's like, <laughs> we're having girl talk. <laughs> and Zarane's like, okay. And then Baby Grill's like, what's girl talk? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a woman now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I've graduated from that. <laughs> I've got $20 from Crippikins. Hey, Crippy. Shout-outs to my old friend Tyler on the couch. Thanks, my man. Much love from me and everyone from life. Keep on keeping on, and I'm glad this money's going to a good cause. Thank you, dude. Odin Smash, $25. I wish I could donate a little more this year, but I had to get this in prior to the end of the marathon. Shoutouts to Poexel and the rest of the staff for putting together such a great lineup of runs this week. Best of luck to the Final Fantasy IX guys on the rest of the run, and we hope we get to hear some singing soon. One of the interesting things with the airship, if you've noticed on any of them, is that you're almost always started out pointed in <laughs> basically the direction that you need to go to progress the game. Mm. And so whenever you play casually, you can pretty much just fly straight and you'll at least be going in the mm. area-ish of where you need to be. Yeah, for a lot of the places, you can literally just hold X yeah, and you'll, be, you'll basically be there. So it's uh, kind of interesting. Got a hundred dollars from Brewermac that says, "Become Roland of Gilead, complete your quest for the tower." <laughs> that's what I like to hear. Hundred dollars for the tower—that's pretty hype. Uh. And a hundred dollars from Stooge, who says, "Great job, everyone. I enjoy this more and more every year. I know how, how much hard work Poexel puts into this, and I want him to know how much we appreciate him. He's a good person, and we definitely need more people like him in this world." He having had my own issues with mental illness, I know how hard it is to communicate about these issues. Having events like this can change public opinion one person at a time. Thank you to all of the runners, announcers, and tech staff that work so hard to put this together. Thank you all. Thank you, Stooge. Best song in the game. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh-oh. I like the giggle already. It's very much a touche moment. Minjun Bdurn is back. With a dollar and says, Child Kaoche came to the Dark Tower. P.S. Who needs fouls in their username? <laughs> and 
since we've had a flurry of donations, let's take a quick look here. Let's just get no encounters to keep this song hype going. <laughs> You've got enough already. Yeah, so Terra is pretty much the, arguably the penultimate point in the story where a lot of stuff, uh, <laughs> a lot of things are going to be revealed plot-wise, uh, particularly about Zidane's past and uh, that mysterious man that we just saw when we arrived here. If you need to get some levels on someone to get them off of level 5, you can actually uh, Life or throw elixir. A, an elixir on them and yeah. get a one shot. Like we only they're... have four. Yeah, we're really yeah, low yeah, on elixirs. Yeah, you guys are really low. I pick up two more than in Brand Ball, though. So. Mm -hmm. Update is we're now at fifteen hundred and seventy-two dollars out of five thousand. I don't think you're getting the tower at this rate. <laughs> How about this? If we get to over three thousand before, I will get the tower. Okay. And then we you are within him. range for a big donation to finish it off. How about that? Yep. Okay. There we go. If we reach three thousand dollars by disc four, by disc four, it's pretty early in disc four too. Yeah. It's probably so by like, the end of disc three, we, I want to see us at three. Which is 000. how far from now? Uh, to the point where you would pick up the tower. Is no, the, the I want to see it by the end of disc. Oh, the yeah. end of disc. So three. how far is the end of disc three from here? Twenty minutes. All right. Twenty-five minutes. So you guys have got yeah. about twenty-five minutes to do fifteen hundred dollars. I believe. And we will pick up the tower as part of the route. Anonymous $50 donation. Let's hear some singing, but more importantly, tower. Yeah. <laughs> and then just a uh, no, no comment. Anonymous $25 donation. Thank you very much. I like to imagine that Hollow is just snickering in a corner right now. <laughs> He's just going to be eating this up. That's where 49 encounters now. I think the 63 dream is alive. <laughs> 61 is a good chance, too. Oh, $50 from Zano. $5 hey, from Zano, sorry. No. It says, dude, is that Zano? <laughs> Shout out to the four amazing Final Fantasy IX runners and the staff at RPG LB. This one's going to the singing. Also, told you. Yes. When's No Encounter Disc 4? Today. That's what I like to hear. <laughs> Confidence. <laughs> In before, ruined on Overconfidence. <laughs> I don't think anyone's had less than five or six, to be honest, ever. I think ever. five is the five lowest Five is probably the best. Is that sweat? I mean, even, the, no. even some of best doesn't have uh, zero. No. Because I don't think anyone's ever gotten a zero encounter crack and split. No. So what are we at now, encounter-wise? 49. Okay. So that's uh, 20 in disc 3. So we're looking at... 20 in disc 2, too, I think. Probably yeah. enter with 50. We, we could get under 60. Probably hovering around the 60 I don't know, mark. man. I've seen your movement. Hey, I've been getting... I've been ever I know. Less we still have Pandemonium, remember? Yeah, yeah, no, so no. Good. One encounter Pandemonium. <laughs> Laser game encounter. <laughs> All right, so we have another big menu coming up here. Older variants of this route had uh, something that people familiar with the run affectionately call the Pandemonium menu. <laughs> we elect to sort of split it up into both Brand Ball and Pandemonium, so the biggest portion of that menu is going to be transferred to here. So Liz is going to be selling a lot of things, and he's going to be buying some of the sort of endgame items for our party. First that off, we have to save this trap, Moogle.
$10 from Michalia, who says, Hey guys, this marathon's been a pleasure to watch, and it always impresses me how much a community can do. Everyone has done their best and made it another successful marathon. Thank you, everyone. Melodies of Life is a favorite of mine and now makes me think of my mom. I sing it often and would love to hear the RPGLB staff sing it as well. Safe travels back home, everyone, and hope to see you all next year. Well, if we can make it happen, if you guys can make that $5,000 dona uh, donation incentive nice. happen, I'm sure there's going to be some singing. I'm not sure how good the singing will be from some of us, oh, but, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. but the couch assures that they're going to be the carry. Yeah. <laughs> And we've got $25 from Oren that just says, I had to get out one last donation. He's going to be doing one final menu here to set up Zidane and Freya for the You Are Not Alone fights. And, uh, nice. We just have a few more cutscenes to get through here, and then, uh... My brain still boggles on those menus. <laughs> Next year, I want to see all of them blindfolded. <laughs> <laughs> $20 from Anonymous, it says, we need to meet this singing incentive. It would be a travesty if it didn't happen. Hey, I'm glad that they did something different with this. Yeah, yeah, it's not bad. No, it's uh, not yeah. bad. You get, you, you get, you get the, the A for effort. I feel it should be a T for effort at this point because everyone's using Terra. <laughs> uh, at least this person did a Terra one while we're actually in Terra. In Terra. Yeah, 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 that's true. Yeah, two dollars from Anonymous. Say one last donation during my favorite game of all time. Thank you for a wonderful week. Everyone should be proud of themselves. Let's uh, ready up. Let's see how this is going. It's if you guys want to pick up the tower, we got to pick this up here. We're only at sixteen hundred, about sixteen hundred and eighty-four out of five thousand. So you need at least another fourteen hundred by the beginning of disc four. I'm just waiting for the Yeti to walk up and just be like, yo, tower. But it's <laughs> not going to happen. Because they have a habit of just doing that. I don't know. <laughs> so here we just have some dialogue that we're kind of crushing through. And... We're going to actually control Ico for like, three screens. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he actually has to exit to the other side of the town just to... Um, Make the AT come up. Yeah. Otherwise, he wouldn't be able to enter there. So Zidane is kind of learning a lot about his origin here, and uh, obviously he's very confused about what's going on, so he's following this, and he's going to be making his way up to Garland, which is where a lot of the... Uh, a lot of the plot stuff is going to go down. He's never met any other Saiyans before. <laughs> okay. So this is kind of where Zidane kind of starts to understand his origin as having been created much like BB, but with a much longer span. SQF Freak, $25, just says, I'm sorry I don't have a terrible pump for you, but I do have a donation. <laughs> Thank that you, works my friend. Better. <laughs>
<laughs> Five dollars from Ken, aka Lanos Highway. Back again, digging a bit deeper for the singing. But let's be real, it's all about the tower now. <laughs> also, shout out to the donation reader for getting my gamer tag right before. You, sir, are the real MVP. Nice. You can give yourself a pat on the back, sir. I, I would, but I can't reach. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get Bro Sentry to do it later. It'd be fine. Fair. Pat me on the back. <laughs> <laughs> what did you think I said? Go on. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, mates. All right. You are not alone. <laughs> so we're pretty much just going to let this roll out because this is a fan favorite here. So let's just listen. Let's get the Craigasms going. Yeah, I want to see some Craigasms in chat here. This portion of the game is pretty unique, and not only for its sweet music. We're going to be facing three enemies that are sort of like three mini-bosses in a sense. The first of which of these is Amduzius, and um, to start, he's just going to be waiting out this first round because we can't really do much until uh, Freya arrives, so he's just going to be waiting out. He's going to take one attack with a bio, but uh, he's not going to kill him, so he's totally safe here. And in FF9 runner fashion, he's going to be moving the cursor in time with the music. I usually just make Zidane uh, spaz out here with <laughs> yeah. the three. All right, so now that Freya's in, he made an important purchase with the Minerva's plate back in Bran Ball. This is going to let Freya one-shot both phase two and phase three. So right there is good. And now Amaranth's going to arrive. In this route, we actually want Amaranth to uh, to not gain any experience from this, so we're going to hope that we don't have anything trolly from him, his attack here, if he gets one. And Liz is going to use... Nice try. Nice. Nope. Oh! Under damage. Oh. That's pretty rare. We should be fine here, though. Zinni has auto life, so. Still has to make sure that nothing trolly is happening here, but we should be good. Minor scare, but uh, we're totally fine. <laughs> Under damaged again. <laughs> <laughs> so. Got a couple of donations here. I have a $9 donation from Flimlock that just says, Get to the tower! I have a $1 donation from Anonymous that just says, says Doing my one dollar share. Thank you, sir. And someone who has been incredibly generous this marathon. Uh, one Henry Hughes is back with a three thousand oh, fifty dollar wow. donation. Whoa! Now I'd like to point out, while I was hosting Secret of Mana, Henry dropped at least forty five hundred during that run as well. So I don't know how much he's dropped during this marathon, but thank you so much. Thank, thank you. He merely says, break a leg, RPG limit break, staff and runners. Oh, and tower, please. Yes, sir. All I right. decided to do one last donation during the marathon because this was so well done. Well, that and I wanted to have a nice round number for this year. Congratulations to everybody involved, the runners, the tech crew, the organizers, and even just the attendees and watchers on Twitch. I'm looking forward to next year already. And that brings the singing donation to $4,769.12 out of 5,000. And you, sir, are getting the tower. All right. I'm happy to oblige. Thank you, sir. So what's going on in this fight here? Um, phase one, similar to the last fight, he's actually just waiting for Zidane to arrive. Uh, he's trying to get defense in with uh, Quinna and Steiner. The scary attack here is high wind because it's a pretty AOE. random AoE attack. 
Mandaka is actually fine. In this route, we need Quinta to survive, so it makes it a little bit more difficult. But uh, fortunately, we are in good shape here since Steiner has the Coral Ring. Nice. But the fight can be pretty threatening if he opens with a yeah. quick AT bead high win. It's very possible for him to do multiple high wins in a row as well. And now it's time for the infamous Shell Dragon. Yes. This is the last big threat. Well, actually, I shouldn't say that. <laughs> it's the not the last big threat, threat of Disc 3. <laughs> Those are famous last words, man. You don't say words like no, that in no. a marathon round. Don't worry, nothing can go wrong. So this is... This fight can be a big problem, but uh, it's made a lot better with auto haste, fortunately. So he's going to start out by uh, uh, killing off Zidane here because we have auto life. It is possible to get to the next phase without doing it, but this is the easiest way to do so. Because if he's in critical HP, it actually triggers the next phase when we can actually start doing some real damage to him. Rip. I, I just said I just said he had auto life. <laughs> you can't make that troll joke. It wasn't a troll joke. It just said rip. <laughs> <laughs> The baby girl is here. She's baby got, girl she's has, got her man's back. She's learned Kuraga. I don't know how. <laughs> Never taught her, but she knows now. Baby grill. Is this how you want to solve the problem? So ideally what we want to see here is a is a smash. Because if he does charge, we're potentially in trouble. Okay, so this is this is actually the best thing that can happen. So what he's gonna do is he's gonna ATB wait as a day attack, and now he's gonna attempt to cast Berserk. If this lands, the fight is is effectively over already. It's also important for him to hold ATB right at the end here, or else it messes up. Nice, nice, nice. nice. So this is a, a perfect fight at this point. The only last thing to do is he needs to make sure that he gets uh, Garnet's uh, attack off on herself, because we don't want her to get any experience. At this point, because it's weak Berserk, one attack plus two Berserk attacks is, uh, is enough here. Okay. Nice. Good stuff. Perfect. Mergen Burn is back, my man, with $4 and says, I know it is a dark path to the tower, but I'm pretty sure you can do it if you just believe in the heart of the Tetra cards. <laughs> I mean, the we card, tried to we earlier. tried. <laughs> $5 anonymous donation says, I don't like that I'm not hearing donations during the quiet parts of the run. Let's the donation kids keep the donations coming guys i'm actually just being quiet and let you listen to the music there's something to be said for a little bit of silence every now and again he's gonna do some minor unequipping here and uh, we're gonna be heading to our final shop of the game he's arranging his items just to make the next shop easier i have a th anonymous 300 dollars donation that billy says have fun singing yeah 50 encounters <laughs> And I'm guessing with that, that's going to put us over the limit. If the hotel internet can keep up. <laughs> yep. $5,113.12 out of 5000 Thank you, everyone, for pulling together and getting that, like, most of the donation instead of in the last 20 minutes. Yeah, so good but let's stuff. let's not let's not forget we are under $200 from 110,000. So let's keep this going. So this is going to do the final menu of the game. This is where pretty much the bulk of the selling in the old routes is done. But we just have a few things we need to do and, and the last few, the last few items to pick up. Pretty much just selling some unneeded weapons and some unneeded armor here. And also buying an Avenger for uh, Avenger for Amaranth and the Phoenix Downs and High Potions we're going to need for the rest of the run. Are we sure Luz doesn't have some little robotic arm that just does it all for him? We're not like sure. It, like performance enhancing in like implants or something. <laughs> it could. It could be. Yeah. This, this is just no person can take this quickly. Okay. Nice. <laughs> I'd like to point out, temper your expectations for Disc <laughs> 4, okay? Oh, I'm not worried about Disc 4. You said no, you I got mean this. No, I mean menus. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. no, 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 no. You said you had this. I mean... <laughs> there is, there's a reason I went before Lowe's. <laughs> <laughs> dollars from Vagent Zero. He says, I've been watching RPG LB. And it's been a pleasure these last few days. Having fought with anxiety and depression myself, I know how important resources like NAMI are, and I can't thank you guys enough for helping them. 
But to those struggling with mental illness themselves, remember, there's no shame in using every tool at your disposal to get treated. Your brain is just another organ and it deserves the very best care that you can give it. I absolutely agree. $25 from an anonymous donor says, I just want to thank ah. Quexel. Your chrono trigger runs are the highlights of my Sundays. Thank you for your work in organizing a great event. Donation goes to Puexel's choice. Make up an incentive. So it's time, to it's time to come up with a new donation incentive? I don't know. Um, Feu, $25, says, I've been watching SGDQ and AGDQ for years, but somehow I didn't know about this until this week. So I'm something I'm happy to have remedied. It's awesome to see you guys beat my favorite game faster than I usually finish the first disc. <laughs> and what's this I hear about singing? <laughs> 51 encounters. $10 from... I had problems with this name during Secret Mana. I believe in you. Banana Nana Naki. <laughs> <laughs> That's now you've got too many vowels. <laughs> <laughs> That's a running joke, folks. Uh, keep the donation train coming. $25 from Anonymous. Long time watcher, first time donator. Great job, everyone. Already got me looking forward to next year's RPG limit break. I can't wait to see you all put an end to Kuja's terrorizing reign. If Zidane had a pet dog and a pet dinosaur, do you think it would be a Scottish terrier and a pterodactyl? I bet they'd be... be <laughs> I bet they'd be pretty, pretty territorial. And that's pretty much all the puns I've got, other than the terribly obvious ones. <laughs> <laughs> also, if someone could let Spike Vegeta know he is my favorite streamer ever, it would be greatly appreciated. Unfortunately, the, the, unfortunately, the message is anonymous. <laughs> um... <laughs> so, so this dude that's sent us like several thousand dollars at this point. I'm guessing Anonymous is all the same person. Yeah. This is your is your you're their favorite streamer. No. <laughs> all right. I I cut myself off, but now we're entering the last scary boss of this three. Yep. <laughs> this guy is uh, this guy is deceptively scary. He only takes five hits to to kill, but. Uh, he has a number of attacks at his disposal, particularly Shockwave, which can be really, really bad. So we're going to hope that we get this straight away. Fortunately for us, there's a save straight away, but uh, very lucky. Provided we don't have any trouble here, we should be good. There it That's is. That's the good one. It's okay, it's okay. Okay. okay, only one person died. That's good. Yeah, we should be good here. Okay. So just to confirm that uh, Henry Hughes has dropped a total of $10,000 over the course of the day. Thank you for other people for doing the math for me. <laughs> <laughs> Lesl's well, got his TI up there. <laughs> <laughs> so I get a one dollar donation from Banana Nananaki. He says, don't worry, you said my name right. Huh. So these next couple fights are much, much less threatening than the last one. Um, really only a single single target attack, so we just need to we just need to grind out these next two. If people get into, get into critical HP, uh, Lizabelle's going to be using some charges, but until then, we're just going to be going with single attacks. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. 
So he's pretty much just doing that for to set me up better for disc four, because the additional gems just makes menuing a little bit more annoying. I've never seen anyone do that. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? <laughs> I mean, he healed seven HP. That's pretty good. So this will be Luz's final boss fight of the disc, which is the first real fight with Kuja. Yeah, pretty similar to the Garland fight there. Um, kind of plays out the same way. He usually takes one additional hit, but the uh, it plays out the same way. He really only has single target attack, so uh, there's really no threat to us. Virgin Bird is back. <laughs> It just says, too many vowels, not enough vowels. What does it make to take you happy? <laughs> and I'm like, just enough vowels? <laughs> Laser Dante gives us $50 and says, love watching these marathons. Keep up the good work and go fast. Gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. Callus with five dollars and says, "Those are the last bits of money I can throw." I just wanted to say again, thanks for the awesome event and for all the great work around this. Watching speed runs and making friends in this community is what helped me not giving up, especially the Final Fantasy community. You really are awesome and real legends to me. Good luck, told you on the final stretch. And look at this team, you're gonna do great. Love you all, love you chat, and I'll see you next year for RPGLB 2018. Thank you, Callus. And shout out to Callus for being here literally the whole the time. Whole and he's in France, so yeah. it's terrible clock right now. Yes, Demi does kill in this game because it uh It does it does a percent of your max yeah. HP instead of your current HP. Yeah, we don't use Amaranth, and so he doesn't have accuracy yes, plus in this route. So want to miss at this point. Yeah. Oh yeah. He just said he doesn't want to do this for. He's wandering <laughs> off. Yeah, it's a pretty strong piece of dialogue. All right, so as you probably heard a few people muttering there, we did just break the $110,000 mark. <laughs> uh, 
and it is thanks to two donations. The first being from Teasel, who said that said fifty dollars and said sniped. Thanks for all you do. The nine run has been great. And then anonymous five dollars says great run so far, guys. It's nice to see Final Fantasy IX in the spotlight. Could not help but donate to the cause. Ru ru ru, ru's barretto ru. Ro ro ro. Ru's bellus bellus belletto. If you want to hear some great Final Fantasy songs, check out twitch.tv slash deathcom. <laughs> Easy, easy. <laughs> <laughs> Every time. So now Kaiosh and Baby Grill have this awkward moment, but he thanks her in the end. Windows wants to know if you're prepared to switch the boxes back to blue. Oh, it's <laughs> happening already. Trust me. <laughs> Don't do it. Man. <laughs> <laughs> you switched to X confirm so already yes. too, didn't you? Oh, he didn't? Okay. No, he used his surf confirm. Yeah. yeah, but he said he was going to switch. I thought he switched it already. Yeah, you can save and
your headset's causing so many problems. <laughs> <laughs> I got a five dollar donation from Double Drop One Nine Nine, who is the person that started all this tower nonsense. Who says, "Hey, told you." Just wanted to drop by and say, I told you you would be getting the tower RPG LB. Dude, that joke's been made so many times already. <laughs> not, oh, as many as Terra, or? I wasn't here during the Terra run, so. Yeah, okay. So, good luck with Disc 4 and May Night not miss on Death Guys more than once. <laughs> and then I just have an anonymous $2.02 donation with no comment. So, thank you for your donation. So now we're back. Bobby Corwin can talk now. He's so cute. That's it. <laughs> oh, Prof Nez, you troll. Prof Nez sends the dollar and says, Just a suggestion. We could pad out the rest of the game by having a blue versus gray window ongoing bid war. <laughs> oh, my. I don't... I, 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 uh, Sounds like a lot of work. Yeah. Also, we don't want to be here until 2018. Also, in case you weren't listening, gray is the incorrect way to play. Yeah. So. Says everybody except for the person here that has the world record. <laughs> <laughs> hey, now, Japanese world record has blue. Oh, that's what I like to hear. Anonymous donates $3. He says, even numbers. I have to think about this now. <laughs> Forward. <laughs> <laughs> In before it goes inside. <laughs> Alright, so we're, he's going to save here before we enter this cutscene because the very first boss of Disc 4 is notoriously horrendous. And we have to restore order to the save files by having it blue. So we fought one silver dragon. Now there's like a thousand of them. <laughs> this is actually the best music. Forget about you're not alone. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> you probably just made a lot of people unhappy, Kara. <laughs> is Iko your favorite character too? <laughs> I do think this is one of the best cutscenes or FMEs, I guess, in the game. Especially after like <laughs> eight hours of playing, it's a nice pick me up to kick off this board. Rip. Let's go. No, no, that's a good one. How about that? I got a dollar, dollar donation from Rooster. He says, Could you guys think of more memorable puns? Okay, I'll give him I'll give him an A for effort for memorial. Yeah. No, I don't know, I like Kuja. None for no, Kud no. <laughs> no. <laughs> And I've got... Rooster has had the most original puns all day, for sure, though. Very unique, at least. I don't know. Lady Gargazette is probably uh, still, still the winner. 
Uh, 13 Lightning donates five dollars and says, "Glad I got home from work in time to see the end of Final Fantasy IX and probably what's the best video game ending ever." So you can see, pretty much for most of this disc, uh, Toji's going to continue to use the sleep lock with Knight. And Freya just hits like a truck. Very nice. So something to note here is that we're queuing charges immediately after Quinn's ATB resets because... It's such a long animation that we actually don't have to wait for Quinn's ATB to refill. Zalens donates $51 and said, well, I had to beat Teasel before the end of the run. Thanks for all the hard nice. work you put into this event for such a good cause. I can't wait for next year. And Nurebjurn is back <laughs> with a dollar that just says, I'm blue dabba dee dabba die. Is Eiffel 65 still a thing? <laughs> no. That's not even the best song on that album by far. <laughs> you would know. <laughs> <laughs> even if they're not a thing, they seem to be a thing to majority burn. Carl, I want to know your top three songs by the <laughs> What is your favorite song on that album, Kara? Hmm. Um, let's see. Now is Forever, Silicon World, and <laughs> Too Much of Heaven. Raise your hand if you know any of those. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Living in bubbles, good too. So make sure you guys remind me to get the tower because I've literally never gotten it in a run before. I'll I'll make you go back. <laughs> okay. Oh, and of course my console, you know. A L A Y S T A T I O. <laughs> I have a five dollar donation from Coopers from Mars. So this has been the first time I've seen Final Fantasy IX in its entirety. It's been such a joy to wind down the marathon with this beautiful game. Although small RPG limit break is my favorite marathon, and this year has been even better than the last. I've especially enjoyed hearing the melodious tones of Presentia, Vulajin, and Bob on the mic. I hope to see some of you familiar faces at SGDQ in a few months. Thanks to everyone who helped make this happen. And may all the runners, staff, donators, and everyone watching find good mental health in the year to come. Here's to reaching uh, $200,000 next year. I already can't wait for RPG Limit Break 2018. Um, and I'll just say thank you. Thirteen ethers to play with. It's pretty good. Yeah. Five dollars from Matrix Oran that says, "My hopes, my dreams, five of my dollars." Another brilliant year. So wait, so what was our encounter total? Fifty-two. Fifty-one. Fifty-one. It's fifty-one. I believe in the ten encounter discord. <laughs> 11 encounters. No, 11 no. encounters. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's why I think it's 12. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I thought you said encounter list disc 4 told you. Mm, I mean, I may have I may have been a little bit overconfident.
<laughs> Mr. Cleave. <laughs> 12 <laughs> Just a quick reminder to everybody watching, the Yeti t-shirts will be disappearing in less than an hour. So get your final orders what? in now. You can't go. <laughs> that guy always okay. goes first. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Kaio's just going to ditch his friends. He's, he's not about that. <laughs> so there's been an ongoing war at this point and teasel is back at being one dollar down donates five dollars saying i refuse to lose okay sure donates a dollar and says living in a bubble and euro pop my favorite i guess they're talking about the iphone 65 i'm assuming so <laughs> Never lucky. This bloody monster. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, just again, less than an hour to get your Yeti t-shirts. That's the Yeti slash RPG limit break. And Yeti is spelled Y-E-T-E. -E -E. Three dollars from each t-shirt will be donated to Nami. All right, here it is, folks. Oh. <laughs> Maybe we won't be punished for it. Five. <laughs> I'm actually not it's in the bottom my, right corner, right? I'm not yeah, liking yeah, my yeah. estimate now. I think I'm in the driver's seat to victory. What was your What was your total? I said 61. I said 63. He said I had 65. I had 62. He's in control. Lose bell loses. <laughs> There's no way. <laughs> 57. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Are we at now 55? If, if he wants his to be be correct, he, he, could just control he has the control. It. I don't need to. Are you looking at this? Oh, you can get another one here. So that was the tower in all its glory. <laughs> right. So we wouldn't normally equip it here, but I'll, I'll do it for the fans. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All I want to say is I hope you're happy, Holo. <laughs> well, six dollars from Karobi saying just to beat Matrix Iran. Thank you all for RPG Limit Break has been a fantastic marathon. Majun Majun is back. He says, I don't think the Iron Man had boots of lead, nor did he fill his victims full of dread. Uh, and Steebs sends $10 and just says, live in a bubble. You've got this. Uh, so these, the first four fights that you'll see here now in Memoria, they'll all look eerily similar to the, the Guardians that were fought earlier, including the Earth Guardian that you saw us fight directly. Uh, they'll all be slightly different in their appearance. Uh, and this one is a direct homage to FF1's Malirith. Now the tower is Zidane's ultimate weapon, right? No, it's, yes. it's not his ultimate oh, weapon. Oh, well, either. optimal. But it's the best one that you can get without having to do much oh, of crap. okay. Optimal weapon. Now that I'm looking at it, Zidane's a little low on HP. We're gonna be under level. Are we gonna be okay for this? We're still gonna be fine. Okay. Normally he's like a few levels higher though. What? You said that he would be okay. <laughs> oh, okay.
Toju's a bigger meme than Hollow. That's <laughs> fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I prefer the slow clap rather than the actual clap. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys know what rhythm is? Are you going to sing the song with us? Because I don't know. <laughs> you guys Shalend need to play some theater rhythm. Shalendis is back with $20. Says, Teasel won't win. Extra donation from Luz's menu. In. Great job, on guys, on the couch. This run has been so much fun to watch so far. $25 anonymous donation with no message. Thank you for your donation. And $10 from Key Paladin here on site that says, no comment. Seriously, no comment. You put in the effort, you put in the effort to put in a donation while on the audience and you put nothing creative or witty. Oh wait, this was the comment. That's literally what you wrote. <laughs> <laughs> Rooster not pro. <laughs> <laughs> Love you too, Key. Love you too. That's the last time I saved I save you in Legendary. That's all I'm saying. So here, Garnet's having a really meta moment right now where she's looking at herself when she was a baby girl. But now she's not a baby girl anymore, so... <laughs> She's a baby grill now, yeah. <laughs> I said that not remembering that that was her name. <laughs> Don't worry, it's been a long day. <laughs> so these are the stairs of, <laughs> like, indefinite running. There's like 10 stairs, but it'll take you like 20 seconds to run up them. <laughs> Six. <laughs> Inching closer. So this is Mr. Cleave. Nice. If you haven't noticed yet, the enemies in Mori are very, very fast, so getting turns off to flee before they get a move, especially without auto haste, is really good. Five dollars from Kyo's little monster. Oh who left us earlier. You might have seen him actually leave during this run. Who says, I'm sitting in Phoenix Airport, enjoying an adult beverage and ready to watch my boy told you crush 80s. Thank you. Excellent run, mates. Okay? Easy. All right, so this you, next guys. fight is a fan favorite, which is Tiamat. And obviously the best way to defeat Tiamat is by getting up on his back. <laughs> Wrong game. <laughs> $30 from Vanny Van, who says, Being here at RPGLB 2017 these last few days has been a blast. <laughs> and that's like the worst the thing worst you can possibly happen. happen. For Tiamat, there is only, only jet fire. <laughs> <laughs> and possibly Twister. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's gonna miss. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, Don't do twisted. Oh, okay. 
Fortunately, he cannot do Jetfire twice. He can still do Twister, though. <laughs> the tower for the finish. <laughs> so as I was saying, I've got thirty dollars from Vanny Van, who says being here at RPG, being here at RPG LB 2017 these last few days has been a blast and a truly unforgettable experience. Unfortunately, while I was here, I received the news that my father has been diagnosed with early onset Alzheimer's and dementia. Thank you, Nami, for everything that you do to help people like my father lead better and more comfortable lives. This donation is in his honor. I love you, Dad. The taco donates $25 hey. and says, The tower, no YOLO Melo Malaris, and five encounters? What is this nightmare I've woken up to? <laughs> Bring it home, told you. <laughs> Thank you, Masako. One dollar says this may be the end of the marathon, but all we need is one goal. One goal being a song from Eiffel 65's second album, Contact. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I had never listened to the second album. <laughs> and two dollars from Unjust Banana, who merely says, I'm a banana. <laughs> so is that seven? It's a lot, dude. Teasel is back in this war with sixteen dollars. That just says, "Okay, we'll call it a draw." I can agree that menuing was mesmerizing. An anonymous ten-dollar donation that says, "Much love to the Final Fantasy community. I grew up with these games, and until this day, they are my absolute favorite." What better to than to spend time playing great games and helping charities? So the next fight is actually going to be the Hades fight. Um, so we'll have to do a little spiel, I guess. We'll head there. If you've never seen where he's at, he's kind of in this hidden location. Definitely not liking my encounter estimate now. It's <laughs> this is pretty brutal. I think he's doing it on purpose. Nah, nah. I'm liking my guess really well right now. No, I, I oh, think it's going to be... We'll get one more. Zero kind of crystal and world. And then two crystal world, and I'll be the, the victor. But we're automatically getting one more because I'm forcing one encounter. Mm. So It's not so random. <laughs> no, that's fine. That's all I need. Does that. Hades count? Does the Hades I say we don't have count? to do it in any percent, so I'd say <laughs> count it. Yeah, right. please. <laughs> of course you would. So we're actually going to ditch Quinna here for Amaranth, uh, who will, because we need to do more damage per round uh, to try to ki kill Haley, Hades essentially cool. as quickly as possible. Did you sell the cat claws yeah, on? Yeah, cat's claw. Oh, thank you. <laughs> that would have been cool. <laughs> that would have been cool. 
Do we have uh, two sets of claws right now? We have. Yeah. Okay. The Avenger and yeah, the... Yeah, I don't sell it. Oh, sorry. Okay, thanks for noticing. That wouldn't be good. Or you had the Avenger right now. Yeah, you had cat claws and mm. room claws. So here's Hollow having a weird moment. <laughs> So we're just doing this cutscene just to get it out of the way in case we die to Hades. Uh, I'm actually going to force an encounter here. Uh, we want to get Amrant into crit because, reasonably speaking, the only way that we're going to be able to beat Hades at this level is to make use of the charge mechanic. So we're going to be going into it only with Zidane at full HP. So we just need to do a quick thing just to make sure we've got everything ready to go. And then we're going to save it up. All right, so going into Hades here, the main thing that we don't want to see is Cleave. Pretty much anything else is fine. Um, problem with Cleave is there's no reasonable way for us to be able to survive it or tank it at our levels, because keep in mind that Hades is level 90, so um, a lot of this revolves around him not cleaving. Now, it is possible if we get some damage off in the beginning and he cleaves and doesn't follow it up with another cleave, we're actually probably okay, but uh, we'll see what happens. Get hyped for the song, too. Yeah. So it's very probable this might take a few tries, but we'll see. We might get lucky. This is what First you try every for, time. folks. Every time. A thank you to everybody that donated to see this fight. That's fine. That looks ridiculous, but like this guy's ATB is so fast. It's po it is possible that I didn't get one of those attacks off. That's also fine. So she's gonna die here. So the main thing we don't need to see, at this point we need to just not see double cleave. Should be fine, yeah. yeah. What? It's, it's <laughs> fine. We're good. It's okay. It's okay. See, I, this guy's—I told you, this guy's <laughs> speed is unreal. <laughs> Don't worry, we're we're good though. Poor Freya's not gonna get in on this experience, but it's okay. the level 5 now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's actually a good point. Uh, nah, we'll, oh, Steiner's 31, that's okay. perfect. Actually, though. we should be good. Uh, and Hades, for being him, is nice enough to open us up uh, a synth shop. So we're gonna get some ethers. 11. <laughs> <laughs> Goes King donates his dollar one. and says, Our heroes have grabbed the tower. But they will they be able to defeat Hades? Will they get Excalibur too? Will someone tell Spike in the back that his opinions about the tower can take a hike? <laughs> Find out on the next exciting episode of Hollow Fantasy Nine. <laughs> <laughs> Todd marks for that reading. <laughs> so, oh no, go ahead. No, no, you you first. You're important. <laughs> Thank you. So normally we would have Quinn here and Quinn are out, but uh, Quinn is actually not really useful in these next two fights. So because we took him out or took her out to put Amaran in, we're just going to keep Amaran in for the next fights and switch Quinn back in at death, guys. 
So hopefully appease the uh, the the community that runs Amaranth that are watching right now. Give me a little you. bit of a little bit of a piece here. All right, so now I'll say blind umpire donates and says, this squall of Final Fantasy puns has been really an enlightening experience. I just hope it doesn't cloud my better judgment. Now, before I dragoon too far, I'll summon my common sense and stop. That's pretty solid chain, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, it's a pretty good chain, pretty good chain. Not quite rooster tier, but close. River Flow f d d donates and says, "Thanks for the nine hours of entertainment. Watching these streams always makes me want to start speed running. Have you guys tri tried Grandma Sterlimbo? Hello, can you go? My. That's like an in joke part." <laughs> So this fight, we have to take out the tentacles first before we can really start damaging the boss. So now we're just going to be going for charges here. Generally speaking, we don't want to attack uh, because she can counter. However, if Zidane isn't in critical HP after this next water guard, we would, we would uh, attack just to uh, get him into charge rate since he does have auto life. For now, we're just going to get Amaran in on the action. Calculated. It's really lucky. Played for and got. So that's really nice because now we still have auto life and we're not going to have to revive Zidane. So this is extremely fortunate that uh, we were left with 40 HP there. This looks scary, but it's really not, because Freya and Steiner have no way to die to Watergrunt, and that's basically the only attack that she'll do. It's possible for her to do legs, but it's pretty rare, to be honest. stream of puns is drying up and I'm kind of thankful. <laughs> hey, you got it. I got it. <laughs> Lisbon and I were joking that I've practiced this this disc so many times this week and I pretty much have never gotten this encounter. I think it's like at least five in a row. Yeah, five. Yeah. But uh, not today. Now the question is, is this 61 or 62? Did the one you force? It doesn't matter. I'm going to win. <laughs> it does. Oh. <laughs> oh. Well, you guys better pray for the zero, zero crystal, crystal, crystal world. Crystal you better pray. <laughs> uh, Freya's level 25. Silver, not a material keeper. <laughs> Can't say I've ever had this many ethers at this point before. <laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
This is another fight that having Amaran is kind of nice because Quinna can't really do anything. These last two bosses aren't susceptible to night, so really she's just there to revive if necessary. Unfortunate thing about uh, Freya's level right now is that she's susceptible to level 5 death. That's also unfortunate. That would have made the difference. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Of course, of course it did. Just, uh, just a quick thing. We've had a couple, of, we've had a couple of people in chat asking um, if you could explain a bit about what charge does and what triggers it, because they must have uh, missed the explanation. All right. Here. So essentially, charge is this ability that Steiner learns with the Coral Sword that allows everyone that is in critical HP to attack physically, and so essentially, uh, in that fight. Ideally, if you have Amarin, you have all four of the characters in critical HP, so that when he uses charge, all four of them will get to attack, and it will only count as Steiner's turn. And so essentially, rather than having just four tur like attacks per that round, you have all four people attacking on Steiner's turn, in addition to a, a single a single attack for each of the three. So, so it really get like ATB. a seven. And yeah, it won't be counter attacking. Yeah, and you cannot be countered by it because it's an ability. Spooky messages. Hmm. It's about as spooky as the two encounters we're about to see. <laughs> Do you see win if we get two encounters? See, if see we don't just staring bullets into the back of its head. Like <laughs> <laughs> you just wait till you see the second screen. There's no way it's happening. I already had a zero this week. It's not happening. <laughs> this is either... 62 I'm, I'm or 63, count. depending on how you want to count it. All right, so we have a $5 donation from Rika Rune, who says, don't you mean the life stream of puns has dried up? Well, I was going for a more obscure thing because we just fought a water boss, but no one noticed it. Um, thank you. Um, it says, the Anon who donated $25 with the dog and dinosaur hmm. puns in addition to the Spike Fujita okay. fanboy message, should have been under Rika Rune. So apparently you are Rika Rune's favorite streamer, Spike. <laughs> Didn't even have a chance to mess that one up. So that little end there is, a, is kind of a hard spot to navigate. You're going to have to whirl your, your analog stick around to kind of go around the, the corner there. So when we were, you were doing the Mage Masher at the beginning, we were sitting in the food room, and the wolf predicted 72 steals for the Mage Masher. I will laugh so hard if we get 72 encounters. I think we're at 63. Yeah, we're almost at the end. There's, a, there's really only, it's only two more, two more okay. screens. Okay, okay, <laughs> okay. I tried the wolf, I tried. <laughs> Ravine92 says you can't get rid of your puns. 
but terrible puns make my Koopa tiefel. Zell, Kuja, and Koopa tiefel. Zell, Kuja, tell me to stop. Please help us whack at the final boss to death. Were you about to put your head in your hands? I wanted to, but they gave us money, so I'll just uh, fold my <laughs> fold my hands nicely. <laughs> just steeple your fingers in displeasure. I'll give him the Zvon Zvon Luminati. So that was either 64 or 65, depending on whether we counted that four score. So Shoutouts to Kawhi who got lost don't, in this little don't corner you here. Dare Kawhi this no, screen. no, I got it. I'm using select. 65. We'll call 65. it the five. 65. Yeah, that's dead on. Shoutouts to Toju being right about how bad he is at movement. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. So that's 65 encounters if we don't count the one yeah, that he forced before Hades. Going. Plus Ralph. <laughs> Remember, as we're closing in on the end of this game, we do have one final thing to deliver on after Final Fantasy IX, which is the singing I before we get to the finale. Save. <laughs> yeah, this next boss is, is a little tricky. Alright, so what's gonna happen here? Assuming Quenna's ATB isn't really good, Death Guys is gonna cast a move called Meteor. Meteor ignores defense and does damage starting at 50 all the way up to 4,900 in increments of 50 on every single party member. So this is the spot where it's very easy for us to die, is only like one or two of our party members have over 2,000 HP. So I want to see in chat your predictions as to what's going to happen here. The Hades fight actually does give three Some of the extra. members a couple, a little bit more buffer room. Yeah. Which is actually kind of nice for the marathon. Windows is spamming 1250, 1250, 1250, 1250. <laughs> dead, 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 dead. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only correct answer. Someone else is just like, you gon' die! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Zanuck and Sky says my prediction is reset. The faith. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on. Hold your <laughs> hold your applause for now. The miss. Okay. okay. Steiner and okay. Quinn went before me here. That's amazing. We're gonna do it like this this time.
next one. Next round. Almost. Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Oh. This is okay. We should be okay here. Yeah. He's gonna get an attack off though. Okay. okay. <laughs> two, more hit, two more hits. Let's just say we weren't expecting that. Quinna getting her, her ATB off before Death Guys is rare, let alone Quinna and Steiner, so that's pretty crazy. I have $5 from Lady Dagger who says, I've been enjoying this trip down memory lane from the game that inspired my namesake and for such a good cause, thank you. You know, notice how he didn't do uh, Meteor, even though he, the knight missed and he got another turn, it just completely skips Meteor. Selling yourself short on that menu in there. <laughs> I mean, everyone used Quis uh, elixirs to heal Quinna's MP when she does nothing in this next fight. Here we go. So this fight is actually kind of scary in this route. Without having Reflect Ring to protect Steiner from Flare, um, it becomes problematic for the second half where we can't actually attack directly. So we're hoping that we can get this down pretty quickly to avoid any sort of trolling. Holy moly, mate. <laughs> <laughs> We've all done it. Oh, yeah. We just want to give him a little extra. Hollow needs some more screen time, okay? What we really don't want to see is Flare on Steiner or Flare Star. So hopefully this doesn't hit Steiner, otherwise we really can't do anything. Okay, that's fine. This is a hell of a It's basically... It's basically not... Okay. Shoutouts to Luz for being the calculator man for this disc. <laughs> Do it.
So someone's gonna have to explain the tech of what's going on here, because otherwise this might be hard to. Let's just. Do you just want to do it, and then we can talk about sure. it? Sure. Yeah, because this fight will look. If you've never seen the run before, it'll look very odd compared to anything else we've done in the run to this point. So we'll just let him handle it, and then we'll kind of go through it after. So swapping in Vivi here because Quinnick can't reliably kill herself and this fight is going to rely on everybody except Freya killing themselves off at the get-go. So we really uh, really need to swap someone else in. Vivi's the closest option and he's also reliable so we're going to go with him. Shouldn't have spoiled it. No. <laughs> <laughs> You'll see. It's If you've ever played this game casually and struggles with this boss, this is going to be pretty gnarly for you. The fact that you just said gnarly and weren't doing it ironically. Dude, bringing it back. <laughs> Canada is miles behind us, apparently. I mean, we were living in, like, 1912. When yeah. was gnarly? Was gnarly cool in 1912? <laughs> Are we saying Canada doesn't have electricity yet? Is that where we're going? <laughs> I mean, I practice this game on, like, stone tablets. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> Steiner is Arby's, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Just checking. Statement I hope I never hear. <laughs> <laughs> so you want to explain about that jump that we just did there? All right, so essentially, uh, what we have done is we have bypassed two attacks that piggyback upon one another that Necron casts which are Grand Cross, which casts like a, an abundance of status ailments and ruin everything, which is then quickly followed up by Neutron Ring, which kills everyone, every 100% of the time. Uh, and essentially, he does a blue shock wave, and then his neck, which puts the character at 1 HP, and then follows up with that combination. And so essentially what we've done is... Uh, time's off, upcoming, by the way. We've killed off everyone else, and then jumped with Freya so that and timed it so that his ATB will fill while Freya is off screen. And so that when his ATB completes, he does not do it. And then when Freya comes back, he just goes into the cycle doing three blue shockwaves in a row. Time. Time. I think I speak on behalf of all of us now to thank you everyone for donating, thank you for watching, and uh, thank you RPG Limit Break staff for giving us an opportunity to close this marathon. It's been a blast. Um, it's been a funny run. 
but I think overall, it was pretty nice. It was gnarly. It was gnarly, brah! <laughs> This is not the end. Yeah, this That's what uh, he says. <laughs> this takes about 30 minutes to get to the singing, just for the record. <laughs> so if you have some, some stuff you want to say. You know, uh, oh, here we go. Well, I'll read a quick donation while we're waiting. I have fifty dollars from Tsuki Kaji who says thank you everyone for such an amazing marathon and thank you to all the donors for raising so much money for such an amazing cause. There is so much of a negative stigma around mental health for something so vital. You guys are awesome. Pliskin twenty two sends thirteen dollars with no message. So if you want to speed run this game, if you go to speedrun.com slash FF9, we have lots of guides for you. <laughs> Does that guide include the part where you have to keep bashing for a second or eight minutes? No, I'm, I'm the, the, the biggest scrub in the room right now. Technically, you could switch to the Kiwami right now since yeah, time is <laughs> actually up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, when's the next rando? <laughs> <laughs> right trying to play a real speed game. Get your Kiwami. You need to donate a little bit more couch cash if you want that to happen. Ah. <laughs> Well, I could do Zelda 1 rando, I could do my race with Jam. <laughs> <laughs> Someone hooks me up with an NES anyway. <laughs> so there's some stuff happening in the game right now. Is there more to that sentence? <laughs> nope. Okay. I'm not just trying to wrestle us back on topic here. Like, nope, I'm not letting it go. Yeah, do you want it? Yes. Uh, I have not your bag. Does okay, anyone know where my backpack is out there? No, I just you can get, get mine. Get okay, okay. Right. I don't know which pocket to do it. Let's see. If this is live, don't have any live Mine's the other one. That's mine. <laughs> That's my Mine's backpack. The one right Run invalid. My mashing all of a sudden got Liz Belt here. <laughs>
Hey everyone, we're here at the end of our RPG Limit Break 2017, and we are so happy to have raised one hundred and ten thousand dollars and three hundred one hundred and ten thousand three hundred thirty-six dollars. Can we get a 